look for like a he, sandwich. Yes, to buy groceries. Yes, um, <laughs> no, like you have to buy groceries. Order. You fucking go to the phone to order a pizza. Conquers lethar- lethargic for a day. <laughs> He's just, you're laying in bed. You order a pizza. You take a nap. <laughs> you order a pizza again. Then you go home. And then um, you go to sleep. The game ends. <laughs> Credits. Credits roll. Even people expecting the game to actually begin, it's just over. You can't even re- you can't you can't even replay it. Yeah, the game's like ten minutes. Sure I had this great this conversation. I... It's a shame that like half of it wasn't recorded. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, I'm not restarting. But... What? I had this. No, you didn't. I had this idea for um this new movie came out called The Blackening. And their tagline for the movie was, um, we can't all die first. But I had the idea, well, yes, they can. They kill all of the black main characters in, like, the first 15 minutes of the movie. And the rest of the movie is just, like, music. Like, the white screen and music. Absolutely. Of course it would be a white screen, too. It's just a loop of, um, what would be, what would be a funny song? Um... Cotton Eye Joe. That would be great. Yeah, it's just a loop of Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> but it, it goes that. on for like two and a half hours at least. Yeah. Sometimes like a little face. <laughs> and at the end, they pull like a Matthew Broderick. Uh, why are you still here? You're actually so stupid for sitting through all of this. You've gained nothing. We've taken your time, we've taken your money. Okay, so is Matthew Broderick that one guy in that one Stewie bit, a family guy, where it's it's just him at a bar telling a guy that, like, he sucks, but, like, the guy just doesn't accept it? I don't, I don't know, I don't know him for his work on, um, a family guy cutaway gag. I know him well, from no, uh, first. It was a parody of his. I mean, unless they got him to reprise his role. Well, I'm mean, not reprise. His reprise. Role, so play himself. I have to clean uh, powder out of the washing machine because I accidentally put the powder in the liquid only section. My washer. I just put the. I just put the. Um, the detergent in before I put the. Um, the clothes in, and then I put all the clothes in. Oh, for me, there's like a whole nother place to put the bag in and dump it in the same thing as the clothes. Uh, That's what makes me I better did. I had to do my laundry today. I didn't finish it yet. I think there's still clothes sitting in the washer, but I'm not turning the dryer on right now. I just have to wash my towel. You have to do what? I just have to wash my towel. I've been buying a lot of uh, like novelty sports jerseys off of uh, Temu. That's fringe. No, dude, it's great. I have a Will Smith Bel Air jersey. I have a uh, Bobby Boucher Waterboy jersey. I have a Bugs Bunny Space Jam jersey. Okay, I like that. I prefer Daffy Duck, but yeah. My favorite uh, Looney Tune has always been Marvin the Martian. Yeah, I, I think Daffy Duck's my favorite, but out of all of them, I definitely fucked the shit out of Bugs Bunny the most. All right. I don't know, man. Albert Fudd has kind of got it going on. Kill no, okay, buddy. Actually, yeah, I changed my answer. Fuck Albert. I had a crush on um Lola Bunny when I was younger. Bro, you don't say. Who else? Everyone. I mean, yeah, them. I'm not. I'm not that special, but still. I also thought um another. I feel like the thing that a lot of people had a uh, Shigo from Kim Possible. I never watched Kim Possible. Dude, I'd fuck the shit out of Shigo. Shigo, not gonna lie. What about Shizo? Do you guys have Shizo? Who? Shizo. What's that? It's a transgender super villain, a superhero. Who? Why? Because <laughs> funny. Yeah. Apologies, everybody. Never just got a very special DM from our good pal Virgil. Oh. What did What did Virgil have to say? What does Virgil have to say? It's happening right now. Uh, they want to ban a user called uh, Android. No, they want to like, they wanted to unban a user called uh, Cooler. 
All right, let's do like a fucking Spartan thing. A thumbs up or thumbs down. Life or death. Uh, kill. Kill. Yeah, hold on. Who banned this guy? I do that at the movie theaters with my family. Uh, it's become kind of a thing where we do like the Roman Emperor up or down on movies that we're going to go watch. <laughs> Why don't you just say LeBron James and have the entire, entire theater burst into laughing after every preview? I did Um, at... <laughs> The Matrix, because I really didn't want to see it, and I was pissed at my cousin dragged me to go see it, and we could have seen the Kingsman movie instead. Um, during the previews, there was this really shitty movie uh, trailer that I saw, and I just yelled, Oh, brother! <laughs> during... No, yeah, only my cousin laughed. Like, I know it wasn't funny, I just thought I, I thought it was funny myself. And I knew my cousin was thinking, he's a fucking asshole at the movie theater. Like, I didn't want to beat that. The only reason we went to the movies is because um, my aunt made us, essentially. She was like, yeah, I bought your movie tickets. You're going to the movie. I was like, I'll, I'll fucking write then, I guess. <laughs> so, so yeah, and I was like, all right. And then um, he had a thing to see who could, like, get popcorn, like, to go the farthest to the screen. Like to see if you could hit the screen with the popcorn. I was like, "All right, buddy, I'll, I guess." Actually, um, I actually, I can beat that soul. <laughs> you can what? Friend, I can beat that. Uh, me and my friends when we were watching Spider Man, the I forgot what the, the one with. Uh, we were we all we all, what? Well, the one with the three Spider Men. Oh no, that was such a good movie. No way home. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one, that one, that one. But uh, Spider Man No Way Home, but he just got deported and he has no way back to yeah, New York. Yeah, I like that. That's what should happen with the black one. I mean, yeah, I, they should yeah, send him back to whatever country he came from. Whoa, exactly. Oh, no, wait, are we recording? Yes! <laughs> but uh, me and my, my friends, we bought, we bought a sliced cheese right before the movie. <laughs> no! Yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> That's fucked up. And, uh, yeah, we were throwing that around. Throwing that's a couple so slices. F- that's fucking horrible. And then we left uh, the rest that we didn't throw just on the floor when we left. We, he also, he bought a huge fucking bag of jelly beans. We went to Five Below before the movie. Oh, I have a whole story about the Five Below trip. But we went to Five Below before the movie, and he bought a big bag of uh, jelly beans. And he'd put a bunch of jelly beans in his mouth and then just spit them. Like, um, <laughs> like a, um, what is it, like... Like a machine gun. Like a plant for zombies. Dude, you'll dude, there's a bunch of zombies in my yard and you'll never guess what, what the plants in my garden are fucking doing right now. Fucking. Yeah. Dude, but um So we went to we went to five below and my little cousin, um, he's like three or four, I think. I don't remember how old he is. But um he like shoplifted a pack of gum, I think. And Dang took it. it out, took it out in the car and was like, and he wouldn't tell anyone where he got it. And my aunt was like, did you steal that? Did you steal that, Declan? And I, he was like, yeah. <laughs> so she she took him back to the five below and made him give it back and say sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't. No, neither would I. I, I was like, come on. That's like, the boy made a mistake. Like, you know, don't fucking hang him from the rafters for it. It's not even a mistake. The boy's just smart. One of jelly beans doesn't want to pay for him. I know. I'm just like I was like he. He didn't even explicitly know that it was wrong. Really, he was like, "Yeah, was they were there." I... What laws there are? I was never taught what laws there are. You remember that? Isn't one? that guy a pedophile? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no. Because <laughs> he didn't. He didn't know you're not allowed to talk to minors. Yeah, this is, he was never taught what laws there are. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. How, how could he be bolted for Dude, it? He, he didn't know. Up, it's, if anything, it's the kids' fault. They probably knew more than him. They should have played that in that, court. The kid was probably taught the laws, not him. I know, right? I, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever standard. agreed with you more. The only thing he's I, groomed are two Persian cats. Oh, my God. Have we talked about that? Uh, I don't want to. I was never a Miranda Sings fan. I always thought she was kind no of... One. Yeah, no one I don't one think was anybody was a Miranda Sings fan, except for, like, 
porn series. The fuck did she? I'm not saying that that people are stupid. Like all I'm saying is these people are like actually yeah. mentally retarded. Saw that she was in Wreck It Ralph too. And exactly. Yeah. Then how the fuck did she get a Netflix show? Exactly. You know, no, that's not even Before a good question. Retard. Anyone can get a fucking Netflix show. Because like that yeah, shit's no, also she... just been going on for years. Like. This isn't new. It's been going on since, like, fucking 2016. That's the only time I ever remember her being relevant. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. All I can say. Ay, caramba. Tell him bot. Dennis, be bot for a quick second. Bart I remember Simpson. I used to be a really big fan of Bart Simpson. Like, I thought he was so fucking cool. Which he Dude, is, but... He's the epitome of a cool kid. Dude, how, how fucking old were you? And, like, not there's no excuse. I was like... I mean, like, I, I was like eight or nine. Yeah, but you weren't born in the nineties. No, no, dude. But my dad, my dad, um, would would watch old episodes of The Simpsons with me. Like that was something we would do. Like we would get together uh, at least one night of the week and we would watch old Simpsons episodes. And a doody do 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 to you, kid. Dude, that's what I'm saying. That's my favorite part. That wasn't Bart that did that. I don't care. That's my favorite Bart. It was just know? some kid in the Quickie Mart uh, parking lot. I don't know but he's watching right. the Sonic part of this, but like, what's the point of having Knuckles and Amy in this game? They're doing jack shit. I am watching the Sonic Okay. I love Sonic. I love Sonic. Uh, fellas, question. What was the first video game you ever remember playing? That's a tough question, but it's either SpongeBob Krabby Quest. No, yeah, it's SpongeBob Krabby Quest. Because mine was Mario Super Sluggers for the Nintendo Wii. Actually, for for like real video games, I think mine would be like the first console video game I played was uh, what is it? Ape Escape. Ape Escape is such a good game. It is. I'm in love I with it. I want to buy. I want to buy a Parappa the Rapper. I love Parappa. Soul, just emulate shit. On oh, God. All these fucking old uh, games. Well, I mean, Parappa the Rapper, I don't know. That, I'm not sure how well that works on emulators since it's a rhythm game. It, it's just as good. I hate purchasing <laughs> games that are more than two months old. It's only like 14 bucks, though. Yeah, but that's 14 that I could have towards other oh, no, things. I think it's, if I, I think I it's get 15. It, yeah, but... If I can get it for free, I will. Shit's the thing. I like supporting. Uh, that's not true. But um, I don't I mean, really yeah, have I the don't... means to emulate. I don't pirate like indie games. That's I. I don't do that. Obviously. Would you pirate I'll do Cuphead? If I feel like it, that's my motto. Yeah. Would you pirate Cuphead? Uh, I have not pirated Cuphead. I bought that on Switch. But would you? No. Also, because I just don't like Cuphead that much. Why not, dude? I love Cuphead so much. It's lame. I hate it. I remember I got the chance to play it in like a beta thing. I mean, yeah, and around I... when I was your age, soul, I was frothing out the mouth about it. But uh, yeah, these days I don't care much for it. I just think it's a beautiful game. I mean, yeah, no one's denying that. Every single person in the world can agree it's beautiful. And the music is good. That's like the two most heavily agreed upon things in the world, I believe. Is that Cuphead sounds good and looks good. Yeah, I mean, and the game looks fun. Like, it's an interesting game. Like, it has a nice style and nice, like, music. And, like, the cop, like, definitely the idea of, like, an old, like, 1930s cartoon fucking video game. Like, that, that's yeah, that like an indie game that, like, I love. Yeah. Wait, dude, like, they're, car they're fucking, fucking cartoons? I, yeah, fucking cartoons. I like that. Yeah. Why are they doing that? Well, I'm gonna like fuck cartoon. Yeah, you're not <laughs> even wrong. Has anyone been keeping up with Chris Chen? No. Um, did he? I mean, he got out of jail, right, or whatever he got into. Yeah, he's been yeah. out of jail for a little bit. I keep seeing videos pop up about like people getting photos of him, but I just, I think that's pathetic. Just, just seeing Chris Chen and instantly snapping photos and posting it, like here he is, here he is. Oh my god, guys! Like, come on, just... he's a celebrity. I know, but like. It, it feels kind of stalkerish, and I, feel I don't like know. The only fucking excuse is like if you're gonna get him to sub to the upshot. Exactly, guys. If you see Chris Chan, the only thing you should be doing is going up and say, "Hey, uh, you heard of the, the upshots? Yeah, they're actually your like biggest fans. They've been supporting you and like siding with you. 
They sent you like over a thousand dollars. Christian yeah. did nothing wrong. Yeah, I'll say it. The dimensional merge, Chris. I mean, Chris literally is a CPU goddess. Chris is a CPU goddess, son of two. So it was their entire right to have sex with Barbara. Yeah, I go to bed every night and pray that. Them. that. I, like, you, if Barbara was my mom, like I would have sex. With <laughs> oh my I didn't god. Need to talk joke to me because it's a real thing that happened that's a real victim <laughs> i go to bed every night and pray that that dimensional merge will come I dude i don't want like imagine if i had the fucking obby trick i mean if i was christian i would be just as like fucking into the dimensional merge because it, real life sucks i want my husband and wife to be real i knew a guy who made a sonichu chain just like chris is was it made out of crayola model magic I think it might have been. Well, it either just is or isn't real. Alright, what's the next question Virgil should ask this uh, shady guy? Um, do they support the dimensional merge? Do you wear wigs? Are you and pregnant? Then, have you worn wigs? And then, uh, then will you wear wigs? Will you wear wigs? <laughs> and then, uh, Elijah would uh, start laughing. I wear wigs. I do too, actually. Let me see where I get the red I ring. I love that interview so much. What energy? The Elijah Wood, Will You Wear Wakes interview. What is it? Okay. What? What? I'm asking don't, talk to, don't talk to me anymore. Don't talk to me anymore. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear your voice. What have I seen? <laughs> I like that. Ferrano. Yeah. Are Australians big fans of Josh Giddy? <laughs> I have no idea who that is. He's an Australian <laughs> NBA player. Oh, I could not give less of a fuck. <laughs> Are they like fans of Josh Giddy though? Like, do you know any Josh yeah, Giddy fans? I don't talk to anyone. <laughs> I have actually no friends. Just because wow. I don't like people in Australia. <laughs> They're, like, especially this town, I live in the middle of nowhere. No one here is actually funny or, like, interesting at all. I don't Dude, I'll move to... there. I'll move, I'll, I'll make that the funniest town, no demand. You're It'll be man. like, you know the movie Footloose? I haven't seen it. Well, essentially, do you know the plot of the movie, though? I've listened to the soundtrack. But I have the soundtrack on vinyl. But do you know the, the plot of the movie? Pick up your Sunday shoes. See? <laughs> name the plot of the movie. I heard you said yes, you fucking monkey. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna be like Footloose, but for, um, funniness. Oh. The Reverend is gonna come in and tell you, hey, you can't be funny in this fucking town, asshole. I'll be like, hey, oh, fucking watch you're me. To be fucking funny in this town. And then everyone is gonna become funny. Absolutely. Okay, you know what? I, I kind of fuck with that. I like that. Could you imagine? Just like, <laughs> no jokes in this town, asshole. So, do you want to watch me play with a Rubik's Cube? Uh, why not? Okay. I'm one trophy away from platinuming Spider Man Miles Morales. I'm I very still need proud to finish the base game. I need to finish the other one before I get Miles Morales. Believe me, dude, the Spider-Man Miles Morales is so much better than the original Spider-Man game in literally every way. I don't believe you, but okay. Why don't you believe me? Is it because he has the exaggerated swagger of a black team? Dude, yes, 100%. So, watch me play with this Rubik's Cube. Wait a minute, I'm cleaning my room real quick before I go to bed. You can watch me play with this Rubik's Cube while you do that. No, I cannot. Also, Dennis, so describe what's happening in the game. Uh, I'm yelling, uh, I'm fighting a purple guy. What? Purple guy? Five Night Freddy? Five Night Freddy? Five Night... Dude, I want to see that movie really bad. Like, I'm, I'm actually yeah. genuinely looking forward to it. Yeah, I want to see it, but... I don't think it's going to be great. I also, I'm going to try to... I'm, I'm really... I have my little heart set... A double featuring uh, Oppenheimer or Oppenheimer, or whatever, at Barbie. Every single person in the world is going to be Barbie. Dude, I I genuinely think they both look like good movies. They do. Like I'm I'm very happy that the Barbie movie isn't what I expected it to be. 
It's going to be awesome. I can't wait it to is, see like, uh, Michael Pera as the uh, Ken. That guy's a faggot, right? Oh, no, wait, I can't say that. But, um... No, he's he dated, like, uh, seven people. No, I meant the character in the there? movie. Oh, Ken. Ken's buddy. Yeah. No, he's not gay. Ken's not no, gay. no, 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 Ken isn't gay. His friend. Oh, Alan. Alan isn't gay. Alan isn't gay. That would be too progressive, you're right. Bobby promotes traditional values. Why would I be a gay person? Margot Robbie's really fucking hot. Nah. She's so fucking sexy, dude. Nah. I had my one friend sadly explain to me how the Barbie trailer gave him a foot fetish. I if think he was give a foot fetish, it would be Sonic. That's true. The amount but, uh, of like foot artwork that is of Sonic. If I delve into it, I'd probably leave with a foot fetish. Does that constitute his artwork? Does what? Dude, Sonic Sonic's foot fetish art? life is, like, entirely based on Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that, um, in the future, there will be, uh, art museums, but it'll just be, like, Sonic Rule 34. I think you can make that soul. I think that's a good idea. Like, filled with, like, deviant art fetish porn. I could say it. In a not so far off future. So let me close your room too. I'm making my bed and cleaning my room right now. I haven't made my bed in years. No, I make my bed when I go to sleep, so that I can be I, under all of the covers. I just squirm around until it feels cool enough. That's fair. I used to do that when I was a younger man. Well, I have a bunk bed, so it's really fucking hard to make my bed. Why do you have a bunk bed? Like a like a true bunk bed? Yeah, with two bunks. Did do you share a room with someone? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry for your law. I'm sorry. That's upsetting. <laughs> Prano, did you get whiter? What do you mean? Your hands look white. Actually, yeah, I've <laughs> I've been noticing that too. I think I have gotten whiter. You're going Michael Jackson. Yeah, Shimon. Shimon. I got a wee bit of LIGO. Vitiligus. Central Vegas. Fallout New Vegas? Actually, I've been playing that for the first time, Fallout New Vegas. Never played it. Don't plan to. Uh, it's pretty good. It's like Skyrim with guns. I've played Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Are they good? Because I've been meaning to get into Fallout New Vegas. Oh, uh, they're okay. I mean, I, I can't say that I fully played them. I never finished either one. Oh. Just wasn't my forte. I mean, yeah, I don't like... Uh, like first person shooter games or just like shooter games at all but new vegas seems cool because it's like a skyrim yeah dude dennis are you willing to um die waste waste money and um go on temu and buy a bunch of shitty um like clothing and like your shitty temu sh stuff if you buy like, the money sure like i'm just gonna take screenshots of some of the the temu clothing that i see and just just send the highlights. Have you been having fun on Temu? Um, I I have yes. Like some of this shit is just so very obviously um photoshopped. Alright, I saw a Nintendo yeah, Switch. Yeah. Which is Dude, I love the yeah. Nintendo Switch game. That's my favorite it's thing. Nin the Nintendo Switch is for two dollars on Temu. You're getting the fucking Nintendo, dude. Are they like real Switches? No, no, they're not real yeah. Switches, Dennis. You just get like a printed out photo of one. I could see that. That that's honestly that makes a lot of sense. I put the new forty nine. Okay, the bottom the thunder night. Cause all my homies and got it out the streets. I keep a hundred racks inside, buddy. I need to do it. Dude, so do I. I'm just waiting till I leave. Speaking of Dennis, I'm leaving at 11. Brando, get somebody else. Uh, my hands are full right now. So you do. Actually, yeah, isn't that a rule now? If you leave, you have to bring someone else in. No. Yeah, it is. I swear that's a rule. Dennis, you made that, didn't you? Yeah. You wrote that down? Yeah. Can you guys see the, the screenshots that I sent? Uh, let me check now. Awesome. You like those shirts? Let me just restart this level. I can't restart this level. Which ones are your favorite? <laughs> Parano, which one's um, your favorite? 
I'm taking a lot. Actually, yeah, I've been looking at a lot of uh, skeleton shirts myself. Yeah, but which, which one do you like the most? I'm fucking scrolling through them. I think I said okay. there was only six, right? I love the I game like... is never die. Yeah, me too, dude. I like that the um the controller's red, so you you know that he's second player. Yeah, <laughs> he's not. He's not. So, wait, dude, that should be matching shirts, dude, with a blue one for first player. Yeah, he's just red for first player because he's in heck. <laughs> he's in heck, dude. He's in he double hockey sticks. Dude, I hate to end up in he double two sticks. I'm gone. I'm my mama. I would not want to go there. Oh, my mother. I think if I went there, I think I'd be very upset. On the woman who birthed me. Oh, my God, dude. I have two more absolute fucking slammers for you, dude. So, what is your dream job? You were talking about not being able to get employed. Where would you like to work? A place that will give me money. What was your first option? And uh, just if money didn't matter, where would you like to work? My first option, like, first option as in, like, the first place that I applied to? Yeah, like, the place you wanted to get at the most. Chick-fil-A. Like, isn't that they something have very... that I, I remember something about that being bad. No, they just take gay people. Oh, okay. Is that it? Yeah, they hire a lot of Christians. Good. Uh, I sent three more shirts for you guys to look at. No, no, no. Continue. Continue what? The question I asked you. What question? Okay, fine. Dennis, uh, what, what, uh... No, but I'm fucking with you. Um, I don't know, like, right now, I guess, like, any, like, small convenience store would be nice to work at. Just anywhere where I can work with, like, one or two people at most. Like, I don't want to have to have a shit ton of, um, co-workers. Yeah, I went to the fucking, the market, uh, in the village, and... Uh, I asked if they need any workers, and I don't think they spoke English. They were like, no, 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 no. So that happened to me, too. I went to a nail salon to be like, yeah, I can help, like, clean up and stuff. They're like, no, get out, get out. We know Haya, we know Haya. <laughs> All right, fellas, I'm going to go take a fat shit. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. I know, but I'll stay for you, then. You'd better. Also, I don't think Saul's going to come back. No, he just said he's going to talk to us later. Yeah, I think that means... Next time. All right. Ring Dwayne, Gator, Ooze, and Altar. Dennis, when was the last time you attempted to get a job? What? When was the last time you attempted to get a job? I don't think I ever have. That's fair. I like that. If I could, my uh, eternal dedication would be towards the upchucks. See, Dennis, I rang everyone, but the people you told me to get in were the first to decline. Now, who joined? It's Saul. Saul? Yeah, I'm just trying to sleep. All right. No, no, that's not Saul. Who's that? Hey, please stop ringing everyone. I like, only ring Saul, please. I like, like I had a long day of work today. Would you, yes, like you better to, uh, guys. Well, you probably don't want to elaborate it. Uh, sorry to like, bother you. Good night. Sorry. Good night. Love you, buddy. Good night. Should I keep calling him? No, of course not. Well, we could make his long day better. If you want to, okay. like, make it all the count and, like, harass him on your own, you're, like, welcome to do that. I'll do it, but I'll call it Dennis Nedry. Dude, don't call it Dennis Nedry. At least make it so that it's, like, Leah or, like, Saul or something. <laughs> yeah, you can make, like, an anti-Saul. I'll make Saul it Barry. <laughs> I'll make it Barry be your mama. Yeah, we need a Barry. I think it's about time I took over and became my own Barry. We've been missing Barry too much. I need to start sending uh, belly button porn to the Upchucks. Yeah, that was a very weird saga in Upchuck history. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I lived through it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'd see you sick forever, but let it be known that a woman shall never don the Barry V.O. Mama mantle again. Whose bitches be wilding. On God. Okay, Soul said he can join. Join what? What do you think, Dennis? For like how long? You gonna snore? Again? I don't know. Is that the final boss, Dennis, in the corner? Where? Is that him there? What you mean the uh, the blue balls? What? Dennis, what's your favorite move in this game? What do you like to do the most? What attack? I like that. I like Sonic's attack where he uh where his like big feet like pop out and he uh just uses it like he just crushes like 
the weight of his enemies under it. Okay, yeah, I like that. Uh, I have a similar one, one where, where uh, he pulls his pants down and whips his big uh, chili dog on the enemy. If you know what I mean. My favorite wish tra transformation is the one where uh, half his body turns into a toilet. <laughs> yeah, just like a funny family guy quagma. No, wait, that's Shadow. Oh, yeah. Shadow is Quagma. I forgot. Did you know Shadow and Quagma have the same uh, voice acting? Yeah, Frank Welker. Yeah, he voiced both of them. I'm so confused. Like... Dennis, you should read out uh, on the channel all of your grades for school. All my grades are like mostly A's and a couple of B's. Now everyone claps and writes in the comments. Wow. Amazing. Thank you, Nedry. Sure. Is that the right? Oh, man. Start this level. No, you can do it. I think you're gonna be able to do it. Go, go, Dennis Nedry. Go, go, Dennis Nedry. Go, 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 go. Dude, that was just my own, like, gross incompetence. What's this? <laughs> this is literally a Mario ripoff. No, Sonic did it first. Yeah, you're right, he did. I don't know why it, like, fucking does. Alright, I'm gonna get all the red rings here. How many red rings are there? Enough. That's what I'm talking about. I, like adventure. I haven't played any of the uh, 3D Sonic games. I've only ever played the 3D one. Uh, no, I did a little bit of Unleashed, but like only five minutes. That's fun. If Sonic was real, you think you'd get me too? Absolutely. Do you know how many freaks there are? In a second, probably the first human that sees him will do it. <laughs> like they're gonna claim that Sonic raped them. It's just in his nature. It's like canon that he does that anytime he sees a human. This is so scary, man. Boo. Sonic is too high, and you know, like, for one, I think he would go, like, splat if this were real. Like, headphones aren't built to surprise, like, survive this shit. Dude, that would be so much uh, better if you just drop him too high, and Sonic just splats on the floor. And it just stays on that frame for, like, five seconds before respawning. Covered in shadow. That was awesome. Everyone comment. Great job. Dennis Nedry. No fucking assholes, bro. Oh my god. Do I have to collect all those red rings again? Dude, that's gonna be fucking obnoxious. <laughs> like, it just auto puts me on. Like, I get no choice. Do I have to deal with this universe bullshit? This game sucks. I hate Sonic Lost World. Can you just sprint to the end and get the last one? Or do you have to collect all of them again? I would imagine not, but it's a Sonic game, so. Dude, people give Aaron Hansen way too much bullshit. Sonic games are fucked, like, just awful. Okay, I don't have to collect <laughs> them all again. Like, no wonder he fucking makes fun of it all the time. It's a shitty fucking video game. And, like, yeah, I'll yeah. take all those Sega deals, too. If they're retarded enough to pay me for it, they uh, like, yeah, I grabbed the bag. Like, dude, I respect Darren Hansen a lot more now. These games suck. Yeah. And everybody's too blind to see it. It looks fun, though. It, it, it's a fun little game. Come on. I don't think it's even that, like, oh, it's nostalgia or anything. No. No, it's just some group of perverts. Oh, come on. He's, he's a hedgehog. If you like and... Sonic, you're a fucking pervert. Stay away from my kid. <laughs> what about Mario fans? Well, Mario's fine. You like Mario? Yeah, I love Mario. Mario's wholesome. Like, if you like Mario, you're fucking normal. If you like Sonic, you're, like, deranged or something. Oh, this is the Yeah, shadow Sonic side. fans, uh... I'll always, you know, you can sniff him out from a mile away. I mean, Getsu was a Sonic fan, and Getsu did something horrible that <laughs> in the Olympic. We were talking about him earlier. <laughs> That's right, the completionist. <laughs> Gerard, fucking bastard, man. He's a Sonic fan. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah. How did no one see it coming? plays as a Sonic fan. I bet he doesn't exactly. like us. He's disgusting. Yeah, he's, he's the one. enemy. I'm no, I, I love you, Corey. I'm so sorry. Please unblock it. Yeah, I'll, only play is Mega 64, Moist Critical, uh, who else? Uh, Down the Rabbit Hole. <laughs> All of those people who, like, blocked us, they need to, like, get over it and, like, man up and realize that we're gonna be the next <laughs> big shit. And, like, if they want to survive in an Uptrucks-ruled eco-climate, 
Like Please. they better start sucking us off. Uh, everyone listening, I'm just the I'm just the henchman. Uh, Dennis is the evil. Uh, is the evil guy. What are you talking about? You're like it. the mastermind behind this. Like no, 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 no. Shock tank. Dennis has planned it all. I'm just I'm just a little pawn. I'm a henchman. I have nothing to do with uh, making enemies of uh, only plays fame. Dude. No, if anything, it's Barry's fault. I love Barry, though. Yeah, Barry's awesome. No, I don't know, but he completely fucked up that Mega 64 collab, and now they hate us. <laughs> Good, I wouldn't I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, it's in the upshot spirit, like... You know, we can't collab with anybody. <laughs> like, the only people left are the people who I wouldn't want to spam anyways. Like, the two wholesome for the upshot. Yeah, give a couple examples. God, my ear itches so much. Brando, do you have, like, an abnormal earwax build up, too? Um, not that I know of. I not think I have had it before. I think I have had it previously in my life, but... Not at this moment. What is that? Does Audrey have it? What? Nothing. <laughs> do I get to keep the Wisp power up? I do not. Dennis, what is the worst uh, Ben 10 alien? Uh, if you ask me, it's Edel just because he's a uh, upchuck that I'll work. Boom. You're, you're Edel now. What are you doing? I, mean, I what can you still doing? probably take over the world or something. Elaborate. Elaborate. How? Well, I mean, I basically would have upchuck's powers, but like a worse version. Uh, I come up to you. I'm a guy with a gun. Uh, hello, I, I, oh, what do you, hello, what do you, what do you say, and I have a gun. I mean, I'm you. probably bulletproof. I doubt it, what, okay, what do you say? I mean, I'd probably just eat the gun. I see it, so I'm gonna shoot it a million times in five seconds. What? Did you just say? I, uh, see your tongue coming, and then I, I quit well, to no, shoot Edel, your tongue. Edel doesn't, like, use his tongue, he just, like, eats it whole, like, he uses, like, a mouth that, like, is, like, metal. Like, just crushes shit. Well, then I just shoot it a billion times. You, I shoot you a million times in five seconds. And then you die and I run away. So basically what you're saying is, even though I have all this power, like, you still just kill me. Well, that's just me, but only if you were coming across me. I don't know about anyone else. Basically what you're saying in the scenario like, you've given me is that what if I was, like, held at gunpoint... And, like, I was gonna die no matter the situation, but I was also yeah. Edel, so, like, this isn't even, like, something <laughs> where, like, I can do it. This is something where, like, I'm just fucked while, yeah, while, exactly. I'm, as an, while I'm as an alien, that's, like, my least favorite pick. Like, if I, if I want to die, like, I would at least want to die, like, in glory. I'd, like, want to be in, like, fucking, like, who could I be? Uh, yeah, if I died as Upchuck or Cannonbolt or, like, Diamond Head... <laughs> Or, like, fuck, if I was, like, Alien X, like, fuck, like, at least, like, I'd give you some credit, like, you know, if you were able to use a bullet to kill any of the aliens I would have to be, that'd be, like, badass, that'd be, like, okay, you're basically more powerful than fucking Alien X, no wonder I died. That's, like, you know, an honorable way to go. <laughs> no, that, that's the point, you're your least favorite, and then you die. Yeah, so, like, basically what you're saying is that, like... You kill me and I don't get an honorable death. I'm just a shitty alien. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just like a budget, like, reuse of, like, an older alien that, like, fucking got introduced, like, like at, in the last half of Alien, of Ultimate Alien. And basically just, uh... You, you lose no matter what. So if I do this right, I did not. Dude, it's so close. It's like I have to activate it in air. I think you got this in two more tries. <laughs> Let's see what that boost is all about for there. Kill the Dennis Nedry. Go go Dennis Nedry. That yeah, go go Dennis Nedry is just a happier version of like the Unicron. Exactly, it's amazing. Okay, let me say what you will about this game. I've enjoyed it more than like ninety percent of like the Sonic games I've played, and I'm still not enjoying it all that much. <laughs> I liked Sonic Mania. That was fun. Oh, Sonic Mania was good. And I liked, uh... I need to replay Sonic Mania now that I'm, like, an adult with more experience. Maybe I would like it more. Yeah. I played it a lot. I've, uh, like, 100% completed it on, like, 1 million consoles. It's Sonic game. Thank you. Boy, there really are piss-poor, like, resources for... Are you looking at cheat codes? 
No, I'm looking up guys. To just tell you how to jump where? So I don't even need the Will of the Wisp or whatever the fuck I just got. <laughs> <laughs> the funny Will of the Wisp. Dude, if I don't get this level right, I'm gonna rape and kill Sonic. And Dude, which Sonic character do you think is most likely to say, uh, the most slurs? Uh... <laughs> Knuckles. I think Amy or Sticks. Yeah, probably Sticks. Sticks is hot though. Yeah. <laughs> then it's fine. What would you do if you were Sticks Finger and I was a guy? Nah. <laughs> no, and I was a guy with a gun. <laughs> I mean, my answer's not gonna change, no matter like what scenario you put me in. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm not doing this again. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, a hard lesson has been learned in Australia today. <laughs> you know what I don't like about Stick? She's supposed to be a badger, but she doesn't look like one. She looks exactly like a badger. Have you ever seen a fucking badger? Yeah, and they look exactly like Sticks. Fuck me, I'm gonna get some... <laughs> yeah, I feel like we should, like, just get somebody else in here. This should not just be the two of us unfiltered. What? A very Why heinous that? crime will be committed. What are you saying? And, I, what's and, again, it's gonna happen in Florida and Australia in the same time. <laughs> But they're not related at all, it's just a coincidence. Of yeah, the... it's just a coinky dink. Wow, the same obscure crime happened <laughs> in uh, two places of the world at the exact same time. By two people who are friends on the internet. <laughs> he called a Bonnie McDonald's here, how, how funny! <laughs> Why do they silhouette the Utter Deadly Six as if they're not on the box art? <laughs> You have no idea who they are, then. Oh my god, they're so mysterious. You had no idea they were coming. I don't know, man. Well, I just don't think making Sonic more like Mario seems to be the best call. Like, I feel no, like they try to be. make him more like Mario, but, like, it always ends up being in the worst thing. No, yeah, Mario's successful, so, uh, why not just make Sonic do that? I think Mario should start running like Sonic. Actually, no, I think Luigi should. That should be Luigi's thing, that he runs like Sonic. I mean... They should give that to Toad. What the fuck else is he gonna do? <laughs> in every video game, there should be a uh, Sonic mode where you just uh, turn into Sonic. Every single video game. You know, I feel like every Uptruck has been making milks recently. And that's not cool. Don't make milks. They're gonna land you in hot water. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. <clears throat> Jokes are only funny if you're talking about, like, somebody who, you know, somebody like Sonic the Hedgehog who isn't real. <laughs> and somebody who you don't like, who you could probably... If they're of the same sex as you. Yeah. Anything else of that is not okay. And it's this game kind of looks gross right now. Why? I don't like the way it looks. Yeah. Sonic's way too small. Get him a mushroom. <laughs> Fucking assholes, bro. I hate this game. That wasn't my fault. We should play a Super Sonic Racing. What, the new one on Switch? Yeah. What Pokemon do you think is the most edible? What Pokemon? do i think is the most edible yeah uh give me a list voice acts this character is it all just like roger craig smith and mike pollock or like are there other people i have no idea what you're talking about i keep getting notifications from uh alatar's minecraft server have you made sure they all sub to the up truck i think they are all sub you should tell them yourself power up is the power up a uh a big star that makes you invincible? I think it is. Um, Dude, this game's ripping off Gek. Who the hell is uh, Alright, show uh, yourself. Uh, There's Dwayne uh, Rock Johnson. Uh, uh, is this recording? Dude, how did I become an upchuck, bro? Uh, draft. <laughs> I didn't volunteer for this. What the fuck are you playing? Uh, Sonic Lost World. Oh my god, isn't this the same one that's in the Sega Genesis? What? No. No. I don't know, there used to be this game that I would play that was called the Sega Genesis Collection. Yeah, that was a compilation of Sega games on Xbox. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Yeah, that's probably, like, one of the best recent ones. Oh my god, I loved playing it. It's genuinely worth, like, every penny I spent on it. Yeah. Those old school games are really good, like Echo the Dolphin. Uh, Echo's, like, one of the few cool. I won't play just because it creeps me out, man. How? It's too weird. I hate Echo. Oh, it's definitely weird, that's for sure. I remember one time, like, the creator of that game, like, followed me on Twitter when I had one. 
<laughs> I liked Echo Junior though. I completed that. Echo Junior, which one is that? It's just like a bunch of little just side missions. It's just a bunch of little tasks that you have to do. Which system is that for? That's on the Genesis, right? What yeah. the Echo the Dolphin? No, Echo Junior. I know what Echo the Dolphin. No, but Echo. I don't know about Echo Junior. There was also all the Street Fighter games. Those are really fun. Yeah, Street. All like the versions of Street Fighter Two. But they are hard as fuck, dude. Like, if you're not good at playing video games, you're not gonna be able to beat that. No, Street Fighter Two is fine. I mean, I think the story mode, like, if you have like the settings on, like, difficult. Yeah, it's pretty weird. But uh, dude, what the. Dude, what the fuck is this? Men's funny pig tea, and it's just like, what the fuck? Men's funny what? Someone sent this shit in the group chat. Saul sent a bunch of shit from Timu, oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Timu. Saul has an Android. I guess so. What makes I mean, you if say that's that? your takeaway from that, sick out, I'm sure. You know, I I don't see people based on the color of their phones, but uh, you do you. <laughs> I'm good, dude. It's time to spam Max. No, don't spam Max. No, can... no, no, please don't. You already complained enough. He came in here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was already in here. He's very cranky. God damn it. Time to skip back up there. Now. I can't get back there. It's literally one chance that Trip is constantly, constantly now. foiled by this game shitty control. You only have one chance to get up there? For life, yeah. So is there a way you could just avoid it? It's like... No, it's like I'm getting it for 100% completion. It's this is a burden I'm I'm carrying on myself, man. Well then, just don't be a fuckwit, dude. Don't, cause I I see you keep like dying, dude, like that. Oh. Um, yeah, that was completely um, avoidable. Yeah, well, I keep saying that, and I'm like, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's the most impossible thing to do. It no, right, it does man, look man, very I mean, difficult. I'm fucking retarded, you know this. No, it looks difficult. Dude, <laughs> Prano, what the fuck are you talking? About? It's hard. What's it's hard? hard are you hard? A little, but Dennis, what would you do if you had your own, uh, your very own little Kirby? So in order to get 100% completion, you have to get all those rings? Oh, Just that yeah, red, red one. Ring. Dude, I hate you, Oliver. What? Dude, I mean, you keep so dying. jumping as high as I can. Yeah, no, he was. I, I saw it. It wouldn't let him jump any higher. I don't know, yeah, man. Maybe you only... have to jump on top of the thing and then destroy no, it. it, so it like, destro no, it like destroys it automatically. See, like, that's the thing. Like, on both sides, it's just me being retarded, but it's like, no, like, the game is, like, finicky on when it wants me to do stuff and, like, when it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't want Dennis to get this red ring. Can you do a ground pound to jump even higher? I could slow my descent. Mm. I don't know what you're doing wrong, Dennis. Whatever, I'm just gonna try to beat this level and then come back to a, like, fucking loser. Man. I think you might have to read a guide for that one. That looks impossible. Yeah, I think we need to just kill the creators of this game, man. That's clearly, like, the only possible, like, source of action, man. It's like, it's what, it's what our, you know, the best role model ever, Mr. Strencer, said once. He has said, you know... The, create, the creators of modern Spongebob have done something unforgivable and, like, they deserve to kill themselves. That's what he said. They do. Absolutely, dude. Those modern Spongebob suck. I don't know what it was about the original, but it was, like, funny. I could still watch the original. I do still watch the original. <laughs> dude, this is, like, I don't know how you can do the YouTube video, dude. This is awful. I'm doing worse than this game's target audience, man. Dude, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I don't know what's happening. Man, this gives me this shitty thing every time that it's like, the Miiverse service has ended. I, it's like, I know I'm not trying to fucking do any Miiverse shit. What is Miiverse? You wanna, it's, you wanna uh, play as a little me? It's basically a Nintendo uh, community platform. It's like Nintendo Twitter that was like exclusive to the Wii U and 3DS. Dude, that could not be good. It wasn't, like... I remember so okay, uh what do I remember from Miiverse? There was that guy ass there was there was a guy with the water. I don't know, man. Like just look up funny Nintendo Miiverse compilations and you can find like all the creeps on there. <laughs> oh, I remember yeah. I mean I didn't want to say the quiet part out loud, but that was kinda of what I was like Nintendo's social media. <laughs> I mean there was this one guy talking about like how he like feels like that like that he wants to fuck Luigi so bad, and then he has to ask how he, like, makes, like, a fucking... What are you talking about, dude? You never watch Mario porn? No, I'm not, I mean... 
Okay, yeah, I got to admit it. It's by Ultimate Sexual Fantasy. I was going to say, dude, I feel like everybody went through, like, a stage when they were, like, two. Where they would, like, search up cartoon porn. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know, and it's embarrassing, but come on, bro. Every, every like, fucking, like, early middle schooler was like, yo, I wonder what fucking these people look like, bro. <laughs> Edit that out, Alex R. Or Arbiter. No, don't Arbiter, include, John Dice, don't, don't yeah. include that shit in the podcast. I'm please. No, no, include it. My name is associated with this. It's true, cool. I feel like that's going to be very fu- therapeutic for most of our audience. It, it is. It is very true. It's going to be a but, wake like, up I'm just call. saying, dude. Like, <laughs> it's not something I want my name associated with. All right, all right. Uh, edit his voice out and, like, AI it so that it's Leo. This is so. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's please. Leo. That'd be really funny. <laughs> But no, the ones that get it, get it. The ones that don't, don't. Yeah. Like, dude, I don't know. Like, you know, you ever watch Dragon Ball? Yeah. Dude, I'm not even going to lie. Like, if I were to fuck one Dragon Ball character, it'd definitely be Android 18. <sighs> Krillin's wife, bro. Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Anybody's like a Bulma stan, except Master Roshi. Yeah, I, I'd have sex with uh, Master Roshi. Would I you mean... have sex with her brother? No. You don't swing like that? Absolutely not. <laughs> So what's the point of getting all those coins? Uh, rings. Uh, I think to get Super Sonic. Do you need them? Like, are they, like, necessary? Uh, I yes. think to get the good ending or something. You need all the rings? Yeah. Jesus Christ, that must be really all annoying. You should go rings. for it. Yeah, Mario it's does it better. Rings. Star coins are, like, awesome. But you don't get a good ending in Mario. Dude, you should get all the rings, bro. Yeah. But doesn't that require 100% completion with all rings? Well, yeah, like... This is, like, I'm going the 100% route. No, I need all the gold rings, not the red rings. No, just the red no. rings. If yeah, you have to okay. we've all the gold like... rings, that would be ridiculous. Like, the gold rings are just, like, for health. Leo, we've told like, you, like, health, Essentially, when time. you have these gold rings, yeah, you're, you know, like, we keep on lives. telling you. We keep on telling you time and time again yeah. how to play, like, Sonic. We have like... told you five times it is just the Dude, red are you rings. serious? Keep no way. Up okay, gold rings. go ahead. Good. I was watching that, and I was just thinking that was about to be some bullshit. I know. Did you feel that? Did your heart skip a beat? Because I feel like your heart skipped a beat. Because <laughs> I, like, my heart skipped a beat. Now I'm not even the one playing. Because that shit would have pissed me off. <laughs> okay, where was... Yeah, the... Oh, I remember what I had to do. And throw it at people? It's like they added a stupid kick to the homing attack. It's That was never there, <laughs> and it was never necessary. Okay. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna see how other people. Oh no, 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 no! Please don't. You have two more rings left to go. Just finish the level. Dude, I need to see how I, I, I like. I fucked it up eleven Dude, times at least. It doesn't matter. Just get the rings and forget about it, bro. Please. Lucky number twelve. Lucky number twelve, Dennis. Don't listen to Pirano. So many people quit influence. right before they're about to hit the jackpot, Dennis. <laughs> just because you fucked it up, you haven't fucked it up enough. You still only have just two rings left. Then it's the playthrough is not the over. The guy mining, and he quits right before he hits the diamond. Oh God, is it this one? Oh God, please, you have three rings. Please, please, please. Okay, wait, you got this. You got this. Yep, there it is. Go, oh, go, that is the dream. Can you skip off the walls in that form? Can you like skip? Because my my thought process is, how do you keep those platforms alive, right? Definitely cannot. Because if you could just jump on top of one and then drop down, you, you like save the run. Just well, please don't die on this. Don't do that. If you need to search up a YouTube review. What the oh, hell, Dennis? Dude, that was such bullshit, dude. <laughs> that was actually garbage. I watched you just kill yourself. God damn it. Like I think I think uh you're just playing a very bad copy of the game. I think you got the wrong game. Alright, let me see what the comments of this video say. Fakes in between the spin back super long on the episode. I love how bad player I am to fail so miserably with the easiest star ring, says man with the Friday Night Funkin' profile picture. This game is excellent, says Chonky YouTube with the uh the Roblox YouTube. Are you streaming this live? No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm oh. just reading the comment section of this guide. No, this is live. No, like if, if this was live, like like there would be like oh, like very prompt warnings. There would be like shop callers on every upchuck, especially Saul. And like anybody <laughs> who says a slur is gonna get just like whipped. And especially Saul. <laughs> yeah, especially Saul. <laughs> Do you get why? No. Okay. No. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, he's fat like a cow. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, you, you gotta get some whipped cream. Cowboys, yeah. dude, uh, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, I think you went off on like a completely different tangent. <laughs> look, look, don't. No, 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 no. Just get on top of that of the platform. I can't. Then yeah, how are you supposed to get this? Oh, Dennis, 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 Dennis. What? You have to hit the P block that turns the rings into uh, cement blocks. You see? He us. didn't listen to anything you said. Oh, he's talking. <laughs> He's talking about Mario. Oh. <laughs> Dude, how am I supposed to know? But yo, did that guy not help you at all? No, he didn't. Are you all serious? Right, this is from the 3DS version of the game, but uh, this should be like entirely different. Yeah, this is entirely different. All red rings. Indy Hill. Dude, what are we going to do, Oliver? Then it's, then it's, then it's, oh, yeah, it's uh... I should go for I mean, this might be admissible as evidence in court, but me and Dwayne the Croc Johnson are gonna go to uh, the zoo and show uh, the gorillas uh, uh hardcore video. porn horror videos and just fuck them up. <laughs> and don't rat us out, but uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. That's gonna be super awesome. But don't rat us out. No, but that's something like people do, right? Like, like you were telling me about this earlier. What? Just like people sending disgusting things to gorillas. Yeah, no, I just read a news article about how people are getting banned from like the Toronto Zoo because they would go there just to fuck up the gorillas. That's fucked. It's about to be us, man. We're about to go show those chimps, dude. Some fuck shit, dude. Dude, there's oh. got to be some like infinite karma for this. Yeah, dude, the monkey gods are going to be super pissed off. Dude, there's no way this is okay. No, of course not. Like, imagine showing the gor a gorilla to Santa video and he just repeats it. <laughs> dude, please, please, dude. I like the Please. Time. They came in on Santa. And he's the first gorilla to speak English. And he goes, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. That's that's my life goal. But uh, hold on. All right. Characteristic, blah, blah, blah. Powers and abilities. Color power. One way to say it. Sonic Lost World. I'm going to call Kelly. Who? Undress his girlfriend. I have to know if this is real. Magenta ribbon? No, that's not. Uh, yo, red. yo, are you are you alive right now? No, alive. Okay, so can you tell me if this is real? There's a, I saw this hidden hidden uh gems of Orlando, something about some uh, Holy Land experience. Yeah, is this a thing? I just I don't know. This Orlando living. There's some place called the MCO. Okay, why does it actually look like it would be like absurd? Do you wait? I gotta show you. This is the photo I'm looking at for the MCO. <laughs> so, I don't know. Are you at the DR? Okay. God damn it, dude. How long are you guys gonna be gone for? Because I know you're gonna be. I know you're at his house right now. I can hear every one of them. No, it's that's an airport. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a TikTok that like it's a bunch of things. It basically tells you like pretty pictures of the most ghetto places. Oh really? So yeah. my bubbles been like, there's no orange blossom trail or there's there's no pine hills. Oh my god, please! That's literally everything I was looking to talk to you and address about right now. Because <laughs> I was like, we are about to go on this field trip. I have to know what they no, want to say, dude. Close. No, I have to hear what they have to say. Oh please, I want to be immersed. Field trip. Yeah, but I I have a job for you guys that you might be breaking federal law. Uh -huh. I need you to smuggle seeds from the dominican republic of shit that looks pretty <laughs> through the airport okay can you do that for me why gee i wonder why they don't want to break federal law for you i could do it <laughs> that's not, nobody that's nobody don't worry about it <laughs> who do you think it is we are the federal government we have it is. Of your plans and we are coming to arrest you <laughs> Wait, so you, to the okay, you guys are now, you guys are communicating now. Hello, Oliver. Hi. <laughs> Wait, I have a better idea. I'll just add address to the group chat. <laughs> Give me a second, address. Hold up. You're about to end up on a YouTube video. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Hold up. Oh wait. Hello. What the hell is your your Discord tag is address RFN, right? Yeah. Did you want to add me? I don't know. I think it's mobile address. You changed it? No, it's been like that the whole time. Dude, it has never been like that. It's always been address Stolfeet.dre. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. 
There it is, here. Like his Holy Land. Dude, that's what I was, because apparently there's this immersive experience in Orlando of the Holy Land, and I want to go. That's what I'm asking. Why are you calling this? I'm not. I am now. Here, join it. Join it. Join it. Yo. Hello? Hello? You're down. That's exactly what it looks like in real life. Exactly like in real life. <laughs> wow. Dude, you're on a YouTube video now. I'm on a YouTube video? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. You're an upchuck. Yeah, you're on a... I give you... This is this is going on YouTube. It's going on Pornhub, too. It's... Yeah, it's live. Yeah, on we also browsing. have a separate channel for special days. Yeah. Yeah, Dude, sometimes I'm going to this... an orgy. Hold on. This the only way this gets better is if we introduce him to Saul. No, Saul's like sleeping. Dude, wake Saul up, bro. Yo, what's good, Oliver? Hello, address. Your wrestle for dryer. I don't know. <laughs> <They're> still... <laughs> How you doing today? Call... Dude, I never have any idea why people call him Oliver. Yeah, that's Who's by an alias. That's like how Dwarf Costanza uses art. Yeah, his real name is Dennis. No, my real name is, uh... Hello? Why'd you just... Hello? That's what I was thinking the same thing. Hold on, hold what on! Just... Hold on! Just, like... just, <laughs> you just, just got, go. like, cut off mid-sentence. Yeah. Shut up! My real name is, uh... Maurice. <laughs> Hello? Hello? That was great. Yeah, that was worth the wait. I, I think everyone's... Oliver. Place. Oliver. Hello? Hello? I have, a, que I have, I have yeah. a question for you. I have a yes. question for you. Yeah? Rocket Pop or, <laughs> or Peach Sweet Link? I have no idea what any of that means. Is that, like, a type of porn? That's everything he watches, dude. Do you know what else he watches, dude? What? I was, like, looking through his browsing history one time when I found gay mage at anal porn. <laughs> yeah, that, that didn't make me very happy. Yeah, I know. Oh, it didn't make me yeah, happy what kind of YouTube video am I on? You're on the Upchucks. Live stream. It's a live stream? <laughs> yeah, no, we're no. live streaming to 15,000 yeah, people right now. Yeah, we're live streaming. You're on a, you're on a like, government <laughs> watch list YouTube channel. Like, yeah, you know, we just audit top. Were you thinking of another year, joke? Like, were you thinking of another joke? We're on three watch lists. Are you thinking of a joke right now? Trying to get the red ring. He's been what trying to go after it. He's trying to 100% complete Sonic Lost Land right now. Lost World! Sorry, my bad. Oh yeah, he's Lost playing World? a video game, Sonic. Yeah. What's that? Uh, it's a shitty Wii U Sonic game. Dude, this dude's collection, like, wait, can you turn your camera on for a second and just play? like... No, my webcam has been broken for a while. Are you serious, dude? Is there any way you could actually, like, flex your video game collection right now? This shit's, like, actually impressive. Wait, I got a question for Oliver. Yeah. What, what do you think about Unleashed? Uh, I, I'm not that big of a fan of Sonic, but uh, Unleashed seems like one of the better games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to play it on Wii. Andres also used to play the Date the Hottest Russian Man from Steam. Yeah, yeah. that's good up Chuck's material. We'll be playing that look, uh, soon. Look, I got you guys. I'm going to blow your minds. Wait, I accidentally did this. Here. <laughs> this shit. I was browsing Steam the other day. And I came across this. I also don't know why, but after I downloaded SCP, my computer got all fucked up. Uh, Arbiter John, I censor out the part where he says S, and I just leave out the rest. I just leave in the rest. Okay, here we go. Hey, pero con you. Andres, vas a Dominicano mañana. Ya tú sabes, loco. No vamos a divertirnos. No vamos a divertirnos mucho. Y no sé muchas cosas, pero tú hay... Hey, we only speak a on this channel. Why in December? Hey, who left? Was that Ferrano? Uh, yeah. Was that Michael? Was that the other guy? Who was that? Verdad. Pero no, yo sé. Esto va a ser un mierda. Porque lo que pasó este año era horrible. Este verano. Sí. Nosotros, man. No, I know. I'm still trapped in hell right now, though. Please. For like three more weeks. Pero tiene que obtener... Dinero para, para hacerlo. No, da, yo tenía dinero, pero chipole la mierda que pasó con ellos. <laughs> mm. Let me see. Is there, wasn't there, there was a, there was this game that I found on Steam. It was like, date the hottest Russian guy. Hold on. Do they have romance? Yeah, here pero we go, date. 10 dólares no está suficiente. ¿Para qué? Para obtener un ticket de, de, de You're vacación. telling me 10 Ten dollars isn't enough. No, cien. A hundred. Mhm. 
Oh, dude, it's going to be more pricey in December. $100 for a thin dinner. I'm saying it's not enough. Oh, no. But that's, like, around what he was going to get from his last paycheck. For I mean, I had 175 Yeah, that that's not what we paid. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But if, if you buy it soon for, like, for December, you'll probably get a cheap ticket. I think it's just expensive because it's summer. Yeah. But if you buy it... Uh, if you buy it like in within the time this time frame for December, it'll be cheap. And if you go like Spirit, it'll be cheaper. I'm gonna go on whatever you guys are going, bro. Cause ain't no way I'm gonna pop up on a random ass airplane. I'm gonna end up on some terror shit, dude. These no, I know. Like, I know. That's when we're going. We're going again in December. I'm gonna be the only <laughs> fucking person there who's on this this plane with a bunch of random ass people, and it's gonna be like hijacked, and I'm gonna end up dying. Hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good story to tell. Uh huh. I can't wait to add another story to my collection. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the wackiest of your Betty hijinks. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck you, bro, dude. You Betty see what? Hijinks. Hijinks. Yeah, dude. Can you explain that, Oliver? Dude, you don't know what a hijinks is? No. Dude, hijinks is literally I've never heard like that in my life. Dude, I I know exactly what he's saying. It's a synonym. You were never a Scooby Doo porn watcher. Wait, what is it? It's a synonym for shenanigans. Why did it go so quiet? I'm, they don't I'm know what shenanigans mean. mean. I'm processing that real quick. Do you guys not know what shenanigans mean? No, I do, but like I don't even understand why how that's like correlated. It is. Hijinx has always been a synonym for shenanigans. A synonym? Yeah. You know what a synonym is? Yeah, but that's not even a is that that's a word? Shenanigans? Hijinks? No, hijinks. Yeah, I swear. Search it out. Mm. Oliver, you seem very vocabulary. Dude, what the fuck is this? Backrooms new is in the dating category? Oh, my <laughs> Yo, dude, did anybody else figure out that there was, like, a sex mod for Skyrim? Yeah. Or was it just me? I used to do it in Fallout. Are you serious? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> that shit was so funny. <laughs> Dude, my favorite part about Fallout 3 is that I could literally just, like, walk up to people and put a slave collar on them and then just send them to these people for money. That's what I did. Dude, that's what I spent most of my time doing. I would go up to the random raiders and I would fucking, like, just go in and slave them all. Dude, I cleared out, like, entire buildings doing that. God damn dude, it. holy shit. My furry detective? Furry detective? Yeah, dude. It's sexual content, nudity, story rich. A mysterious crime that nobody could investigate is on your shoulders, not only yours, actually. There's also a detective that everybody in the agency makes jokes about. She's your partner now. My furry detective. Dude, that sounds right up your alley. I've known you my whole life to be a furry. Oh, dude, you already know. But there's also the furry Reich. <laughs> can, you, can you guess what Reich furry is? All right, I'm removing consent from, from me being on YouTube. <laughs> Too bad you never had any from the beginning. Ah, oh, fuck you. Alright. Are you leaving? Yes. But wait, you haven't played third furry <laughs> dating. Don't worry. What? Alright. Dude, I just found a furry game. Alright, bro. Bye. <laughs> Alright, bye. Yo, Oliver. Yeah? Furry game. Did you? It's called Furry Rock. It costs two bucks. Seduce me to the demon war. What about seducing you? No, I'm just looking at the dating section. I was looking for the Vlad... The, the dating game, but I've been finding a lot of uh, furry games, like an unusually large amount of furry games. Oh, it was that easy? Fuck, I were Dude, there's no way. 690 reviews on Conan the Mighty Pig. This dude made over $690 for a shitty ass game. Conan the Mighty Pig is sexual content, hentai gore, psychological horror, World War II. <laughs> dude, that game sounds like awesome. Are you saying you wouldn't want to play Conan the Mighty Pig? What? Are you saying you wouldn't would. want to play Conan? Yeah, when are you going to go to the gym again? Uh, I was going to go today, but then, like, my mom last minute took the car for a doctor's appointment. That's what I figured. I was like, something happened, dude. So I, I was supposed to go with Sebastian, and then, like, he just did nothing but waste time, so. And then I got really fucked up, and then I came here and just ate a lot of food, and I'm not going to step on the scale tomorrow. I don't know. I should be good for Wednesday. And Sounds then like after, a plan. And then after the end of next week, I should be good to go, like, every day. Okay. Oh, my God. Holy shit. What? 
Okay, well, I have nobody to blame for that but myself. For what? Well, just uh, the sad events that uh, went on. What events? All that bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. No, and what just happened in the game. Okay, please. Pretty please. Are you serious? What? No, I'm just doing some summons. Ah! I was hoping to get a guaranteed feature. Oh my god. Oh wow. That was actually not bad. I don't even have this card. He's a low class warrior. Sora. What game are you playing? Dokkan. Always, dude. Come on, can you please just give me something good? Come on, please. Please. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is something. This is something. Please just be something I don't have. Or something really good. Please. No, like, no, I've already no, had so much bullshit. No, god damn it. Come on. Give me something good. Okay, it's not them. But this is something I needed. Come on. Please, 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 please. I just really want to get something good. I want to leave this anniversary. Are you kidding me? It's him? I don't want that character, bro. I'll take it, though. Whatever. Hello? Alright, let's list our top 10 people who did nothing wrong. Uh, number one, uh, come on, you start. What do you want me to say? I don't know. It's your honest opinion. Top 10 people who did nothing wrong? Yeah. Oh, Jay Simpson. Yeah. He wrote a book about if he did it, so it clearly he did nothing wrong. No, I know that. Make sure to put Andres into the YouTube video. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I can show it to him later. I mean, this isn't going to come out for, like, a while. Dude, this was such a bullshit summon session. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but, like, it could have given me anything other than that. Like, that was just kind of stupid. <laughs> Okay, bam. Who else can I put through the ringer? We'll do the my. Damn, may as well knock out, knock out this guy. No, no, fuck! What? No, I jumped and I couldn't move in midair. I'm on like one life left, but like if I fuck it up, that's it. I don't care for Sonic very much. What the fuck, man? It, it told me to home attack. I home attack. It didn't home attack. I fell immediately afterward. Hey, hold on. I'm gonna call this group chat. It's a very easy game if you're not being fucking retarded. Alright, well, I know that, uh, Michael would probably have better things to say about this, but, uh, Arbiter John Dice, do me a favor. Whenever, uh, Andreas speaks, I would like for you to, uh, put a picture of Tails and Eggman making love. And one of them being pregnant. Tails being- both of them being pregnant and fucking. And that pops up whatever Andres speaks. And like, have it in all the videos, but like, don't explain it beforehand. Just have it in there. Because that accomplished. Because that accomplished shit. I haven't accomplished shit in this game. <laughs>
You're six one two hundred, dude. I'm like five eleven, two fifteen, bro. This isn't good. Oh no, no, wait, no. Two hundred, but the last time I got weighed was like a couple months ago. Have you Coming gained weight? Like I need months. to make myself feel better. No, yeah, I have been gaining weight. I'll give myself like two thirty. I'd say half in fat, half in muscle. I'm about the same. I like fractured my arm and I went up a little bit, but it happens. Yeah, I haven't been to the gym in like almost two weeks. Like, if I go, if I don't go tomorrow, then yeah. Yeah, I gotta go tomorrow, dude. I've been telling you that. I don't know, man. It's been so complicated. Dude, what I is this poorly go. played stream? What? Poorly played stream. Where? You sent this up a while ago in this chat, something about the Mega 64 podcast. Oh my god, we raided this shit. Yeah. Yeah, remember when we were just all in the Mega 64 podcast during, like, the Crusader days? Yes, I remember this. I like the, um... The, I don't know why that makes me think of uh, the Rooster Teeth video. Where he plays <laughs> the, um, Bag of Fudge video at, like, a an, a, an expo. Now, I love that video so much. Dude, what the hell is this? Why can't I, like, listen to what is happening? I can't hear shit. I can't move shit. Oh, I'm trying. To, well, I'm trying to watch this about fucking Andrew Tate, but Snapchat's like throwing a dick riding at dude. Oh, for a second I thought it was banned because Snapchat threatened to call the police on me one time. Oh, for what? I posted my mushrooms on my story. Oh, I mean, maybe don't do that. Well, I didn't think they gave a shit. I think they thought I was dealing. Oh no, yes, you dude. I know a bunch of teenagers who post their weed on their stories, and they they're fine, even though it's super. Illegal. Oh, but I never ever posted anything like that on my story before, and then immediately it literally like bam, I got striped. I guess it's because it can filter it as an illegal drug. Dude, it could have been like any mushrooms though. Who the fuck is just like in the forest? Like, dude, I just found a picture. I just found a fucking fungus, dude. Dude, Oliver knows I would post that shit. Oh, dude, so would I. I've done that before. Like, I, but that's time, what I'm saying. One time, um, I took a big bite out of a um mushroom in the forest and had to get my stomach bumped. <laughs> dude, there is no fucking way. Are you ready for this, Oliver? What? Suspected Portland serial killer was let out early due to COVID concerns. Today? <laughs> like, recently? Yeah. Yeah, they uh, a career criminal being eyed in the grisly murders of four Oregon women in 2022 had his sentence cut short and was released a year earlier due to concerns over COVID-19 spreading behind bars. I mean, if 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 he if he only had a year left, dude, there's no way. If he's a suspected serial killer, dude, they should do everything in their power to keep him in the jail. Oh wait, they didn't even nail him. No. Well, that's you also their fucking you fault. Fucking serious? A serial killer doesn't get out, dude. The sentence that they get is not, like, something they're going to serve out, dude. If you kill somebody, that you're facing life in prison. I think different murders should have different consequences. Well, I mean, if you kill, like, a, a pedo, bro, like, you're not going to be, like, it depends. If you go out of your way to kill a pedo that has nothing to do with you, then you're probably going to get sentenced to first-degree murder. If you, like, like let's have say, a little cousin that's, like, or, like, your brother gets fucking molested, and then you murder that guy, right? Then yeah. you're probably not going to get a great, like, a super long sentence. Like, that guy Gary Palouche only got, like, six months of, like, community service. But it's you different. Saw, you saw that, it's, um, that, you saw that, um, Olympic, um, doctor? Oh, that got, like, Yeah, I sent that to all my friends, this, Mr. Nazer. Yeah. Dude, did you know about that? That made big news back in the day, dude. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I didn't really get it then, but, like, Larry, dude, you know he has, like, over 200-something victims? Like, I don't know, man. But, like, if you, what I'm saying is this dude's not, like, a justice guy, dude. He's a fucking serial killer. Oh, yeah, fuck that guy. I wish they would have killed him. Mm. I think the only justified murders are, are uh, murders. Like, dude, have you seen the, the video of that guy who, like, trick-shotted a file, like, standing in a phone booth, hitting a moving target with sunglasses on, and he was drunk? Hold on, like, as in he shot him? Yeah, he shot him in the head and killed him on TV. Holy shit, dude. You know about that guy? No, I'm just watching the most jacked, like, 80-year-old man lift, like, two plates with his mouth. Okay, well, we're, I mean, we don't want you to, like, jack off while we're recording, bro. This is gonna be, this is gonna be shown to the mouth. Are we recording right now? Yes, I told you! Yes! Okay, dude, what the fuck is happening every single time we're recording? Like, I swear to God, I don't even know what we're talking about. 
<laughs> like, I'm literally like not. I don't even know why I have it up, Chuck. I say this every recording. Like, I don't know why I'm here. I was literally just chilling and watching the news, dude. Like, all of a sudden, I'm in the middle of this fucking YouTube video. Dude, I'm a huge fan of uh, murderers. Not like murderers who are like people who kill. You know what I'm a huge fan of? Fortnite. <sighs> Not having a girlfriend. I thought you pulled like mad bitches. I do. But, like, I fucking hate that guy, man. Like my point oh, is that like, what am I supposed to do, bro? I'm in Miami, dude. Like, dude, Miami, you could get a thick Latina, dude. You do not, like, understand, like, the game down here in Miami, dude. Everybody wants moolah. They want money, dude. I'm not, like, rich. That's why it's great living in middle-class New Jersey. No one expects you to have money. I wish, dude. You live in the middle of New Jersey, dude? Are you kidding me? Dude, no, I live in South in Jersey. You, bro, because I need to go over there and find me an Italian chick. I live in South Jersey. Are you? Oh, my God. Can you please, dude? I need to go find me an Italian chick, dude. Uh, no, you're going to want to go to uh, North Jersey for that. Why? That's near New York. Dude, just like my point is like Miami, dude. Dude, why do you think people come to Miami? Like Miami is like a place to Money. live in. Sucks. Like Oliver can attest to this. My, Oliver, when have you genuinely oh, enjoyed dude. like all the like the stuff that Miami has other than like the, like having beaches and like green? Go to Tampa. What to do? Well, I've been to Tampa. I don't think I would enjoy any place to live. I'm just a very, like, not outdoorsy person. No, dude, I love living in, um, in Jersey. It's great. But no, I've been to Tampa. It's all right, you know? But, like, I don't know. Like, I went there, and we ran into a dead body, and then, like, there was just a whole bunch of shit. It's not like it. Cut that out of the recording, by the way. Uh, sure, if you want to. Anytime I say cut that out of the recording, I'm serious. But yeah, no, like, that no, was a whole dude, thing. dude, wait, you ran into a dead body, like, stand by me style? Nah, the police were, like, already on it. Oh, man. We were, like, driving around at 2 a.m. in downtown Tampa, and we, like, you know, they had the CSI stuff there. So, like, Tampa's not really the safest. Um, one of my friends, John, lives up there, and all I hear about, like, it was in a place called Ebor. And all I really hear about Ebor is not particularly great things. A lot of, like, human trafficking going on. Dude, why are they all in traffic? Like, It's just like a hick town, dude. Like, it's like a, it's like there's Baptist, like, churches everywhere, like, type of thing. <laughs> Excuse me. You guys want to hear about my um, hurt stomach saga for the past, like, couple days? Sure. Your tummy ache saga? Yeah, dude, Saul's tummy ache saga. So, okay, well, that's Friday... Bad, man. That's a little just fucking weird, man. Like... Is that Prano? Please tell me that's Prano. Yeah, of that's course Prano. it's Prano. Who else do you think it would be? Prano? I don't know. A little a little special somebody who made a promise. Let's put this on pause and let me just... Yeah, but um, on Friday, I was hanging out with my girlfriend and my friend. And, uh, um... U.S. is... It's pretty cool because you have so many, so many different things you can do when it comes to like. Hello, is this a man? fucking Irish guy? Right, we can go skiing and fucking after. Is that fucking Max? Yeah, join the call. What the fuck? Who is this? Pirano? No, this is uh, this is uh, Ollie Wally's school friend. Do you? But um, you know on. By the way, what were we talking about? My tummy ache saga on Friday. I was hanging out with my girlfriend and my friend, and um, we went to the park, and there, there's a stream near the park, and there were these kids fishing for minnows. So straight up, they're like, dude, would you eat a minnow? Like, just because? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And then like they were the like, fish? dude, we... yeah, like yeah. the fish. And then they were like, dude, but would you eat another one? <laughs> and I was like, shit, why not? And then he said, dude, I got to record this eat another one other one so i was like shit all right and then they were like dude we didn't get to see the fish do another one so i was like yeah no, but... all right that's fine whatever so i <laughs> ate four minnows for free yeah just like just because so you do realize the... okay i want you to go on youtube and just search up what happened when this dude ate the slug bro no, don't, dude, it's not with the slug. Like, it already. Don't it's not. No, it's like parasite, like brain. Yes, that's what. Yeah, that's in yes, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like you don't want to randomly eat animals, like from a stream. Well, she, dude, I, 
I've played with death in one because I'm fine now. Uh, Dude, all yeah, I have to say is you like are I don't understand. Total brain eating bacteria <laughs> Honestly, I mean, the brain eating right, amoeba can come that get moment me. when the amoeba hits. <laughs> Dude, this I amoeba know. ain't shit. This amoeba ain't <laughs> shit. He's gonna like slowly become dumber. He's gonna be like this walking amoeba. around, and his eyes are gonna like roll back into his head. He's not gonna be able to do basic math. Dude, this amoeba ain't shit, dude. Dude, you do realize you can't get a brain eating amoeba from a minnow, right? It just goes up your nose. Yeah, that happened oh. to some kid at um. At uh, Disneyland, at a Disneyland water park, there was a brain-eating amoeba in the water. Well, you do realize that they're, like, everywhere, right? Like, I can go right now to, like, my backyard and find one. Like, I it just depends on like, some, people, some people just are not immune to these, like, parasites, and it causes major problems. Because what the fuck do you do? All of a sudden, you, like, snort some fucking water, and you're, like, dying from an amoeba. Honestly, well, he, that's amoeba? his fault. It was his fault completely. Yeah. An amoeba that's already in a fish isn't going to instantly change to be compatible with a big ugly So how are you going to... You guys, you it's not how the amoeba works. If you're immune or not, though. That's not how amoeba works. You just like, go in the water. You go swimming. The, the, Wait, what amoeba you... Amoeba swimming. So, so, so Brain-eating so... amoebas. Amoebo. So, so, amoebo? Amoebo? And amoebo. randomly just yeah, die? Yeah. That's literally exactly what happened. The gotcha of life. Oh my god, Oliver, you literally just interrupted me. Well, no, yeah, but dude, I ate these... Maybe you should have been here earlier. I what? ate these four minnows, and then I stopped being able to shit for like three days. Dude, like, why didn't you go to, go to a hospital like now? No, because I took a laxative and I was fine. Or no, that's not true. I took two oh, no, the that's first not time. True. I took two the first time and just tanked them. Like, it did nothing. So then I had to take more. Dude, and we it, found it our bad. new TJ, dude. <laughs> dude, I took him, and then um, I was the fine. And then my... eating your shit. I hope. And then the the um, the my dad ordered me McDonald's the day that I took all of these laxatives, and um, <laughs> what? Wait, did Don't... you wait? Did you swallow them whole, or did you like? Yeah, I took them like pills. Chew. I took them like pills. You took oh. them like pills, dude. Those poor yeah, bitch, dude. dude. No, they were just. <laughs> That, that's awful. That's like that's what I'm saying, dude. Like <laughs> these poor no fish, they got like abducted and eaten, dude. No, it's no, not, not even exactly being eaten. Like when you get like, eaten. Exactly what's funny. <laughs> you no, that's what I'm saying. Did you not hear me just say that this is the new thing, like, dude? Like I think we like, literally like fall. Eaten alive, you just get like crushed to death in a few minutes. What you did was like torture, you like trapped it and like, you like just devour acid. these minnows, dude. slowly dissolve. Die. Fuck them minnows, bro. I named them all too before eating them. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Why? Thought it'd be funny, dude. What the fuck happened to Gator Ooze? I'm gonna give us a new update. You just right needed now. to feel something wow. for once. Let's get a new update. You wanna know Chuck what their names did. were? You wanna know what their names were? Yeah. What? Give it to me. Uh, Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Jamal. <laughs> Healy, Dealy, Louie, and Jamal. Yeah. You ate Jamal. Yeah, Jamal was real big. He was a fat motherfucker. <laughs> Dude. How big was he, dude? How big are these minnows that we're talking? Because I haven't even like begun to process. I'm thinking like mosquito fish, dude. But I'm thinking no, you're like dude, talking about they like, were the like maybe like the length and girth of my thumb. Oh my god, dude! You like devoured no, no, no. this big ass. No, Jamal. Fish. Jamal was the length and girth of my thumb, and then no, no, no. They were all essentially like the girth of my thumb, but Jamal was a lot longer. <laughs> he was like a thumb how and a half. He, wait, how did you <laughs> fucking eat that? It's gotta be racist, dude. That has to be racist. Yeah, Jam how yeah, it, it was. I, uh, I put some water in my mouth, took it like a pill. What the fuck? Dude, you let him swim in there for a little bit? Yeah, dude, I felt them swimming. They were uh, trying to eat my tongue. Did you at least, did they at least, like, give you the recording, or were they just, like... Oh, no, them? I don't have the recording, no. Dude, what the fuck, Saul? Wait, how do you I know just they thought... weren't just, like, bullying you 
to get you to eat a bunch of bananas. I don't, know. I don't care if they were bullying me. I thought it was funny, so... Dude, I can't believe that I literally can have an interaction where I just ask a random person to eat minnows, and they just might do it. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna no, walk yeah. around like daylight. Yo, 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 I got these fucking earthworms, dude. I need you to slurp them like spaghetti. Can you do it? I, I've eaten an earthworm before. Oh, God, Saul. Saul, what haven't you eaten, dude? Um... Who made you like this? Um, is that's a great boss, question, dude. Hanging, did hanging around this group just, like, corrupt you? Maybe. Um, one time, I would, I had to put one of them fuzzy worms in my mouth. One of them fuzzy worms. Wait, the like caterpillar. The Wait, you mean, like, yeah. the poisonous ones? No, no, like, the caterpillars. No, he's thinking yeah, of the poisonous ones. No, the fuzzy what? caterpillars are, like... I think they're poisonous, aren't they? They are. He's, but you're thinking about the pus moth. Maybe. Was it brown? Oh no, yeah, I, uh, it was brown and orange. Oh god. <laughs> Wait, was that poisonous if I would have eaten it? Let him figure it Dude, out. Dude, would that have been poisonous if I would have eaten it? Because I didn't eat it. Saul, Saul, was it this? Look, 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 look. Here, wait. Uh, are you sending a picture? No. Watch my stream. All right. Just give me a second. Oops, wrong stream. Wait, these. Wait a second, no, I, I clicked on the wrong stream. You know, it, it's at this moment that I want to remind our younger viewers that, like, yes, yes, you should be able to, uh, Fuck, enjoy eating anything you want. Know. Like, was it was the this one on the lead? Like, no, it no, it was, it was not one of those. It was not one of those. Oh, it was right. not one of these? No, it was literally just, it looked like a caterpillar, but it was fuzzy. Like, it was the same length and shit like, as a caterpillar. Like, was the fuzz, like, white? Was it, like, a white fuzz? No, it was brown and orange. Yeah, that, that, I think those are poison. I think that's a poisonous one, then. I the, might the not be remembering correctly. Was it any of these? Colorful bugs and animals tend to be more, you know. Yo, was dangerous. it any of these? Uh, I'm, I'm perusing. I'm looking. Wait. Oh, wait, go up. Uh, the one under the yellow one. This? Oh no! Wait up, left, down, that. You ate this, dude! Holy no, shit. I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. I just had to put it in my mouth because my dad was trying to teach yeah. me not to just kill things to kill them. Because me and my cousin yeah. were had. Dude, we had dude, this is like the worst <laughs> like life lesson ever. Yeah, Yo, you can't just walk around and kill everything, dude. No, just we had a plastic it. bat, and we were just like, we were just yeah. mowing shit down. No, yeah, that's what he told me. He said, you can't just kill shit to kill it. You hunt for sport. That's not okay. He said, that's like going out into the forest and shooting a deer just because you feel like it and then leaving it there. Dude, that's crazy because I've never once had to have that lesson taught to me. I was like four. Like, I don't walk around just murdering everything until somebody goes, yo, no, you should I was do like, that. I was like four, and me and my cousin were just poking shit on the ground, and we killed Once it. Once again, I've never done that. Next time I kill well, someone, I'm gonna eat them. Yeah, you should do that. Oh, uh, wait, time? you don't? <laughs> Yo, it would be surprising if Max turned out to be a serial killer, dude. He would have it, and I, I know that he won't. No, it'd be great if Leo was. Leo! Could kill if he was put to the absolute edge. I could just have a strike for it. Just like, again, I don't think he has the heart of a killer. But absolutely, like, he would, like, kill somebody in, like, a really dumb accident. Like, if he works at a nuclear power plant, he would actually, like, make somebody explode. Like, I feel like he'd be involved in. We're going into... We're going into Saul's doing his fucking laundry saga. Wait, no, we're gonna go to watch... Let's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Relax. Don't do it. But yeah, that caterpillar did not look safe, like at no, all. No, dude. Like, I mean, they, no. It looks like it would just be not fun to eat. Well, the thing is, with like no, it wasn't. It was an extremely unpleasant animals. experience. Yeah, with colored like bugs and plants. Uh, the thing is, there's like a 50-50 chance that it they're either like warning you that it's either like warning you that they're extremely poisonous or it's a bluff and they're just pretending to be something that is poisonous dude i'm about to enter the raid in one piece 
Because I'm pretty sure by the end of this summer I can finish one. Dude, the One Piece. The One Piece. Dude, I love One Piece. I love One Piece. One Piece is so good. What episode are you on? Episode 4,256,000. Oh, same as me. You're almost caught up. <laughs> almost. Dude, I tried watching, I tried starting One Piece one time, then I realized how long it was, went fuck that, and then decided I didn't want to watch it anymore. Yeah, Dude, I'm telling you right now that I thought the same shit, but it is so worth it. I, yeah. I don't think it is. Like, you're going I to didn't enjoy the first later episode. Episodes, it is. Going to Oh. Like that length, they use it, you know, that, because it really is just that good. Like you dude, won't hear I anybody sh- talking about this, dude. Like, it genuinely like, is a be, very great cohesive story. Like there will be things like refer. There will be things like hinted at in like episode one. Like that what, like, dude? That, that all be, the way back in like thirty years back about in like episode one thousand. You know, dude. That's the thing though. I don't care. I had so trouble getting through Breaking Bad. Dude, I have to. I have to use episode. that line. It's a much better show. I have to use that I, line. No, dude. the thing of it is, is I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't care. I really don't. Your your opinions mean nothing to me when it comes to anime. It's great. It's good. Dude, it I really watched... is good. It's, no, the see, best, that's the thing. It, I also... it's the most popular manga for a reason. All right. I also just don't like anime that much. No, oh, but this boy. is like I tell you, too. like even if you don't like anime, this or Hunter Hunter is well worth your watch. No, the only anime that I've ever watched and enjoyed was Cowboy Bebop. That sucks, dude. Fuck I, you! You I, shut I, your I, fucking I, mouth. Well, Cowboy Bebop. I will say, I've never watched Cowboy Bebop. I don't fucking care about Cowboy Bebop. But fucking. The well, that's because you don't watch anything. Has the same voice actor as Bill Gax, and if you disrespect Who? Cowboy Bebop. You're you're like disrespecting Vilgax. So Who has the same who is the same uh voice uh, actor? Spike. Really? Dude Yeah. Spike yeah. does not have I love Spike Dude, so I would much. Rather... I just I would I would watch a cowboy anime. I'd be like, oh my god, let me find an anime for me to watch. Hmm. My Wait, options many... are JoJo's Bizarre Adventures or Cowboy Bebop. Definitely gonna go with JoJo's. Yeah, no, I mean, dude, I, I went Cowboy Bebop really one. Like JoJo, but like, I don't know, man. That sort of retro style anime that feels, that feels more to me. Oh no, yeah, like hey, uh, I loved Akira. I, like I know Akira OG, wasn't a show. But... You know, retro I mean, anime, like, dude. What? You do yeah, realize that you still have you seen is... Ghost in the Shell? Dude, it's like I mean, it's similar to Akira. I know what you're talking about. They made Wait, a movie Ghost about in, it. Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, Ghost so in the Shell like... with um with Scarlett Johansson. No, they that's the movie. I'm talking about like the actual anime. I'm not watching the fucking well, anime. I like that they made an Asian and, character it's white. Like, well, it's a franchise. It's like a mo- a show and a movie. Well, multiple movies, technically. You, but you start off with yeah. like the Ghost in the Shell movie, and then you move on to the show, and then there's more movies to watch. I just like Cowboy Bebop. Dude, I'm just telling you right now. Good for you. Cowboy Bebop's a pretty I wouldn't want to die without watching One Piece. It's like, One Piece, it's retro and new. It's still going on. The ending, though, no, it's to Cowboy retro, Bebop kind of upset me. There's both. It started in, like, the 90s, right? Like, yeah, late 90s I like 90s anime. I used to watch a lot of 90s hentai before I became cultured. I don't want to hear about that, dude. Like, dude, I remember Max sent me a link to a 90s hentai. Max, what the fuck? Max, you literally the asked most... for links. You oh, no, yeah, I don't. No, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to say that it was unsolicited. I asked for it. But Max, can I tell them what the title of that anime, uh, of that hentai what was? was it? Yeah? It was Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, the hentai where he would jig people. It's the best, it's the best hentai ever made. Dude, Max Cadone's... <laughs> it's Dude, uh, it's about that, a clip that, clip that, who clip that, clip that, clip that. by raping people. <laughs> clip that, clip that, clip it's that. So funny. Max, Max, it's, condone- like, it's legitimately a comedy. Max watches shock videos. Confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's no, it's so fu- it's so funny. I recommend I recommend watching it. Oh my god, Max, Max. Not as porn, but as a comedy. Are like the ones where Peter Griffin gets me too. As, as, like, as porn, it's like completely unwatchable. What are you talking but about? But as a comedy, 
But wait a second. <laughs> Speaking of really good anime, dude, Chainsaw Man. Are you guys gonna do Barbie yeah. Hammer? Dude, why are you saying the most stormy anime? <laughs> Chainsaw Man was really good. Like, I don't think a whole yeah. lot of people knew about Chainsaw it means, Man before it the It some time to coach, though. Definitely. But you know what else is something I don't think a lot of people watch, haven't seen yet? Tower of God. Dude. That was pretty listen, good, yeah. Listen, Dude, I'm telling you. about me. a fucking stupid anime. All I want to talk about is Beast Wars. That is the only I know, anime I'm that matters. I'm not fucking Beast Wars. They, they had a stupid <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But, like, anyways, back Beast to what Wars I was saying, Matt. <laughs> What the fuck up, Oliver? Oliver, no How more. How would you know you haven't watched any shows? I like you. <laughs> what is it? Enough, enough. Dude, are you serious right now? <laughs> you literally like watched like like three shows, like four Dude, shows as a kid, thing? and then never watched anything else. Why are you missing the I watched Beast Wars for the first time this year. Are you guys gonna do Barbie Heimer? Yeah, and it's That's Transformers. The real it's one of the four things that you watch. I oh, really no. only recently Matt. got into Transformers like late last year. Matt, it's, a, it's like a mecha like adjacent. What is wrong with you, you exactly. bastard? It's something I would like. I said the same thing. It's all. Actually, you know a really good. Actually, wait. let's talk about Mecha Gundam. But wait a second. No, no. hold Gundam on. Is hold on. To interest me. I wait a second. It's Soul only. Mecha. It's yeah. It's only interesting you because it literally is about transforming robots, and I could already see how you made the connection. Wait a minute, everyone? No, but uh, it's a, it gets a everyone. lot of flack, but it like Gundam, it it actually slaps. It's so good. It, it is like Fellas. some. It is so good. The writing is Fellas. so good. Fellas, like for it's the not record. even about the robots. It's about the Fellas. politics. Fellas, for the record, I would just like to announce right now that Pirano is live streaming him taking a shit. He's lying. I'd just like to. I'd just like to announce <laughs> that. Yeah, he's been doing that. Dude. Oh my god! Wait a minute. <laughs> he's I lying. lying. I'm doing it. Dude, he's not. Oh, no, wait a second. Hold up. But the other thing, Max, Max, ignore the live stream. I need to ask yeah. you a question. Are you like a Tower of God reader or watcher? Watcher. Oh I my heard god! That it's I have really to... well written. Oh, it's I'm amazing. For well, the, I would disagree. Yeah. I don't think it's super well written. Like, there's some panels that I look at, and I just know that the author was like, oh, fuck, what do I even put here? What, what the fuck do I say? Well, I hear like, it has a good story to it, dude, and it's I interesting. You it's like the yeah. new One Piece, dude. Nah. Like, it's it's around, like, this... Imagine I don't this think there will ever of... be anything like One Piece. Like, it's lit like One Piece... It's literally like Oda's gonna die writing One Piece lore. Dude, like, don't say that. He has please. spent his entire life. No, he's probably gonna finish it, but he's gonna do like spinoffs and shit eventually. Spinoffs, dude. Yeah, we're gonna watch this show called Mammy. And it's gonna be how she fucks everybody on the ship. No, I want to see a hot worm that. Uh, no, canonically, I'm pretty sure canonically none of them fuck, like at all. Are you sure? Behind it does. Oh, I know man. it doesn't make any sense. Like you'd think that it was like a polycule kind of situation or something. Because I mean, there were a bunch of like horny, like fucking adults on a ship in the middle of nowhere with nothing to do. But I guess not. Well, why do you have it to make also, I mean, so like, perverted, Max? Realistically, yeah, yeah. dude, yeah, I think we also seem to forget that one piece. Realistically, like, they wouldn't have taken twenty years. This has taken twenty years to reach this point with Wano yeah. and Egghead Island, except for the well, fact it was that... originally supposed to end around Alabaster. Well, no, dude, it's only been like a year for them in the story. Yeah, <clears throat> like they literally haven't. Well, no, multiple. Long. The the time skip was like a couple years. Luffy went well, yeah. from like I think it was like sixteen to like nineteen or something. Something crazy like that. Like no, he became a poor dude. That was like peak. But have you finished Wano? Yeah. Where are you in the story? I'm ca I'm caught up with the anime. Okay, so then you already know about all this. And shit. I've and I've gotten I've already been spoiled on where the manga goes. And like, oh, I've been watching the stuff. manga, dude. Egghead Island is really good. Yeah, I've heard. Dude, like Egghead Island, when that shit gets animated, it's gonna absolutely. Yeah, I already me. got spoiled on Vegapunk though. That that sucks. I, you know, Vegapunk has been hinted at since way back when, dude. Yeah, but but. Speaking of Vegapunk, 
Omega. I don't want to spoil. I I know the rest of you probably aren't gonna watch One Piece, but I still don't want to spoil it. But okay, are you ready? There's a big, there's a very big twist with Vegapunk's character, and it got spoiled for me. Or rather, Vegapunk's oh, I know. design. I want to say. But the crazy thing about Vegapunk's character is that yeah. he's gay. Fuck you. <laughs> like he literally <laughs> takes him in the ass, dude. Dude, how do you come back from that, like, as a man? Like, what if, like, Max, what would you do if you were bisexual? <laughs> I thought you were actually going to spoil it for a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> With, like, like something. Back. This is serious. What would you do if you were bisexual? I don't know. Hit on men. What do you mean? Probably like... make jokes about it. It is pretty funny. Oh, there's something what? funny about bisexuality to you? Yeah, I mean, they seem to think it's funny. Dude, I hate bisexual people. They think they're so cool. <laughs> Have you ever talked to someone who's bisexual? They make jokes about it all the time. Dude. Like it's their whole fucking personality. Dude, this shit is gonna turn really homophobic for no reason. I was literally what just joking. What do you mean gonna turn? I hate gay people! The upchucks are proud homophobic. I don't mean it. I don't mean to be homophobic if that's the... Look, dude, I'm not homophobic, but... I don't understand yeah. what grounds Eggman has to call this guy fat. I'm not homophobic. I just don't want my kids to be gay. I'm not homophobic. I'm just not too far. Dude, this is exactly why I didn't want my name associated with Upcha. Yeah. No, but fellas, the real question of the summer is, are you two, are you people going to be doing a uh, bargain for this? Bar, bar, what? Barbenheimer? Barbenheimer, dude. Oppenheimer? Barbie Barbie Har- yeah, like Barbie feature. and Oppenheimer. You have to do the double feet. Are you not? Uh. Maximilian? Maximus? Max? What? Fellas, what's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? Why do you sound so far away? I don't. But I'm reaching the uh I'm reaching the, the raid and the uh, the of Onigashima. What does that mean? Walking? Max knows. What? Are you watching that shit right now? Yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I'm reaching Onigashima's raid. Oh. What? Huh? Wait, what you're. I, I thought you were reading the. I thought you were caught up. I am caught up, but I like watching. Like I, I wasn't. I haven't seen all of uh, Wano. Oh. Uh, wait. How have you? How are you caught up, but you haven't seen all of Wano? Wait. How, what? I mean, I are you what's skipping happen, parts? But I enjoy watching it. Oh, you're watching the anime. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I you know, just got on the. I mean, the anime just got to like the really good part. That's well, no, we should with be Luffy's expecting end. like we should be expecting yeah. Gear Five in like August. Yeah. Hopefully, a no, mother. like no, like two weeks from now. You think so? Uh, yeah, because next episode seems like it's going to be where he dies. You know, quote really? unquote. And then everyone react, and then there's going to be a whole episode of reactions. You know. Oh God! Shocked. Not one of those. Shocked reactions and stuff, Holy and shit, people talking so about it and shit. stuff. Yeah, Holy he dies. The, the whole the, for the the rest of the anime is ac- actually uh, Nami captains the crew from then on. No, the rest of the anime. She becomes king of the like, pipe. They're just so shocked by like, his dad that they've never seen anything like it before. That like yeah. they all just grieve and they all just have regular jobs. Dude, does my main monkey die? Yeah, sure. Uh, anyway. But yeah, so my prediction is that the episode after that. We're gonna is it's gonna be more reactions, more stuff, more nothing happening. But then at the very end, it's gonna have Luffy wake up, and it's gonna give like one or two scenes of oh, what wow. Year Five will be. We and then the episode five, after that will be when it gets back to the cool. No, fighting. holy shit! Yeah, no, we are literally at Year Five. Oh my god, I didn't even realize yeah. it got posted. Dude, I love I love filler episodes. I mean, we've been at Year Five for the past month, so I don't know. Dude, this is going to be really crazy, dude. Gear 5 is going to be crazy. Dude, I can't wait to hear the drums of liberation, dude. It's just going to be the theme song. Like, it's just going to, they're just going to play over Taken. The drums of liberation, it's, they're literally just going to play, like, over Taken. No. That's, that's what they're going to do. I know for a fact... That they're just gonna play overtaken again. You know, the dun 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 uh, but they're gonna do the drum version, so it's like You can't hear that. Dun dun dun. You know that one? 
I'm bad at mimicking it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do it. Oh and he's my gonna like God. fight to the beat. You guys wanna help me raise please, please, please. Raid who? Raid Shadow Legends. Help me raise some money. Oh my God. Oh, you want somebody? <laughs> Wait, Max wants you to. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's all working Max, out for me. Oh my God. No one. He wants us to rape somebody to know. Bodily autonomy, autonomy is sacred, and you shouldn't violate it. Dude, I'm gonna violate you, Max. I'm gonna show you about body autonomy. Dude, I violate rights like I'm Facebook, dude. Dude, why does Saul sound like he has his like head like so far up someone's asshole, dude? I don't. That's what the upjokes are all about now, I guess. Dude, holy dude, shit, dude. Whole, you can't be saying this. That in homophobia. Brad, do you agree? I'm sorry, fellas. I just stepped out for a cold, hard cigarette. Did you save me so I've got an update. So we decided that being allies just isn't really that profitable. So oh, now no, we're teaming up with yeah. them. You know we're the Koch brothers? They offered us like a couple million dollars to shit on oh, people. Oh god. So now we're all so now we're all homophobic. And it's and all also thanks to the donations given to us by my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Holy gay people. We'll also be having a um a Steven Crowder collab next week. I mean, didn't he like get caught like I don't even know what he he's in some he kind of drama. Life. I don't know. Yeah, he be, yeah, he abused his wife and they're divorced Emotionally, now. But like that's just some shit they say in like the courts like if I like call somebody a pussy, bro. No, I'm that's like, like a legal form of abuse where you like that's bullshit. emotional abuse is where you don't like actually like assault someone or you can't prove that someone's been assaulted. But you can yes, prove abuse, that they've got it, that they've, got it, can, that they've like, the threatened idea. their partner with violence and possibly death, yeah, as well as, yeah. like, threatened to take away their mo take away their money or threatened to, like, divorce them, for example, and Max, take them yeah, kids, you know, know stuff can't, like can't that. Right. That's what all of is. Wow. You don't have it's to explain like, it. It's not too hard. It's yeah. pretty simple. Wait, so does that mean I could be charged with something? But yeah, it is, it is a form of abuse. Fucking soft. Wait, does that mean I could be charged? And Dennis, to answer your question, yes. <laughs> that doesn't work for me either. Does that mean I could be charged? Have you seen that clip? Every time does I that mean I could be charged for emotional abuse? <laughs> Wait, no, I just need you guys to hear me out. I don't know if you guys are my lawyers. <laughs> What the hell is this? Dead ahead? Do I want to ride a motorcycle? Guys. Yeah? Does this mean that I could technically be charged with emotional abuse every time I tell my girlfriend that I'm gonna, like, beat the shit out of her and take all her money and, like, take all of her... Absolutely. Like, <laughs> well, do do you do belongings? Specifically, yeah. I'm going to for the case of, like, this time. Right, like, yeah, I'm exempt, right? Yeah, no, you are exempt. Alright, yeah. thanks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text her right now that I'm gonna behead her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I hate yeah, dude, respecting give, yeah, women. Give her the one, one, two, give her the old one, two, skidoo out of a celebration. I'm gonna hit her with my car. Well, hit her twice. I Holy still shit, call it the dude. one, two, skidoo. It's like Jesus yeah, Christ, hit her with these reverse. zombies, dude. Is really hard. It's kind of like, my God. dude, I'm fucked right now. Like, I'm actually fucked. Why? Max, you're a very, you're a very uh, news reader person. Uh, anything you have to say yeah. about current events? Please you don't shit. kill me. Please don't kill me. That's that's the short end of the stick. We're, we're fucked, you know. Things aren't doing too well in the world right now. They may never do well, honestly. Things aren't looking too good. That's what I was literally talking to all of her about today, dude. We literally are stuck in a world of like, as like our leaders. Don't you think it's always been that way? Not really. Well, you're wrong. So. Oh, well, you're wrong. Oh yeah, well, uh, your opinion is invalid, so... <laughs> you know why? Well, I can just tell that I'm pretty fucked right now, because I'm playing this game, it's called Dead Ahead. It's like a zombie it's game. Mm-hmm. I like pirates. Yo, ho, ho, firefly. It's like, in general, I'm pretty fucked right now. Yeah. I think we're all kind of fucked right now. No, like, I'm, I'm severely fucked. Alright, so I'm, really I'm more right. fucked than you. So I'm not, so I, I at least rank in like second place, so that's gotta count for something. This is Definitely. a competition, mind you. Yeah, 100. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm losing right now. I'll get back on the horse. Dude, oh my god! It's the fact that they like annihilate everything. 
Please, please don't kill me. Are you serious? Please, please, Paco, please don't kill me. Okay. Dude, it's just like it's bullshit. Please, Master, please, please no shoot. What about that stuff? Dude, I have a Harriet Tubman signed baseball. What? You guys know about that? I have a Dude. baseball signed by Harriet Tubman. Really? Yeah. She signed it herself. Star pitcher Harriet Tubman. You big Harriet Tubman. I think we should just have an adventure called uh, Up Trucks Ride the Short Bus. The Up Trucks Ride the Short Bus. It's a little children's book. Can we, can, yeah, can we, like, um, go on, like, Fiverr? Or not Fiverr. Um, yeah, is it Fiverr? Anything's on Fiverr Whatever. if it's a service to be provided. You think there's prostitutes yeah. on Fiverr? I'm Dude, sure. do you remember? Yeah, okay, there are. I saw this documentary one time about this fucking website called Backbait. Don't include that. Oh, well, I actually have the answer to that. Um, prostitute, yeah, it's very common on Fiverr. On Fiverr, because before that, like, I saw yeah, they this, like, they disguised it as, um, acting, uh, what, what's the word, like, actor requests, what, what's it called? Like, for, like, extras and stuff. Because a lot of, like, extras for, like, uh, indie films are hired on Fiverr. So, essentially, what you're telling me is God I need to get a hooker from Fiverr. Again. Yeah, on, I they, can't hear any of you. I mean, hold on, connected, voice music, Because they, Because they can just request someone who, like, an, a, an actor, quote-unquote, who looks a certain way and is generally handsome. And if the police can't really do anything about it, because then you can just say, oh, yeah, I'm making, like, a, in, a short film, you know? And even if you get caught, you can just film it and say that you're making a porno to sell. And, and then it'd be legal. Hookers aren't real. Dude, that's pretty that's crazy. What a lot of rich dude. people do. Do you know that hookers aren't real? I made them up. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I platinum, I platinum Spider Man Miles Morales, and now I'm trying to find another game to platinum. Oh, that's lovely. Why are you telling us? Yeah, yeah dude, can you just shut the fuck up? Kill yourself. Yeah, it, first of all, that? why would we want to hear about Spider-Man Miles Morales? Dude, I can't well, believe we're legitimately about to see the end of Wano, dude. The end of what? Wano, like, it's, it's, it's an arc in one like, piece. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, the fall of a country. We are. Well, no, we're watching a country yeah. get itself back together. Yeah. I think more countries should be sold and traded. That's a thing. Dude, Max, agree or disagree, we should have kept Cuba. Cuba? No. Yeah, man. I, did, I, I mean, I'm not pro-U.S., to begin with, so no. All right, well, I'm I mean, technically, you you know, know, living in your own like, how are you not pro U.S. when you're literally in the country? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, fucking leave. No one's gonna <laughs> be here. here. You are pro. You are anti-capitalism, yet you live in a capitalist society. Curious. How are you anti-capitalist? Are you a socialist? Dude, yeah. Socialist, you're a socialist, Max. Get you time. smart to be a fucking <laughs> like, socialist, dude. Yeah, socialists tend to be smart. Not really, dude. Them. That's why their countries fall apart. No, their their countries fall out fall you apart know, because I, the CIA assassinates all their leaders the leaders uh, the, and then replaces is, them with dictators. That today is Magic Pony dude's birthday, and I feel like we should all wish him a happy birthday. Good. Yo, yeah, let's give him a happy upcheck birthday. Let's all just start arguing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we dedicate. This, <laughs> Actually, uh, it's this my video mom's to, birthday uh, on Magical Thursday. Pony. Yeah, we dedicate this video to Magical Pony, dude. Dude, happy birthday, Shipper. Have you guys ever played Alan Wake? I've heard what? of it. I, I just don't like how it's a. Uh, they're giving it like a digital like only sequel. Are you fucking serious? What do you mean? That's all you know. Just talking about Alan Wake just gets me really riled up. What's wrong with Alan Wake? I was considering playing it. I'm really just passionate about that. What about it? No, dude. I'm just like fucking bullet echo shit, dude. Bullet echo can suck my life. I don't know, man. I don't like how all these like game companies are like making digital only AAA games. Like, I feel like Alan Wake 2, I don't give sh two shits about that, but like... Dude, we're about to lose, dude. Are you serious? Okay, wow. Yeah, that's right, that's right, my friend. If 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 we get digital only games, we will lose. And no dude. Is oh my god. Battle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please? Oh my god! Sorry, it's just these digital games, man. Yeah. They really got me like You know, if it doesn't even exist physically anymore, why why are you even charged for it? Shouldn't it be free? I mean, technically right. you can just hack it, dude. 
yeah, you can. So what's the point, you know? I know. Yeah, like that's the point. If we're if we're a digital yeah, see, in the future, like, that's why that's why socialism like... is sick. Because under a social, a properly socialist society, those digital per purchases would be near free. Because it's not a Max, physical. I'm gonna like, send you digitally thing. your your proper socialist country. Yeah. I'm gonna go fucking buy you an island and call it Max World and watch you like destroy it. Literally it literally like... does not exist. Like, I mean, technically Cuba, but they're being embargoed, so they're not yeah, really being Cuba. Too well. dude, Cuba's like fucked, dude. Cuba's been fucked. Fidel yeah, Castro. Yeah, because they've been. Well, not, yeah, because they. Max. If you well, think no, about Fidel even, like, Castro was literally just here, an elected. Fidel Castro was elected. He was like literally just a politician. If you even begin to try, to he was sit just here a fucking guy. And Cuban also, dude. by the way, the reason Cuba's doing poorly these days isn't because they're somehow incom magically incompetent over generations for some reason. It's because the U.S. has been ha has had the like an trade embargo for several Matt. generations now, Matt. and no one's Matt. Matt. giving them anything. Matt. Max, are you yeah. like a little bit stupid? People flee Cuba to come to the U.S. I live with a Cuban guy. Because Cuba's everyone there, there like, because you're being like embargoed. So of like course you flee a poor Max, country. Max, of course you, you do a, not a know more country. than people who live through it, even though you think you Max, do. I'm gonna kill you, Max. I'm gonna kill you. I do. First of all, but you don't. I don't think I don't know more about their experience than they do, but I know why things in Cuba are bad, and the reason is because the U.S. has them under an, un an unlawful trade embargo, preventing money from flowing into the country. Man, How is that so it. hard to come for you? Man, like, you? This is very well known. It's the reason why when, you, when people go to Cuba for vacations, they have to give an official statement on why they're going there. Because legally, you're not allowed to interact with their government as a U.S. citizen. Dude. That's because Cuba's literally an enemy, dude. Did you know China's building a military How base it, next to Cuba? Yeah, did you Explain know that the U.S. You want, you want to see, you you want to see what a proper... The U.S. has a line of nuclear... Has an armada of nuclear submarines and missile bases right next to China pointed at them, like, within firing range? Well, like, yeah. The reason they're building up because their China's military... literally, like, our enemy, The U.S. Dude. is also building up their military... Like, can you even name one bad thing that China's done that the U.S. hasn't done? They're China. They're China. I mean, they're literally currently in a genocide against Muslim people right now. Yeah, the U.S. Oh killed God. all the natives. Like, they're also, no, also no, the no, U.S. No, is in an ongoing no, genocide no, in Yemen. I, Does yeah, anyone talk just, about that? The U.S. No. hasn't done anything. This Everyone is in Yemen is currently bad. being genocided by U.S. forces. First, there was yeah, also recently a U.S. Up. genocide in the Middle East, arguably. Bless your soul, Saul. Or just All right, there is concepts. literally nothing. Uh, so in my uh, eyes, the U.S. David. and China are, are morally on David the same playing field. China uh, only uh, ever David really copies the, the U.S. Story. and then they get punished. Or is that song kind of wrapped up? Mac, why don't you go live in China? Kind of wrapped up. I shit all it out. We're good. All right, that's. I don't know Chinese, and also, they're very nationalistic, and I don't like that. What you, you think don't like that people that are because I don't like the U.S. I like China. What? You don't like people who are nationalists, so you don't think being proud of your own country and happy that you're born in a country is a good okay, thing. Okay, now you're just taking this shit. Nationalism isn't about love liking where you live. All right, it's about being loyal to the status quo, which is usually an extremely like racially supremacist. Matt. Uh, stand there. I'm not even going to begin to speak on this because, up. like, I don't know. All I can tell you is I know what I'm saying. You, you very well. I, I know what I'm you saying. You can sit you there and list all the statistics you want, theory and do not even understand like the basic principles behind the ideology you're trying to criticize. Because I your your opinions right are like the baseline you know, opinions that every show, American right? like, this is breaking has news. This is like actually schooling. breaking news. Bill Clinton yeah. had a heart attack. Well, He's dead. Are you serious? Bill Clinton died? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't fuck you. Yeah, Boo. he just did. Fuck you, Max. I, I don't care. Honestly. Max. I don't see anything. Where do you see that? Dude, look He's a liar. He's lying. I just searched it up. He's he's lying. Okay, well, But no. I mean, my point is... Like, is Max, you're arguing against someone, like, who literally has people living with him right now that live through Cuba. Like, live through the whole, like, right. transition. Right? 
Like when uh, China first adopted communism. Like the transition like from capitalism to socialism. Dude, it's called the Great Leap Forward. It killed more people than almost any genocide ever. That's the Great not Leap Forward okay. Was that food. was in Cuba. That was China. First well, of all, you're switching from Cuba to I China. I know that, was, but I'm giving an example. Those are two very different ideologies. You think they had the same These cultural the ideology? Both of you shut the fuck up. This system yeah, is also, always the same. Yeah, the right. government promises to also, give. Also, in the Great Leap Forward, also, if you would look at this, not to say that that it's good. First of all, it was extremely cruel and bad. Obviously, I don't want to do that. I don't like hot the Great Leap Forward. Max, what a hot take. But what do you, what do you think? Why do you think it happened? Like, do you even understand what it was? They weren't just going to ki they weren't killing people for the sake of killing people. It was like an industrial effort to modernize the country and you know it it technically worked actually. They like the uh average like what what was it the at, like what what what's the word for it? the average um life expectancy dramatically increased as well as did the um I'm oh forgetting God, the fucking this is statistics. Not good conversation. But whatever. I know, this is not interesting at all. It's just annoying, both of you. Right. I promise you it's not annoying to me because that's like ridiculous. Well, yeah, but it's ridiculous to me too. No, it's water, ridiculous because I know are gonna, like are you gonna fucking dare I know what I'm talking Why about. Why do you know it? Really that's a very reactionary way. first of all. That's a you, you have a very oh reactionary God. position this on that. This has got a spiral out of control. Please. Alright, I'll please. talk to you I'll talk to you guys later. I'll no, talk no, to you guys no, later. Saul, Saul, stay, please. Don't leave me here with that. Saul, come on, please. Why should I have to suffer? Okay. Okay, everybody shut up now. Alright, what are your favorite uh, Pokemon guys? I don't have a favorite Pokemon. What's your favorite Pokemon? Yeah, what's your favorite Pokemon, Max? Come on, you gotta have one. I don't know, fucking Arceus, Arceus. Okay, that's lame. Pick another the one. The God Pokemon. Charizard. <laughs> oh, I love Charizard too. Dude, Charizard. I love Charizard. I don't care if he's like he gets all the love and shit like that. Like literally the most basic answer. Like Charizard to me is just super cool. Like I don't know. I just love the. Uh, Michael, what's your favorite Pokemon? Are you still like, pissed about the whole the whole socialism? Thing, no, being like you think you know what you're talking about, but you don't. Oh my god, it's oh, like, oh my Read god. some theory. Oh, read some fucking theory, man. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's yeah, let me go read the Karl handbook so I can know how to be a great communist socialist. The like, and you don't even know the difference. <laughs> you don't even know the difference, do you? I don't give a you're fuck. You're such what a the fucking idiot, is. man. Like, what the <laughs> hell? Dude, okay, go enjoy yourself, Max. Uh, Dude, you guys stop fighting and kiss, man. This is why we should have talked Polytop. <laughs> you guys were such beautiful lovers, and look what happened. Look ah, what dude. Happened. Please, like, like, I have to okay, learn wait, the wait, how do you, what, how do you feel about stuff. worker co-ops? You know, businesses owned no, by Max, the workers working in them. Max, come well, here's on. The thing, right? Here's the thing, I think right? this is where we'll have some common ground and we can end it. You how do, do you have to adopt a brand new method. To govern a whole system, all you have to do is change certain things. Not everything about exactly. socialism. Exactly, worker really co-ops. That's changing right? certain things. It's a form of socialism. It's actually the form of socialism that I believe in. I believe that that worker co-ops should be government mandated, and that our current system of having like a stock market is extremely inefficient, and ends up wasting a ton of resources. We should instead have uh, businesses be owned by the people actually running them. To democratic worker co-ops, and that's a you mean the of workers of the portion of the business. No, they own all of it. As in, it's it's well. I mean, there are a couple worker co-ops in the U.S., but they're like there aren't a lot of laws like supporting them here, so they they don't really they struggle with competition because they're small and can only rely on funding from their own members. And how they work basically. Um, uh, think of it like shares. Basically, each member owns one share and you get a share by joining the company and putting you a portion of your agent to buy in that share. Like so after a certain off, amount of months or years or whatever, right you get the power to vote democratically 
on what direct harm, say, the board of directors or your manager or direction. Isn't that exactly what happens in Tesla? What? Oh. In what? Doesn't Tesla do that? No, they don't. It's Tesla's owned by Elon Musk. But, like, that being said, it's also, like, I'm not going to have a business. As someone, like, I'm in college right now. I swap my major to business because I was thinking about opening a business. But if oh, I'm going that's to open why you're... It, if I'm going that's, to open a business, yeah. why the fuck would I want my workers to own all of my hard work, right? You see, They're that's a capitalist perspective. Oh First God. of all, oh why God. are you in ownership please, if all you're providing is money? shut up. You're not you doing all the work that you're working, are you? Are you? Please, you're still waking right? in all of the profits. Please. That's please. 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 You're it's just taking their labor. Really. It's up to like, us to save the You're taking the excess of their labor against you know, and they have no choice. It is the Pokemon episode. If I create my business, right, and I want to run no, my so business, I'm not going to give my business. I'll be back soon. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. The whole point of a worker co-op is that everyone profits equally. You don't have, like, a boss on top of it all taking all the money, you know? Well, I want and to making decisions my outside of the workers' decision. consent. Because what like if the boss is just a money. fucking idiot and runs the company in the ground? The workers can't well, the do anything about apart. it, but now they have no jobs and they're going to be homeless. Well, the company you know, that's not their fault. But it's the their CEO fault makes now. a bunch of bad the decisions. The boss will be fine. The boss was already rich to begin with. All right? right. They take. You say the boss. Like a lot of people say, the bosses and owners take on all the risk. But the only risk they ever really face is losing their money and becoming right, a worker. Right. Talking like politics is getting really bad. You know, it's not very fair. Say something. Right? Like, if I own a company, like I said, Max, yeah. I want to be in control. It's my fucking company. I'm the one who's All right, the good for you. Company. I believe that companies I'm hiring with people. over 25 employees should just be controlled by the employees. Because at a certain oh. point, you're no longer interacting with your workforce. You're just, like, dictating how they live their lives like a king. That's not, that's not democratic. That's not fair. That's fascist. Well, it's not supposed Inherently, to be democratic in my business. You're having one, right? All right. If I Why? own my business and I'm Why the one, let's say I open up Michael's Nursery. And find people and who I'm agree with you. Find people who right? have the same ideas as you. Find oh like-minded people. You shouldn't have to force right. other people to do your bidding to just to get what you want. Now, uh, other people have a good idea, uh, right? God has put the, the, like the, the, the F is for friends or the fun song from SpongeBob. But please, like, no, please. man, like. Yeah, but if you own I'm it, then saying, you don't like, have to compensate them extra for having that idea. You can just take the credit and the profits, and that's what most business owners do. Or you can just ignore them and not do it at all, and they'll be frustrated and can't do shit, you know? I mean, I don't know. If I hire somebody... Because what are you going to do? Get another cashier. job, you know? If I'm looking to hire someone for a cashier position, that person yeah. who's working as a cashier is not going to know as much about how to run a business unless they have a degree or something, right? Now, yeah, that depends. Know about how, I really want them to be making decisions. They are going to know about decisions. how to work. One is a cashier. Oh have you worked as a cashier? Right? Do you know more about working as a cashier than a cashier? Well, I mean, no. I have worked as so a cashier. So shouldn't those cashiers have, have more as autonomy as like, on how they do their jobs right? than, a, than a boss who hasn't worked as a cashier but so still wants to micromanage everything they do? Or if there's a boss that I don't like then that yeah. means that that section of that business is probably going to flop. And that's okay with me because I'll just fucking quit because I don't have to worry about that. I can just end up homeless. Well, no, really most fun. workers don't actually have enough like financial stability to just quit because then they'd be homeless and wouldn't be able to well, I mean, food. I most most Americans like are living pay to, paycheck to paycheck and also don't own their house. But that's because of so, inflation. Like, you can't really just quit. No, it's not. First of all, inflation is a symptom of capitalism, first, off, first and foremost. It's a system of a very flawed system, a symptom. But anyway, I don't want to talk, I don't want, I'm not- Well, it's a going, symptom of everybody like, the in the government constantly that, But anyway, I don't think bullshit. you should want to talk about any of this. Listen, you're going to make poor old Ned Week lie. You want to no, stop? I'm just like, this is something I feel really strongly about. Okay, let's just move this to okay, a separate talk call, about it later. all right? Let's move it. Let's move it to a separate call. Cause... I'm not moving to a separate call. All right. So, I mean, if you want to argue with me, I'm here. But you're not going to convince All me right. that your socialist policy of my business is going to be really, really amazing. Well, why, first of all, are you rich? 
I, I yeah, no, but money oh, comes and goes. So why are you God, assuming you that so you're going to be rich? You are Not everyone can be man. a millionaire, you know? Right? You know, my like, parents are rich. Needs, I believe right. you can earn money, but if but first of all, the defining factor in whether or not you'll be successful is whether or not you know people who already are successful. Well, that isn't true. Like, the talk to any millionaire. They'll done. tell you they right. had a mentor or rich parents or something or some connections in school with someone who That's gave them a chance true. and they were able to turn that into success. That's all. Maybe some people, that may be true for some people, but it's not true for everybody. Not everybody it's, it's is It's true out for there. the vast majority, all right? Everyone has a like a 0.0001% chance of making it, but the fact of the matter no, is, is that wait most your success parents is to, your determined parents by intergenerational wealth because it you gives you more chances to fail and try you again. You said that your parents are wealthy. Yes, they right. are, actually. So then my, you my mom's a lawyer, and, and my dad went about to MIT. Money. He's an, he's and I am not rich. Speaking about how I can earn my money and feel yeah. proud about I can go. Okay, so exactly. I get Exactly. I believe yeah. socialism is about earning understand. your money fairly through the labor you perform, not by owning assets and collecting interest on them. Right. Well, that's, that's the whole idea of assets? socialism. Okay. The whole idea of socialism is a counter to the flaws of capitalism. Because under capitalism, what you get is a bunch of rich bastards who inherited all of their money and just end up being landlords or investors. And then all of their wealth just comes from collecting money on assets that they just happen to own. They don't provide any value. They don't do any labor. And they certainly didn't own any of their wealth. They were just lucky. Does, did they earn it? All right. Did, are they providing anything to society? No. So why should they well, exist? No, but you know what? Their grandparents like, worked really hard position. for them to be able to have that. That's the whole point. They wanted to make so sure they, that they had hard, so they to should, Wait, so just because, you're, just because your ancestors were hardworking people who contributed well, to society, that means I work you don't have day, it. That right? means your kids don't have it. That means that you get well, to experience an even, so even more that wealth that and success than about. your ancestors ever did just because they were the ones who did all the work and you're just well, the, the lazy fuck you know, who collects rent. My labor are to make sure that I end up having generational wealth. Right? Well, I would I, like to make yeah. sure that I can make sure that my kids... Right, then become an engineer, build houses, you know, contribute right. to society. And then you can use that wealth to make sure your kids also get good education so that they can get good jobs as doctors or whatever. And they can also earn money. And then everyone contributes to society and everyone's happy. What you have under capitalism is that people are just speculating and investing and doing and just playing with numbers, but they're not really adding anything. They're just wasting resources. You're not going to get it, dude. It's You're speaking from a position laziness. of like, you, I don't know, dude. You're just not going to get it. It's pure laziness. Oh, my God. Please you can't earn the disagree. right to not, you know, you can't. Well, there is play. no agree to disagree, Oliver. Let me ask you a question, Oliver. Yeah. Okay, one question. If you own a business, do you not want to be the one who decides what goes on in it? Or do you I want your work to own a business. Be? It's not my problem. Well, why well, should no, you own a business if you're not the one who, like, does all the work? If you are... The one who created that business, Oliver. Would you like? Let's say you have your video game collection, right? Oh, you can game. own it. Just don't. Right. Just you know, make it small. I don't care. Like, think about it, Oliver. But if you control uh -huh. like a significant amount of people and you don't talk to all of them and listen to their ideas, then no, you shouldn't be in charge, because it's no longer your ideas or it's no longer your labor. It's their labor. Okay. You know? So like why should you right. still be in charge? Uh, congratulations. The world I mean, is that both everybody's right. right. There's no problems anymore. Please. I, yeah. Look, bazinga, bazinga. Like, like I think I mean, like a big problem over. in this country is that everyone just assumes that one day they'll make it big and become a multimillionaire and have all these businesses and these success stories. When in reality, everyone is working hard, but most people aren't going to make it because you can't have well, everyone make it. Like can idiots. you? Most people are like retarded. You don't notice that? Like most yeah, people sure are, like, literally built yeah. to like work in yeah, like a like cashier you know. job and they don't have a fucking clue what nope, the fuck they're gonna that's do. That's not how it works. First of all, have you ever talked to a cashier? I have been a cashier. Oh, so I you're an idiot. Every one of these so you're built you're for that I have never worked. Brokey, I have worked. Brokey, you're built for it. You're a cashier. You must have been built for it. Well, I don't know. I mean, you should keep working your job. Work, right? your cash. No job is better than other people. 
right? But there are some people who are not going to be able to be able to get other jobs, right? Some people just can't, but some people are able to. That's not saying I wouldn't work as a cashier. If that's are all you saying that billionaires are billionaires because they're, they're, they're just that smart and cool. Well, I mean, when you look about Elon Musk, magic, or you look at like, let me tell you, Facebook, as some who it has who regularly who grew up in like the one percent. Most of the rich success stories you see about people making up from nothing their lives, they just knew millionaires. Most pe- most millionaires just knew other millionaires. That's how you become rich in this society. It isn't about your intelligence or your skill or your knowledge. That doesn't. That's all secondary. It helps, but it doesn't really matter. It's all about luck and connections in this world. And all right. Once again- that's right. That's so why, you know what, that's why you so many CEOs planet? are stupid bastards. Because you that's can't why they're also give incompetent people and they make dumb mistakes no matter how all the time. And they're so people, out of touch. Because it doesn't roll. really matter whether or not they're competent because they're always just paying other people to do all the work anyway. So it doesn't well, guess matter. What? Well, guess fucking what, right? They're just you can't give bank. free handouts to people. People don't fucking deserve it. Oh, you, don't think you, you remember that fucking COVID relief fund shit? Yeah. Oh, how many people do you think actually spent that shit on COVID relief fund money? Most people probably used it to pay off rent and food. I think that's you know? fucking bullshit because in my college, everybody that I saw that got that fucking COVID relief fund used it on bullshit. And that was taxpayer money. That and also it was helps all the economy like significantly. I think that's a very right? reactionary view on how that works. First of so, all, once again, the it's like free handouts. That's bad inflation. First of all, Handouts, as you call them, are what co- are are what's used to combat inflation and things like that because it keeps the economy going. It's what gets. If you have more money, you're going to spend more money, right? Well, obviously. So that keeps the economy running. It keeps things moving. All right. That's how the government balances out things like inflation by giving people money. It's when you stop doing that and just give everyone tax breaks that you have a handful of people collecting a bunch of wealth that they don't need and will never use. And just hoard and hoard and hoard. And then you have some people starving and other people with more than they know to do it. And also, being poor isn't about not working for being an idiot. Like, you know, you know it, ha- it takes multiple generations to, to rise from poverty to wealth, right? Like, well, in then, America right. especially, it takes about four generations to rise from the pov- poverty line into middle class. You think that's because eat? Is, do you think that's because three of those generations were just dumbasses, or do you think it's just that difficult to you know rise above your material means in this country? I think if you play your cards right and you know the right people, it's gonna happen, right? Some yeah, you, you know the right people. So if you're born you know to what? people who are already rich, then you're gonna obviously it's know the land of the right people. Man. You have free but then will. If you're born poor, you want, you want. Yeah, that's because I can tell you, I've well, met a lot of people that is the land of opportunity, not for immigrants. Most immigrants end up poor because they come Mac, in with nothing, you know? Most- I have met a lot of people, dude. I've seen yeah. a lot of things, dude. And I can yeah. tell you right now that the majority of people Do you are know stupid. any statistics, like population surveys? I don't need a anything? fucking statistic. I can tell you that the majority of people well, that I've heard. one person please, meeting, please like, what, a few help. hundred oh, people out of where? A few listen, hundred listen, million? So how accurate is your experience, you know? I know my experiences are accurate, because if I go with my worldview, I'd be, like, another, like, bougie fuck, you know? Well, and I that's can how it was that... for a decent, a significant portion of my life. No, it's like it's the, oh, fuck, it's the upchucks, but it's Pirano now. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, whatever, dude. We're, like, we're debating oh, socialism you know? versus capitalism, and he thinks that, you know, right. Right. Please, 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 please don't drag it on. Please, please. And I think that workers should own the companies they work in. I and think that's the argument. I create a company i want to fucking own that bitch dude that's my company I, my you empire. can own it under a, yeah but if you're yeah but if you Max, have like on. if you're doing a significant amount of work comparable to like Max, the amount of people, people, my workers are not yeah, going to own determine it. whether or not what i my most work. of the work you shouldn't because you're not doing most of the work facts. are you Max, that doesn't make any fucking sense dude no fucking worker is going to sit there and tell me that they're doing more work than me 
you know what Good. has made no, me individual uh, maybe but oh what if there, were, if there were a hundred people under you are you doing more work than a hundred people or are you collecting if the money produced the by a hundred people there, initially put in the effort to do that and create a fucking business then what's stopping other people from right, doing that? because there's a bunch question, of different loans please. that people can take out and there's a million other things that people can do to, in order to get this stuff up and running dude it's not an impossible thing my grandfather spent his whole it is for life a lot of people. just because it's working. not impossible it doesn't mean that it's yeah. somehow easy and that uh, anyone so can do it when you record uh, it goes off of your audio anybody right? can do it yeah, yeah like uh when you're then recording, why doesn't yeah. everyone yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I just lower down to like 30% each, like. Oh, for me, they're just gone completely. I know for like the next two hours, they're not going to have a single valuable thing to say. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. You know, maybe I should just mute that like completely. Yeah, yeah the I have. And they're telling me that you so know how to like, better. Mute. Okay, and then a little kingdom. It's a lie. It's a lie. Mute. Okay. Yeah, it, it's so much better like that. Okay, it's just the two of us, Prana. I like that. <sighs> Prana, how was your day? Um, it kind of just started, but I hung out my mother's washing, but the neighbor next door, not Gator Lord, uh, was burning her mail, and the smoke <laughs> is blowing directly into my yard. So... Burning, like, her own mail, or, like, your mail? <laughs> no, not my mail. Yeah, She's burning her own mail. Right. Like a flame, she got burnt out and died. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still not unmuting him. Dwayne the Croc. Just, he just uh, fucking pushed me out. That's all he's just like, out of principle. Nowhere. That's his punishment. He's just I'm not fucking unmuting him. He's telling me that if I own a business, I can't be a dictator. Oh my well, god, my... shut up! Nobody well, wants I mean, to hear it. You can mess about it later, not now. Yeah, this stream is already over. I don't know if those guys understand that we're trying to be funny in this like yeah. thing we're trying to do a yeah, funny thing is. here dude i was <laughs> never supposed to be an upchuck i was literally just forced into this half the yeah, time i don't even know why i'm here like this is like everyone's sitting here telling me that i'm like supposed to be funny you dude, say you be don't want to be in the you're supposed you're to be the lone good. actor that makes max the bad guy in the argument that means he lost our like i'm literally but like besides that oliver you and i both know that that's bullshit Although if you i really have want, to like, participate i'd say max is right really I think that you're both well, right I, in some aspects, so both right and others. Like, I don't think it's that big well, of a deal. Well, I definitely agree that there are some it's things that, that, black and white. that can definitely be used. But to adopt and socialist uh, policy, you know, opinion, and stuff, and there, I think and that's like, the entire point of it, too. It's not one of correct, so there's no point in debating. That he knew more about the issues with Cuba than I do, when half of the people that I know around me have lived oh, through it. Fuck it, the upchucks. You know, so Max is sitting there in his little fucking world after admitting he's rich and saying that he knows more than people who've lived through stuff. You know, and it's just not going to work for me. I'm a skater. Can you do us more? And now, second to that, Oliver, you and me both know that you are not going to be able to sit there and let other people make decisions for your own business, dude. That's like me going into Upchucks and saying that I've helped you, and therefore, since I've helped you, I need to make decisions. The fuck? It's your server, right? Because that's what he wants to adopt. He wants me to make a business and then allow my random ass fucking the cashier and the fucking janitor to make a decision on what I want for my like business. What allows the hello? Yeah, I'm listening. What allows those people any any fucking right over my business? None. Nothing. They are employees of mine. I'm allowing them to work for me, right? Sure. And I can tell you right now, Oliver that Vincent, despite everything, has lived through communism. And he told me that when it happened, the first thing they started doing was taking land and giving it to the poor people. And you know what happened to their country? It got destroyed. Yeah. Because the majority of people are fucking stupid. And Max is sitting there acting like I'm arrogant for it. You've seen it. Well, my dad lived through that, but I don't know, man. I don't really want you know? to talk about that anymore. Actually, majority Dennis, of people uh, are like this recording. morning at like 1 o'clock, I got woken up to a bunch of phone calls. But for once, it wasn't from the upchucks. Yeah, it was. It was from... you, you say the name. No, oh, no, 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 no. This is a completely different story. Don't worry. It's not about those guys. What guys? You know who I'm talking about, Dennis. He's talking about me and Max. No, he's talking... That... Are you talking about them? No. Uh, this is a completely different story. This oh. uh, regarded from everything Discord or upchucks. Oh. Oh, so not about Furry Central. No, it's not about Furry Central US. <laughs> U.S. server. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, U.S. server, sorry. Um, I got a bunch of missed calls, and then I look at my phone, and it is my 
friends, Big H and uh, some other guy. And they were on an Instagram face uh, FaceTime call. And they were just silently playing with filters for about an hour. Just uh, playing with Instagram filters silently for about one whole hour in the middle of the night. They woke me up so they can show me a bunch of Instagram uh, face filters. It was really fun. How did that make you feel? Um, it made me feel really happy because uh, it made Big H look really cute. He had like a bunch of baby filters on, uh, a couple with makeup. One where he was a bumblebee. That was good. A bumblebee? Yeah, an entire bumblebee. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bumblebee. Bumblebee, you say. How is your day, Dennis? It's been just prime for Anno. Just prime? Yeah, just prime. Like the uh, robot or the and it, or the drink? Uh, both. Okay, I like that. I like Logan Paul. I like KSI. In actuality, you know, in actuality, I don't. But, uh... I like Prime. I always thought like KSI hated Logan Paul and now they're like best friends or something. Yeah, it's all for money. That's the main thing. Dude. Oh wait. Why did I we made a lot of money. More? We made a lot of money being enemies and fighting, but now we can make a lot of uh, money having a podcast and energy drink and not fighting. I think they you can raise a good point, Logan. Logan, you you make a good point, mate. I'm I'm gonna make an energy drink. I'm gonna make water. It's me, KSI. Hey, Dennis, did you ever answer my uh, Pokemon question from the last episode? Uh, what was it? Uh, what Pokemon do you think is the most edible? I don't think I ever did. Uh, I would assume, like, I don't know, like, most edible as in, like, it would take the to eat. I, I feel like, yeah, easiest to eat, and it, like, takes the least for them to just be bit into. Uh, like, is there a Pokemon you think... Could just be bitten in. Because Cheruby is just like a walking fruit. And like, same with Bond. What's that one that's just an ice cream? I forgot the name. Oh, Vanilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to take a bite out of Vanilla because like it's going to be super fucking cold. And also, like, that's not like actual ice cream. That's just like snow that makes it look like ice cream. I mean, still, it is just snow. Just take a bite out of it. But I guess it's the least. It is just snow. There's no real benefit to eating it, so... Yellow snow, on the other hand. Oh, absolutely. I I see him walking with yellow snow, and I just... I go insane. I run up to him and just eat him in one bite. And I ask for seconds. I think Bulbasaur wouldn't be too bad. Do you think he has meat, or he's just all plant? Uh, no, he's probably got meat. Got beef? <laughs> yeah, what... He's pro yeah, he's probably got, like... I mean, he's probably got whatever frogs have. But he's not a frog. Uh, he's frog like well, He's reptile like that's for sure. He's more amphibious. Would you like Bulbasaur more if he had like really skinny legs but he could jump high? Find my phone. Uh so like what if he was just a water type frog? I'll be back. Yeah, if he was just a frog. Yeah, I know, just think about fucking the shit out of Mac Water in the gym off. <laughs> the sexual tension between those two is crazy. <laughs> Makes me happy. How do you think uh, the recording prior to this exact moment Dude, has it was gone? One of our best. You like this episode? Oh yeah, like when Saul was eating the minnows, that was great. Oh, yeah, I wasn't there for that. No, it was just an interesting story. That was our actually yeah. Competency. Go tell Saul that the uh, fighting's over now, and he could join back. I don't think he's going to, but uh, I'll try. What games do you think would be 10 times better if they were the exact same as they are? The only difference is you play as Sonic. Uh, less to the unlikely. Okay, I like it. You know what that is, or do I have to explain it to you? You have to explain that. It's a uh, game, the angry video game nerd reviewed. Oh, okay. It's about this really slow nerd stuck on an island. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I see what you did. I feel like we should, uh, we need a less to the unlikely remaster. Like... All that fighting before, that should have been devoted to, uh, talks about a Lester the Unlikely remaster. Yeah. I'll have to watch the, uh, AVGN to you catch up with the lore. the AVG lore. video game nerd right now. Yeah, I will, I will. What is it? What is it? Uh, what's the game? What? Lester the... Yeah, don't worry, I found it, found it, found it, found it. Although, Dennis, I will tell you, I'm more of a, I'm more of a Channel Awesome kind of guy. I like Channel Awesome. You don't like it? I like it. Oh, okay, you do like it. Thank goodness. Cool. Which do you like more? Uh, well, Channel Awesome has got Doug Walker and Linkara, so... Yeah, that's a great point. I think Angry Video Game Nerd is just too dang negative. I think he has to look at these games through a lens of already being angry. I wish it was the Smiling Video Game 
note. It was something along the lines. Happy video game note. I mean, that stops skeletons from fighting. But what if he just befriends the skeletons instead? Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's stopping them from fighting. Would you ever be friends with a skeleton, Dennis? Uh, sure. What's the scenario? How'd you meet him? At Chili's. Yeah. In the bathroom. Chili's is awesome. In Okay, you're at Chili's in the bathroom, and you're taking a big fat Nedry dump. And next to you, you hear rattling and then groaning, and you just hear a really hollow voice. Hey, oh, could you pass the toilet paper? And uh, you look under the stall, and it's a skeleton. And uh, what, do you, what do you do from there? You want some toilet paper? I mean, you just get, like, 99 lives, and, like, or at least over 100, so, like... I feel like every game should just give you that many lives to start yeah, off with. I mean, I feel like live systems are just fucking retarded. Yeah. You can kind of understand them, but... For the most yeah. part, yeah, they are retarded. <laughs> and I think it's uh, it's very mean to people who are bad at video games. Not naming names. Red, I'm going around. I'm a little tired. I'm also, like, my brain is, like, 100% or, like, 95% on, like, grinding these lives. So, like... Oh, you're grinding lives right now. Okay. I thought yeah. you were just done. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it now. Oh, because that's a bunch of one-ups. Okay. I, I understand. I thought they were just like little Sonic Pops that Sonic snacks on. I didn't realize they were one-ups. Or oh, extra lives. Sorry. One-up is the other guy. We really need a protocol for uh, ending arguments after they start. You're not a fan of arguing? I'm a fan of arguing when it's funny. That just wasn't funny. <laughs> what do you mean? It was great. A lot of great points were uh, shared. I think we should actually revive that argument. Dennis, if... You owned a company, would you want to completely own it or let the people who work for you uh, decide what happens with it? Uh, I mean, I'd want to, I, I mean, I'd want to work for that. I mean, I, I'd want to, oh, I'd want to have, like, everything, but, like, I'd take the fucking input of, like, my employees. Exactly. What's the point of an employee? I think that's exactly what needed to be said. Like, they were both focused on, like, too extreme. Exactly. I think they were just focused on being correct. When both sides of both arguments have correct to them. I think there's validity to every argument and every side of every view. I bought a bunch of, um, scented Crayola markers. But I only bought them because I thought they were crayons. But they're just, uh, like those really bad markers that make the paper wet when you use them and stuff and i hate those but however they do smell not like uh ink and they smell like pineapples and cotton candy but i'm not going to use them and i definitely won't just have them so i can sniff them because that is something addicts do is sniff markers but damn if they don't smell good i'll tell you that much i gave them all one whiff just so i didn't waste my money so obnoxious. How did it turn from one of like the greatest recording sessions ever to like one of the worst? Um, I don't know. I, I really couldn't answer that. I think it's because Saul's gone. I think Saul's a lot better than uh, a lot of people give him credit for. I see the Upchuck Meister's always hating on Saul. I think cut the kids some slack, okay? This is what it's like without him. What do you think? Huh? Yeah. Although I will agree, Saul has his faults. Like, uh, where he lives, the color of his skin. Dennis, read out your stats, all your statistics, like your health, your defense, your health, your attack, all that. All really high. Okay, thank you. The fight? I think it's cool. No, he's coming up back back up for phase two, and it's gonna be even harder. Ah, it's just fine. Okay, well, thank you, Upchuck Masters. We gotta finish the other two stages, man. It's you and I playing. Nobody does better than us at carrying recordings by ourselves, man. Come on, Dennis. Do you think it's worth it? I think it's worth it. Really deep down in your heart, you believe that this is worth it? Yeah. I mean, look at what's happening on dog street right now. Like, man, sucking out all the life. <laughs> Isn't this interesting? Don't you want to see the end of this? And we're about to go to a candy level. Okay. Okay. You know what? Okay. I like that. Look, look at what happened to Cuba. He's getting covered in slime. Isn't it so funny? Ground. What a funny game. He's getting covered in ground up upchuck. Yeah, he's getting covered in upchuck. <laughs> Dr. Robotnik uh, just blends upchucks in his spare time. He just throws them all in a blender. Yeah, he has them in little cages. <laughs> <laughs> Those little fucking capsules. <laughs>
But Sonic's racist, so he just doesn't save them. <laughs> just upchucks are uh, the most agreed upon, just pure vermin in the Sonic world. No one cares about them. Dude, that's which kind is of a big issue going on, and we need to address it. Yeah, I think that's uh, messed up. I think we should cancel Sonic and Eggman. When do you think we can get Sonic uh, on the show? I mean, I'm kind of a little done with special guests. Yeah, I don't think Sonic would be too fun on this on this uh, yeah, program. I mean, he doesn't mesh well. Saul would probably like it though. Oh, Saul would go go. go. Saul would love that. <laughs> he wouldn't go anything in specific, but yeah, he'd enjoy it a lot. What would you do if you woke up in this land, Dennis? Because I think I'd kill myself. This is just too much. Oh, yeah, this is, like, stressful. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd just wake up, see so much fucking food around me, and I'd just... I'd be too overwhelmed. My head would explode. It's just too fucking much. I'd bury my head in ice cream and drown in it. God damn it! I just think Sonic Lost... I, I, I think Sonic Lost World is just kind of a cursed game. <laughs> it's great. I've never seen anything about Lost World. Is this, like, a well-renowned game? No. Oh, okay. It's good. It's considered to be like a not bad game, but like one of the most mediocre Sonic games for sure. It doesn't look too uh, appealing. I wouldn't play it, but I'm just not that big a fan of uh, Sonic games. I like Sonic as a guy, but the games, meh. Yeah, Sonic does a lot of charity work. He does. He's a. I do hear how that he my... really hates like crippled people, though. Yeah, he loves like. It's like uh, Eric Cartman when he sees midgets. Whenever Sonic sees someone in a wheelchair, he just cannot stop laughing. Sorry, little person. But anytime Sonic sees someone with, like, a broken leg in a wheelchair or just any impairments, specifically to the legs, he just bursts out laughing and can't stop. Just like he, likes grabbing... <laughs> he likes grabbing people's wheelchairs and then just running them really far. Like, nowhere near where they're supposed to be, then locking their wheelchair there. He's been caught many times doing it, because he just does it in broad daylight, because he knows no one can catch him. Yeah. If you saw Sonic sleeping, Dennis, would you fart on him? God damn it. Fuck. Oh, bueno, I'm gonna cry. Oh, no, don't cry, okay, Dennis. Okay, luckily Candyland's an easy level. I like that. Jeez, I really think the upchucks need to buck up and pick up the slack around here. No one's hot uh, in the upchuck like they used to be. I remember when Saul first joined and his eyes were full of wonder and uh, hope for the upchucks. Now he leaves every episode he's in before it's finished. Where did the time go? What went wrong? How many levels in the game are left in total? Not that many. How long until you have Supersonic? in your grasp or is that a thing where it's like just every red ring in every level then you're supersonic every red ring in every level oh but do you get to enjoy supersonic for like the entire time as soon as you have it like from then on you get to have it yeah okay i like that what would your design for super nedry be what would my design for super nedry i don't know like like super regular nedry or super uh yeah both uh i'd just take off the supersonic and just make you really <laughs> <yell>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up, hairball. I'm so. I just thought of something really funny. Sure you did. It was an image of this, and then uh, editor. Who's the guy? Wait, what's Robert his name? John dies. Editor John dies. I put a really funny image up on screen. Like, is he cool? I haven't got to met him yet. I've known him for a few years. He's pretty awesome. I like him already, and I can't wait for this new era of of Chucks. We have an editor now. Like, for the time being, at least. Are we gonna fall out due to drama? I just think that, like, eventually every Upchuck is, like, gonna die because of Upchuck-related shenanigans. <laughs> I think they're all weak. If you can't handle the Upchuck, get out of the Upchuck. Which I guess they did. If you can't handle the Upchuck, stay in it. Anyway, that's the saying. God damn it. Whatever, at least it's a fast level. What would you do if you woke up and you were pregnant and then... Five weeks later, you gave birth to Knuckles the Echidna. Would you drown it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you drown it in the bar? Yeah. <laughs> that's messed up. Why? What did he do? Uh, he knows what he did. You know what, that's did a good I, point. If I gave birth, like, did I marry a regular woman? Uh, I mean, I had look, sex with a regular woman at least. Um, I was going to do, you just woke up and you were pregnant, but yes, you have sex with a regular woman. And then you become pregnant with Knuckles the Echidna. Okay, well, 
I mean, and she's like, please, 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 can we keep it? Can we keep it? Please. I mean, I'd have to kill like both of them. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> when you give birth and you're holding the baby knuckles the echidna in your arm, he looks at you with big, big fat puppy eyes, and he and he sucks his thumb thumb, and he looks at you with uh, all the love in his heart. Can you still bring yourself to do it? Yeah, yeah, I think I could. Honestly, if anything, that just makes me do it like faster. <laughs> you just squish its head right there. Yeah, like I know it needs to be done. <laughs> you know what? I think fair. You did just give birth to a demon. Pretty much. In like two weeks, he's gonna be sprinting around your house, destroying shit and eating he's everything. He's gonna be digging into the ground. He's gonna be gliding all over the place. Exactly. The walls gonna be covered in fucking knuckle holes. He never opens doors either. He just runs through them. Yeah. So yeah, I w I was uh, skeptical in your decision, but I completely agree. Yeah. That thing does not deserve to be in the same world as me, let alone the same damn house. I think auto scrollers make no sense, especially in games that are all about speed, because it forces you to slow down. Actually, except in Rayman. In Rayman, it's good. It's done very well in Rayman. Like uh, when they sing Black Betty while you're Rayman running, and there's dragons. Have you played Rayman Legends, Dennis? I'm I sure you have. I've only played the original Rayman and Rayman 2. I love Rayman 2. That's one of my favorite games. Rayman 3 is pretty good. I've heard Hoodlum Havoc. Havoc. Uh, you should get. Uh, you should. You should obtain it. I've only played uh, Origins and Legends, and a little bit of one for the DS. I completely forgot what it was though. And Hoodlum Havoc. I played Hoodlum Havoc. <laughs> If a wizard came up to you and he just, uh, he said, look, in 10 seconds, you're going to become a Pokemon and you have to be that forever for the rest of your life. Which Pokemon are you choosing? You have to be it for the rest of your life. Actually, no, man, I think that's stupid. I think this is a very, like, obvious answer. I think the correct answer is Ditto. Who wouldn't want to become a Ditto? You're made of pink goop. That's awesome. And as long as you have, like, sunglasses, no one can tell who you are. That's what the Ditto did in the movie. <laughs> Oh yeah, there were dittos in uh, Detective Pikachu, weren't, weren't there? Yeah, it was one of the main antagonists, which I thought was... I remember nothing about the movie, but I remember thinking it was... Uh, the reveal that it was a ditto was exactly like how they did it, uh... Scrappy-Doo in the Scooby-Doo movie. It was the exact same reveal. If you saw, uh, Scrappy-Doo on the side of the road while driving, would you just swerve and run him over? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'd got him down in the streets of, uh, Miami. <laughs> what can I yeah, say? Yeah, I was driving. Yeah. A holiday is gonna be a tough time. I think I'd get out and I'd uh I'd grab him and slam his head in my car door and then press his face up against like the engine of my car. I hate Scrappy dude. And I think if I saw Scooby I'd also run him over. As funny as he is on the TV, if he was here in the real world, I couldn't handle that. Well we saw I him in the real world in like the Scooby Doo movies that you were you were just talking about. Yeah, and I don't like that. So if I saw him while I was driving I'd hit him. You hear that Scooby Doo? I'm right. coming for you. I wouldn't put it past Scooby Doo to just burst into my house with a shotgun. That's why it needs to be stopped. Oh well, that's true. I have ninety lives. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a uh, robot Nick on the uh show than Sonic. Brano. How is Australia this time of year? Um it's the middle of winter and it's supposed to be cold, but it kind of just isn't. It's still uh, pretty hot, actually. Sometimes it's cold, but only like really early in the morning. And uh, there are birds around at this time of year. What kind of birds? All kinds, like uh, pigeons. Who joined? Is it soft? Sorry, that was me. Was it? Yeah. Hello? Oh, there he is. Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on, wait, your audio's very low. Hello? Oh, hello. It's because of the AirPods. Uh, yeah, what you guys do? doing? Recording. Playing video games. What? I'm on video. Yes. No, we're just playing video games. I just have to be on video. I'm just fucking with you. What? I I can't like hear you like. <laughs> should I start another war? Uh yeah, I feel like you should uh, give your opinions on another controversial subject. You should uh, talk about abortion. Yeah, dude, let's go to Upchucks discuss abortions over Sonic. Yeah. Are you are you still in your gym? What? I are am. you still in your Yeah, I'll explain it. But I have a question. Yeah. Can we pretty please go tomorrow? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Again, I have a lot of doctor's appointments. I don't know when they're happening. I'm gonna ask now, but uh I'm gonna try to go, like no matter the cost. What's Higgity happening, homeboys? 
He's there. We go. Oh, yeah. So that's not Michael. That's actually Max. After the fight, he uh, raped and killed him. So uh, that's actually like, and he adopted his identity. Oh, that's good. That makes you very happy. Dude, this is so stupid. Club space is. Why are awesome. you so echoed? He's at a gym. Because I'm at the gym. Why is he at the gym? Uh, Why would he call us from the gym? I'm chilling, uh, dude. You said you're chilling? Yeah. That's fair. I'm going to start referring to um, him as Boy Kisser. Exclusively. Who, Piranha? No, uh, the other one. The other one? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, yes, Why would you immediately think it was me? <laughs> Piranha <laughs> isn't a Boy yeah, Kisser. Piranha isn't a boy kisser. Dude, I am oh, not sweet. a boy kisser. Stuff you don't know. I am not Dude, a boy Piranha's not a boy kisser. I am not a goddamn uh, boy kisser. Experience. You made out with Piranha? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was very sexy. He called me am on the right? too. Oh, it yeah. was hot as fuck. It was 4K UHD. Yeah, when I looked around, I realized there was cameras in every corner of the room. There were cameras in Dennis's eyes. That will be released on, uh... Oh, Dennis, is though. it true that you're wearing a, a fucking Google Glass? I saw a video about, with my life in gaming about like some sort of new Google Glass shit. Yeah, they're making another one. No, I don't know if it's Google specifically, but I know that there is something. Yeah, but my life in gaming, some of my favorite YouTubers, they did a video where it's like you, uh, they reviewed, uh, these, uh, glasses that are, like, you can, like, create, like, an, uh, like, an extended reality and, like, use them to play, uh, like, basically you just, like, project a screen on you like, play, like, Switch games, PS5, PC games. And, like, they were talking about, like, its uses with our retro game. That guy sounds like a boy kisser. Dude, do you know how fucked this is? What? I could have gotten into Club Space for free today. What's Club Space? Okay, so, who here knows about Miami? What's Miami? So, Club Space is, like, where all these fucking celebrities always go. And one of my friends offered me a free ticket, but I'm 20. So, I can't go in, because I'm not a fucking woman, dude. Get older, you fucking loser. Yeah, no, but it's fucking kid. stupid because, like, the way these clubs work is they want a bunch of women in there so dudes can fuck them. So I have to wait until I'm 21, but these women can go in there at fucking 18. It's so upsetting, dude. Like, it's the most obnoxious shit. Like, and women get in free. That seems sexist. Oh, oh it dude, is. Dude, it's so sexist. But all they want is this is what club space and all these clubs really are. All about. Yeah. It is a bunch of rich old men who can go in there because they have the money, and then they can pick up, like, young chicks. That's what it is. You know, my club experience is I want to go there and get really fucked up. Like, the last time there was this dude who looked like the guy from Breaking Bad, and he kept getting angry at me because he thought I was trying to hit on his girlfriend, but I was, like, so fucked up, I kept walking up to him and telling, like, his girlfriend he looked like the guy from Breaking Bad. Like Walter White? No, the, the other guy, the enemy. Jesse? Uh, Tuco? Gus? Tuco. Tuco. The, the, who's the, the tall black guy? The tall Spanish uh, black guy. Gus Fring. Anyway, he Gus like Fring. Gus. Him, he looked like Gus. <laughs> like, I'm talking like spot on look like Gus. Ask him to say your name. Dude, he would just kept thinking I was trying to take his girlfriend. <laughs> Were you? And he was getting really, no, I wasn't. I really was just super fucked up. And like, was she my hot? Name, not really. She was way older than me, dude. She's like 40. They never stopped me before, big dog. Hey, you know, it hasn't stopped me either. Actually, edit Ages. that out. That could be really fucked up. Yeah, Age is but a like, number unless it's illegal. Edit out this video. I don't edit, understand. Edit that comment. Off, so I swear wrong. to God, like edit yeah, like, that. Just like has become like one of the most obnoxious recordings. Ever. Like edit, edit this whole conversation, but like still. <laughs> Age is but a number unless it's illegal. That's what I'm saying, dude. I feel like that's gonna make me feel like I'm fucking weird. Are you not? I mean, I'm weird, but not, not like that weird. Like, that's weird, weird. He's, I mean, you're like, a freak. Like, I like, I talk to older women. Ah, fuck, I accidentally flicked my balls you're before a... I just scratched them. Ah, fuck. You're a freak. Dude, let me flick your balls, Oliver. What? 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 
What? What did he say? You need to flick your balls, man. You need me to flick my balls? No, I need to flick your balls. All right. Dude, I remember I had a pimple on my nuts this one time, and I was so scared to pop it. You don't pop your nuts? No, I mean, I've only ever had one. Hey, that dumb fuck Giannis got taken out of the fucking game. Fuck that guy. You guys like basketball? Not particularly. I think sports are kind of a great. I think you should be shot and killed in the streets. That's why Oliver only does esports. No, I hate esports e too. Esports are not real sports. They are. I hate them. And they should not dude, be oh, recognized as such. Abs so hard, dude. Fuck them. Dude, speaking you of abs, dude, I can do it because I can literally feel my abs, but I have my fucking gut, dude. Like, this you mean to tell good. me that you think esports athletes are the same as, like, NBA players? Yeah, that's exactly what I've been saying this entire time. What the fuck is wrong with you? I hope you get shot. Is Piranha still here? Piranus? Okay, Chris he's definitely Stapp's not here. He would have responded to Piranus. That was him. One of these days, you're gonna be shot and killed. Oh my fucking god! I just need to lose some weight. That's literally all it is. I don't even want to be in the gym right now. I'm really not feeling it today after everything that happened. Yeah. Then go home. <laughs> Exercise and do oh my god, guys. Epstein just killed himself. Oh Holy my god, shit, no way. Yeah. Holy shit. I would have never guessed, dude. <sighs> Fuck, I'm so fucking tired. Holy shit. Dude, I genuinely think you need to have a talk with Max about him not being such an asshole every time he's trying to get a point across. So Matthew? Yes, you need to have a talk with Matthew, yes. Are you talking about me? No, the other dumb fuck. Yeah, but Max was just fucking wrong, dude. If I own a business, dude, I'm not going to... Let someone else make a decision about He's like a communist, dude. No shit, dude. That's oh what's fucking God, stupid. Pig, That's I why he doesn't have a plot. He's a... Jesus. <sighs> Never, I'm going to keep on talking about communism, dude. I'm going to fucking destroy every commie, dude. I'm the American nationalist. They will not take my country. You should go Dude, I'm a... that condominium or whatever. There's yeah, nothing wrong with nationalism. Like, there isn't. What's I'm wrong a with liking your own country? Dude? I'm a nationalist. Like, oh, my bad. Let me walk around and say how much the U.S. sucks every day all day. Like, Mr. Dimwit sat there and fucking told me that he's rich. And therefore, he knows more than me. That's his whole point. He literally told yeah. me. He's like, oh, no, I'm wealthy. I come from the 1%. And I'm like, well, great, dude. Well, the fucking poor guy here is talking about how capitalism is the best way. That's got to tell you something. He, he, the rich man gets fat, dude. Well, dude, like, what's wrong with generational wealth? What's wrong with me going out there and making sure my family's secured for generations? Nothing at all, bro. That's what I'm saying. What's next? Is Max gonna give everybody bitches? Uh, what Pokemon do you think is the most edible? Uh, yeah, I, I, I love Bulbasaur. Well, I have a really good idea. What? No, either Bulbasaur or no, wait, you can't eat Magikarp, right? Yeah, you can. You can? Yeah, you can eat Gyarados. I mean, yeah, I think, I mean, I would imagine you could. No, I but remember like, Team Rocket off. tried and it wouldn't work. No, they just weren't allowed to. No, with, uh, in the first season of the first, in, uh, of, uh, Indigo League. No, they wanted to, but, like, they were told not to, because, like, that was inhumane. No, but they tried to, like, they bit the motherfucker and they couldn't bite him. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I think that we should listen to Max, and we should enact socialism, but we just give everybody bitches. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Like, I think that everybody should have one chick, dude, including other women. Dude, did like, you know I that Max... Just to, like, appeal to the gays, we should just, like... Yeah, I think, yeah, we should, we should give everybody dude, one, one chick. Dude. Definitely, dude, because sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, dude, I want some BBC. Like the news dude. channel? Like the what? Like the news channel? 
BBC no, news. I'm talking like big black cock, dude. Like really like girthy, dude. Like that's what I want. Oh dear. Oh bother. Dude, they're gonna take our wives and force us to marry dogs, dude. Finally. Did you hear about that? Dude, I think it's gonna be National Fuck Horses Day, dude. Mr. Uh, Mr. Hands. Oh God, I tried explaining that to somebody the other day, and they were just like, "Why do you know that?" <laughs> Unumclaw, so Washington. I, I spent too much time on the internet, dude. Could you imagine living in Unumclaw, Washington, and just knowing? Could you imagine being Mr. Hands and being at the center of the entire fucking U.S. discussing whether or not they should ban bestiality, dude? Like <laughs> that's gotta be fucking horrible, dude. Like, you got, like, Congress watching you fuck a horse. He died that night. Did he really? Fucking that horse. Yeah, he died fucking that horse. Yeah. Wait, are we talking about Mr. Hands? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, why does everybody know that fact except me? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm glad that, that I, like, I didn't Hans know that. Mr. going to be taught in history class. Hey, fuck this, dude. The only socialism we should implement is everybody gets a free horse. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no, dude, does everyone? Do we get like your question, dude? Is it possible to be like, like, gonna... like, oh. dude, like, what is it called if you're like somebody who likes fucking animals, but like only baby animals, dude? Like, uh, if you only that's like, called, with... that's called like double jeopardy. <laughs> 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 Do, edit that out, by the way, Alatar. Don't let that, don't let that slip into the cracks. Why? Well, what's wrong with it? Is it not right? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You need to learn <laughs> to let go. Out. You need to learn that things that you say will not be cut out. Most are you serious? <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, I'm not even supposed to be you're cut cutting out. You're cutting out everything that's funny, dude. Yeah. It's like, if it's funny, we can't have it. So, essentially, what needs to happen is we get in big trouble. Because I'm gonna be rich and famous, or like, or like you know, because Max told me I'm so sure of myself that I'm gonna be rich and famous. So one day I'm gonna be rich and famous, and they're gonna go and they're gonna find these videos from the upchucks, and they're gonna record like some shit of me confessing and nutting on a cat, and they're going to be like, "Dude, we gotta fuck with this guy, dude." Is your full name attached to these? Dude, my fucking profile picture is literally my face. Dude, change it, change it back to Dwayne the Croc Johnson. Dude, give me a second. What? Dude, ask you. What are No, I'm pushing fucking iron right now, dude. Pumping iron. What is Max talking about? Uh, Max is talking about his, uh, about his grand full day reveal. Oh, All right, fellas, so I'm gonna go now, Bob. Is this the end of the recording? Oh, man. Oh. Dennis, just so you know, it almost could have been. Oh, man. I do have to go soon, but only because my mail came and I want to go get my mail. Yo. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Are we still recording? Yeah, we're still Yo. recording. Booga booga. Booga booga. I am the obese grease. Did Max get a pot in the obese grease? Yeah, he is the obese grease. Oh my god. Is he really? Yeah, he's he voices the obese grease. Leo voices Maurice. Well, great. Well, one day he becomes our communist dictator. I'm going to fucking show the whole world. <laughs> yeah. Back from humble beginnings. I when he was like a he, fat I feel man. Like he just become the obese grease. Like he just like starts like wearing like just a, a skeleton costume, but like with grease all over it, until like eventually yeah. he becomes like he just like does a surgery until that like it's just his skeleton. He fits all his organs into his bone. But he's still really he covered in grease. And like his basement. Yeah. Covered in grease, so he's real slippery, and no one can catch him. Speaking of like slippery and greasy. Yeah. No, I don't Thanks. actually have anything to go with other words. You have big, uh, you have big, big muscles. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, like the other day, I tried Fago for the first time. It was all I, I drank it because uh, we don't have Fago in Australia, but there was one place that did have it, and then I tried it. Yo, dude, Sebastian's eating fucking pollo, dude. Dude, I can crush pollo right now. Sorry. But no, that shit with those plants today, that fucking got me, dude. Yeah, I think that really that put story me here. Is that a story you want to tell on here? Dude, I don't give a fuck, dude. Like, that shit really ticked me off. Dealing with that was really upsetting. Dude, how the fuck is Valentina at a bar? 
Dude, this game is loud. Do you remember that trick? Do you remember that? From? PBA. Oh, John to censor out that name, but yeah, what about her? Dude, she's going to bars, dude. She's like younger than us. I know. That's right. real weird, dude. I couldn't imagine. Didn't she join after you left, though? No. She joined right as I was leaving. But for whatever reason, her and put me on their close friends list, even though I've like rarely talked to them. I think it was because I was friends with them. That's a Censor all these names. Yeah, censor out all those names. We'll have to just cut that part out. I mean, there's not really a point. But funny sound effects over all that part. Yeah, there's a fart noises over everything. Okay, we're gonna have a minute of silence, and we're gonna call it the fart effect spectacular. And make it a high-pitched version of the fart off in the family guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hell is this fart? Hell is this fart, man? Oh, that's disgusting. Taco Bell 12 Cheesy Fiesta Potato Pop. Hello? Yeah, still here. What? Someone's trying to get in the gym. I'm gonna go let him in. Might be a serial killer. Might. Definitely not. Who left? Was that Piranha? No, it was the other guy. Surprise. Piranha is still here. The other guy isn't. Boo hoo. I bet it's a dinner that he's opening the door for. <laughs> yeah, it's got, let's go do some weird ass slime porn stuff. <laughs> Or better yet, it's gonna, or, or, or he could catch it and be his best friend. No, absolutely. I think he's, uh, he's gonna join back in the call, screaming. <laughs> I don't know why, but, like, that voice clip of, like, Principal Skinner's mom just, like, yelling out in terror as, like, the house burns down is just really fucking funny to me. Evil, the house is on fire. Oh, mother, it's just the Northern Lights. Oh, I see how those work. Mmm, steam clams. Who left? Hello, Pirano, or Michael, or whoever joined. Sorry, Hello? Dennis, it's I on my computer. I'm on my computer now, though. Wow. Where were you before? On my iPhone, because I was walking all around, out and about, you know. So, uh, I think if I was starting a business, I would definitely want complete control. And that's all I'm saying. And that's the end of that. That's it. And everyone should get their very own tales. Barely just said, Clinton reviews is the worst. I remember a time I pissed off most of this community. I made fun of a trans flag he made out of VHS tapes. In his comments, he posted a screenshot of the comments on his Twitter. Didn't even censor my username either, lol. There's no shot in finding that tweet, though. Based. Yeah. That's, uh, I like that. I support that. Yeah, I absolutely support that. I mean, you know what? No matter what the thing is, if it's pissing off Quince of Reviews, that's fine. I, I don't like Quince of Reviews very much. It just kind of seems a little obnoxious. <laughs> a shout out to Joey's Food Review, Joey's World Tour. But gas face to shoe nice. I don't like any of these characters. <laughs> what do you mean? They, they all look so cool and unique. And Oh, they definitely do. I like the designs for most of them. I, I, I don't like... Like, these four, I like. I like the girl one, too. I just don't like the emo. <laughs> Are they ever mentioned ever again outside of this game? Yeah, a lot. Especially the uh, red one, Zava. Gross. I don't like that. How many levels past two more levels have we gone, by the way? What? I mean, I was just gonna, like, stop it now, but since Michael's probably gonna come back in a bit, like, I mean, I'm down to record for as long as you can record. But, like, I mean, I'm we just, already I'm... hit the quota, so at this point, like, I'm fine with stopping at any time. I just don't feel like, uh, I'm being that entertaining. I, uh, I, I think feel like you, it's I think you've helped bring this recording back. Oh, you. You missed... Oh, man. I think we should get Soul and, uh, both of the Maxes back in. Yeah. The right and the left side of Max. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, who joined? Sorry, that was me. Of course it was. <laughs> did you bring me? Yeah. Why did you bring Max and me? I don't know, that's the Australian. What? Start some shit, that's all it is. What? I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. One of you guys did something. I am playing the game! And I'm playing with my you know what. I'll my Nintendo back. Switch. Can you trust a guy like that, Dennis, when he says such a thing? I'm at the point where I don't think I can trust any of you. What? Not even little old me. I love this game. I hate this game. I, I don't know how I feel about this game. You know what? This is one of the better Sonic games I've played. It feels a lot more... Yeah, I actually think it looks great. I really want to play it after you are done. Oh, yeah? You want to take the controller? Here you go, man. Uh... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. This is your playthrough, I'll play it when you're done. I'll let you have your fun with uh, this entire game before I 
you know. Well, you take whack at it. Yeah, I can wait. Eat that. Make Song Smith get really big and eat it. Somebody's probably drawn fetish porn of like this exact same situation at this point of the game. I really want to see it. Oh my god. <laughs> can Sonic punch it to destroy it? I feel like you should just grab it. <laughs> What's that story about the guy who wants to fuck, who like did fuck the coconut and he got a bunch of maggots crawling up his urethra? Dude, he deserves that. Were there maggots in the coconut? I would imagine so. Did he know? <laughs> What's uh, the no, he already That's fucked real. it. So. Uh, I'd do it. It's he put the lime in the cooked coconut and drank it all up. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Just take a short. Oh. Time. This is like baby's first Sonic game, but that I guess that makes it like nicer. I think it's disgusting and I hate it. It's too bright and vibrant. Vibrant. It looks like a baby game, and I'm not a baby. I play games like uh, Animal Crossing and Pac-Man. I completely almost forgot to get the Red Ring. That would have been bad. Oh yeah. But do you think we're going to play just the uh, original Pac-Man? Uh, eventually. We'll get to all uh, 256 levels of it. Yeah. I think we'll make that uh, the longest running series. Actually no, we can do it in like three. My Wii gamepad died. Oh. Dennis, catch it! Catch it, Dennis! Oh. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do anything with that. Why can't I? I just don't feel like it'd be the wise. What if there's a red ring? There is no red ring, I checked the guide. Okay. Yeah! Ouch! Grab it. Dennis, what's your favorite idea? Yup, Chuck. That's sweet. Dennis, would you even try to eat an apple that big, ever? Like, if you just saw one, would you ever even try to eat it? I think it's evil. Or something. And it's full of dirt. Right on, man. Alright. I think this is gonna be the last level of the night. Maybe. Mm. Or maybe we could do two more! Yes! Yes, 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 please. Pretty please. More Sonic. Who joined? Sorry, that was me. I didn't even join the call. No, it's just Oliver spamming me. I wasn't spamming! It's been doing that. It just randomly just makes me join. Who is that? I really want to get two more levels done. Yahoo! That's like Ristar. Oh. Oh my god, it's a boss fight. Just like Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. Oh my god. Look, he's getting away. Usually, Dennis, this character reminds me a lot of you. You're always firing uh, big blue energy balls at people. Yeah, it's a bad habit. I gotta stop. Yeah. But, like, it's fine to do it, but it just, it causes a lot of collateral. Like, there's so many holes in the wall. <laughs> just get his face through the wall and just leave a big squatching hole through it. Did you just say, who is your master? I don't know. I haven't been able to hear the game the whole time. Oh. I don't know, man. Maybe you should have fucking have him at the spawn point. <laughs> there should be a button where, uh, Shadow comes down with a gun. And it's, what did you think about the second Despicable Me movie? Fond memories. What about the third? Awful memories. I thought it was the worst, one of the worst things I've ever seen. You didn't enjoy it? Did you see the little yellow guys? Yeah, I'm sorry. They weren't kind of my thing. Did you like, uh, what did you think about the Minions movie? I thought it was dog shit, too. Uh, I saw that on my birthday and I fell asleep halfway through it. It was fun, though. I think I got, uh thongs that day. Dude, he's already moved on to the next one. My god. He needs to take a, a gosh darn chill pill. Am I right? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. do it. Go, go, Dennis Nedry. Da 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 Finally dead, there we go. Yes. Yes. Wish you could squish him though. That would have been way cooler. No, it took us three hours to, to get through uh, about about not even half of a three hour game. Yeah! Everyone give a big hand for Dennis. He's done great. Uh, Alright, well, I've had a lot of fun, Thank but the up jumps are now dwindling. We're all tired, wired. Farewell. Yeah. I didn't want uh, So, thank you, Upchuck Master, so much for watching. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all, you dudes. And Oh, yeah, uh, Prano, you agreed to hating the gays earlier in the video. Just thought I should tell you. Love you, bye. <laughs>
Yeah. Dude, I want to ask Perano about Aboriginal slurs. Tell this fucker to come back, like, right now. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Huh? You, Regan. He's spamming me the you mad bro face. <laughs> no, wait, no, I don't think that's you mad bro. No, that's different. That's different. Here, wait, I'll send you what he's sending me. Oh, I named myself 21 Savage. Why? I thought it was funny. Dude, I don't know why, but like the guy in the video sauce playing sounds exactly like Michael. What? I don't. Don't you hear the video sauce playing? I'm not playing. Maybe anything. it is me. Wait. Oh no! A fucking Beast Wars interview that I had play. The guy sounds like like you, but like at a lower quality, and like if you were like stoned out of your mind. Dude. That was fucking confusing. Did you think it was me? Yeah, I thought it was you. I thought this guy talked about animating shitty 3D in the 90s. It was like you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have my red ring guide up. No. Uh, this doesn't look good. It probably isn't. There's a body on the ground. Seems like he's been sacrificed as a gift. Wonderful. Dude, I love sacrificing bodies. Dude. Yeah, me too, bro. Oh, yeah, I love ritualistic sacrifice. That's what we did to Rookie. Have you heard from him? I think he might be trans now, but I'm not sure. What? Ew. <laughs> Ew. Dude, wait, are you serious? I don't know. That's what I've been told. But also, like, I feel wasn't like he like a diehard Catholic? I guess he's both. That's not I mean, possible. He has an anime That's what I'm saying. Profile picture, so I'm just getting mixed signals. I've just assumed rookie schizo. Dude, I love schizophrenia. Dude, let's go, dude. Oh my God, let's go. Yeah, you're the biggest. Fan let's of fucking go, gamers. All right, gamers, let's get this fucking bread. Dude, I feel like I saw something very, very stupid that I wanted to talk about on here. Like, I no, you didn't. Forgot what it is. Because you didn't see it. I implanted that thought into your head, dude. Dennis, you know that I've been banging your mom. Ah. No, my mom did try. You. Get, my mom. Uh, there was this black guy at like this. Uh, we went to a restaurant today. Oh no, black guy? Yeah, and she uh, asked the black guy if he could like, he asked if, she, if he worked there. He said that he worked there 12 years ago when they uh, when they started hitting on her, so. Dude, that's so funny. Yeah. Did he get them digits? Uh, no. Damn, fuck that guy. Pussy. He's a bitch. Uh, definitely gonna go with that. I, I, this is, saw, as a black man yourself, why do uh, black men always hit on fat white women? That's a great uh, question, because that, I, that happens way too this. often. Dude, I was talking about this with Nedry yesterday. I was like, I'm not racist, but I think that, like, for every fucking fat, like, white woman, there's always a black guy. No, yeah, that, no, yeah, that's real. That's real. Dude, like, my best friend, Andres, he's black, and I asked him the same shit. He started to die laughing, dude. And guess what? who he's dating now? Oh, a fat wait, white so chick. Fat? Dude, no, Kelly's not fat, but she's not <laughs> No, dude. Holy shit, um, dude! Please, 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 please. So this this one time, I was in the car with my uh, girlfriend's dad, and um, he was asking like, please. "Yo, where you're oh from, and whatnot." Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. Cause he he asked, and he said, "Oh well, uh, what are your parents like?" Because most please. of the time, when there's a mixed baby, it's a black guy and a fat white lady. Oh, I'm dead now. And I'm he is so a dead, black dude. guy. Date. He is a black guy married to a fat white lady. Okay, so you're uh, I'm dead. Your dude. Girlfriend's your girlfriend's uh mom is fat. Yeah, she's a fucking porker. It's great. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. I think fat people are just inherently funny. I mean, Wayne Knight uses his fatness to his advantage. That's why he's my favorite actor. Cause you're fat just like him. That too. Dude, I think fat people falling is very funny. Dude, it's hilarious. They fall so slow for some reason. Like even it goes against the like laws of physics, but they seem to fall slower. <laughs> Have you noticed that phenomena? There's more Who? frames of animation. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. No. Fat people are funny, except for that one fat parrot at Disneyland who was holding his child, and then he, uh, fell at that, uh... Did he fall on the child? Yeah. Are you Did serious? the child die? Yeah. Wait, the kid died? I believe so. I uh, know the... I mean, like... How do you even go about that? Like, can you be... Is that is that a crime? 
Uh, I mean, that's just kind of nature. Yeah, dude, that that was fucking God intervening, dude. No, between, like, the fucking, like... Is that a crime? Oh. Sorry, I had it. No, but between, like, all the alligators that have, like, killed people at this point, and, like... No, but that's already... because people keep wandering off the beaten path, dude. You're literally, like... I'm at Disneyland, surrounded by a bunch of fun shit. Let me go over the fence and it's go swimming in the swamp. Dude, I love when motherfuckers get eaten by swamps at Disney World. Like, they deserve that shit at that point. Dude, I want to go to Disney just to fight an alligator. Yeah, like, dude. go into the water and prove I can win. Yeah, if they eat like, you, oh, they this... have to kill, like, all the fucking alligators there. Yeah, they have to kill them. So, one of us is dying. Yeah, I think Dude. that's an unfair advantage. If, like, the kid dies, everybody in his bloodline should die, too. For real. Like, dude, this stupid fucking four-year-old couldn't beat the alligator. I bet I could. I mean, that's kind of a long shot. Fuck you, Dennis. You guys want to hear a funny headline? Yeah. Sure. Five-year-old black girl whipped to death by for soiling herself. Jesus Christ, dude. That's not cool. Whipped to death by who? Her, her parents, grandparents. Or her parents. Wife. You want to hear? No, black grandparents. You want to hear the the headline directly under that? What? Kim Kardashian gets cheeky uh. doing cartwheels on the beach. <laughs> you want to hear the headline under that? Sure. All right, wait. I want to read the full headline because it doesn't show me the full thing, and I think it's funnier if I read the full headline. Okay. So it... Please, pretty please, pretty please, pretty please, give me a weapon, a mace again. Oh God, it gave me armor. All right, so what I believe, what I'm getting from this headline: Man, 73, jumps to jumps to his death from NYC building one day after two others. Woohoo! Yeah, the holidays are a tough time, man. Dude, you know I had everything that I needed until now. Nope. So I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna what to say. I do know that uh, I'm pretty fucked right now. So. <laughs> you good? He's having a moment. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. What happened? What did you see? <laughs> Literally nothing. Literally fucking nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> Motherfucker. Dude. So one of these days, man. One of these fucking days. You better count your fucking second, Dennis. Up. In that situation again. There's three here, right? Yeah. Dennis, you better count your fucking days, you know that? No, you better count your fucking days. No, fuck you, Black. Yeah, that's right. I have a confession to make it for all the young chucks. And this is, an, and this is an open secret among the other up chucks, but everybody knows that I'm actually secretly, like, a big black man. No, he's actually gay. I'm a big black guy. I'm a big black gay man. But he's a twink. I'm fat, but I'm also a twink. I hate you. I really do. Debnis Nedry. His new name is Denise Nedry. Denise. I don't understand why everybody... I, I, you don't want to be a funny nickname for Dennis Nedry? Denise. What? Fuck you. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, you make these you... jokes before Arbiter John Price is, uh, <laughs> is just looking at your videos and he's just thinking less of you every single time. That's great, dude. Fuck that guy. Whoa. No, no fucking that guy. I'm gonna put my penis in his butthole, dude. I swear to God. I promise you will, bro. <laughs> Spread those cheeks, bro. Dude, I can kick this fucking light blue little shit. Like, <sighs> like, if I kicked him in between the eyes, he'd like just die. You guys, I don't understand how like I can't unlock this door, but I can go around it. 
Dennis, I really think we could benefit like recording schedules and whatnot if we would just start a fucking Minecraft survival world together. I think it could. Would you be open to paying like the ten bucks a month for a realm so that we can just play whenever we want and we don't have to wait for one of us to get online? Wait, that's what you have to do to play with multiple people in Minecraft? No, 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 it's just so that the world is always open, essentially. Like, if one of us gets off, the world closes. I don't know, man. I just want to play, like, a modded Minecraft server. No, yeah, I want to... You... Did you ever... Did you guys ever watch this, like, YouTube series called Minecraft, but with every single mod ever? Yeah, but if you can get Bedrock, I need to play on Bedrock. Well, I play on Java, man. I'd rather play yeah, on I'd Java. i play on Java, too. Java has, like, everything we need, dude. Fuck what you guys. Come on, as the Ben 10 mod, we probably get like a Transformer mod, Power Rangers mod. Yo, holy shit, dude. Man, fuck you guys. Dude, we can make an Upchuck mod that just has like mob spawning in like Santa. He just like, he just like goes ho 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 and a very detailed animation just gets recreated in Minecraft. Yo ho ho, a pirate's life for me. The pirate says as he addresses himself. You gotta, Here we go. you gotta say, I know that there was like this thing here. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Dennis. I'm gonna shoot you. Arbiter John Dice. Do not edit this out, but I am going to break into Dennis's home and um do unspeakable things to him while he sleeps. Yeah, he is. <sighs> you guys look how you are. What? Fellas. Yeah. What up? You all went silent. I got scared. I'm so, I'm afraid of the darks. Yeah, the boogie bads got, got us. You know who's not afraid of the dark? Who? That's not what hey, I man. said. The masters of the universe. That's not what I said. Dude, can you just shut the fuck up, bro? Yeah, you're right. Everything would have been fine if I would have, like, saved over getting that mace, dude. That was, like, a really good weapon to have. Why didn't you save? Because if I try to save, I could die. Could. Doesn't mean you will. Stop being such a pussy. Well, it's, Fellas, it's what's all your face on a fucking coin flip, dude. What's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? I, I do not want to have to do it. Ace Ventura. That's the only Jim Carrey movie I've watched. You fucking kidding me? The fuck is wrong with you? You're a bastard for that, Dennis. I think less of you hearing that. Now that Edu told me if I hold shift, then I can save. Did I know what? Hold on. Oh, I'm dead. No, you're not. Oh, I am. Nope. Oh, wow. I used to date this girl who I'm pretty, like, 99.9% .9 sure with, like, fake tics for attention. Dude, like, in my experience, dude, like, a lot of what they say about women nowadays is, like, the opposite, dude. I think they're very attention seeking. When weren't they? Like, I don't know. Like, Women are the type of people that, like, do that shit. When have you ever heard of a man faking ticks for that shit? Unless they're, like, really fucking weird. You know, Very I rarely. Like men do that shit if they're, like, really fucking weird. That's woman speak, bro. Well, the only weird people do that. I just think that there's more, like, weird women than there are men at this rate. I think that weirdness in women and weirdness in men, like, pop up differently. Like, men, like, the weird men are, like, antisocial as fuck, dude. And they, like... You know what I mean? They're just like really strange, but Where like weird women tend to be like, like insane. Oh, absolutely! Like just think about who? Someone we both a mutual friend. We love. Oh, yeah. I don't like anyone named just a stupid yeah. name. I've learned not to trust anybody named they reek of like not being good people. Is that their real name? Uh, no. Well, that was they got it legally changed. That's upsetting. Wait, they got it changed like to or that. from? You never knew that? You never told me. This was common information, dude. Legally had her name changed. Was this, like, it since we knew her, or, like... Since, yeah, it was while we knew her. What was it before? It was... That's a better name than fucking... <laughs> uh... What do you think I should do, Saul? Should I attack this guy, or should I run? Loki, I think I should attack him. Yeah, attack that fucker. Like, I really don't think he's that strong. I'm just gonna go for it. You should always just go for it. You never... Just remember what Nick 30 says, bro. Who? Never give up, never surrender. Dude, what the hell? Go I take that advice to heart. When I was fighting the yeah, ATF, do you guys remember my like intense legal battle with the ATF? 
Uh, what? Vaguely. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot that I could randomly eat people, bro. Who the fuck are you, Dahmer? No, I, I, I took this trait so that way I could do that. Why? Oh, dude, I just wasted that shit. Because then I never have to really worry about hunger. Is there like a negative side effect to that, or do you just eat people? I just eat people. That's that's sick, honestly. Like, sick in a cool way. I've told the, the story yeah. about the cannibalism kid, right? Cannibalism isn't real. It's called survival of the fittest. Well, that didn't work. I don't know, man. I think fat people get cannibalized more often. They should, honestly. A lot more meat. All in that jelly belly. Yeah. Dude, could you... I don't want to say that. Never mind. Well, now I want to know what you didn't want to say. What? Now I gotta know what you didn't want to say. So, apparently, does human taste like pork or chicken? Like, is it supposed to taste like chicken? Oh, shit, it's dude. Now I have like connection. It's a really good talk. Oh, you know, this isn't that bad, though. Exactly. No, bro. It's supposed to taste like something else. Yeah, like people. No, bro. There's, like, a flavor profile associated with human meat. Dude, why think, is like, this like a thing? Like... Dude, are you, you fucking wanna... serious? Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, you should try it. You should you should go on that journey. First man to eat penis. You're definitely not the first. I heard this story about like how this guy tried to like eat penis. Like he tried to bite his partner's penis. Oh, you're talking about that cannibal dude, the German bro. I, I, were they German? His name was Armin Muse. I saw that documentary, but that's not the craziest one, dude. Do you know about that dude in Japan who, like, escaped, like, justice? For, like, he, like, yeah. murdered a woman and, like, fucking ate her ass, dude. And then, like, tried to, like, throw her body in suitcases. But what happened was, is, like, he essentially was able to avoid it because he was declared legally insane. And then, um, he was locked up in France where he was studying abroad. But he was then deported back to Japan, where some something was wrong with the the laws in Japan happened. So essentially, they just were forced to let him go free. And he like did an interview with Vice. I saw this shit when I was eleven on my school issued iPad. Did he do it again? He wants to apparently. They and he's like, him, kind of like a celebrity. That's fair, don't you think? Not really. I don't know, man. I think he. Well, why not? I think is like pretty awesome. Dennis, phone, you like, gay? Yeah, Dennis, yeah. tell me right now, are you gay? Yeah. Are... Oh, it's treatable with worm juice, but then I get poisoned. And how do I treat juice. poison? I get treated from poison with white, vile, or mix of red and green. What is this, fucking Resident Evil? No, this is actually a really, really, really good game, dude. That's great. I think I'm just gonna keep playing Minecraft. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah. Dude, how hard do you think it would be to platinum Minecraft? To do a what? Like platinum, like 100% complete Minecraft. Been done before. No, but like for me. Uh, it'd be pretty hard. You are pretty No, I'm not, bro. I 100% completed Spider-Man Miles Morales. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna go save and rest. I'm gonna go shift heads. Oh. What's your guys' favorite charity? Minus Autism Speaks. They're a really great organization. Yeah. Mine is, uh. Dibble Wobble. Weeble Wobble. I love Weebles Wobble. Wobble, but they don't. Weebles Wobble, but they don't fall down. Dude, it's literally my favorite charity, dude. Mine, too, honestly, dude. I respect the Weeble Wobble organization. The Weeble Wobble. Think... Weeble Wobble? Yeah, bro. I don't know if people know about the kind of shit they do, bro. They don't get enough respect for what they do. No, they don't. I honestly think people, like, disrespect the Weeble Wobble Weeble Wobble, dude. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's honestly, unfair. Yeah. I think it's pretty disrespectful. I couldn't agree more, Dennis. Dude, I forgot I ate this bitch ass, dude. Look at him. He's dead. Dude, I forgot also that if I just start, like, randomly, like, knocking out these enemies, I never have to worry about them again. So, I think once I get to a certain point of strength, I'm just gonna start eating everybody, dude. Like, Dennis, I'm I'd like to see you play Undertale. 
What is Undertale? Are you serious? Yeah, no, I've actually legitimately, like, I've heard about it, but I've never, like... Uh, it's, it's essentially what it's an it's RPG, a game right? For little gamo kids, pretty much. Yeah, which is why I think it'd be really funny if Dennis played it, where um you can essentially choose to just like kill everyone and everything in your path, or you can just like take the high road essentially and not kill anyone and uh, f fight with your words, pretty much. And there's different endings based on how you play the game. <sighs> You getting fucked over there, bud? What's happening? <laughs> Me or him? <laughs> Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Dude, anytime I'm home alone and I masturbate, I moan like a girl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You gonna do that Ambucotton like streamer dude? I'm gonna buzz. No, dude, that's Dream Evil. That's Dream Evil, dude. Yeah, he he just makes porn. Like it's cropped videos of him, like, sticking things in his ass and screaming he's about to come. Yeah, I know, but, like, what the fuck, dude? Like, that's some crazy-ass shit, dude. I don't know, but apparently, I think he makes a lot of money off it. Well, no shit, dude. Everyone's paying for it, so that way they could, like, make memes. I respect the hustle, though. Do you not? Oh, I love it, dude. Dude, I'm such a Dreamy Bull fan, dude. I can't go to sleep without watching a Dreamy Bull video. My favorite part of Minecraft is when you spawn near a village, so you can just go to the village and just steal all of their shit. Yeah, that's not Don't good. You? This causes poison, dude. I was like, oh, wow. I can't wait to use my, my potion of... You should just uh, use it. So wait. Potion of life? <laughs> just, dude, I can waste 50 coins to just kill myself, pretty much. So all of his shit, dude, like, kills me. Fuck you, bro. I'm not, like, doing that. Why not, bro? She's like, dude, like, what? You probably The guy should, wants me to, like, lie. buy shit that's gonna kill me. Kill him first. I wish. the hell's this? Fortnite? Fortnite, Fortnite. Are you watching, Saul? No, I'm playing Minecraft. Are you about to do something cool, though? Because I'll look. I mean, it's something that you should just watch. Dude, the game is really good. I can't focus on two things, especially not while I'm trying to get into a Minecraft run. What the fuck is happening to me? Dude, I Are forgot. Are you guys seeing this? Seeing what? I'm not watching. The game is like completely glitched out. Unglitch it then. Yeah, I don't bro. Know how. Are you still playing Sonic Lost World? I am, like. Yeah, fuck you, guys. This guy. is where I came from originally. And you this came? Is this portal thing. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even black, but I'm literally going through and stealing all of these people's things right in front of their faces. Do you guys listen to Kanye? Is it bad that, like, I got into Kanye after all of the shit went down? Really? Yeah. Are you proud of that, or do you feel like less of a white supremacist? No, I don't condone all the racist shit he said, but I the music is still very good. And I feel like that's just, like, undebatable. Dude, this like, is so horrible. I forget that the fact that, like, now I have to just start eating everything. Because I have fucking parasites, dude. Like, I guarantee you all those people who love Taylor Swift, if she started saying, Man, I fucking hate black people, they would still, like, be cool with her. Do you disagree? Oh, God, I'm dead, dude. It's gonna happen again. No, it isn't. Oh, dude, I am so stupid, I meant to run away. I lost an arm. Holy shit, it's Shadow. Shadus? Seamus? Oh, God. Thank God, dude. That could have ended so badly. I need to somehow end up back at the garden, and I don't exactly know how to get back. Do you guys um happen to have HBO Max, the streaming service? Uh, Funny enough, I can get you HBO Max. Here. Are you asking me to get you HBO Max? No, I have it. Oh, wow. Really? You're yeah. so cool. No, I was going to ask you if you've seen something, but okay. <laughs> Fuck you too then, bud. Oh, dude, I forgot that I never fully explored this area. I just fell down a hole. Bro, fell down the hole, bro. Dude, I have a skinning knife now, so I can essentially just skin. Can you- are you gonna wear their face like a mask? Maybe. That's sick, actually. I respect it. Dude, I don't know how to feel about this. About it's what? It's super weird. Dude, we should all play Smash one night. Oh, I'd love to play Smash. I've been playing Smash, but, like, with Dennis in bed. Yeah. Dennis in bed? Like, you and Dennis are in the bed together, each have one Joy-Con. Yeah, no, we just play Smash. Yeah, we shake the Joy-Cons a lot. All sorts of different kinds of Smash. This dude's a bitch, by the way. Dennis? Yeah. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna go. And Sorry, fight. Dennis. It it was right there. I had I had to do it to him. Dude, what the hell was that? Son dude, of what? a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch is right, dude. Oh my god. That was no, like, dude, I, I lost my fucking spawn point. I don't know where I spawned. What were you about to say about HBO Max? What about HBO Max? I don't know. You were the one about to say something about it. Um, quality programming. Yeah, but what quality programming like using... are you going to ask us if we wanted to see? Off... No, oh, I just realized you guys wouldn't want to watch it. What is it? All I'm going to oh. tell you, it's about basketball. Oh, of course not. Well, I mean... What's this about basketball, Americans? No, um... It was me wondering if you had seen a show on HBO Max that's about basketball. <laughs> what about basketball? It's about the rise of the the Lakers in the 80s and whatnot. Dude, I thought you were going to have to care about something like, interesting. Yeah, that's no, what yeah, I mean, like, yeah, man. I thought it was yeah. interesting. I enjoyed it. Well, you dude, I wish that I didn't have fucking parasites, dude. Dude, brain eating amoebas are like my bread, my bread and butter right now. Dude, I ate the peas and it literally like made me uh lose hunger. What Dude, is happening? I know a guy who tried that maggot cheese. Dude, fuck you know about that? Poison. Dude, do you know about the maggot cheese? What maggot cheese? Yeah, the one in fucking Italy. Yeah, I know, you're talking about. I know a guy who tried it. Dude, I don't understand why I'm suddenly like dying from hunger. Are you hungry? Well, I'm supposed to have like, you know. Yeah, oh. I know. Wait, never mind. I'm not. I'm just being. With... I'm gonna eat. Like this always. Dude. Search him. I have two FP from him. No. Uh, dude, can we I'm go like beat, beat a guy? I'm gonna beat him. And then I'm gonna like make him. Beat a guy. No, I'm gonna eat. Him. We're gonna oh, skin him and eat him, him alive. I'm... There you go. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, nice. That's what, that's what this channel is all about, cannibalism. That's sick, actually. I fully respect that. Okay. I'm gonna come here. Gotta save and rest. Heads, please. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna die. Why are you gonna die? Because of that. Interesting. This is the problem. See? This is yeah, why dude. I didn't want to have to have that problem. I'm going to guard. Ice. Oh, why did I guard? I meant to fucking run away, dude. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, I literally meant to run away, and this is it. I'm fucked. Dude, there once was this guy from Nantucket. He lived there. Hold on. What am I holding on for? Yo, mama. So now I need to look up the ailments. Dude, no fucking way. What? Treatable with yes. green herb, half green herb. What are the ailments? Oh, I have a fractured bone, dude. How do I fix that? In real life? Unfracture it. I'm gonna kill myself. It's alright, I'll, <laughs> I'll be back. No, I'm serious. I can I can seriously just do this. No, I just think that's a funny way to like respond to issues. Okay, I gotta go. Bye bye. <laughs> Dennis, you gotta get another person in here, man. You gotta get another person. Yeah, dude, another person. Spamming Pereno, or better yet, hold on. Pereno told me he's busy. Well, you I calling Max? Uh, I'm calling Leo. Max is at his mom's birthday. Interesting. How old's she turning? Good talk, Dennis, good talk. Uh, I don't, like... Dude, call her right now and ask her. I don't have, like, the, her number. Why not? Why would I have my fucking friend's mom's phone number? Dude, you should. I honestly think it's kind of weird that you don't. Do you have your friend's phone number? I don't have a phone. Then you That's a lie. Understand. That's a lie completely. But, um... Yeah, I did when I had my phone connected to the world. Let me call Leo again. Hopefully he's not masturbating in the shower. As he usually does. Yeah. Dude, I'm honestly kind of tired. I'm about to go. Uh, fall asleep on camera again. No. Hello, Leo, are you done showering? Yes. Okay, get on call. Okay. Why does he talk like that? It's, a, it's, a, it's an accent from his country. What's his country? I don't know. You should ask him. There he Hello. is. 
What country are you from? What? What country are you from? United States of America. Nuh uh. Yes. Nope. Hell yeah. America! Fuck yeah! Going out of its way to save the motherfucking day, yeah! It's always from a Matt Stone and Trey Parker movie, right? Yes. I got it. American. Dude, I love America. Oh, bye. Fight for your life. Oliver? Yeah? Have you ever been to a burger place called Capital Burger? Never. It's really good. I stormed the, I stormed the Capitol. Yeah, you were a part of that. You, you led that. Yeah, I'm 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 actually the secret leader of the Proud Boys. You talked about that. You told Rookie. This is, you know, Rookie, if you ever want to do an insurrection, this is how you do it, you know? Don't ever do it on the upchucks, but, you know, if you did, this is kind of how it is, and, you know, you were taking that, you were taking him under your wing, and... Yeah, I, I actually led the upchucks insurrection quietly. You didn't lead it, but you did, uh... No, 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 I did it. He was just my puppet. Well, why'd you do it, Saul? Funny. I like to instill fear into the hearts and minds of others. Do you not? I, I, I'm quite funny. <sighs> Dennis. Yeah. Bad things happen to bad people. They do. Just think about that. Right, so you know, watch out, Leo. Because, you know, one day you're going to get your just, just dessert. Just desserts. Deserved justice. Wait, Oliver. Yeah? If I remember correctly, we made a deal where you get to play a game of my choosing. Okay, well, that's a lie. No, I wrote. I remember I... at the exception of this channel, all statements made were not legally binding. So, sorry, <sighs> I joined one of us in the Nedru Crusaders. That's so, right, yeah, still you... binding by your original contract. Well, that's right. You still have to play a game of my choosing. Well, which game is it? Elden Ring. Oh, Fuck oh, you. Turn. You know, I actually would be willing to do that. Leo, could you be my sugar daddy? Could you just buy me everything from now on? Not sadly, no. Sadly, he wants to be your sugar daddy. No. Yes, you do, bro. You know it. Why? Why are you drinking yourself to Sonic, Sonic Lost World? You know, I have been liking this more than I've liked most Sonic games. Really? Have you played Frontiers? I have not. What fucking loser is buying Sonic Frontiers now? What the fuck did you just say, Saul? You heard me, asshole. Sonic Frontiers is a good Sonic game. And it feels so good to say that. I hate you. Well, the feeling might be mutual. What? Oh, up, up, strong. My favorite Sonic Fighter game is Battle Sonic 06. Now it's a... oh. I like Sonic 06 because there's a princess. Okay, you okay, your opinion is now invalid. You no longer are legally allowed to have an opinion. You you're officially now on the FBI watch list. Is it because of the color of my skin? No, because no, because you just said Sonic 06 is a, you said you just said you like Sonic 06. Am I not everybody, allowed to have everybody, my own opinions? Everybody knows if you like Sonic 06, you can see you lose all your human rights. Sorry. It, I I don't make the rules. Leo, did he used to, One of these like, days. Used to rave about Sonic 06 all the time. About it was like your favorite game and you loved it so much. What? When did I ever do that? I remember that. Yeah, Leo, we all remember. Yeah. Leo, remember you said know, all this talk about spreading... you, know, you wanting me to like play a game. Like, you know, buy that for me. I'm not gonna buy that. For real, why should I'm you? I am recommending a good game though. I could have Elden Ring worse. fucking sucks. What did you just say, you little shit? Fuck you. I, I don't understand how someone could say that about Elden Ring. You can't even call me a little shit. I could probably kick your ass. I lift weights, bitch. How tall are you? 5'7". How much do you weigh? 170. I, I'd fucking kill you. You know, one day Leo and Saul are gonna meet up in real life and like... The, that's We're just gonna fucking duke that. it out. Yeah. Dude, I don't want to have- I don't want to be a murderer, though. Shit doesn't seem fun. Are you playing this on the PC version, or the Wii U? Leo, what do you think? Well, I suspect Wii U. Jaundice. So, it's- so, with- 
Are you playing on Wii U? No. Going? Wait, actually, really? I is, I thought you were gonna play it on Wii U because of you. You're fashioning a physical disc. Nice voice crack there, buddy. Are you actually playing on the Steam version? Yeah, I'm playing it on the Steam version. Yeah, Steam Shit. version. I love the Steam version. Okay, Oliver, you can now stop your joke. I was right the first time. Suck my oh, dick, Leo. I'm playing the Steam version, man. No, that's the Wii U. Leo, I'm going to insert my penis into your mouth because I don't like hearing you talk. I think I discovered why I don't like you. You sound exactly <laughs> like my brother. <laughs> Your brother sounds like a cool guy. Dude, you got Marco back on here. Oh, dude, you're a Mexican? What? Hey, are you? Leo, what is no. your heritage? Because I know it's, you know, Hispanic like me, but like... Cuban. Okay. Ew. Only thing Cubans are good for is cigars. And roast con pollo and black beans and rice. Dude, I could get all of that in Mexico. What the fuck? Those are Spanish food, you idiot. So, again, I could get all of those in Mexico. No, I mean Cuban food, for fuck's sake. Again, I could get all of those in Mexico. MEXICO IS NOT IN CUBA! Wait, why did your brother have, like, a marriage in, like, Mexico then? Because he just, because he wanted to have a resort wedding and Mexico was the cheapest. Yeah, but they, they have a cartel there, of course. Everyone has a fucking cartel, Dennis. That's true, the uptrucks are a cartel. Yeah, we're actually uh, legally on like an FBI watch list. No, the FBI loves us. Yeah, I know, I didn't say bad watch list, oh, I yeah. just said watch it, list. Yeah, Oliver, so you're banned off Twitter, huh? Yeah, I am. Damn, you're 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 the first person besides Kanye what uh, You're... Well, actually, never mind. Oh, bye, do you hear about the, the, about the Titanic submarine? That's old fucking news. It's still relevant. No, it is not. It, it is. No. Yes. I hate you. I really do. Oliver, don't you agree that me and Saul get along so well? Oh, yeah, you two love each other. I'm going man, to shoot you. Man, Oliver, you must be really raging from this, on this level. But if I'm hurt, it's not even Sonic, Sonic Lost World's hardest level. I heard the hardest level is a rail level. Which one? It's the one of these minecarts and stuff. It's kind of reminds me of Sonic Rush, but harder because you actually have to learn mechanics and it actually has momentum, which this game does not have really that most of the time. Boy, your voice cracks a lot, doesn't it? Yes. Mm. Why? I have no idea. If I knew, it would not be existing. Should probably fix that. By Oliver. Go on YouTube.com and search up how to fix my stupid squeaky voice tutorial. You know, you should not be saying that. You're you're really breathing hard. <laughs> yeah, he's got like beard when he's trying to kid. It sounds know, like Jared from Subway when he's in front of a kid. It's unsettling, right? He doesn't get the joke, does he, Oliver? Yeah, he's a... He, like... He diddled... No, he watched porn. He watched, like... No, he made some porn. of it, too. Wait, actually? I thought he just had a... He, he just had the one to play. I thought he... Subway was, like, a, an actual offender. <sighs> I, I, thought he, I thought he just was known for having two terabytes of porn on his computer. I don't understand why when people are found with it's never like oh a couple gigabytes a couple megabytes it's always terabytes. Yeah, I know, right? I don't like that you agree with me. Like, what the fuck? Why would you need that much porn anyway? Like, even for regular porn, why the hell would you need two terabytes? <laughs> uh, well, talking about regular porn, you know, sometimes it just isn't enough. But if we're talking about, I don't know why. What? I'm just saying, why would anybody need two terabytes of porn? I mean, there was that one thing where, like, when that whole net neutrality shit was going on, he downloaded, like, 14 terabytes of porn. What the fuck type of computers do they guys have? Supercomputers? I mean, this guy sure has a bit. I like I mean, how for... after the... Not after terabytes! The post... Zettabytes! I like fuck? how... Um, speaking of that, I like how after the Pulse nightclub shooting, 
um, the guy's brother who was publicly saying, oh, there's no way he could have done this. He was not that type of person. He barely, he never even owned a gun up until recently. He never showed any signs of this. Was found like a couple <laughs> days later with like a, like 20 terabytes of China's Windows 98 computer. What did these people in terabytes of porn? No, see, the thing is that the government put that there to silence him. No, no, sorry, not getting say any conspiracy theories. Listen, you buy a Windows 98 computer and try to download 20 terabytes of anything, and I will, like, fucking, I will give you, like, a million dollars. Well, for starters, I, I have... filed a million dollars? I didn't say download. Listen, let's, let's, listen, here's I the way he was, like, he was able to do that. He just, got a, he just got a, got a, ten of, a ton of SSDs and put, on, put it inside his computer. I hate you. I'm going to bed. Good night. No, you are. Shit, Oliver, you really. This, is this level hard, Oliver? I guess you're going to be timed out. Yes, I am. Dude, time limits on games are like super fucking retarded, man. Mm -hmm. Right? No way, Oliver. Yeah, you should, you should get Elden Ring. That's the game I want you to get. Because, yeah. you know, Elden Ring is actually a good game. Trust me. Okay, it's either that, either that or you get Destiny 2, which is free. Okay, buy both for me. Destiny 2 is free. There's, Listen, man, unless... if you want me to play a game on an up truck, you gotta buy it for me. Okay, then. To, to get Destiny 2, go to your PS5, search up Destiny 2, and just say download because it's for free. God damn it, I gotta wait to time myself out. Very Mario Galaxy like. Alright, Leo, what do you have to say about current events? Current events? Well, lo like Pikmin 4 is getting a lot of good reviews. I'm, like, I'm happy as a Pikmin fan. By Oliver, have you played Pikmin? Uh, yeah. Played two and three. Never played one? Oliver? You no, never, never played, played one. one. Oh, that's, sh that's shocking, actually. It's not for sure that will be one of the games you definitely played. I mean, I'll, I'll probably play it on the channel. Bye, Oliver. Yeah. So which one do you like more, Pikmin 3 or 2? I don't know. Oh, 2. Really? Yeah. You're... Tell me. What do you like about 2? Because 2 is also my favorite Pikmin game. Uh, I like the world. I like the fact that there's no time limit, really. Mm -hmm. No, that game is... Pikmin 2 is the most divisive Pikmin game. Yeah, because 90% of the population is... Because time limit and stuff, because they feel like there's no sense of urgency. I gotta admit, the goal is... I gotta Why admit, though... Why is it that in the sidebar, I just have a bunch of kids shows? I got PJ Masks, I've got Power Ranger Zeo, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, I'm just looking at a Sonic log play. They're trying to insult my intelligence. I mean, there are... Sonic does do good with shows. You gotta agree with me there, right? No, not particularly. Oh, really? Sonic Prime has been really good so far. I was gonna say I prefer Transformers Prime, but I've never watched Transformers Prime. But I like Transformers anime, so I will say that's a better show. Wait, there's a Transformer anime? No, trans. I mean, yeah, there's a Transformers anime, but I'm talking about Transformers animated. Oh. Well, Sonic Prime is a good show, and you know, Sonic Side AM still exists. Also, the Sonic movie has been good. Actually, Oliver, what do you think of the Sonic movies, Oliver? Dude, I've won, like, a Sonic the Hedgehog Blu-ray and, like, a Some Call Me Johnny Switch giveaway and, like, never watched it. Oh, you haven't watched any of the Sonic movies? I have never. I don't think you really should. I actually recommend them. They're actually or good. Or Tubby. Mm. Now I want Elden Ring and Sonic Frontiers right now. <laughs> Is it that right, Pay Pig? <laughs> Hey, I'm strapped for money too, you know. Um, I am ordering a new GPU for my PC. Yeah, but you have a job, I don't. Hey, a G my GPU cost me like around five hundred dollars, man. That's around the same price as the PS Five. Dude, I don't understand why a homing attack is on A instead of Y. On Sog Fr Sog Frontiers, the homing attack's on square button due to the fact combat's done with the square button. I'm talking about Sonic Lost World. Oh yeah, and I'm just comparing the two, Oliver. Comparison. All right, we got, we got, to beat you up, man. If you keep on talking like this. Wait, am I actually speaking weird? Yeah. It's my voice actually. They're really that squeaky. Give it to me straight. Yeah, like, I think you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, but you are the squeaker of the up truck. But yes, uh, that is the new rule. Any game you wanna 
free to play you have to buy. You gotta put your money where your mouth is. But no, you're spending it on GPUs instead of your dear old friend. Your computer craps out for you. What does what do you do? You uh, I, I'll tell you what you do. You just go. You just pour more money down the drain to it. But you know you want your dear friends play a game, and uh, you just. Hey, I'm saying if you want to play Destiny Two, it's free. Well, I don't want to play Destiny Two. I think Destiny Two sucks. Why is that? Explain, Oliver. No. Oliver, dude, dude, what the fuck? The Zonix animations in this game aren't finished. I know. Well, uh, well, they're not as bad as Sonic Forces animations. Though I did have some fun with Forces. Believe it or not. Did you ever have fun with Forces? I've never played Forces. I think Forces is a game for little babies and grandmas. It was hilariously easy. It was one of the first games I got on my Switch. Believe it or not. No, I believe it. You know, you've always been that kind of sick human. Hey, it was when the Switch came out. I didn't realize Forces was a bad game. You were just a poor little boy. You needed a little bit of parody, and Sega sure didn't provide it for you. True. I don't know, but Frontiers does look interesting. I do want to play it. Yes, yeah, Fr Frontiers is actually a good game. I know you right now are excessively shocked right now about this statement. I mean, I'm not. Everybody's been saying it's a good game. Sorry, I, I am also having a hard time believing my own words. Because Sonic and good? My god. God. Yeah, okay, Aaron Hansen. You, you ever noticed how Aaron Hansen and Chris Hansen have the same last name? Who the hell is Aaron Hansen? Ego Raptor from Game Grump. Huh? You ever notice how they have the same last name, though? You think they're related? Uh, I honestly uh, don't know. Well, anyway, Oliver, have you ever played Final Fantasy? Have you gotten Final Fantasy 16? I have not. You want to buy it for me? Well, it is right now one of my favorite games of all time. Yes, that's right, Leo. For only 60 bucks, you could buy me a physical PSP cop, PS PS5 copy. No, this is $70. For only $70, you could buy me the physical copy on PS5. <laughs> or even better, I can get you the digital version. Yeah, well, I'll shove it down your throat. But there's something to shove. Yeah, I mean, it's on the PS5, isn't it? You can't shove the PS5 down the throat. Now with that attitude, I can't. Honestly, are you considering getting Final Fantasy 16? Uh, yeah, I mean... Eventually, I'll get it down the pipeline. It's, right now, it's like one of my favorite Final Fantasies and one of my favorite games of all time. Does it play still like my... the old one? It's not turn-based. Yeah, why would I want to play it? Like, Dragon Quest is still turn-based. But it's because, tell me, do you like cool ass shit? Yeah. Do you ever want to fight Bahamut in space? I don't know, man. I want, I want like, there just to be an RPG where, like, Rhinox from uh, Beast Wars comes out of the blue. Did you ever want to hear someone play dubstep, but not dubstep, like this other music while fighting in an in, uh, internal white void while you're fighting as Efreets. Leo, that doesn't sound like a very good game. Or do you ever want to get into a wrestling match at Garuda? No, Oliver, please, you gotta understand, Final Fantasy 60 is a really good game. You hear? In fact, I ran out new game plusing it. I already beat the game. It took me 52 hours. And I did it 100%. I literally have the Platinum Trophy for the game. That's how much I like this game. How nice. Huh? I said how nice. Like, Oliver, seriously though, if you're gonna get any game, get 16. Dude, if I'm gonna get any game, right now I really wanna get Toomba. And Mega Man and X2 the... and X7. Don't you just, why don't you just get the Legacy Collection? I have the Legacy Collection, I want the real thing. Why would you wanna have X7? I already have, I have, I have no, the I physical want X2 and Mega Man 7. Oh, okay, okay, good, good, good. Uh, I thought for a second they were going to go mentally insane. No, I already have X7. You poor, poor soul. Doesn't have the box, though, don't worry. Okay, good, it's, it's still contained. Okay, finally, I got it. He was just, how did I get there last time? What are you going to do for your birthday, Leo? Huh? What are you going to do for your birthday, that? I honestly don't know. Like, it feels like it's coming so soon, like. I'm turning 18, man. Wait, what? I'm turning 18. Like, really? Yes, so... Yeah, I thought you were turning 17. Yeah, I'm turning 18 for my birthday. So, yeah, I... 
I'm I'm thinking a lot. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that means you can go to Uptrek Palooza in November. That means I can fishy go go. I can go on those. I'll go on adult adult websites and fishy say I'm adult. Yeah. Dude, you're lying. old enough. You're old enough to have cigarettes and drive. Well, I'm going to be taking driving lessons on Monday. Sorry, Monday. Yeah, everybody else is driving but me. I don't. I don't know how to do shit. Yeah. I'm on the same boat. I'm just ta that's why I'm taking lessons. No, you, no, Oliver. What? So, do so, Oliver. What? So, Final Fantasy Sixteen's combat is kind of like Devil May Cry's Five's combat. Kind of like it. it has the action style gameplay of combos and stuff, you know. Yeah. But it combines that with some RPG elements that are very kind of actually kind of light. The RPG element is kind of light, like the leveling system. Oh, that's like I can fight level fifty enemies as well, level twenty. <laughs> but the game is has such good combat and stuff, and the story is so fucking good. Like everything is a step up from fifteen. Like fifteen. What do you think? Did you ever play fifteen? No. Really? Not even when it was free. Do you want to buy it for me? Fuck no. Why would I subject you to torture? I'm not a masochist. How do you feel about Sonic Lost World? Doesn't feel like look like a Sonic game. Looks like a Mario game. I don't like this girl. The only design I really like is Zavik. Oh, you actually like Zavik? I like him design wise. Oh. What am I supposed to do? Where are your first Sonic game? You almost, you don't know about the first world of Sonic games. You will never question Sonic games. Okay, I like the idea. Any riveting commentary about what's uh, going on in Sonic Lost World? Here's some riveting commentary. It, this is literally a ripoff of a uh, Mario Galaxy level. It's Probably. literally the ripoff. It's literally a ripoff the ball mini game from from Mario Galaxy, where you have to. I mean, not really. You need the Wii remote for that one. Yeah, but this time it looks worse. If anything, I think Crash Bandicoot did it first, like in four. But I know, I know, I know, but l listen, this looks like more like Mario Galaxy than Graphic Cortex. It, it really does look like a worse version of that. That's sad, though. I wish they went a little bit better with Song of Lost World. I, hope, I thought, wish Song of Lost World like a traditional Sonic game, but with a floating island aspect where they use momentum to jump islands wouldn't that be cool uh, oliver I, I didn't listen to a lick of what you were saying i just got killed by like a crab oh oh uh, but i was saying it was like you know what would have been cooler cool uh, for song lost world is if we had the high speed uh, so classic high speed sonic but like you have to use momentum to jump between islands and stuff like the sky islands and stuff like that. In that in that way, you, it'll be like a little bit more fun than just this shit. Cause dear god, this looks like shit. Okay, I know how to beat these guys. God damn it! Hold on, I'll get this. It's on that day that Oliver died due to the impatience. Of Almost trying to get Oliver died of liver damage. Yeah, the man conducted a weird. He did the impossible. He drank Sprite and Coca Cola on the same day, and that just fucked him up. But, uh, that sounds disgusting. Purple shit came uh, spewing out of his ain't uh, out of his eyeballs. Okay, that just sounds disgusting, dude. It's a real thing. If you eat Coke and Sprite and sit in the same in the same thing, like boom, that you're just out. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, third one should be around here. Okay, third one should be on the neck. Leo, you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Cause I'm here! Going around on these new frontiers. I, I, I don't know what that means, man. It's a, a song, Frontiers song called I Am Here. Okay, well, it sounds like shit. I don't mean to uh, insult your culture, man, but uh. Trust me, my singing's always shit. No, your singing's beautiful. It's just when you sing Sonic songs, which is all you seem to sing. You know, when I saw you sing, uh. That one Katy Perry song, I Have a Tiger or whatever, that was pretty good. Wait, did I actually ever sing that song? Yeah. Dude, I had to start this entire level over. Such bullshit, man. I don't understand why they couldn't have just given me, like, the option to kill myself. And, like, restart from the last check day, so I guess I have to fight the, uh, bah. Yeah, I think you should have more commentary. You never talked about the Titanic submarine. I just, I heard that apparently was not even made by someone per who knew how to make submarines, just oh, yeah. somebody, somebody decided to just make a submarine. <laughs> Wait, who's there? It's uh, me. That's uh, Ar Arbiter John This. Oh. 
No, it's Michael. No, it's Arbiter John. This. It's fucking Michael. Don't listen to this idiot, dude. Dude, Gator Ooze left the group. No way. Did he? He uh, did. I guess that's the end of that. It's the end of Gator Ooze, dude. I guess. <laughs> that's a shame. I liked him. I know. Too bad. So sad. I'm glad this didn't kill me. Can we have a funeral for Gator Ooze now? Yeah, dude. R.I.P. Gators. I guess that means it's time to find a new Waffle Shop. Do you want to just like, who can we force? A homeless man. True. You want? I honestly was thinking about this, and I think it actually is a really viable option. You want to just get Edu to do it? Maybe. Because I really do think Edu would do it. I'll have to think about it, but sure. Leo, do you remember Edu? Leo never met Edu. Yeah, he did. One time. When? One, one time. time. Dude, you met Edu one time. One time. No, but I, I like my homeless man idea. I think we should get PewDiePie to be an upshot. He really needs. Oh, that would be to genius, dude. Days. I couldn't imagine why he wouldn't want to do that. Oh God. Yeah. Iron Shakespeare. Uh, skills. He's gonna run away. Get me, dude. Is Leo even there? Hello. Hello. How's it going at Columbus, bro? I'm on summer break. I know. Does that mean you're in 11th grade now? I'm going to be in my senior year. Wow. Wow. What a time to be alive. They called Eggman 5. All right. Let's see. Where am I going? All right. I'm just going to put up an open call and ask people who wants to be an upshuck. <sighs> and I cannot yeah. possibly go wrong. Who here wants to be an upshuck, bro? Wait, does that mean... I do have the intestinal worm still, bro. This isn't fun. Dude, why are they making Eggman so badass all of a sudden? It's like so funny to me. I don't actually know where I left off, but I do know that I can eat. We're just gonna see what happens. Okay, cool. So this must be where I left off. Awesome, radical. So how did I end up getting that small key? I know that I got a small key from somewhere and I know that I was able to unlock that door and that was really useful. So I need to figure out how I got that small key again. But they're not lying, dude. This game is really frustrating. What game? I'm playing Fear and Hunger. That was Fear and Hunger. I didn't know it was a thing until my friend Edu gave it to, like, told me about it. It's like, a re it's like I don't know. It's definitely not for kids, but it's like a two-bit horror game. And yeah, I've been really getting it. He's playing horror. a gay horror game. It's not a gay porn game. It's just really fucking violent. It has a lot of, like, really bad things in it. But, like... It's it's honestly a really really good game. Oh god. Okay, I'm just gonna attack this dude. What do you think Gator was is doing right now? Something stupid, dude. But considering this game was what? It was literally like it was only seven bucks, dude. You know, I, I know I could get it cheaper than that. Really? Yeah. Ow. But, yeah. I know how you can get Ow. it for free. Ow. Answer me. It's, you gotta Ow. sail the seven seas. Dang. Now Edu tried to get me to download it, but I ended up downloading some fucking malware. <laughs> so I had to delete. I had to go and delete that shit off my computer. And I was like, "Edu, I'm never trusting you again, bro." I was honestly really obnoxious. He was like, "Just go, just trust me, bro. Everything's gonna work out." <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Leo, you're an avid pirate. You you tell him how to do it. I don't pirate games. Oh, I'm sorry, you you. You mysteriously acquired them for free. No, I don't. If you're talking about games I emulate, I just dump the files to my PC. Dude, Oliver, fucking I'm emulating. Where the fuck is Dragon Quest? It's because I, you oh emulate something. I forgot to bring it last time. I, yeah, I, files I completely emulator. forgot about it, too. But fuck you, bro. I need I need Drag Quest, dude. Uh, remind me, like, to give you the USB drive. I mean, literally, I could just tell you how to, like, download every single game for, for, for like... I could just tell you how to download every single game, and it's, like, it's gonna take, like, 12 hours, but, like... Yeah. Babe, they're that big? Uh, when it starts getting to, like, the disc-based stuff, yeah. Mm. Like, GameCube games are massive. Like, have you ever tried redownloading pick? Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. No, dude, it's not my thing. I you never played Paper, Paper Mario? Mario? I already have Paper Mario on disc. Me too. Dude, that game's worth a lot now. You could sell that shit. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Who? I would never sell that fucking copy. I don't. I don't yeah, care. I don't you have get a like two hundred bucks for it. Like, like I would do it now before people realize that that game's not worth like that much. Did I just hear some disrespect towards? The almighty. I'm not disrespecting Ooh. Paper Mario, but that's like forty dollars at most. I can't believe I'm hearing this disrespect towards the ultimate Paper Mario game. Yeah, the, you agree it's not worth like two hundred dollars, right? 
True, it's worth it was just worth the full price sixty. What so game? Worth two hundred dollars. Uh, hey, there's Mario no. Mario Bros. Your door on the GameCube, but like. Hey. Oh. Hey, wait, wait, what? No, it's not worth forty dollars. It's not as worth the same price as Sonic Forces. Okay, yeah, but Sonic Lost, but Sonic Forces retailed for that like originally, and now it's like ten bucks. You find that all the time in like the uh, the like the fucking clearance aisle at a. I know, but don't you dare try to say that it's the same price as so of that game at launch. Uh, oops. Okay. Listen, listen. Kazootai. Kazootai. Your Mario that's at your door still looks good, and it's still a very good game. Okay, yeah, but I don't think it's worth more than 40 bucks. Like, I think that's one of the best games ever made, but, like, when a game's old, no matter how good it is, I don't think you should, like, pay more than 40 bucks for, like, a game that's, like, readily available and that everybody who owned the system had. But not that many people owned the GameCube. Yeah, I mean, enough. Enough people did so that, like, you know, to make that not worth it. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I just think the retro market's fucked. Listen, all can be I rectified. I think it's all Gator Ooze's fault. It's, you know. All can... Listen, pick... Paper Mario The Thousand Years Store still is, like, one of my favorite games of all time. I don't think it's ever going to be... Like worth less than worth forty dollars. Like I do not want to. Like when I hear that price, I mean, my it goes to Sonic Leo, Forces. Games should, game should not be priced on like how fucking good they are. They should be priced by like, like the quantity and like fucking like how a demand they are. Like I don't know, man. Well, I mean, Paramar the Thousand Year Door. You gotta agree, still looks good for how it is. Like if you ever. HD All right. yet? Alright, listen, Leo. I want here's what I want you to do, and this is gonna determine the value of the game, man. If, okay. if if you think listen, good flashlights go for a couple hundred dollars. Wait, right? what wait, so what? You, what? You, wait, you, wait, 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 what? If you take wait. the disc and the case and you use that as a flashlight, only then will you be able to determine the modern day value of that game. What the What? What how um, um do you agree? I'll... Well, Oliver, um, I think this is my time to leave, so, no, um... You are, I, out this. you are getting out I'm sorry, Spakey uses his video games as flashlight. Did he leave? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I think we found his secret. What's his secret? He uses video games as flashlight. Is, uh, hunger and fear really that good? I really think so. I love it. I really think this is a really good game. Would he use it as a like, flashlight? Absolutely. But this is definitely not something you play with family. We should play it on the off chucks and we should put it on YouTube Kids. <laughs> yeah, dude. Put it on YouTube Kids? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Dude, I feel like YouTube Kids is so stupid. Oh, it is. I really hate the fact that I can't, like, every time... You, you know what I'm talking about when I try to, like, put it in full screen and it pauses it? Yeah. That's, like, to me, that's, like, fucking horrible. Yeah, because, like, what's the fucking point? There is none. Don't you get it? To make it inconvenient. No, oh, but I hate YouTube kids. YouTube's going down, down, down a downward spiral. Captain's Diary and Small Key. Ooh. And Anathomia. Anathomia? A one eight vial? Oh my god, no way. Okay, here we go. An empty scroll. Okay, that was really good. Like, that's really fucking good. Because that gives me everything I need to cure my worm. So I'm going to go here. So I'm going to use... Because I have worm, uh, worm juice somewhere. There it is. I can't believe you don't like these type of games. No, of course not. Why? I don't know. I mean, look at the type of games I'm playing right now. Now, you get me a Sonic erotic, erotic RPG, and, you know, I'll be all over that shit. That's what I'm all about. I'm dirt. I'm not a big Sonic guy. Oh, no, I hate Sonic. Please. Hey, there we go. There we go. Holy shit. That was definitely a really big holy shit moment. I just have to attack their lanterns. Here we go. Okay. That's gone. Here we go. You can't attack me now. Awesome. Dang. Oh. I'm getting him back on here. He's not escaping. Please don't. What? Oh, God. Wow, I died. I'm so fucking pissed right now. Wow. Leo? Yeah? Can you please come back? Michael was so lonely, he misses you. Dude, I'm actually so pissed right now, dude. Yeah, he, he just said he's so pissed, and that's because you're not here. He misses... Can you, can you get back on call? Hello? 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 Leo? Leo, join the call. God damn it, dude. Fuck, bro. What? Oh. 
We'll do that and then join. He has to pick up his room. Dude, when I say I'm actually really fucking pissed, dude, I mean, like, I am pissed. Like, wow, pissed. Like, that was not supposed to happen at all. I died to some bullshit. Like, it was nothing but just pure bullshit. Oh, God, I, I did the wrong thing again. Why don't you do the right thing? God damn it, dude. Okay. Holy shit, dude. It's all just stupid, dude. That's all it is. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Damn it, dude. It's not a very long-lasted voice line. Level 3 basement. Yeah, that was much easier this time. Do you have any funny stories to tell? Hold on. Was I supposed to know those were lasers? Alright, well that was really upsetting. That was really fucked up, dude. That's all I have to say. Like, I had everything that I needed. I had the white vial to cure my poison. But now I don't. I still do have a white vial. I wonder how many empty spools I have. I have two. I had three that run, but that was alright. It's okay. It's not like I lost something crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. My health is like shit right now. Do I have any blue? Oh god, I'm out of blue herbs. Uh, I must have not picked them up. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Thank god. That was almost really, really, really problematic. Oh god. That's it. That's it. Come on, give me heads. There we go. Let's go. I got an empty scroll. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I'm dead. Please let me run away. I don't like pinball in my Sonic game. There we go. Dude, what the fuck? Beautiful execution. Oh, God. That was such a waste of a clock. <laughs> fuck my life, dude. Jesus. Why am I getting so many notifications? Oh, God. No, 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 no. There's a worm juice. What the fuck? What? Oh, give me a second. Oh, God. Wow, it clips. Palace and the painting Yellow Mages clip, along with having the key of the death session. Finally. Oh my god, this guy's so overpowered. I need to get him, dude. He cannot carry any equipment, does not need to eat, and cannot die. Is this a multiplayer game? Why? I don't know. Are you trying to play with me? No. Like, you uh, described it as like a multiplayer game. Not really. I don't know. It sounds like a multiplayer game. Well, in a way, like, you can recruit people. Imagine the same way that you have like party members in Dragon Quest. Yeah, I, mean, I can have like, party that's members the same here. Every RPG. Dude, my fucking chest hurt so bad from yesterday. I know. Does yours hurt? Yeah. How do I get this? What? Fucking thing in the game. Camera's fucking so shitty. Dude, there's so much. Game. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck is this? I don't know, man. What? I'm tired. Does that seem have a sun or anything? What? Did Epstein have, like, a son or anything? That I can't tell you, but I believe he did. Oh, so we've got Epstein Jr. to watch out for. <laughs> Dude, imagine if his son is just going to, like, high school now. Dude, and, that like, would be horrible. <laughs> Dude, poor Epstein Jr. Just, like, like, imagine, like, the bullying he would go through. It was like, it was like, it's like, your dad was a favorite. He had a whole island. We take any nice vacation to that island, Jr.? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Your dad ever taught you as a kid? Huh? Huh? Dude. I'd hate to be Epstein Jr. Damn it. Okay, hold on. I think this is gonna be it. Okay, finally. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. Edu was calling me. Dude, bring him in. No, I, I gotta go. You wanna join? Dude, I'm still recording. Okay. Hello? Carpenter John this. Yeah. Alright. Uh took a bit to get now I am recording. Oh shit. No, I did know. Uh I'm here to talk editing, so like maybe we could do that some other time. I mean you can still do it, but uh, uh well I mean I'm talking about the cancelable parts and like trying to just basically reconfirm whether like, oh should I censor this out or should I cut it or like whatnot. Yeah, why not? Worst case scenario we just cut that out.
Yeah. The first off, y'all are a bunch of fucking clowns, dude. Like oh, we are. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I, in addition to like all the other weird fucking tangents you guys. Like there was a point later on in the video, where I heard like, oh, we should live stream. Twitch would fucking rip you limb from limb, all of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah their their algorithms are a lot more sensitive than my own. Let's see, but nice. playing Sonic Lost World, I'm a I'm on nice. the green woman, and uh, everybody else ditched. Me. Right. Well, <clears throat> let's see. I I was gonna also screen share my thing, but I think like like because I figured it would require your attention to talk about. Uh yeah. But... Just let me beat this uh, woman and I'll yeah. Uh, and nobody take that out of context, but uh. <laughs> of course. But uh, who, uh, have you ever played Sonic Lost World? You're a bigger Sonic fan than I am. Uh, yeah, I've played it years ago, like close to when it came out. Yeah, but I, I remember it took me a bit though, like to just get the games themselves. Like I think I got the 3DS version first, which I like barely picked up. I played the 3DS and then version of Generation. I thought it was kind of, well, I was like a kid, but I, I like I got to the final boss and uh... Yeah, gen 3DS of Generations I beat, but never really come back to. Most of my time was spent on the console version, but I mean, Wii U version of Sonic Lost World was the first one I beat. I don't know, just for the fuck of it. And as a kid, I had no standards, and I enjoyed it. I just played all the way through and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. The issue with this level is that, like, I don't really have control of myself midair, so. Yeah. Dude, it's been, like, forever since we've, like, DC'd, though. I think, like, the last time was when you were, like, helping me with, like, my programming stuff. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was all in text and, like, me sending you fucking recordings of my voice for yeah. projects Dude, the whole big attack is super fucking weird in this game uh, yeah because it changed together yeah and to be real like if we're talking about like mechanically lost world is definitely like kind of a black sheep yeah. in that i mean i don't think i need to say anything more than it has a fucking run button oh oh i was pressing the run button this entire time if i wasn't pressing the run button things would have been easier <laughs> yeah i i always held that shit down i know like, you I hell it. Supposed to, but it's like it's Sonic. Yeah, it, it like, and given that, I I was kind of tempted at times. I'm pretty sure to just tape the thing down. No, but it's like if I press the run button, it makes me skate, and like if I skate, I cannot use the home attack. Yeah, I, I think I powered through that shit. I don't know. It was so many years ago. Okay. Oh, she's dead. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, it I'm is. Gonna just press the, I'm just gonna press the stop recording, but uh, I don't think we could talk that. Hey, you might as well. Yeah. Very big basketball game since 2001. So, it's a little bit unrealistic for me. But I, honestly, that's what's to be expected. They're, what anything will ruin my chances of ha having my, one of my sports teams win it all. So, Wait, so you weren't even, like, alive no, while I your wasn't favorite born. team was playing? No, no, no. So, my favorite team is the Sixers. I'm from, <laughs> I was born in Philadelphia. I love all their sports teams. And the Sixers have not been past the second round of the playoffs since 2001. Since the <laughs> Twin Towers fell, they have yeah. not been in the in the second round of the playoffs. They make the playoffs all the time, but they'll never win. <laughs> so why are they yeah, your favorite? Because I like them. I'm from Philadelphia. I have to. But they suck. <laughs> Well, that's tough yeah. shit. One of these days, they'll come, they'll come pull through. The Eagles sucked until, like, what, 2017, then they won the Super Bowl. And I was with them the whole way through. And then they sucked again. I get it. They, uh, the Sixers, they drew power from the Twin Towers, but now they're gone, so. Hey, you want to know, you want to hear, you want to hear a very interesting stat? You want to hear a very interesting stat? I'm going to Oh, shut up. Okay, okay, I'll say what I have to say, and if what I have to say is more interesting than what you have to say, then the conversation is mine. <laughs> I believe it. Okay, uh, 
Is it Asian stereotype, like, r still racist if it's done by, like, you know, fucking person from that race? No, well, like, I can people... Making kamikaze jokes? No, not at all. No, like, if it's just, like, a racist stereotype of what I assume to be a Chinese person from a, a game made by Japanese people. <laughs> okay, what you do you mean? You know, I don't you think racist... I think anyone game. could do anything. No, yeah. why, why the fuck would I be watching your stupid fucking game? Because it's Sonic. Yeah, you don't like Sonic. <laughs> you like that? You like that one? Actually, uh, a little, a little uh, upchucks fact for everyone. Uh, Sonic was actually how this trio uh, first bonded. I met no it wasn't it was it not was at all video. yep that's not true no, he's right yep, like, he... i think that like the first video that piranha was on was like sonic adventure so exactly just that. oh yeah no 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 no, no. no it was jack and daxter or not jack no, and daxter sonic adventure. Jack and daxter no was way later. Adventure. no it was you were playing a game and you were on a plane no like a big airship and um no wait that was the bumblebee episode. Double nine, double seven. No, 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 I'm thinking Zach of the Bumblebee episode. I'm th <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking of Zach and Wiki. I, I, I've yeah, Zach and I Wiki was up there. You can't even remember our, like, the Fred adversary of Yumi and Pirano. Dude, my whole life is a blur. Don't, don't I remember question... it to the day, to the second, actually. I know exactly what happened to everything on that day. No way. Because a big beam of light told me seven years ago that this would happen, and it happened exactly how it said it would. Yeah. That's oops, that's great. I respect that so hard. All right, fellas, what should my um fantasy football team name be this year? I'm going to win. I, I suck. I'm the worst fan of fantasy football player ever. I really am. I went 8 and 7 last season. Oh my god. I can sit I'm down I've been down $90 playing fantasy football. What is this? Amateur hour? Jeez. Yeah, pretty Big. much. Uh call it Red Among Us. No, um, last year it was the Cleveland. No, last year it was the Slippin' Jimmies. The year before that it was the Cleveland Browns with a picture of rapping Cleveland Brown. Dude, I don't know why my computer can't play anything unless it's like charging. Are you aware of uh the terrorizer, uh the clown? I'm thinking of the bikini bottom barnacles, dude. No, instead of Art the Clown, you should name it Fought the Brown. That'd be so funny, dude. Dude, oh, that's damn, what I'm saying. Like <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill you. Make everything covered in poopy. Boop. Poopy. Hee 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 hoo hoo. Ha 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 ha. Hee hee. Hoo hoo The Michael <laughs> George <laughs> Jackson. The, the Michael George Jackson. And then you say, I should just make the team name R. Kelly did nothing wrong. He is a great musician, <laughs> right? That would that would do numbers, wouldn't it? Oh, that I would mean, be really well, good, dude. <laughs> we're gonna get into it. He didn't do anything wrong. But... Oh yeah, yeah. She said she was eighteen, dog. And look, say if I'm, I'm peeing on you. Sex dungeons that like eat on people and shit. Uh, I don't think he had sex dungeons, but. <laughs> Are you sure my school teacher like, used to say he had sex dungeons? He did not have no, sex dungeons. I know that he, he had, like, like hotel rooms. He definitely peed on people. He, he peed on little girls. How come every time I come in here, the conversation automatically goes like, some bullshit? She said she was 18, dog. Like, I swear, as soon as I get in here, there's always some weird conversation like this. She said she was 18, dog. I think that's just the spirit of the channel. Yeah, I th I don't think it's because you joined. I, I no, think no shit, joined. it's not because I joined. I'm just asking why but you guys are always talking about this. Because well, funny? Yeah. Wait. Okay, no, instead of Mountain Dew, name your basketball team uh, Mountain, Mountain Poo. Mountain Poo, yep. Uh -huh. Mountain Poo. Yep. Uh... Okay, instead of pet pee, name it poopsie. Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh. Shit, man, I'm running out of lives. Pirano, um, opinions on aboriginal people. I've already said this many times. I know, but you I are. just want to. I just want to know: are they are they that bad?
like are they really like truly horrible like, like would you yeah. trade here i have a trade proposal for you and yeah, i want to know if you would take it you can okay. have all of the native americans in our country we'll take the aboriginals <laughs> take it is that slave trading no because they're being traded as free people no. I mean, like you have magical, no rule over them. It's a magical trade where just every single one of them is traded. Yeah. Oh no, no, tough shit. You don't want to go. That's too bad. You're executed ISIS style. <laughs> like, yeah. go or die. I mean, it's going to affect them a lot more than me because uh, no, 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 but... very. No, but that's uh, that's attractive. too bad. I don't know. I don't care how they feel. Yeah, me neither, their, bro. Their feelings yeah. about this trade aren't important. How do you feel? Um, I'm taking the deal. Before you even finish it, you just say, okay, if you take this deal, all aboriginals leave your country, and then Wait, I take the deal. Are you serious right now? Why can't I attack his, like, head? There you go. Yeah, exactly. That's what you would say, Piranha. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, that's just a, that's just a JK. I know, like, one good aboriginal person. Piranha, if one you could good. commit... I have a question for all of the upfucks. If you could commit any hate crime without consequence, what hate crime are you committing? Comment below. Um, yeah, comment below. This is an interactive question. I'm committing the Mark Wahlberg. You're beating the shit out of two Vietnamese guys while high on PCP. <laughs> yeah, and never apologizing. And getting away and with it. And just constantly saying I found God afterwards. I, I honestly, you know, power to him. If he can get away with that. <laughs> like, on a, yeah, honestly, that's great. I respect them. I'm pretty sure he blinded one of them, like, permanently. Yeah, what are you he talking did. About? Mark Wahlberg, when he was, like, what? He was, like, 17? Yeah. He seven. beat the shit out of two Vietnamese guys for no reason. Oh, like, yeah, he just no, saw them on the happen. street. <laughs> All right, um, Oliver, what's your hate crime? Uh, well, Oliver, know, actually, man. there's this kind of pompous black kid who keeps on shit talking my race. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So what race? Like is... the 500 meter? Uh no. Uh, fat people. The Daytona. Oh. Oh okay. <laughs> the horizontally challenged. Yeah, horizontally <laughs> no. challenged. I'm actually, I'll change my like hate Christmas crime. ham. I'll I would change my hate crime to a uh, crashing the short bus. Wait, does beating the shit out of a fat guy be just purely because he's fat, does that constitute a hate crime? It I should, but I don't think it does. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Why say, should it? Really Why like... should it? Why should yeah. it? Because you're discriminating against someone from how they look. Yeah, well, fuck that guy. He could choose to not be fat. He's choosing I not to. I a problem. My mom told me that the other day. We were at a Chinese restaurant. No, we were at a Chinese buffet. And my mom is not... A skinny person. Okay, skinny wow. Man, okay. So I know, and I'm not skinny either, but I'm working on myself, yeah, right. and I'm like losing weight. So I go stay with, and with, me. Stay with me. Uh, fatty, fatty, boom, fatty, boom, fatty, boom, fatty, boom, jelly, jelly titty, belly, shitty titty, titty, titty jelly belly. Jelly, belly. So if I yeah. can... you gotta remember these things. See, oh my God. Leo will tell you all. Yeah, Leo will tell you all about it. Yeah. So if I I go up to the buffet and I notice oh. all of the sweet and sour chicken is missing. So I see this big fat black guy <laughs> waiting for the chicken. And I'm like, all right. And I go back to the table and I'm like, oh, I didn't get any sweet and sour chicken. There's this big fat black guy <laughs> like hoarding, hoarding on the chicken. And my mom gets really mad at me, not because I refer to this guy as a big fat black guy, but be purely because i called him fat and he was he was a he was a big plump motherfucker so i'm like sitting down i'm like what, what the fuck is your problem like you're you're <laughs> fat yourself like and i'm not afraid to say that i'm fat too we're fat mother we're americans god damn it like that, that's just what we fucking do so she's mad at me for calling people fat she's like what if he has a glandular problem i'm like glandular. fuck you Dude, no, I yeah, that's exactly you had a glandular exists. problem. Like, okay, like, no shade on my old RA from the year, my first year, like, when I was living in the dorms. She, like, said she was, like, this just chick was just really fucking fat, right? But, um, I'm talking, like, 
the type that you can like push her. Nick Cotto? No, I'm talking like she was shaped like like a like I don't even know like a ball. Like a donut hole. Like a ball. Yes. <laughs> Roll her down a fucking so, uh go to the bowling alley and start with the ball. So, you know, uh being me, um I ordered food because I was fat also. And yeah. I ordered food for myself and this fucking RA came eating my food without asking me shit, dude. Oh boy. Can I can I continue? Uh, I, I, that story wasn't done. I still had more in the tank. Um, I would just like to say, what if he doesn't have a glandular problem, though, Saul? What if his mother straps him down with a belt every night and four speeds of twelve cakes? Yeah, that's that's what well, I, I said. I said yes. Yeah, fantasy for Adam, because that was oddly specific. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about Bruce Bogtrotter from the Matilda movie. Is that, was that Danny DeVito sexual fantasy? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, but I, I said to my mom, I said, are you like, serious, dude? no way. No are you way. serious right me out, bro? I'm like, are you are you kidding me? Like, I, I understand the concern behind the discrimination and whatnot. But first, it's literally just a fucking describing word. Like, boo hoo. He's a fat guy. Like, you mean to tell me that in a police report, if I had to mark this guy down because he'd done something, I'd be, I wouldn't mention that he was fat or black. No, like, oh, I'm just um, racist, dude. You could say he was a um husky, tall husky individual who um was of African American descent. No, it's a fat black guy. <laughs> you know it. I know it. He has skinny eyebrows. Um, a big, a big nose. A big nose. Big red lips. Looks, <laughs> looks like his favorite fruit might be watermelon. But um, <laughs> oh, aren't you literally black? Why are you racist against your own race? Because I'm allowed to be, but um, and she yeah, she dude, tried to say the power that like we shouldn't take for granted. The no, only white said... part of him are his feet, hands, and tongue. <laughs> 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 no, but she says, you know, I have a glandular problem, right? I'm like, yeah, but you also eat like a fucking pig. That's when you, you just point, yeah. stop screaming, laughing at her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she, she, I love my mom to death. But she looks like if I caught her eating out of a tro a, a, a fucking what do they call it a trough? A trough? Jesus <laughs> Christ! What are you telling, dude? This is like absolutely horrible. I can't even believe you're talking about this. <laughs> I wouldn't be necessarily surprised. Whenever it's dinner time, you just fucking grab a pan and a stick and start <laughs> slamming and <it's like>, say, <laughs> "Slap!" <laughs> yeah, all of our food. <laughs> All of our food is cooked in one big pot that we never clean. <laughs> it's just constantly reused. But, um, and this yeah, argument went on. Yummy, yummy tummy, man. This argument went on for like a half hour. <laughs> and then, um, I asked to go to Rita's after dinner. Who? Do you guys know what Rita's is? Some fucking fat people shit. Yeah. It's a water ice stand. Ooh. A water what? Water ice place. I, I don't know what that is. This is like some sort of New Jersey thing or whatever. Yeah. Wait, you don't have water ice? What? Are you? No, you, you have water ice. No, I've never even heard of it. You're fucking kidding me. Water ice is not a regional thing. I get that. Yes, it is. I mean, Italian ice. <laughs> have you, you really never heard of this? No. Nope. All right, fine, whatever. I'll fill you in on water ice later. But they had released peach ring flavored water ice, and I love peach rings. Peach rings are like my favorite candy. So I'm like, dude, can we go to Rita's after dinner? Like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then they show, oh, you're too, you're too fucking go. You're too, you're gonna get too fat eating this. I'm like, fuck yeah. you. I know what I am, dude. What are you? I'm just. Like, this is crazy, dude. I am like literally just sitting here playing a game. I don't even know. I lost track after like the 15 billion time you talk about Rita's. Or some stupid shit. Yeah, this is fat people, Lord. What are you even talking about right now? Where was this uh, supposed to go? Sonic. Yeah, thank goodness what do you mean? we're like fat shaming to... people, cause like I don't have good, I don't have anything good to say about oh the uh, dialogue in this game. <laughs> is that dialogue? I haven't seen any. <laughs> I accidentally disconnected, but I'm like, is the game say, I think it might. But have done it. I don't pretend not to know Dude, what I. The game crashed. 
need, but I'm like, I don't pretend to not know what I am because I do know what I am. And I, I, I'm fucking, I'm not skinny. I'm not, I don't act like I'm fit because I know exactly what I am. And they're they're all, oh, you're going to get, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm the only surviving beached whale. You're, you're a modern day Brendan Fraser. For real. Wait, wasn't that movie modern day? No, it was in the okay, it was in the Stone Age. System. It was in the Stone Age where Brendan Fraser was the only one that advanced. <laughs> That's why he's so fat because he's the only one that gets all these fucking high processed foods. His son was named Grug. Hey <laughs> Grug. I want like a fully like fleshed out drama, but it's set in the Stone Age. Yeah. We're like, that, there's that no sub. would be actually really good. You mean the like, Flintstones? Okay. Yeah, it would end up being like a highly dramatized Flintstones. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they're, she's still all on my ass. Oh, you act like you're too fucking good for us. You act like you're so skinny. I'm like, fuck you. Like, really, get off, get off your fucking high horse that you probably, you're going to break its legs and keep sitting on it. You. <laughs> Just point and start screaming. <laughs> I'm like, and I, I did almost say this. I'm like, at least I can. Job this. Did you say uh, the F slur or fat people noises? Um, yeah, I was making fat people sounds. Okay. <laughs> I need more food. Okay, thank God my first run was saved. MF Doom turned me fat. <laughs> I want another pile of chicken. Dude. He he made me think I needed to deep fry all of my friends. Exactly. <laughs> How many? Of all them of a similar story. Friends is a term know. some people use loosely. I'm no choosing, but I choose to like Crucy. That I love him. Like for a second, uh, Dennis, did you notice that there was a thing for, that like Q-Bert for a bit? Dude, I love Qbert. I used to have the Qbert game on my phone. Yeah, I and, too, but I and sometimes straight up, I would just turn the app on just to listen to the music. I remember uh, once in the town that I lived in, there was uh, th- there was a huge storm. It was actually a big cyclone. It was on the news and everything, and it hit my town. And a tree fell over and hit the power lines near me. So I was out yeah. of power for a whole week, so I couldn't charge my phone. But I used the last uh, like. 12% listening to the music on MLG Illuminati uh, fucking clicker or something. And uh, yeah, I used the last of my phone. Not for Why? Thing, but to listen to the music in MLG My Little Pony Illuminati clicker. Like, for what reason? Because it was uh, Resonance by Home. Alright, that makes it a little bit better, but still, like, you could have listened to anything. I didn't, though. <laughs> That's so strange. Yeah. Perno, sometimes I think you were made in a lab. I'm starting to think that myself. I wouldn't be okay, surprised I if I was in a lab and I was a little green glob. Perno, are you the true clone high person? Yeah, it's me, Gondis. Dude, has anybody actually watched that new clone high reboot? Because, like, it looks like I can't, shit. I can't find the original, so I don't want to watch hey, it. It's on HBO Max. No, the original isn't. Oh, my. The original isn't. No, because I mean, I, I'm. No original though. It's just like a season yes, season there is with season. Gandhi. Hello, it's me, Gandhis. There's season one with Gandhi, and that's the one I wanted to watch, and I can't fucking find it, so I don't want to watch it. Here, so I'll send it to you. Is it like some like crack stream link? Because I'm not gonna watch it. No, I'll send it to you. Don't worry. Dude, what? <laughs> I'll send it to you. Fuck you mean you're just gonna send it to me? I have also every re- cartoon known to man downloaded on my computer. Like, in like files? Yeah. That's great, actually. I respect that. I've got Chop Sucky Chooks. Did anyone watch Chop Sucky Chooks? It what the really fuck good. is that? Damn. Are you like combining Chop Suey or whatever that thing is with like Up Chucks or like to make a brand new thing? Like. No, Chuck Sucky Chucks is a real cartoon. I no, it to... isn't. The 3D one that was like really, really racist. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that, but a little bit. Oh my god. With chickens and shit? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's really. Chuck, that's Chuck, the one. Chuck, 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 
I like it. I mean, Chooks just sounds like a slur. It, it sounds too close to chinks. Exactly. It's it's a combination of both chinks of the and Asian gooks. Slurs. Exactly. <laughs> Except I didn't say them, sold it. I because you know. Them. Yeah, if you wouldn't, I will. Boy, there's another exactly. slur I want you to say right about now, Saul. What? Which <laughs> one? Which one? Let me know, please. Tell me. Figure it out. Jake is there, there on the top. Does it start with N and end with Igor? No, it sure doesn't. Wait, which one? Ah, uh, the joke's ruined. I mean, he's still on screen, but... <laughs> Oh shit! Wait, let me let me take a look. Let me let me take a let me take a little look. What does the fellow look like? Give me give me a description of him. Yeah, Have you ever played are... Sonic Lost World? Of course not. Then why not? Wait, if you give me if you give me a name, I'll look up a picture. Just look up Deadly Sith. All right. Am I looking at one in particular? Yes. I mean, you Which can, one? You can make slurs for like all of them if you want. Oh yeah, I'll come up with a slur for all six of them. All right. Um, we're gonna start with um. Balhali. Oh uh, fuck. We'll start with uh Zavik. Yeah. Planetina. That's a. That guy's definitely fucking black hooded. I can tell. I'm he's Jer like. Yeah, I'm just gonna add him into the group chat and see what happens. Like he's he's a big black nigga if I've ever seen one. Big black. Big All right. Um, Zaz. I'm looking at him right now. He's Which a fucking chink. He's a. Zaz is the tall, lanky, purple <laughs> one. He's no, no, no. Zaz, uh, he's probably just like a fucking. I like to think that he's Asian if he was shorter. So yeah. I'm gonna say we take his kneecaps, and that's it for sure. No, he's definitely a fucking. Uh, he's definitely a pasty, and he's a, he's a, he's a snow monkey. Uh, and... Oh, dude, he is a mayonnaise monkey. You're so right. Yeah. He's a dirty white snow monkey. Look at him. Okay, He's fucking which one is up. the uh, the small Asian one? Uh, I'm not going through all of them right now. I'll do that later. The blue one. The Why? Blue There's one. only blue six. Skin. It's the deadly <laughs> six, not even the deadly I'm, seven. I'm playing Call of Duty. Oh, uh, never mind. I, I don't think calling Master Zeke uh fucking Asian is like anything. I just think he is. <laughs> I'm looking at him. Things, hey, yo, piao, piao. Dude, I remember watching Ninjago and thinking Master Wu was like the goofiest motherfucker. Dude, Master Wu was awesome, man. Like, no, I just couldn't take him seriously. Like, no words that he said I could take seriously. The only time I ever saw uh, that was at a friend's house. Actually, no, he wasn't even a friend. I just got invited to his birthday party. A guy's house. Yeah, and it was on the TV. Dude, Ninjago was like the shit. I love Ninjago so much. I when I was younger, I had a TV. When I was younger, I used to just walk around my town looking for birthday parties, and then mm -hmm. just pray that I knew the guy, and just show up and be like, "Yeah, dude, you don't remember you invited me?" <laughs> oh, that's that's peculiar. I mean, I, I think that worked. Oh no, yeah, and it always did. No one would ever question me. Brando, spam yeah. Geraldy. I'm Don't scared. do that to the boy. He's been in here for like, he was in here for two seconds and already said that in chat in the fucking group. What did he? <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna look at that in a second. Uh, I mean, it's Geraldy. Can you not already tell? <laughs> no, yeah, I just, I can never get a full scope of the things that Geraldy say. Like, you can't guess what he'll say shocked, next. Though. You know, no, I'm. I won't be shocked, but I'll, I'll be. I'll probably be delighted. You'll be like, huh? Okay. <laughs> you'll, 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 you'll think it's typical. <laughs> oh, good figure. Classic Geraldy. In fact, it rhymes with that. Guys, what's your favorite word that rhymes with trigger? Um. Uh, I guess what Geraldy just said. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, the birthday party that I went to, uh, there was only like two other people there, and I only got invited because I bullied the guy, and I just constantly said, oh, it's because I'm black, uh, whenever he didn't like give something to me. Like, uh, I played Pokemon for the first time on his DS, because I kept just saying, oh, you won't let me touch it because I'm black. I extorted a birthday party invite out of someone. <laughs> and then he was like, no, I'm just not letting you... Like, have my DS, because we're not friends. I'm like, oh, what, we're not friends because I'm black? I know you're only friends with white people, it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to accept your race. How old were you? Um, grade 6, so probably like 
Okay, that's old enough to use your race to extort people. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was, I was I, like five. <laughs> I played the race card one time during a suspension and almost got away with it. <laughs> because I, I was getting... Get away with it. I was... During an in-school suspension, it was me and two white kids who had gotten in trouble. And the white kids got to walk because they really didn't do anything wrong. They were just there. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they didn't deserve to get in trouble at all. But I saw it as, oh, what the fuck? He's letting him go because they're white. <laughs> so I said that, and he was like, uh, uh, like pulling his collar, like uh, <laughs> checking his tie. And I, and the head principal came and was like, are you really going to let him do that? Are, are you really? Or is, that, is that the kind of guy you are? Is, is that what you're going to let happen? He was like, uh, no. Uh, 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 yeah, you're, you're probably right. So I had to set the suspension anyway. I mean, did, did the other kids get in trouble? No, because they didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> they were just there with me while, while whatever stupid shit I was doing happened. Typical. No, I straight up said, am I in trouble because I'm black? Am I in trouble because of the color of my skin? Do you think that a white person or a black person shouldn't procreate? Do you? <laughs> does my existence disgust you? you He's like, um, no, 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 of, of course not. I, 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 I love and care about all of my students the same, and mm -hmm. you're no exception to that, no matter how much trouble you cause me. I was like, All right, uh, well, your actions say different. And then he threw up in the fucking trash can next to him. No, and then he left the room. <laughs> like, he had to leave. He's like, don't do anything while I'm gone. One time I... Mumbling under his breath. One time I, um... Was in the... Was in his yeah, office, and he walked out. I think he had a meeting, and he was gone for, like, two hours. So I just press, like, a random number on his phone, and then just stay silent. Like, I'd let it ring, and then I'd let it go through all of its business. And they'd be like, oh, um, hey, um, Walt, how you doing? Hi, hey, Walt. Yeah, his name hello. was Walter. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. hello. Um, I'd like to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. I'm actually and working then... that out before you. You think that you... first chance out of jail, he's watching Breaking Bad. I sure as hell hope it. so. You probably I saw Walter it. White as like a cute anime girl, and now he's all over uh, his fifth wife. I can't wait for Walter <laughs> Yeah, they're just gonna get married to Walter White now. Yeah. When the dimensional merge comes. <laughs> Which it will, that thing's real, mind you. Damn straight. I don't think I've uh, told the story of the first time I got suspended. Back on the uh, still getting suspended uh, topic. I don't think I told the story, but uh, the first time I got what suspended. The hell was I supposed to do? My first time getting suspended was in kindergarten, so. Yeah, me too. Might have been preschool, actually. <laughs> I got suspensions K through 5, and then I didn't get any suspensions in middle school. Actually, no, the first suspension I got was just like actual pure bullshit. It was uh, for watching porn. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's such bullshit. But it wasn't even me. A fucking friend borrowed my laptop and watched porn on it. But since it was my laptop, I got fucking suspended as well. No, <clears throat> dude. Um, my first thing was this kid kept poking me with a pencil, so I poked him back, but I poked him back a little too hard, mm -hmm. and I got written up and suspended. And it wasn't even my fault. Like I kept telling the teacher, like, dude, get this kid away from me. He keeps messing with me. Like he's poking me on the face with a pencil. She's like, oh, Bob, go sit down. I was like, <laughs> he's not fucking sitting down. Like, what do you want me to do? So I poke him back. It, it, it breaks skin. He's fine though. <laughs> He's okay. He just needs to stop being a bitch. Bad. So that night, I end up getting to go to a. I'm back on the topic of Chinese buffets. We go to a oh, Chinese yeah. buffet, and my dad's like, "Yeah, don't tell your mother I didn't want to cancel dinner, so you're not getting <laughs> truly in trouble tonight. <laughs> just don't be an asshole at dinner." <laughs> Dude, I remember when I was younger, the Chinese buffet was the fucking spot to be, dude. Like one time in first grade, no. this girl was this girl was wearing watermelon earrings. I didn't think she was cute. I just liked her earrings. So yeah. I told her straight up, I was like, 
I was like, yeah, I like your earrings. They're cool. Yeah, yeah. And she wore them every day for like a month. Ooh, and I see her at the Chinese buffet. And her mom is like, oh, uh, Mackenzie has been telling me all about you and how you look like at earrings <laughs> and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's that, that's cool. Um, I think I hear my mom calling me. Um, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. I'll see you at school. I'm like, dude, like that. She was a bitch, though. I remember in like fifth grade, um, I was dating one of her friends. And um, she said she wanted me to pull up to her um, her dad's house. Like four towns over and f make me fight her in her front yard at like two in the morning all right you don't like me and my pretty watermelon earrings wait i think you don't like me yeah your pretty watermelon earrings? <laughs> what these? Oh, what she was there? a bitch on, pretty yeah she sounded just like a cracked out uh, mickey mouse definitely <laughs> Uh, I didn't even tell the best part of my suspension story. Uh, oh. After I got suspended, I didn't tell my father, and I just I showed up to school the next day. Oh, I'm an idiot. Sorry to interrupt your uh, story forever. It, it's okay. It's oh, okay. there were so many times when I would just get written up and not suspended and just throw away the write-up. <laughs> yeah, I, I just they showed can't... up to school uh, after yeah. I got suspended. It was, it was my dad would do that all the time. Like, he would get suspended during his high school graduation. He was handed his diploma and said, do not come to graduation. You're not allowed to. Do not show up to graduation. Like, you're not getting a cap and gown. You're not getting any of the shit. Do not come. <laughs> Which he thought was great because he could just stay home and play Halo. Yeah. So he, he lost nothing. But he just thought it was like, so funny. Cause he had... graduated and, like, your dad graduated by the time Halo was out? Yeah, my dad graduated in like 2005, I think. Dude, it's like a year after I was born, what the hell? Yeah, no, my dad's pushing 40, I believe. Yeah, he turns 40 this year. Pushing 40. Pushing 40. I'm pushing P. And uh, I, I went to uh, roll call, because that's the first class you get to make sure you attend. And right Sound off the Sound off. One, two. Yeah, Sound off. Just... On, on roll call, fucking my teacher was like, huh, it says here, it says here, uh, Zanwise, right here, uh, that's weird, it says you're suspended? I'm like, oh, no, that, that must just be a, like, glitch in the system, I don't know, I don't know about that. And then, uh, as soon as I got marked here, I just got called into the office and the fucking, uh, vice principal was like, why are you here? I told you yesterday you were suspended, don't show up. And then, uh... I don't understand what, like, uh, the point of suspension is, like, I just yeah, feel like it's... I wanna... Like, you're, that feels like more of a reward, if anything. Yeah, yeah I got out of school susp I've only gotten out of school suspended once, because they did a bunch of in-school suspensions for me. So they I got out of school sus- but they kind of learned that maybe it's better to just, you know, in-school suspension. <laughs> so, hey, and the reason I got suspended was completely justified, because some kid pantsed me in the hallway, but he pulled my underwear down. Ew. So I turned around, I punched him in his face, and I think, yeah, if I remember correctly, his nose broke. Good. So they like put out-of-school suspension. They only put me out-of-school suspension for a day because my retaliation was justified. But mm -hmm. I got home to my dad, and he was like, yeah, dude, that was pretty fucking sick. You're not in trouble at home. Yeah. I was like, all right, thanks. But I, we had to go pick up my little brother. So I pull up to the school. He was like, yeah, sit on the bench and look sad. <laughs> because the principal comes out onto the playground for pickup sometimes, mm -hmm. like just to supervise. So he's like, "Yeah, just sit on the bench, look sad, act like you're reflecting about your bad decision yeah. or whatever." Why did I punch that guy that pulled my wiener out? Ugh, really? That and that kid didn't even get in trouble. <laughs> he just got like yelled at. <laughs> I remember one time there was this big fiasco. Some kid like drew in shit on the bathroom wall. <laughs> like he drew this really detailed art piece in like diarrhea. <laughs> I like that. It and it was so it was, <laughs> it was so funny. So I go into the bathroom and I, I was the first person to see it. So the more kids come into the bathroom and I'm like, dude, look at this. Dude, look at what some crazy fucker did. And they were like, Holy shit, that's crazy. Like Holy no one shit. thought it was no one thought it was disgusting. We all just thought it was funny. Yeah. I mean, it so, is I'm like, oh my fucking god, that's fucking crazy. So, 
I go back to class and another teacher calls me down to her class, like not the principal, not anyone else. A teacher pulls me into her class and she's like, Gavin, did you do this? Did like, you see no. this really cool artwork in the toilet? <laughs> she was like, I, I, I heard about something that happened in the bathroom and I, I, I want to know if it was you. You apparently show it to other students. I was like, no, I just thought it was funny. Yeah. And she's like, all right, whatever. Go back. I was like, oh, okay, it's fine by me. <laughs> Actually, uh, so you broke uh, someone's nose and got suspended. I just remembered in primary school, I broke someone's leg and did not get suspended for it. Was the it was leg break hell, deserved? Uh, uh, yeah, my friend was selling his guinea pig, so he was handing out cards to, like, numbers to call. So I got one of the cards, and this guy, Jacob, he stole the fucking card from me, and I really wanted guinea pigs, so I fucking chased him down and broke his leg. And then uh, the principal says, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do stuff like that. I said, okay. And then, uh, my mother did not let me get the guinea pigs. My mother did not let me get the guinea pigs anyway, so. But that guy wasn't, uh, a good guy. He had two different colored eyes, so. He honestly deserved it, a little bit, at least. Amen. Yeah. Oh, I cut the fuck out. That's crazy. Sure, I'm do like Amiibo? I and, uh, when I got suspended for porn, I had to fill out a bunch of, like, uh, worksheets, and they were all describing the reasons why it's bad to watch porn at school, and, like, every single reason was because, uh, someone younger could see it, even though I was in the lowest grade possible, so there was no younger that could see it. I remember one time, when I was younger, I think I was in, like, third grade, um, we watched The Sound of Music, and in that movie, I'm not proud of what I did, mm -hmm. but in that movie... And I didn't know what Hitler was. Like, I didn't know who the man was. What's the Hitler? So, right? So in that movie, as a greeting, they say Hitler a lot because it's during hmm. World War II Germany. So oh, wow. I didn't know what it was. So I I greet people, stick my arm out. <laughs> like, completely <laughs> oblivious. as Because we didn't get to the point in the movie where uh, what what's-his-face gets mad. Uh, yeah, where the the big main guy of the house gets mad when people start um addressing him with that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't think it was a problem, and they made my mom take me home, and I had to write a paper about why Hitler was bad. So <laughs> I get the computer to do some research. I'm like, he did what? <laughs> 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 you, you're. I, I straight up asked my mom, Mom, what's the Holocaust? What is this? Six Why? million? <laughs> you mean to tell me <laughs> this motherfucker killed six million people and pretty much got away with it? Oh. Uh, I think so. I knew you were a fucking bad egg. Dude, I don't. I'm not a Hitler fan. All these His work. Every single story you've told today is just convincing me how bad of an egg you are. I was just an asshole when I was a kid. Yeah, you but see that... Eggman? You see Eggman in this fucking game? That's gonna be one day, and I mean that literally. He's a fat motherfucker. Oh, he is. Exactly. You're gonna do a fucking, uh, teleportation fly with an egg. And you're gonna Dude, turn I'd... the hedgehog blue in the process. I'd fly around in one of those Eggman machines with, like, this, this spinny, um, like, spiky balls. Would Which... you not? Which Eggman boss machine fucking contraption would you want to drive? Can I have his big robot from Mean Bean Machine? No. Nope. Yeah, but yeah, eventually <laughs> your skin will be bleached white like Eggman. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say like Michael Jackson. That's the difference. Yeah, it's pretty much... Eggman They're pretty much the like same the person. Situation as Michael Jackson, because, you know, he's soft. <laughs> I, I like to think that um Eggman is Nigerian. He is. Yeah, completely, hundred percent. No, he actually is in the fucking Archie yeah. comic. No, he is not. Fuck you. He is. Yeah, Kill yourself. Yeah, I, 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 I fucking love to hear fucking Eggman on a Joe Rogan or whatever. <laughs> oh, dude, he'd have some shit to say. Oh, Joseph. Uh, <laughs> see that hedgehog around? What's Joe Rogan's uh guy. What's what's his guy name? Like the guy who brings stuff up. Like you know, he'll be oh. like, oh, "Oh, what's his face? Bring bring this video up or bring this picture up." Yeah, I don't know the name. I don't watch Joe Rogan. No, but, but you know the guy. Like yeah, you know yeah. who I'm talking about. 
I don't know who you're talking about, but I know the process you're talking about of getting someone to pull something up. He he has a name. He refers to him by name a lot. I don't know it. Well, clearly Can you... he's not important. Yeah. I, I understand the like the gimmick. He pulls stuff up. Continue. Can you Google this for me? I don't want to. I like to refer to him as his media specialist. Mm, yeah, that's good. I like that. That sounds uh, marginal. Fuck, alright, I need to Google this. Alright. Saul, you are Joe this Rogan. Is gonna... I am Dr. I know, Ed I'm Joe Rogan. Ferrano, you are the media specialist. You know, I'm the media specialist. You are Eggman, Ferrano. I'm Eggman? Okay. Yeah, you know more about Sonic than I do. <laughs> I don't okay. think I do. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, oh, Joseph Rogan. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be on the podcast. See you again. He wouldn't say that. Yeah, he would. He would. He'd be very happy to be here. Whoa, oh, Joseph. Ring, ring. Anybody home? Oh. It's, oh. it's Jamie. His name is Jamie. Okay, His so name is you Jamie. are Joe Rogan. I am, a, I am Jamie. You are you are Dr. Eggman, Fredo. Is that clear? I want to be Wait, how do I do Joe it? Rogan. How do I do a Joe Rogan voice? I thought the point was Soul of Eggman. <laughs> What? Wait, what What does Eggman sound like? Can you I just use my regular like... voice? Um, you know, you can, no. I'm Eggman, so I sound like Eggman. You, you have to do some voice. Just... What for, What does Eggman sound like? Just do any. Just do any voice. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah, I'm Eggman. Yeah. Um, uh, I... I'm Eggmaning like, all over the place. Hi, uh, Eggman. Welcome to the Joe Rogan Experience. It's uh, lovely to have uh, you on here. Uh, hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. How you doing? You know, it's, it's uh, great to be here. No, 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 Saul was supposed to be Eggman. No, Saul was supposed to be Joe Rogan. Ferrano, you were supposed to be Eggman. Jamie, but I'm... An, Jamie, pull up an image of uh, all of Eggman's news that got leaked last year. Hey, hey, man, come on. You know, that's not cool. You know, that very really? private thing. All right. Yeah, that's... Dude, that, that's dudes. Okay, that, that's fucking... Pro Jared's penis, but, like, Eggman's <laughs> face is over it. Come on, dude. That that's not a fucking cool joke. Come on. I thought I thought you were like a chill guy. That I came on this podcast hoping to have like an open and on conversation about just like you know to shoot the shit with a with a chill guy essentially. But you know you you forced my hand like here. Pull up the sex tape. Uh, no, come on, yeah. Jamie. Jamie, that's really not necessary, Jamie. Uh, this podcast isn't the only thing you came on. Uh, pull up the image of the dog. Hey now, come on! I, I was drunk. I thought she was one of Sonic's friends. Look. She was just a regular dog. <laughs> <laughs> so Look, uh, man. about the blue hedgehog, uh, do you want to go into detail about that? Do you want to talk about that at all? Man, fuck that guy. You a bitch. You're not the biggest fan of the blue one. You know, um, uh, the blue blur. Or whatever the fuck he oh knuckles is chill i mean he he's a fucking op for real oh, oh god oh baby um that motherfucker double crossed me double crossed me as hell but um you know i, I still have a place in my heart for the fella now uh as we understand you're on a mission looking for seven what is it chaos emeralds chaos emeralds they're chaos, chaos emeralds. emeralds okay uh jamie pull up the image of me with all seven chaos emeralds pull it up i'm pulling it up yeah, so yeah, Eggman, Joe. Uh, your quest is a futile one, and uh, no, it isn't, I'm gonna Joe. Kill you. I'm gonna kill Joe, you, those, Eggman. Joe. Those are fakes. No, I'm gonna kill you, actually. Where'd you buy those, you Joe? A big robot. You're gonna get a big robot to smash through my building. That's funny happening. that you bring that. Funny that you bring that up, Joe. Oh my uh, god. What Jamie, is that? bring Jamie. Um, bring in the big robot. Oh my god! What the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So that is my that's my big robot. His name is um, his name is Tyrese. And um, yeah. So, Joe, um, your studio is mine. This is um the Doctor Robotnik experience. This is Studioopolis now. Yeah. Um, you're now in Studioopolis zone. Jamie, don't Jamie, don't grab his legs. Jamie, now grab my legs, please. Um. So, Joe, I got a question for you, buddy. Get my fucking legs, please. Uh, <laughs> uh Joe, just, just one more quick question before we wrap this one up. What do you want? What do you want? 
both of you. Who has the Chaos Emeralds now, Joe? Stop, please. Please. Alright, fellas. Alright, fellas. Uh, fellas, um. Uh, fellas, that, that's gonna be it for today's episode of the Dr. Robotic Experience. Um, next hey, week, Oscar's Jordan Howell. Peterson. Next week, uh, Jordan Peterson. Yeah, <laughs> he just fucking takes over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next week it's fucking Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson talking, sorry, man. <laughs> just completely carries on as normal, just pretends to be Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan's still just dead exactly where he was. No one touches him. We crucified his corpse. Yeah. <laughs> He's like nailed to both you sides of the wall. <laughs> Drew all over his face, gave him a big mustache. We put um Mark's glasses on him. I like that. And I, was I only have a list of four. My uncle listen. My uncle, listen to, my uncle listens to the Joe Rogan experience. Does he enjoy it? Yeah, like he he listens to it. Like I think he's through almost every episode. It cannot be that interesting. He resonates with it because he is a straight white male in his 40s who served in the army. Oh, okay. Does he do the DMs? Will be a new Joe Rogan <laughs> There's a new Joe Rogan direction? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. 100%. He loves Eggman. <laughs> Okay, now every let's do guest, Eggman talking to uh, Jordan Peterson. Every guest uh, he brings in, he makes them bring in like fucking five small animals to put into robots. <laughs> you have to, yeah, it's like a sacrifice. Yeah. No, it's just like a, uh, just bring your own pets, just just bring in five little animals, that's all you yeah. have to bring. Yeah, if you could bring in five small animals, that'd be, uh, that'd be great, actually. <laughs> Hey, yeah, uh, do, do me do, do me a solid. Bring him like hmm, five or so small animals. No re <laughs> no reason, no reason. Just five. J if I, I just like to six or like actually seven. That'd be actually great, but <laughs> just five at least. I mean, if, you if bring you in have, you. I mean, if if you have less, then like. You know, now, see, like... you bring in, you bring in ten, we will smoke Ooh. PCP. Yeah, if you bring in ten. We'll, we'll fucking you know. I've got some. I got something special for you if you do that. He brings out the X5 then. He smokes his his crack out of like a Sonic the Hedgehog themed pipe just to anger him. No, fucking Eggman would have a giant fucking hookah. Yeah, no, he would smoke out of a pipe on like a cork pipe. Yeah, either a tiny pipe or a giant fuck off hookah. But he has he has one of those who goes with like like the ten strands, but he uses all ten at the same time. <laughs> He's just a fucking beast. He does it just like the caterpillar from uh, Alice in Wonderland. He like breathes it into people's faces all the time. Oh He's yeah, like, he would be such talking, a. Talking, he just breathes it into their face. Oh, what were you saying? <laughs> uh, repeat that. Repeat that Sorry, one for me, bud. <laughs> you want to say that one again, boss? <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. He had uh, something in your face. He'd also just probably smoke pure oil. Like fucking whale blubber. Yeah, exactly. I want to imagine Eggman showing up to, like, college parties. Yeah. And just getting, like, completely fucking smashed. With, he like, does, like, the like, Eggman. Dude, do you think he just, like, go and they, like, just talk to college students about, like, his plans? <laughs> He, he tries to. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking take some. I'm gonna take rabbits and I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna stick that in. Uh, gonna stick that up my ass. <laughs> no, no, no. Why are so funny? Up, I stuck them up. Oh, we, we do that. We only do that on Saturdays. We only do that on Saturdays. Yeah. But he's trying. Robots. He's trying to recruit this like 19 year old blonde chick who's like smashed out of her mind. She's so high she doesn't know where she is. So, uh, how would you like to build robots? <laughs> you only perhaps put like some to build robots. Perhaps put you some like... small animals inside of them. You don't like cute little uh, rabbits. Yeah, I'd love to put some small animals inside of them. I have a bunch of little rabbits in my apartment. Do you want to watch me uh, put them into robots? Now, see, I'm starting to think you're a whore. <laughs>
Dean, I don't like it very much. <laughs> Fucking I like uh, Eggman's at a college party and he's he's hitting it up. He's doing all right. Like, okay, now let's do sober Eggman trying to uh, recruit at a college party. I feel like and he would get pussy. Halfway through, fucking Sonic shows up. Yeah. Would a battle ensue? A rap battle would ensue. A dance <laughs> battle would ensue. He, he just shows up and fucking Eggman's like, oh, great, this prick. And he knows that he's just gonna have to leave because no one's gonna care about him anymore. Just Sonic is gonna change that fucking body. Sonic, yeah, yeah that, that is something Sonic the fucking hedgehog would do. Exactly. He shows up, hoffs down all the fucking chili dogs at the fucking party. What an asshole. You know, Eggman ordered those two. <laughs> yeah, he brought them for himself. Oh, Upsetting. Hey Sonic. hey, Sonic. I didn't know you would be here. Like, Eggman just wants to stay cordial. Like, he's like, come on, man. I'm really I'm really not trying to have a problem tonight. I, I came here to try to unwind. Eggman. Oh, yeah, well, um... Oh, wow, your skin Sonic, Eggman. So, figuring his ass up speed of light. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Eggman goes home with like a six pack, sits on his couch, watches like reruns of Seinfeld. <laughs> he just like me. In a fucking like, I just a white singlet with his fucking belly hanging out. Oh, I, I wanted to think that he would wear like um tidy whities that his body would just kind of like envelop. Yeah, he just wears one big onesie. Head to toe though, like it covers his whole. <laughs> no, it covers me. everything. His whole. Yeah, he no, yeah, he has a circle cut out for his um belly butt. <laughs> he wears spandex, <laughs> and it's like ripping in some spaces. I'd be friends with Eggman, dude. Uh, he seems like he gets way too much hate. Yeah, Eggman. I mean, honestly, I can sympathize with some of the stuff he says. Like, I get what what he's saying. Yeah, like, like I would for the moon too. Especially in the movie, you guys have seen both the movies, right? I don't think it's both of them. Yeah, there's the two. The second one's been out for like three years now? Oh, no, two I years. The second one's out? I Dude, the second that. one was released like two years ago. It wasn't? You're lying. I You're swear to God. Out. The second one is not out yet. Fuck you. I've seen it multiple it's times. No, yes, it is. Fuck, when so they released... Close, I meant they... In they introduced Knuckles and Tails. What? What? Are you no. kidding me? You haven't seen this movie? When? Was it Fuck. was Knuckles it not Tails released not in the fucking Sonic movie? Was it not released in Australia? I've not seen a single thing about Sonic 2 being out yet. Dude, Google Sonic the Hedgehog 2, like the movie. Google Sonic the oh. Hedgehog Freddy Ford to cover your tracks. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> No, I think they are all there. I think 34 just came out. I looked them up. <laughs> He's gonna fucking Google it. What a loser. What a loser. <laughs> Sometimes I screech too loud and it doesn't pick up on my microphone. Yeah, I, f I think every obstruct has that issue. No, dude, my mic picks up everything. Okay, it came out, like, I think really... No, it came out April of last year. No, it didn't. I'm sending you the screenshot right now. It's gonna be one of those fakes, like fucking Frozen Three. Yeah, it came. Yeah, no, he's right. It was a. It was April. Yeah. Wow. What? April the first. Yeah. Good one, guys. No, dude. Look at this. I'm. I just sent the screenshot. This looks fake. It didn't get very. How? How does that look fake? This looks fake. How? Cause it's not. You fucking. You out can yet. literally. You can literally see like the Discord logo in the top left. You can see that I was just on call. That I took this screenshot a minute ago. Brandon's you know how easy it is for Doctor? Pirano. I'm kind of upset that you haven't seen this movie. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't very good. Yeah, I didn't think it was that good. I thought well, they I spent too it, much. I just it's not that good. You haven't seen it? <laughs> I saw it in theaters. I think they spent way too much time with the human characters. Oh, of course. Yeah, like, human characters suck. In the Sonic like, movie, you kind of want to watch Sonic, and if Eggman, uh, fucking Knuckles is in it, so you claim. You yeah, wanna watch there's Knuckles. only one human character that's, you know, necessary, and that's, you know, Eggman. Exactly. Which sucks if, I think that's why they killed him. Like, uh, he's actually, I think, just dead. No, because he got all the he got all the chaos emeralds, and he got the big robot, so... So you've could... seen the movie. You're a fucking asshole. 
What? That's what happens at the end of the movie, you fuck. Oh, that's what happens in one of the games. Oh my, fuck you, Piranha. <laughs> <laughs> you made me go through all this shit, fuck you. For like the first 30 seconds, I was being for real. <laughs> I completely forgot that Sonic 2 came out. Because it's just such a forgettable movie. It really is. Though, because... I did watch it fucking, I watched a cam recording because I don't have cinemas and I wanted to watch it immediately. So I just watched yeah. the really shitty cam recording. He went supersonic at the end of the movie. He did. But and it was so I think... fucking corny because he's just like, oh, I'm almighty and I'm just going to summon a chili dog and I'm done. No, yeah, he beat the shit out of Eggman, summoned a chili dog and then was just done. He didn't even, he just tapped Eggman, summoned a chili oh, no, dog yeah, no, and he's he... done. That's fucked up. Eggman deserved it more because he actually did shit with it. I think Eggman could have done great things. Like, if Eggman... Eggman was a very mentally ill person. No, he just which wanted is why... to under the chaos of him. He just, yeah, he, he just wanted to not be such a goofball. I think it, the U.S. government... Alive, but, uh, probably not. No, it, it could... No, because Jim Carrey retired. Oh. Uh, what do you mean? Unless he gets a really good script. No, Jim Carrey... Yeah, Sonic 3 is gonna have a fucking great script. It won't. It's sad to say, but it won't. It upset... They could have been done with the first one. Yeah... Because the know, first I... one, in my opinion, is the best video game movie. No, the best video game movie I am all is, uh... Detective Pikachu. You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> it's good, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I mean, ha, ha, you know, ha, ha. Reynolds, he, 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 he. I think, like, ooh, ooh. Danny DeVito or, like, Jason Alexander especially would have been better for that role, but, uh, No, you're, you're hundred percent, you are a hundred percent wrong. No, if, uh, if, uh... Danny DeVito is Pikachu, you can kill yourself. No, not you as can, Pikachu, but if, if Jason Alexander was Pikachu, I'd watch it. Oh, yeah. If I you say if. Right Pikachu, he's gonna be voiced by Jason <laughs> Alexander, and I uh, mark my word. If fucking Dennis gets the rats to anything, it's just gonna be fucking Jason Alexander, Wayne Knight. Jason and Alexander, seen... Wayne Knight, David K, Scott McKee, yeah. Gary Lowenthal. Uh, exactly. I'll reanimate Jason David Frank's corpse. It doesn't even matter, like, what he's doing. He's just gonna find a way to get all these people in it. Have you guys seen Wayne's World? No. Uh, it's on my list. It's a good, it's a really funny movie. I'm taking it off my like, list. Like, no, there's, there's a segment I'm pretty sure where Pizza Hut paid them to do an ad, but Pizza it's Hut. just so flagrant. Like, <laughs> they look, they take a bite of pizza. Man, this is some really delicious pizza. They just hold up the Pizza Hut box for like 10 seconds. See, but what else would you want? That's an amazing ad. That's an amazing no, ad. Yeah, but no, yeah, no, because their whole thing was that they had a public access TV show. So it could also just look like they were doing it for the show. Dude, we should pull up Chuck's <laughs> on public access television. We, oh. we could get on public access. That's what Max we need 64 to... did, and like, that did them wonders. We need to just find a way to fester every single fucking square inch of whatever we can get. Yeah, we need to, like, we need to start up Chuck Mania. Exactly. Just We're like roaches. Fucking everywhere. Yeah. Start uploading on fucking uh, browsers. P yeah, Hub. <laughs> I told Dennis to start uploading on Pornhub. You can't <laughs> upload on browsers. Fucking Rule Thirty Four. Just everything. We could upload um just our character art onto Rule Thirty Four. Yeah. Just upload everything upload until when you search up Chucks. It's like have nothing porn related to them. <laughs> How hard do you have to go to get banned off of Rule 34? You cannot. You have to be able to. I, I would have asked you, that you would, you, actually, no, you would have to post, like, actual child porn to do that. No, no, but that's no on that won't side. get you banned. That won't get you banned. No, I'm not that, talking that's what about I'm saying. stuff. Like, I'm talking about, like, uh, the real deal. Oh, like, real, real humans. No, they'll just delete the post for being, for it being real human. <laughs> you, but like, like, I would imagine that they would report that shit too, but I, mean, I guess then again, I wouldn't be surprised. Too, Dennis. Dennis. Yeah? Do you really think that the Rule 34 people are reporting any kind they could. of, like, I'm just surprised you think, you think well, that highly of them? Of these people, man. 
Yeah. Dennis. Dan <laughs> yeah, like there's just any human being that sees uh Club Penguin is gonna like take action in some shape or form. I'd like well, to I'd like to say it. you'd be surprised, but I don't I know I wouldn't be surprised. Because this is like if there's at least five people that see it, one of those five people is gonna think, hey, that's that's a little fucked actually. I would hope four of the five at least. Yeah. At least at least five of all five of them. I like that um when you get um like when a pedophile gets like released from prison, he just has like his name on a fucking list. Yeah. Like there are he, there are just people out to get him. Hey I'd, uh, I'd like to work at the kindergarten. <laughs> no, no, uh, don't no no background search, please. No, because those are the kind of not like kindergartens. But they do hot, apply to like Chuck E. Cheeses and shit like that. Chuck Rubber I also, Cheese. I also like to think that um, if your life was directly affected by a bell and you go and kill a guy, you get a lot lesser sentence than you would just killing any random guy. Okay, so that everybody, all of the elf truck seats, we need to find somebody who can be blamed for molesting us. <laughs> yeah, if Dan you go Schneider. get molested, you you pretty much have like one free kill. Dan Schneider uh, fucking came into Up Trucks HQ and molested no, all of us. Yeah, isn't it, Dennis? For the Kids Choice Awards, don't only two people have like the Lifetime Achievement Award, and it's Dan Schneider and Optimus Prime. Is that? <laughs> didn't yeah. you tell me that? Yeah. That's such yeah. a fucking lineup. I mean, those are who I would give. I mean, I would give. I would give it to Optimus Prime, all but uh. That sounds uh bad. I, mean, I definitely think in the context of like lifetime achievement, if we take away all the stuff, I think Dan Schneider deserves a Nickelodeon lifetime achievement. But uh. Yeah. Uh, yeah truly, he truly. Made good burger. He made Good Burger. Come on. He starred in Good Burger. Good Burger. Exactly. He he, he is the Good Burger. <laughs> Truly welcome. Machine. Remember that fucking Charles Ferrero guy who like appears in everybody's fucking recommended and like community feed. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I applied for like a job with him, like to do. He wanted to do double good burger, so like, I had to say, yeah. Oh wait, right, yeah. And work and shit. And like one of the things <laughs> that he wanted that was like a giant gold statue of Dan Schneider. <laughs> like in the movie or just in general. If they made a good burger too, I think Double Good Burger is a good name for it. No, no, no. Is not. It sucks. That it sucks. sucks. <laughs> you think Good Burger Two sounds better? Yes, because it's not fucking goofy. I'd rather just Good Burger Two or Better Burger. Good Burger One and a Half. <laughs> yes, I, if it was fucking One and a Half, I'd watch that. that <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> If it's Good the Burger. second movie, but they just call it fucking Good Burger 1.7. Good Burger, um, with fries. <laughs> Dude, see, this is good. This is way better. Ain't nothing wrong with a Good Burger and fries every now and again. Won't kill you. Says Dan, says Dan Schneider as he's aggressively rub rubbing, uh, Sam Puckett's shoulders <laughs> with his <laughs> comedically oversized <laughs> jacket that he gave her on her. <laughs> Ain't nothing Many wrong with that. No one they likes good. Not stress this enough. Everyone likes good burger. Yeah, I like good burger. I bet, I bet you do too. It's me, Dan Schneider. Dan, 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 Dan. Dude, I love Dan Schneider. He did nothing wrong. I mean, he hasn't been arrested yet. I feel like... Dan he won't be arrested. He won't be arrested. Pervert of her. Uh, yeah, I'm Dan Schneider, man. Like, you know how fucking Herbert on Family Guy is just a fuck up, nobody cares? <laughs> yeah. We need that attitude for Dan Schneider. <laughs> exactly. He's I feel like we should excuse all predators and predif pred 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 no, predators. No, no, not all. Just the ones that don't get caught. <laughs> exactly. They've earned it. They've gotten away yeah, with it like, for this exactly long. Like you think they would have arrested him by now, but no, they haven't. I, I feel like he should be rewarded. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's not a plan shot or did nothing wrong. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, Jerry Seinfeld is also, like, still out there. Oh, yeah, yeah he he's just going to get away with that. That's just not, that's <laughs> never going to come back to bite him. He's too old now. Especially considering how long ago it happened. Yeah. 
Like, yeah, and it wasn't, I don't want to try to downplay it, but it wasn't to the extent of, like, a Bill Cosby. Yeah, he didn't, like, fucking drug women in them. No, I mean, like, it was purely consensual, like, as fucked up as it was. I'm pretty sure it was legal, too. It was just weird. Yeah. Because she was, she was 17, but she had parental consent. Like, they yeah, were cool with it. did sexual stuff until, you know, she was of age. No, they probably Jeez, did. But in a lot of states, and don't question me, I've watched a lot of, like, YouTube videos. What, like, plan? going, no. But in a lot of states, and this is really fucked up, but if the... If the child is 16, they are allowed... The, the age of consent is 16 with parental consent in a lot of places. That's disgusting. I know, it's horrible. So, like, if you meet the parents first, and they're like, Yeah, it's cool, you guys can fuck. For them, oh my God. it's legal. Jerry Seinfeld dating my daughter. Holy shit, yeah. So, wine and diner. Get... <laughs> Let's get that money. Jerry Here Seinfeld comes the money. my seven-year-old daughter? Oh, uh, this is a dream come true. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. You think that... Yeah. Do you think that an alternate universe, they just made an episode of Seinfeld about that? <laughs> I mean, you can't date a, you can't date a seven-year-old guy. Ooh, Jerry. Ooh, Jerry. Jerry. Let me see if I can just, like... Wait and, and save all my lives. Jerry, I, like I, that, I like that the AI Seinfeld got cancelled because no, he said God something racist. It. No, it was transphobic, was it not? Oh yeah, it was transphobic. He said something bad about trans people and then it got cancelled. It wasn't like extremely baseline, it was just like something like women are women and then the, like that was enough. Yeah, it, it wasn't, it was very tame. It wasn't even that bad. Wait, Jerry Seinfeld? Think... No, um, the AI robot that was writing Seinfeld oh, episodes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dude, I, dude, shit on AI all you want, but, like, I hope that, like, 20 years from now, I could just, like, be sitting on my couch and I could just say, AI, play me some new episodes of Seinfeld and Beast Wars exactly. and fucking Power Ranger Samurai. Well, I you literally can just play, get uh, any... I generated levels of fucking uh, Resident Evil remake <laughs> or whatever. Oh yeah, dude. To to have just like if it, if it has the power to create like these really good like high quality. No, but then that like as if like that that would destroy the video game industry though. Like that would destroy every industry. Yeah. No, because like AI can't do like human inflictions like. It can't, it can't do everything it's perfectly. It's never gonna be able to do that, but like, if it could, I don't care how many jobs are lost, it's gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah, exactly. No, but like, I feel like it could be taught to just like, say, sift through every single Resident Evil game and create a brand new game that could even be better than any Resident Evil game ever created. But it has no fucking, like, reference of better. Like, it doesn't know what made the games good to people. Yeah, you'd have to include feedback. It doesn't have the human experience, Saul. Yeah, which is why you'd have to give it, like, things to base off. I'll give it these nuts. How about that? Yeah, that's that's real. Money talks. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. Ooh, Dennis has to grind for lives again, part two? Yeah. Actually, no, this is part three. <laughs> So it doesn't say so, Dennis. Dennis, how's your uncle? Which uncle? How's your mom? The one that got shot? <laughs> in his big toe? <laughs> Dude, I remember fucking our other John Tice was like sifting for a video. And then he was like, hey, I saw this clip where you guys talk about how one of your uncles got shot. And it was just like really <laughs> fucking depressing. And I was like, I thought it was a joke, but also like that was also scary, really real. So I just wanted to ask you about this. Is this real? <laughs> like, is it? No. Well, is it? Well. Your uncle got shot for Anno? <laughs> well, uh. Yeah, so. Damn, what a fucking loser. Yeah, we was at Hungry Jack's trying to order the big bacon and he got shot in his fucking pinky toe. Dude, they're... they don't sell the big bacon anymore. <laughs> so they shot him. There was this guy who got bit by a snake. Like a completely non venomous snake, he would have been completely fine. But he amputated the finger. <laughs> like he just cut the fucking finger clean <laughs> off. Because he, he thought it was like a fucking walking dead situation. Which, even if it was venomous, it wouldn't like spread throughout his 
bloodline. Yeah. Is it like? Blood. No, the... that's poisonous. That's poisonous. Oh my god, you're right. That a message just still... hurts like a bitch. It would be better, like, he only lost a finger, so it would be better to lose a finger and survive than keep your finger and die. I know, but he went to, like, he amputated it within the span of, like, an hour. He amputated it, then went to the, he got bit, amputated, and went to the hospital. Okay. <laughs> and taking the time that it took to amputate at home... He could have just I, went to the hospital and been told he was fine. I think he was just looking for any excuse to gnaw his finger off. He, he just, yeah, he gnawed it off. He bit it off. <laughs> he just fucking took one big bite. Dude, could you imagine the, like, th shit that that would do to your brain if you had to, like, bite your finger off? Like, let's say... I wouldn't want to. <laughs> no, let's say, gun to your head, Martians have, like, the death beam of the planet, and you have to bite your pinky finger off at the knuckle yeah. um you have I two you have, you have you have an hour i have an hour and i have to bite it off yeah you have to bite it off like it has to be completely detached bone and all but i have to bite it yeah you have to bite yeah. you can't cut you can't do anything you have to bite it yeah fuck it. i don't know uh, <laughs> i think i'd actually rather just the alien death beam go <laughs> I th no, I think that's the kind of thing where, like, you're sitting there psyching yourself up, and then you just start, ah! and then you just bite it. Like, you just start going right. fucking crazy. Like, you, the adrenaline builds up, and you just go crazy. I'm just in the state of, I don't want to do this for the full hour, and then the world ends. <laughs> 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 like, it's being live-streamed to everyone around the planet, if they live or die. And you're just like, oh, I don't really fucking feel like it. Like, do I have to? Uh, uh, I'll okay. do it tomorrow. Yeah, can I can I do this later? I like now. <laughs> you don't now. You sit uh, down on the couch, like just start watching TV, business as usual. I don't know. Can I can I use them one more time to just like you know, like a couple things? I I prefer this not be broadcasted on the TV. And then I use my pinky finger to like play with my butthole one more time on live television to the world. <laughs> Pirano. Gun to your head. You have two hours to learn and complete a, f a full Irish jig, or else you and everyone oh, you know dies. Because you don't answer. Pirano answers funnier. No, I ask me, I'll answer funnier than you <laughs> Alright, Dennis. Dennis. Can, Dennis no, can. Dennis, Dennis, for you, you have an hour and a half <laughs> to, to learn. Yeah, 50 to seconds. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you have 15 seconds to master <laughs> and complete. I qualify for extended time, because I, I get yeah. time and breaks whenever I want, so... No, that's why it's funnier that you get less, because you freak out more. <laughs> yeah, Dennis, you have an hour and a half to complete a full Irish jig. <laughs> and, like, if you don't, you, you get, like... It's not a slow death, either. You get, like, the shit beaten out of you for, like, you're going through it. So who, so who is the predator? Just some guy. Just some but guy? Like you, you, but you can't beat him in physical combat. No, it's an anthropomorphic saber-toothed tiger. Okay. No, okay. dude, it's, it's an anthropomorphic dodo bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both but of it's them. Like, They're working together. It's 6'2", two, like 200. Okay, where am I? Uh, you're just in like a giant fucking field. There's nothing around you. Like, it's just endless grass. So something evil is watching over me, coming from the sky above, and there's nothing I could do? Is that what you're saying? Well, the, the saber-toothed tiger and the uh, dodo are with you, but okay. that's it. Okay, so they're basically watching me, right? Yeah, they're there with you, and one of them's holding a camera. I just, okay, and I like... So what the hell is an Irish jig? It's a, it's a dance. <laughs> just imagine you're a leprechaun. A lot of jumping, a lot of kicking. Like, uh, it's very. It's. it's... The one that fell into that guy's dick. <laughs> yeah, the one that put a big gold in the guy's tummy. I have yeah. a Funko Pop of him, Dude, of the Leprechaun weird. from Leprechaun. I love Leprechaun so much. I don't. I watch those movies. I've only heard about them. Uh, I mean, you're not <laughs> missing much. You are missing a lot. Yeah, but I they're really funny. A lot. If this guy like. If Leprechaun goes into the hood, like, twice, then... Oh, yeah, dude, Lep, <laughs> Lep in the Hood. Lep in the Hood 
is such a great movie. And the second one is just as good. You get all the common hijinks of the leprechaun going, I move the black people. Nah, Doesn't he nah. say, does he say the N-word? I doubt it, but I also, no, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Shot. He doesn't fall into any of the races, so he gets passed. <laughs> exactly. He's Irish. And if they have an issue with it, he just kills them. Yeah, like, what, what are they going to do about it? Yeah, like, really, though, let, let's say the leprechaun says some, like, horribly racist shit. What are you going to do about it? You just run at him, and he makes your legs into pogo sticks. He did kill a guy with a pogo stick. He did. He jumped on him a bunch. That was uh, that favorite movie kill of all time. No, the best one is the fucking pot of gold in the tummy. Doesn't he just shoot one of the guys? Like, he just pulls out a gun and shoots him? Probably. I mean, I they can't all be winners. Right I feel like, yeah, <laughs> lap in the hood, he just shoots a guy. Probably holds the gun sideways, too. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> he says, I'm about to and pop a cap in your ass, fool. The last three levels you've played look, like, strikingly familiar. Yeah, I like, feel they've like already this game played. is it, like, this is like a low-budget bo Sonic game. They, like, did to do, like, a deal with, like, Nintendo or something. Yeah. I, I mean, wish Sega still made playing consoles. playing exact levels a lot. Is there, is there a reason you're replaying the levels? I do consoles. I feel like all we need is, like, Nintendo and PlayStation. Those are the only consoles we need, but, uh... Yeah? No, Xbox is making some fucking moves. Xbox. Like... I'm pretty sure for Call of Duty fans on Game Pass, they now have every single Call of okay, Duty game ever made. About game Pass, though. Yeah. No, see, dude, I'm a PlayStation user, and I respect the fuck out of Game Pass. I hate I Game Pass. I, I hate digital games. I mean, don't you yeah. hear that Ubisoft no. is just, like, taking everybody's shit away? <laughs> It's fucked up. That has to be illegal. You pay for a game, but it fucking takes it away. Yeah, that happened with um Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, 2019. Um, I put it in my PlayStation the other day, and it's just unplayable now because it's the Vanguard integration. You just can't play it. Like, you can't play it, download the campaign anymore. Yeah, that's a fucking... That's criminal. It really, yeah, I paid $60 on release well, for that I, game. I feel like you should sue them. It is, yeah, it is a suable thing. I think games are just too fucking expensive, especially Nintendo. But that's, like, not controversial at all. Everyone. Oh, no, it. dude. F yeah, fuck Nintendo. I think uh, every Nintendo game deserves to be pirated just for the ridiculous fucking price. I'm not paying not. I'm not paying $1,000 for Earthbound. Yeah. No shot Earthbound I is $1,000. I, I Earthbound, like, physical copy. I paid, like... Yeah. I had to get it in, like, really shitty, like, condition, and I was, like, still, like, 150. Yeah, exactly. Like, when they go for brand new, or, like, a lot of the things I see, like, cartridges yeah, for Earthbound. Uh, yeah, exactly. I so played Earthbound, um, on Switch Online. Yeah. Did you complete it? Did you have fun? No. No, it's fucking yeah, boring. Fun Earthbound? It's not boring. Well, it starts off pretty boring. Yeah, I couldn't get out of the first town, and then I just stopped playing. Yeah, it, it never tells you what to do that great. You kind of just have to walk around and guess. Yeah, I just didn't know where to go, so I just didn't feel like playing. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. It's a giant game, too. I never expected... It's fucking long as shit, and I didn't expect it to be. You Pretty know what else? Like 50 years old. The giant fucking turd that I snagged out of my butthole. That's what's long, soul. Dude... I'm pretty. I know someone who has a, a original um, Donkey Kong 64 uh, N64, like the green one. Ooh. Dude, I, I tried the box. I wish I had money so I could fucking buy stupid shit. Like, not just the games, but like the consoles, the hardware, the accessories, like fucking kiosks yeah. and shit like that. Like, I that still don't I mean, have my credit card from fucking two weeks ago. It was bought and used in the 90s. Back in the 90s, I was a Donkey Kong console. Does he have the uh, Donkey Kong perk? What's that? Uh-oh. -uh. Never mind. <laughs> what is that, though? Explain. I don't want to. Okay. Personal. Dude, the shit's, like, so jank. Like, just wall running. I remember, I liked playing the Donkey Kong Country game on the Wii. I had that. I played the SNES one, and it was pretty good. A little bit overrated, though, but I've only played the first one. 
And that was my first ever console. The SNES? No, the Wii. Oh. I remember playing uh, Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii and thinking it was hot shit. It's not. Because it was. Now? Huh? It's What'd you say? Not. Do you know that now? Or... No, it's, it's a great game. It's not. Fuck you. Yeah, Super Sluggers is not. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. So I love not... Super Sluggers. I mean, you can like it, but just acknowledge that it's not a good game. What do you mean? It's fun. Sure it is. What do you mean, yeah, sure it is? It is. I have... I personally have fun playing. Okay, okay, that's... I don't know if I many do. other people can. I also, I just, I think it might be conceded in my own, um, like, nostalgic memories of it. Yeah, that's more than likely it. <clears throat> because I played that game with my grandpa all the time. Like, I'd go to their house, and I'd be like, yo, what <laughs> up, grandpa? Get on, turn the Wii on, asshole, I'm gonna run your shit. I, uh... The first device that I had was probably just a fucking iPad, and all I ever played on it was Candy Crush. And then the first console I had was a PlayStation Portable. My parents, when I was younger, bought me an iPad and got me hooked on that shit. Like, they would just be like, oh, go, go to your room, play on your iPad or something. <laughs> so exactly. I, like, for the first, like, six or seven years of my life, I was glued to that fuck. It was so bad where, like, I needed to be cut off. I would have been an iPad kid if we had internet while I had my iPad. I, I would have been watching Quebblecock and shit. I remember um, when I was younger, some kid, um, like this bigger, older kid, took my backpack and like threw it down the hallway. So I <laughs> said, dude, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and they took away Minecraft. Uh, actually, I thought I it was... on my iPad, we only had one game and it was candy crush so for fucking just, just for fun i'd uh open the camera and just record videos of the sun that's what i did like every day i just recorded videos of the sun i used to go on my mom's candy crush and uh, waste all her life because i thought it was funny to make the the little girl cry my, my mom doesn't I... play candy crush anymore she plays uh those fucking ripoffs my mom doesn't play anything anymore my mom uh, plays yeah, my... mobile games that's about it yeah. But uh, I remember vividly sitting in a Walmart shopping cart, wasting all of her Candy Crush lives, and then uh, sending requests to people on Facebook to help me out and get more lives. <laughs> <laughs> like, just because I, I thought it was funny. For, like, fucking over 20 years, my mother has been playing just shitty Match 3 games. So I tried to introduce her to just something new. I, I, I showed her Minion Rush, and she said, no, this is too hard. I, I don't know how to play this, so she just went back. Should show her a Temple Run. Dude. No, nah, Temple Run sucks. I hate Temple Run, honestly. That's that's what's one a, of the worst runner games. What's a hard mobile game to play? Uh, Angry Birds. What'd you say? My mother was asking about Angry Birds once. She's like, oh, is that fun? I've been seeing that around. I just said Yeah, no. dude. Dude, what? Dude, Angry Birds is sick. Fuck are you talking I mean, about? No, yeah, I love Angry Birds, but she's not going to. <laughs> I love Angry Birds. Yeah, dude, Angry Birds is the f Angry Birds is the shit. I had um Star Wars Angry Birds on my DS. I didn't Doesn't, have it on the um, DS, but I wanted it on the DS real bad. Now the DS I also games are super expensive because like they like fucking listed it. Yeah. What else did I have? I had um. <clears throat> Tomodachi, no, I did not have Tomodachi. I had Nintendogs, I played Nintendogs a lot. What, because I couldn't... Mini boy? I couldn't get a real dog. <laughs> Do so real I dog wanted Nintendo. I have four. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I run a fucking you farm, really pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, free, what, you so... I, I wanted one dog, and then we got three more. Like, I protested every single dog. Oh, I because dog. I... Oh, I, I want a dog, and I want it now. Because, like, okay, the first one, I uh, we, uh, we had never had a pet before, so I had always wanted one, especially a dog. The second one, you know, I mean, it had, it had been a while, so why not? The first what one was memory. absolutely unnecessary when it was a thousand fucking dollars, and Ooh. COVID was about to fucking hit. Is so, it a, what what type of dog is it, though? It's a is it a funny one? or something. <laughs> Can you honk its silly nose? Uh, shoot. I think that's out of the. I think that's out of Dude, we got all my dogs for free. We got Prime, boys. We got Prime. No, I... but, um. 
Mm-hmm. My most recent dog was a core of oh, dude the Donkey Kong MDMA tablets. Yeah. I know all about those. Uh... <laughs> but um <laughs> But uh my most recent dog was a corgi and he's pure bread. So my dad had the bright idea to make some money by studying him out. That's fucked up. No, dude, we let the dog... dog. What the fuck? No, dude, what you do is you send this corgi to other people's houses with female corgis, let my corgi fuck their corgi, and then just bring him home. So we're essentially yeah. just letting the dog fuck, and we're making money off it. Everyone wins. No, yeah, the dog business is fucking mundo bugs, just know, letting my dogs... Mom wanted to, like, breed my, uh, fucking corgi. No, dude, but my, my fucking mom got him fixed. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. That, uh, he he um didn't have the latest software update. <laughs> but um, I go bye bye now. Good night. What? No, no. I'm really hungry. Don't do anything been... stupid. Sonic or me, or you? Uh, I mean, kind of both. All the all of the above at this. Out of boy. I just want to talk to Leo. It's been a while. I could get Leo on here. Let me see. Oh yeah. Before. I cannot get Leo on. You can. I still can't. Yeah. I still can't spend any of my money because uh, it's been a month and my credit card still has not arrived in the mail. I'm starting to think no, they just fucking took. No, I need my cr- my physical credit card. It needs to be sent to me via the mail. Do you have a lot of money? Um, well, I had a lot of money stolen from me that just recently got disputed, so I got all the money back. Stole it. Um, I actually don't know. I think it was, um, Slenderman. Yeah, either the Wet Bandits or Slenderman. The Wet Slenderman. Yeah, Slenderman's a part of the Wet Bandits now. <laughs> I'd believe it. He'd fit in. But yeah, I, I, got a, I got a bunch of money that I haven't been able to spend for ages, and I just want to buy funny things. Can you give it to me? Uh, no, because I don't have my credit card details. Do you have a PayPal? Nope. Which, the PayPal would also run off of my credit card details. Alright, well, if you have a ton of money, then, I mean, you're all pal and ever, he's kind of running up dry. Actually, I think all my money just got stolen again. I think it all got stolen. I don't have that much money. I think I got, like, 30 schmackos. And that's for lunch, Dennis. That's for a, that's for a big, healthy meal. I gotta, I gotta pay my friend the big H back, because, uh, we went downtown, and he, and he, he spoiled me like a little goddamn princess i am he paid for lunch he bought me a bunch of crayons uh we looked at cats uh he got me a couple cat treats i appreciate the big h big h if you're watching that's all i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you right now max is gonna join me he's gonna yell at you oh yeah (laughs) i was purposely skipping over max that that was just muscle memory i accidentally called him Cause I know he's just gonna yell at me, and I hate Mag. I hate making Max mad. I hate it. The last time I was arguing nothing, with calls. nothing breaks my heart more than uh, hearing Max yell at me. Dude, I'm like losing so much to these lies. I mean, you have enough though. <laughs> Maybe, like presumably, yeah, but like. In theory, yes, but in practice, I don't know. Sonic just fucking. Tails should just make Sonic a jetpack. Tails is like being right now or something. <laughs> oh yeah, he is. But why didn't he make the jetpack prior? Why doesn't he just give uh, Sonic his two tails, or at least one of them? He doesn't need fucking both of them. Sonic should just run up to Tails and just rip one of them off. I don't mean Dude, that. I, I love Tails. Sonic could fly. <laughs> Dude, I wish Sonic just I mean, didn't die. This game's die. on PC, so there's probably like a mod where Sonic can just like shard himself and like. That's just propels himself <laughs> in the air. Yeah, there's just a designated poop button. It replaces the jump. You can only poop. Ah, you almost had him. Actually, yeah, there's wings right there, Dennis. You walked right past it. My god, been in the game the whole time. Sonic's in Smash Brothers, right? I, I feel like I remember that. I haven't played it in ages, because uh, I don't pay my Nintendo. Do you like I'm Sonic and Smash Brothers? Sonic Blocks World long play just to get to the bottom of this. What? what? Do, you like, do you like Sonic and Smash Brothers? Uh, no, I feel like he's like the worst character in the game. He just plays like absolute shit. I am Yikes. That's gonna, that's gonna upset all the, uh, Sonic fans watching. Including me. I always play uh, as Sonic and Smash Brothers. No, I don't. I'm a baby, so I just, uh, use K rule and just smash, fucking mash all the heavy attacks over and over again. It always works though, I'll tell you that. 
K rule is like the yeah, easiest person to play out. Makes that work. Yeah, it's the hardest uh, moves to pull off. DDD K rule. Poseidon Lost World Control. How do I do it? <laughs> what about the springboard that bounces you up when you're in the air? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't add up. Sidestep. That was close. Closer than the other ones. Wicked in there. Twice. Maybe the game's uh, voice activated. Do as I say. Mm. Obey me. Do the Sonic. Do things and I'll just, that's not. Ooh. Ah. You gotta bring one of those slime blocks with you to unlock a secret. Oh, here we go. Go, go, that is the tree. Da, 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 da. Very close. That was. That was the closest we've gotten so far. As a collective, as a team. Yeah, it is. Uh, as an up. Dude, I wish I had the Omni Tricks so I could just transform into Spider Man. Exactly, and uh, since you have the Omni Tricks, it also translates into a every video and, game. Like, stink fly, so I could, like. Yeah. Just smell your big, stinky self. You know, just get big whiffs, uh, keep them in jars. Do you think Upgrade could, uh, do consoles? Like, he could uh, turn yeah, a N64. Uh, dude, if, I had, uh, if I had an Omnitrix, I would use Upgrade and just upgrade the shit out of everything. Just, like, make all my old systems just, like, HDMI modded and shit. Exactly. Just, like, basically play it better than emulation. If I had, like, Upgrade or, like, Brainstorm, I could just, like, perfect emulation and make a dime a dozen on that. <laughs> Does upgrade still have to be attached to the thing, or did it? I don't I know. Think I don't stuff know. like electronics and computers, you can like leave permanent upgrades. Yeah, that would that would make sense. I uh, I can grasp the concept of that. But like an extent, like you want to be able to yeah. make it like a battle chip, but like you could definitely like. <laughs> You can turn the N64 into a Super N64, Yeah. Or an NES into a SNES. Pretty much. Okay. I I'm seeing the appeal now. Fuck. And he's green. That's another thing. Upgrade? Yeah. Oh, he's black. Yeah, but I like the green part. I don't like his Omniverse design where he put the Omni tricks on his circle eye. What, he's like a... He's, he's like a... Lasers out of that. Does he ever? Yeah. Oh. So why'd you say he's supposed to if he just does? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, everyone, fucking smash that comment section. Look at the links in the description. Thank you, Takfro, for the uh, thumbnails. They don't draw the thumbnails anymore. I haven't for a while. They don't know that. I guess not. Who is doing it now again? I feel caught. Uh, ah, uh, it's still Mustics. Okay. okay. Everyone, subscribe to uh, Elon Musk. Actually, I have a lot of respect for that guy. To, uh, Twitter now? Uh, there's been a lot of things. What's the newest? They changed, oh. They're changing it to X. Oh my god. Like, the name is just gonna be X? I believe so, except it's copyrighted by Facebook, so they can't really use it. Ha like, the Facebook is copyrighted? Or, no, I mean, Twitter is copyrighted? Or... Uh, they copyrighted the letter X. As How? Media. I don't know. What? That sounds as stupid as the, the fucking... The Fine Brothers uh, copywriting right. the word React. Yeah, either way, they have it. Twitter's trying to make it a thing. And, like, dude, I haven't even been able to access Twitter. Because, like, everything you is haven't? fucking rate limited. Oh, uh, yeah. What the fuck I don't, is this? I don't ever post or do anything on Twitter. I just look at porn. Oh, I tell it. I look at the funny things that the funny people said. And then I laugh and chuckle. I think this is where our Sonic Lost World adventure ends for today. <laughs> Sonic is lost in the well. Well, uh, in that case, thank you, Upchuckmeister, so much for watching. If you liked the video, and uh, leave a dislike, actually. I have yeah, to pee. I have to pee. I can't even let you do your bit. I have to pee. All right, it's stopping the recording now. Now. Bye bye. All too late. <laughs>
You had a computer she needed it for work. The up trucks, right? No, yeah, I used to have a computer while we were on the up trucks. And now, nah. Yeah, my mom took it. She needed it for work, I think. You think? Yeah, and she just won't fucking let me have it back. Like, I've never seen her use it. Dude, she... that's really strange. You should just go annihilate everybody now. Yeah, dude, I was actually thinking about committing acts of terror. Are you saying that I should? Uh... <laughs> How do you feel? Terror. Dude, people are just suiciding on me right now. I don't know how I'm so big. I'm number two, dude. My name is... Oh, my God. Cut that out. Cut that out of the recording. Don't put that on. Yeah, don't put don't, that Don't in. put that... Don't put that in. No, instead put his real legal name. Yeah, put his full legal name yeah, in there right I now. Yeah, family and list of fears and weaknesses. I like the Yeah, my list uh, of fears and weaknesses on the up truck. <laughs> Reasons right now. why we should have absolutely... Dude, no way. No way. No way, dude. Okay. Okay, list thank God. Uh, I, don't know what just John I don't know Dice. what just happened. It just moved me to another game in the middle of, like, the thing, and it just, like, almost made me die. John Dice, Arbiter uh, John please, Dice? yeah, Arbiter John Dice, Arbiter uh, John Dice, please, um, now flash, like, put like a 10 second frame up of, um, the video game nerd, like, hanging, <laughs> there's an image out there, nerd. yeah, where he's just, <laughs> he's just hanging, like, hanging he tied a noose, he tied a noose around his neck, and like, he's just hanging, I believe so. I would hope so. Imagine if, like, James Roth just killed himself, and, like, that's, like, all that we have, and, like, everybody thinks, oh, this is something from the episode. That'd be great, honestly. I've always told people, if I'm gonna die and go out on my own terms, I'm gonna slip on a banana peel in a crowded area. Dude, I'm just gonna do what fucking Dinobot did. No, like, I'm gonna pop a cyanide pill, and then just run and slip on a, a banana peel and just die on the floor and have it look like I've died from the fall. Oh, god damn, dude. Oh my god. Dude, I'm in, like, a really dangerous spot where this one little dude just keeps trying to kill me. In the, in the... Dude. Dude, that sounds like the plot of the movie Leprechaun. Yeah, that does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be careful, Michael. Like, dude, why is this person so obsessed with me, dude? This person dude, is literally, like, super obsessed with me and trying to, like, what? annihilate me. Dude, Guys, they really, why the really, fuck really does this guy annihilate. have a pogo stick? Who? What's he gonna do with that pogo stick? Who oh my god, guy? dude, why do they keep doing this? Why do they keep dude, doing this, dude? Can they leave me alone? Little... Dude, they're, like, they're seriously, like, annoying the fuck out of me right now, dude. I swear to god, there's this one person pulling at Dennis Nedry, dude. I swear to god. Dude, fucking stupid shit, dude. He just killed himself. He killed oh, me and playing, killed himself. <laughs> no, I. I... <laughs> I'm playing this little game. Hold on, I'm gonna stream it, dude. Because holy shit, the amount of people that will li literally just be annoying, just for the sake of being annoying. Like this guy right here, dude. He's trying so hard to like kill me, and it's like annoying as shit, dude. It's like some fucking two year old who doesn't know how to play the game. See, here he is again, dude. Look at this fucker, dude. Oh. Dude, and then he just killed himself. Like, like, just killed himself. Dude, do you know how annoying it is? This is because of Edu. Edu somehow found this. Because I was playing this game called Agar.io, where I play as a cell. But, like, dude, that was so horrible. Dude, that reminds me. You guys remember fucking Futuristic Pub? Like, the what? fucking Minecraft guy who was, like, fucking insane. He made Minecraft animation. Can you tell me what's up with this dude named Minilad or something? Okay, I'll talk about- I don't know anything so, about So, here, no, wait, let me tell you no, about Minilad. Let me tell you about Minilad. I saw- I saw- No, let me tell you about Minilad. I don't know, I just saw this, like, this thing yesterday that said something about, like, Minilad, and I was like, this guy sounds familiar, like, I should know him, but I'm not, like, in the loop of the internet, dude. Let me tell you about Minilad. I want okay. to talk about- no, 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 rock, paper, scissors, saw. Okay, I win, but, uh, no, Futuristic Hub, you, you, you know that fucking guy who made the animations where, like, Mario meets Sonic. I mean, no, no, no. Minecraft meets Sonic. Minecraft meets uh, Mario. Minecraft racist meets Mario? Not racist. I don't Wait. know who you're talking about. Wait, was that a Star Wars meets The Simpsons, I think? No, none of that. But, uh, like, he would do shitty Minecraft animations, but then he would also do, like, really sexual stuff. And I don't it care turns out anymore. That, like, while he had the channel, he, like, dated a 13 year old for, like, 10 years or something. 
Like so she either. was 23, it's fine. I'm not even gonna humor that, uh... <laughs> no, but, uh, fucking... This guy, like, he uses the woman as, like, a pawn. Basically saying that, like, if she... Isn't asks, that what she is? Like, basically saying that, like, she owns the channel, and, like, he does it, and he's just, like, a worker, basically, like, absolving himself of responsibility. And, like, he would, like, credit and harass, like, people on the internet who, like, criticized him. Okay, as, as he should. Does. What? As Sounds like a should. normal internet enjoyer. Yeah, I feel like this is what everybody should do. Like, that's just how you, like, roll on the internet. Yeah, least problematic internet user? Yeah, no, but, like, eventually, like, he got taken to court. Over what? Uh, I mean, Being all, a... like, harassing people and shit. Dude, internet harassment isn't but real harassment. Time, Just like, turn the fucking I've, computer I've, I've off. I'll argue the same thing. Like, internet harassment is some stupid shit, dude. Like, Just I, turn the fucking computer that, off. Like, they're sending, like, gore or, like, you know, shit that it's like, turn the computer off. Yeah, but that's not internet harassment. That's called that's, breaking the law. Yeah, exactly. Unless you're fucking breaking the law, like... Like, yeah, I also don't think, and this one might make me sound like a real asshole, but I don't think, because I've been on both ends of it, and I don't yeah, think cyberbully. Yeah, yeah, I used to no. cyberbully people, and I've also been cyberbullied. No, yeah, I, no, 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 I don't we, think. We, Dennis and I definitely have an interesting history with bullying. You could I ask don't think either one junior. is real. What? I don't, I don't think cyberbullying as a construct should be, like, a thing at all. I don't think it should be, a, like, illegal in the sense of the word. And, like, it's just kind of bullshit. Like, if I text some stupid motherfucker, hey, you're a stupid motherfucker. That's not cyberbullying. That's, like, that's just a fact. And then just, like, oh, uh, you're, you're fucking stupid. No one likes you. Like, I'm stating obvious facts here. I told this to one of my principals one time. Because I was getting like questioned about my role in a oh, cyber bullying. You were getting scam. questioned about your bullying. No wonder you were pro bully, dude. <laughs> you know, in my opinion, I actually don't take any of these charges at stake because to me, it's not like it's a real thing. Like, I don't understand. No, like, turn the fucking computer off. It. Turn the computer. Like, they did not make any effort for me to stop. Like, if you could, you just block the fucking number and be done. Like, it's just not a big deal in my opinion I, i'm people are gonna be assholes fucking deal with it stop being such a bitch yeah. this has been another classic tangent from saul badman uh like share and follow that being said don't bully the people unless they're like somebody like futuristic hub you're just like weird but no and i like it, it like, dude it i love sound... futuristic hub yeah dude but then it like leaks out that like futuristic hub he used to have a youtube channel where it's like he'll just get into arguments with like the police and talk about like this conspiracy shit and like he harassed his local weather channel are you sure that this isn't just a case of some really mentally ill person that somehow ended up on the internet dude who the fuck is are you watching my stream right now like i'm actually really pissed at this screen, dude very very laggy i need to start so like you... but you are right it's like literally just a mentally ill person like, Did you still want to hear about, about Mini Lad? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've already said like, all I'm saying is if like you were a kid on YouTube around my age, you know, fucking futuristic hub is because like I used to watch his videos religiously until he started. Dude, can it like, stop running, dude? Until Are you fucking serious, all, dude? Like the fetish shit in it, like there was just like a video called Secrets of Obagel, and it was like just this Minecraft animation where it's like. Dude, been, this like, green guy is really annoying, dude. Okay. Like, I'm actually... I don't want to hear about Futuristic Hub's OC fucking a Minecraft girl with, who, like, with really big hair and shit. Yeah, there was just shit like that. I think he was into P, and, like, he also uploaded a video where, like, uh... It's like, there's just a giant woman that steps on his character, so... I'm not big enough. So did you still want to hear about Mini Lad? Yeah, what the fuck's up with that? I saw this, like, a whole docu-series on this guy. I'm All right, like, so... I hear so I'll, much I'll shit. Tell you. Oh, oh, my God. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Let's go. I'll tell you this in a very short description. No, there Bam. was a man. Let's go. This, I got this, three, dude. Minecraft YouTuber. His name is Mini Lad. He was Wait, attracted no, to no, Mini Lad. I... Fuck you. Minecraft YouTuber named Mini Lad. He was very attracted to Mini Lads. He showed said Mini Lads his Mini Lad, and now he's in a lot of trouble. 
and now he's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Why? And I have to say this again, dude. How come every time I'm on the upchucks, it always reverts back to these conversations? Don't fucking worry about it. Like, I feel like every time I come up here, everything I hear about the internet lore is it's just another nods, dude. Like, I feel like every day I do not regret the fact that I'm off the internet. Like, I'm not, like, living on this shit, dude. You didn't call him a fucking like nonce. Where are you from? Oh, no, I just, I've been around a lot of British people and stuff after a while. It just kind of... Ew, like, ew. I've been a lot of British people. My favorite Family Guy cutaway guy. I don't know if it counts as a cutaway gag. But my favorite Family Guy scene is when, um, Brian and Stewie are hopping dimensions. And, um... They end up in like a Disney type dimension, like an old Disney type dimension, and it's great until um the Jew guy shows up, and they <laughs> all <laughs> start screaming, Jew, and then like go crazy, beat the shit out of them. I, I thought that was funny. Once again, every day I'm on this thing, I feel like I'm like putting my reputation on the line. You have no more reputation, asshole. Dude, I just, at this point, like, I just try to keep my face off the internet. That's all you get. The upcoming would be, dude. I may not even go to the channel, dude. Like, what? how can we even? How can we go on a panel to advertise this YouTube channel? The panel is like a pipe dream that Dennis has. That's not well, happening. Well, the panel is almost confirmed. Fuck you. What? With who? You and Max? I mean. Me, Max, my good pal. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm gonna be there. You told me you wanted to be there. Because I have to be on this panel, dude. You have to, by obligation. You have to be on the up truck. I know. Believe me, I know. Dude, I hate it so much when people just suicide to kill me, dude. Hello? Yeah. Like, dude, this is actually really annoying, playing Slither.io. Because, like, there are people that exist that literally just exist like Dennis, dude. They're just there to be annoying. No, there aren't. Yes, there are, dude. These dudes will literally, like, they'll just kill themselves. You know, suicide. And then there's, like, there's joke. somebody in this server right now with 30. I think suicide is quite the joke. That's true. If you don't want it to joke about it, maybe don't do it. But, uh. For real, it shit hurts. Yeah. So if you want to repeat it, you want to a narrow path. Dennis, you seem like the type of guy who'd be into sounding. Dude, sounding looks super uncomfortable. Yeah, well, you know what? It exists, dude. Same thing, like, who's the, um, who's the guy who shows, like, big objects up his ass and starts screaming about how, how good it feels on, like, every meme that I see? Dreamy Bull? Yeah. Dennis, it's, like, it's right, it's most of the time it's regular sized objects, like cucumbers and shit. Like, Dennis. I like that no one questioned why I knew that. Dennis. Yeah. Is there a way that you can maybe make some Dreamy Bull Upchucks content? Yeah, Dennis, uh, when we start uploading onto Pornhub, you're gonna have to stick some shit up your ass. Yeah, Arbiter John Dice pretty a Pornhub cut, uh, insert, like, in the corner, just, like, fucking Dreamy Bull. No, like, we're gonna make you into Dreamy Bull. I want a live okay, camera of Dennis's the other balls. Quarter? I would like to see a photograph, like, I would just like to see a me, but dreamy bull. I was gonna say, don't say me, I'm a minor, so. so yeah, Jesus Christ. Upchuck's illegal era? Yeah. No. Yeah. The Upchucks go on trial! You guys like Jimmy Buffett? Margaritaville? I'm wasting away again in Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett's from the South Park 8 episodes, right? Or is he the fucking... No, he's from... He's from, he's from Key person. West... He's That's from like, Key West, no, Florida. Wait a second, are you talking about the guy from South Park? <laughs> You're not talking about the fucking... Wait, no. No, he is not from... Um, He's not like the... um. The, what's the the cloning guy? What's his name? What? You know the guy who like clones shit? Like he's supposed to look like the guy from Jurassic Park? Well, hold on. If there was a South Park character based on Jurassic Park, I would know. You know who I'm talking about, uh, right, Michael? Who? Oh, the God, guy who clones himself? shit. No, yeah, dude. My not... favorite episode of South Park is the one with uh, with Jersey Shore. That's not my favorite, but that is like. I have two of the band episodes. No, yeah, I have both what do we need to episodes. do? How are we gonna survive this? Al Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta hire Al Qaeda to go hijack a bunch of planes to save South Park. 
Yeah, dude, that's the type of shit I want to write, man. Okay, how am I supposed to get there? Dude, you're not even wasting away again in Margaritaville, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, I'm waiting for this dude who's got, like, the longest snake ever to get the fuck away from me. Are you even searching for your lost shaker of salt? Here we go. Finally. Oh my god, there's more? You know, dude, some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I know it's nobody's fault. God damn, dude. Oh, yeah. Deep shit, Jimmy Wright. Saul, did you see Barbenheimer? Not yeah. yet. Like, what's up with this whole, like, Barben Oppenheimer, like, Barbie Oppenheimer shit? Like, people go dressed up as Barbie and then they go watch Oppenheimer? Yeah. No, are they just, no, they double feature them. I don't know, man. I think both movies look like shit, but I just want to say, like, if Oh, I, fuck if, you. If I have to see one of them, I think I'm going to be on the right side of history. And just see Oppenheimer. Movies. Yeah. Dude, you're not even getting the deep philosophical conversation that you would get from seeing, um, Oppenheimer, dude. Dude, what the hell would I have to say about, like, Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer's gonna be, like, three hours of boring. Like, Barbie's at least... Dude, you're not like... even getting... Oppenheimer also, why is, is going to be to this sex scene in Oppenheimer. Like, you know that they, like, they made a sex scene in Oppenheimer? And like it pissed oh, off. Oh yeah, and it's super long. And it pissed off the Hindus. Why did it piss off the Hindus? I thought I it was too. Kind of quote, they like people. people. It was something about like uh, right before he starts fucking, he says something like quote. He said some quote from like their holy book or something. I don't know. He says, um, 7-Eleven Dunkin' Donuts, um, red dot on my forehead. May God let us go to bed. Amen. And then he fucks it. Okay, I'm finally at a position that I'm so big. Dude, this one time I was at my friend's house and he had to say grace and I shit you not. Because I'm not like a Christian. I don't follow religion. He thought to be more inclusive to me, he would say rub-a-dub-dub. -dub, thanks for the grub. <laughs> because he saw it on The Simpsons. <laughs> and he, the, the fucker said that. Oh my god, I survived that somehow. Holy shit, that's crazy. Dude, that's so wacky, bro. Oh, dude, this person just suicided on me. That's so funny. No, it isn't. Suicide is no laughing matter. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Neither is identity theft. If you were to <laughs> identity theft, theft is so much identity worse. Theft. Identity theft slash gotcha suckers dot com, dude. Do you remember? Yeah, that's the way to help. Dude. Dude, you made that up, right? No, I got it from Impractical Jokers, and then, oh. like, I was- I just remembered it because fucking hit through my DMs with dude, and I just randomly saw her ask me about, Identity like, theft. Uh, wait, what was the- what was the domain? In, uh, Crusader, so. Wait, what was the domain? Uh, identity theft. Www. Identity theft. Identity theft. Identity theft. Identity theft. That's really sick, actually. Yeah, like, if you okay, want to let's just get I really want to get a snake that, like, Dude, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you actually serious, dude? I'm so fucking done with this stupid game. All these <laughs> oh idiots that will really do us Oh dude. my god. They will go in front of you it's just to kill just themselves. It's just a game. <laughs> it's just dude, a game. I'm trying to just literally sell it up to a 37,000. It's just, just a game. Okay, editor. Dude, sure, Michael. It's, it's like the, uh, they have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, put graphic footage of two snakes fighting. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> no, it's because... Was... No, I don't know how to describe... I'm not going to upload two snakes fucking on the Upcooked YouTube channel. Why not? <laughs> okay. Why dude, not? Can I just speak on the topic of, like, idiots and video games, dude? No, bro, like, we don't, I don't... fucking... Wait, dude, do oh, the Tiananmen I, I, Square I, thing, see if it works. Dude, I know that this is going to be, like, a really heartfelt, like... Dude, I'm telling you that every time I play a game, I just want to, like, do my thing. And there's people out there that just get such a kick out of being so bad at video games that they have to drag other people down into how bad they are. And this dude. exists in this IO game, dude, where these people are so shit at their fucking game, dude, that they'll, like, just speed up and they'll kill themselves. and as They'll be, like, a huge snake. And they'll fucking murder themselves just to be able to, like, get some kind of shit. Have you ever worried that maybe you're not the right type of person to be playing that game, then? What are you talking about? He's saying that you're dude, a little that, too old to be the, playing snake games. Now, if no, dude, snake the player base. Play, uh, whip it out. Dude, I'll whip my cock out right now. We'll we'll sword fight. 
No, I don't want to see that. Dude, no way. There it is again, dude. There it is again, dude. Yeah, oh my god. Right Michael. Me, dude. Michael. What? It's a fucking game. It's a game about snakes. Michael. <laughs> It is a shitty IO game in your browser. Dude, I'm just saying I want to get 16,000 points, dude. Dude, you don't know no the way. struggle. Let's go. Let's go. I got his ass. No. Oh, I got him too. Holy shit. No. No. Okay, I'm good. No, this is so stupid. I'm so fucking done with this game, dude. I don't ever want to like be in another like IO game again, dude. You don't truly know the struggle. GTA Online missions when you have to do them with another random person. Are the shittiest things because sometimes they're just so fucking brain dead they never have mics so you can't communicate they have no clue what the fuck they're doing on the game they like just started a week ago they're like level two <laughs> i know what you're talking about i know exactly what you're talking about and it sucks that i know what you're talking about these fuckers oh. have like a they have the starter pistol as their main weapon dude i'm so they... done with this like if i like words can't describe how like genuinely frustrating this io game is to me that's kind of upsetting do you strive for greatness a lot i strive to just be good at a game that's meant for like five-year-olds <laughs> and if i can't do that then there's like a problem because like if i'm dying to people who like are so bad like i, I can only assume it's some like indian kid named like Badavishka and like some fucking stupid shit who's like like, literally, like, drooling on his iPad. And he just, like, decides that it's his time to just charge at me and commit suicide, dude. Some like, that's little Indian motherfucker named Rajesh. Rajesh. I used to be friends with an Indian kid named... I think his name was Namit. He was real yeah, Indian. Just, like, it's so funny because Maya is Pakistani, and she, like, genuinely, anytime I bring up Indian, she goes fucking nuts. Because I don't know why, but the Indians... I hate the Indians. Indians. I hate some, them. I hate them. They have some kind of beef, dude. She, you're, you, you just finished fucking her, and you're sitting there laying in bed. She whispers in your ear, "Yo, I think they should blow up India." Just yeah, like man. speaking of India, dude, did you know that there's like a spot in India where these people will literally just beat the shit out of each other, like them? It's like Indians and then the Chinese, and they'll fight over this like <laughs> piece of land in the middle of like this fucking like mountain, dude. But they fist fight. No, they, like, use medieval weapons. <laughs> That's even better. Search it up, dude. I'm serious. Because they just can't, like, it's some strip of land that nobody gives a fuck about, dude. It's LARPing, bro. <laughs> They're fucking LARPing, dude. They're LARPing with, like, lives at stake, dude. <laughs> Dude, that's the true LARP. Yeah, that's what most LARPers die, like, want to do. Thrive. Could There's you imagine? LARP that pay you, dude. dude, that's so lame. Those are, like, college kids. Dude, people, like, genuinely, like, LARP. I don't understand it, but to each their own. Dude, I fully think that they should do um Civil War reenactments with live ammo. Like, they should... I, cause that's only because I think Civil War reenactments are fucking stupid. Who wants to play, uh, I was about to ask, like, who would want to play the South that I remember? Dude, I want to be General... I, I got to be General Lee last time. Yeah, General pretty sick. Army, Dude, this Robert person e. is like... Or whatever. He's trying really hard to get me. Here we Dennis, go. I will give you ten dollars if you can tell me in the next ten seconds who Irving who Irvin Johnson is. Do you, can you tell me who Lee Erickson is? Civil War. Is that your only uh, guess? Lee Erickson is the guy from SpongeBob. I, I know that. <laughs> dude, he's a Viking, dude. Dennis, I'm yeah, gonna give you Viking one more SpongeBob. chance. No, he's real. He's like a real Viking. Yeah, SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea. Dennis, you won't believe what I'm about to tell you. What? But I saw a pineapple under the sea the other day. And you'll never fucking guess who was living in there. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this moment forever. Did, did we finally find scientific proof? Yeah, dude. There's a sentient sponge. Like a dish sponge. <laughs> dude, somebody needs to do that. They, somebody needs to start polluting the oceans with like... Giant pineapples and like sponges with googly eyes and like. Oh, dude, believe me, they're already, they're already on the first part. Sure. Dude, this little dude is like so hard to get. At me right now, dude, and it's so funny. There we go. Somebody just died on me. I'm so long, dude. Why is he trying so hard to just kill me, dude? Like he must be so desperate. <sighs> this motherfucker is trying so hard to get me, but he can't. <laughs> But they are, dude. They, like, seriously are, like, butt <sighs> like, so small. 
that they want to like eat my ass. I want to eat your ass. Okay, now I'm at 2,000. Oh, there we go. Another one dead. Easily get stolen by someone else, now, I guess. All my free berries are all gone. <laughs> all my fucking berries are gone, dude. What am I gonna do? All my fucking berries are gone. Shrek said calmly to Donkey. I'm going to fucking kill you, Donkey. Oh shit, I'm not giving you any of that. Donkey, I'm going to shoot you in the back of the head. Dude, Donkey. are you serious right now, dude? I'm so done with this fucking game, dude. I've not been able to get over 3,000. Because of, like, random-ass people that just really desperately want to just, like, murder other people. Like, I don't know what, like, here he is, dude. This is the same dude who just killed me. Now he's, like, massive. Donkey, I'm going to kill you. Dude, the Shrek movies are so good. You like Shrek? Because I like Shrek. What are your form. opinions? Well, yeah, what are your opinions on getting rid of Shrek 4D? I almost killed myself when they announced that. That's completely, that's more than fair, honestly. Especially since the rods that they replaced it with is really shitty. What did they replace it with? I need to refresh. Um, this is actually it's dark. an It's a uh, minion, Minion's Mayhem. It's this ride. Where it's like Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spent. They already but, added a stickable knee ride. They don't have yeah, a stretch but, ride. Yeah, but this is different. But, um... You stand up on a moving conveyor belt and shoot instead of like sitting in a cart. Oh my god, giant caterpillars. Oh god, dude, I just knocked somebody else out. Is this person trying to surround me? They're not, okay. You think that there's a rabid Sonic fan that made like a dick shaped, dick hole shaped replica of these caterpillar guys? You know, you know where I'm going. Dude, I just really want to just, like, suicide and kill one of these big guys. I'm going to do it, dude. I'm literally just going to be really small. Like, I'm going to be, like, two inches. And I'm just going to, like... Two run. inches. Dude, two inches and small if you know how to use it. Dude, I know a girl in, like, middle school who got caught, like, caught, like drawing hardcore Sonic porn by, like, her dad. And, like, like they just took off her door. Dude, that's so funny. But that was at Vanguard. It's no. not going to stop the porn. No. Alright, fellas, I'm gonna go take a shit. I'll be back later. No, I, I went to a Bye. That, but, uh, bye bye. Bye bye. I mean, it yeah. Say really goodbye to me. Like it was just like Say like, goodbye. It's really cult like like elementary middle high school thing, which was like I don't know. They were they were just really weird, but uh, no, like one of the older kids was like talking about that, and I thought it was funny as hell, man. So now that Saul's gone, that was the part mm -hmm. that gets boring. I will do anything to be able to suicide and kill a big snake, dude. May you list the uh, things that you would do? Ah, uh, somebody just did it to me, bro. Like that, what, are you watching the stream, dude? Because there's so many people who are just doing this, dude. Like, unironically just killing themselves to try to kill me. And I just don't understand. It must be an effective strategy. Strategy for what? Oh, no way. Dude, they're all dying to me now. Dude, I'm so glad I have like 99 lives in this game. And that was the uh, chill part of the stream before I have to start harassing people to get them back. Okay, here we go. There's a lot happening right now. So, now I'm number three. Number one has 20,000. So, if I can like get to a point. There we go. I have 5,000. I'm now above 3,000. I'm huge. I've died at 7,000, which is really, really obnoxious. Oh, God, yes. I have to turn around. Well, now a bunch of new things are spawning in, so everything should hopefully work out so I can get even bigger. This is a very odd game. What, Sonic Lost World? Yeah, so I don't know, man. These wall running controls rank. What the fuck does dank mean? I keep on hearing that word. So just a weed thing. Uh, wait, like a weed thing? Hold on. I am telling earning... me all this time that dank in that dream meantime has been a weed thing? Yes. Uh oh. Did you not know that? Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh my god, I, I don't understand why these people really think they could kill me, dude. Like, I am massive, dude. If I could just kill the person with 23,000, like, things, dude, that would be incredible. Oh, somebody did, dude. Somebody just killed the person with 23,000. I'm not going to allow myself to die that easy. There we go. Somebody else died. I would really like to be able to go and slaughter somebody now. I'm sure you would, buddy. What? I'm sure you would. 
go. So somebody just died to me. Oh, this person just died. They got too close to me. Here comes another one who got too close. There we go. Almost at 7,000. Green is really trying to get me now. And he's dead. There we go. This person, this blue guy, has been wanting to get me for a while. Oh, is Big Green going to die now? I yep, so. Big Green just died. Big Green just got annihilated by me, dude. So now anybody that tries to come in and get Big Green shit like that is dead too. Yep, and I can pretty much just trap all this shit here. Oh, nice. So now all those guys can go and try to get it. But they can't do anything because all of it is with me. Awesome. Sorry to speak, this game sucks. Person is really trying to get to me. So that is the thing I should do. I should sit here and trap people along the sides. You know, I know someone else is going to be trying to get this too. Nope. And now I'm at 8,000. This is the biggest snake I've had. Uh -oh. I'm not going to allow this in trapping. Here we go. It's just like forever. Pretty much. But if I get big enough, I'm going to be so big that people can't do anything about me. And I can trap whoever I want to trap. But I have to be careful. Because these little guys are, like, obsessed with trying to take me down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, damn midgets. See, he's going to try right now. See? He's trying really hard Dude, to take I'm me down. I'm on 44 lives. How am I on 44 lives already? They are all trying really tough to get me to, to like, die. But it's not going to work. Dude, I was so close. I just left the room. I just, like, A lot of people are about to die to me. Okay, I'm okay. There we go. Boom, I got orange. Now green is going to pass away. That was completely avoidable. Okay, now the goal, again, is just simply to survive this one little culvert. Boom, there we go. Orange is dead now. All right. This is a really, really, really good decision to do that because now I'm in a really good position to just continue to annihilate everyone. Oh, never mind. I'm done. Someone just suicided when I was at 9,000. Oh, no. Well, let's see. Housing processes. I need to sign up for a move-in date. Because I'm going to be living with John now, so. Speaking of which, I should probably call him grass. Oh, my God. I finally made it through. Hold on. Dude, what the fuck, man? Like, I was tilting it up, and it's like... Dude, this game's awful. I hate the... Oh, talking to myself, as I've done in many reports. Yeah, it'll be disappointed me, Nedry. Well, time to add him back to the group chat. Lost the magic. This thing looks like the Super Mario much. Um, we'll Start pressing her. Start pressing her, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, what Dennis. Do I, All what do I say? What do I say? Just, just say... Just say, I literally can't believe you. The same as you do? Question mark. I literally can't believe you. The same as you do? Says, okay. Just go, e do too? Question mark. What does that mean? Just trust me. Just trust me. I literally gonna say, don't you lie to me. Okay, what do I... Re uh, I got ruled out. Well, I guess it's time to make a phone call. I will be back, Oliver. Just trust me. Just give me a... Well, back to one or four. All right, well, do you got anything to say to our loyal viewers? All right, bye, I love you. No, that was disappointing. I'll play this level. This game goes hard. This is fuck. Yo. Yeah? Are you still... What are you doing? Still recording. You still recording? Yeah, in hopes that Saul will join back. Just spam. Do it for me, I'm a little bit preoccupied with my uh, beloved hedgehog. Well, I'm gonna have to go to the gym soon, so I'm gonna get off, okay? Okay, bye, I love you. Prano. Spam Ram. Am I like the only fucking guy that you have? Right now you are. Where's Michael? Uh, he just left for the gym. Fuck that guy. Why do we have John Dice in this fucking group chat? Get it. Huh? You know, you need to tell Aladar to like get his fucking life in order. Cause if you're Aladar. constantly on. What? If you're constantly on my ass to record, when was the last time Aladar recorded? I think it might have been two months ago, I'd have to check. Yeah, good for him. He makes an appearance once every two fucking months. It's like a deadbeat dad. It's like you guys fucking gravel, fucking gravel at his feet when he's here. And then fucking Ooh, ponder your... <sighs> Brano's lurking. He's friggin... Are you... You're not recording anything, are you? I am recording. 
Uh oh. Oh my god, I'm really just about to listen to music and play Call of Duty. Alright, Dennis. Oh. We're done for the night, buddy. No, no. Cut your losses. I really hate this game. And I just glitched out. Could you at least watch me fight Zabbix? Wait, shut up. What? Shut up. I'm listening to something. Leave me alone. Alright, you're good. What? You're good. I don't think I had anything to say. Okay. I don't know. Do you have any story to tell? Oh my god. See, that oh my god makes it sound like you have something to say. No, just you. I'm listening to music and fucking playing Call of Duty and you're gonna not call me for the rest of the night. Yes, I will. Why, Dennis? You're holding on to nothing. Nothing is better than something. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> Alright, Dennis. It's it's been fun, but Do you have anything else to say before the uh Go buy Donkey Kong MDMA tablets and take them all. Good night. I now bid you adieu. <laughs>
Some guy opens his door and he like slams his door into our car, right? Yeah. And... Did you beat the shit out of him? No, no, no. See, this guy, long story short, he got completely away with it and ended up starting like a much worse thing. <laughs> You're a pussy. I, I didn't know Wait, what are we talking about now? Some guy. And he just let them get away with it. You're a bad son. Wait, what happened? My mom, oh my I, god, I Max. An altercation? Very... What are you, a cop? Are you, are you gonna next say that you tactically discharged your firearm into the assailant? You shut the fuck up, Max. <laughs> they protect and serve this country. No, they don't. Yeah, fuck you, no, because you know you- When's no, no, the no, last no, no, time- no, no. When the last time a cop oh saved someone's God, life, man? Like, no, fuck you, Max. Fuck you. Because you know that the second the cops are gone and the world went to shit, you would be one of the first people to fucking call the cops. I wouldn't. I don't trust okay. the cops. So you would, you would rather let the police- I don't want them to, like, shoot my dog. Okay, That's Max. The main so, I own a are dog you one, and are known to shoot those? Are you one of the fuckers who says to fund the police? Not, uh, yeah. I mean, they're over budget. Like we have oh, the, fuck one of the highest you. police fuck budget you. in the world. Fuck I mean, you. yeah. Oh, my are you God. saying they're underfunded? Oh, my they should God. have more. Shut up and let Daddy tell a story. No, because you, you, Max, is, you're a fucking idiot. You really are. Why? Oh, yeah. you have. What you will have giving them more money accomplish? You have all of the worst political have, takes like, I've ever heard. Highest, we already have like one of the highest police budgets in the I world. Really, I'm, not gonna, police, I'm only, not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Only succeed one third of the time in a shooting. You know, like in two third in two thirds of all shootings, the police fail to actually do anything to stop the shooter. Ah. In most Max, occasions, the shooter Max, either finishes Max, shooting everyone Max, or kills themselves. Max, or gets stopped by Max, someone else. Who isn't a cop? Max, yes? Shut up, please! Let's just agree that cops need to support the up judge and not support up. I don't care. Anyways, my mom fucking, uh... So basically, this random guy hit our car. The car was turned off because my grandma took the keys. And she uh, couldn't yell at the guy who uh, basically just slammed his door into our car. And uh, basically, then my grandma comes back, but on her way back, she slams her car into another woman's car. And <laughs> they need to take her driver's license. Uh, they didn't get it. What do you mean? Wait, does your grandma not have a driver's license? There, I mean, there was no cops. We just kind of got everybody. Just kind of got away with it. But no, she uh, slammed into another woman's car, and she was gonna apologize. But my mom, like an idiot, is like, you know, somebody slammed into my car, so you know, I'm gonna go out and yell at him. And on her way out of the car to go and yell at him, she she hits the woman's car again, and then like they almost get into a fist fight. Well, my grandma that would have been great. Pulled my mom back. Well, me and my sister were in the fucking car, just like, not knowing what to do. It was, it was very funny. You're a bad son. I mean, I think my mom's old enough to make her own decisions. If she wants to get into a fist fight and, like, with random people and whatnot, you know. Dude, you don't even know what it's like going to, like, sporting events. Like, have you, how many sports games have you been to? Like, just any sport, like, yeah. uh, for professional leagues. Well, um, when you, especially in Philly, the, all the fans are just such assholes. Like this one time, um, the, the last time I went to a Phillies game, um, we went to park because we didn't get the good parking because we didn't buy the good tickets. So we had to go park in like this lot, like a mile away from the fucking park, from, from the fucking field. So we park there. There's these idiots fucking tailgating. And they're taking up two spots, like they, uh, two spots vertically. So their cars in one spot, and then they're just in the other one, just sitting. So we pull up, and my dad, he he sits there for a second and waits for them to move, but they don't. So he just starts fucking blaring the horn. Like he he's not the smartest when it comes to handling altercations like that. But it, it's fucking great. We get out of the car, and the mom of the group. It was 
two parents and two kids. So the mom is like, oh, what'd you do that for? Uh, like, just fucking going on and on. And my dad, my dad is such an asshole. He's just like, well, maybe your fucking kids would have moved. We could have fucking parked. And she starts going fucking crazy. Yeah, man, man. Because it's real tight for parking and actually bumped a car, getting out of the car. And you're like, oh, maybe if your stupid fucking kid didn't hit that car. I'm like, I was really like, oh, fuck you. I fucking tapped it. Like, it's not that big of a fucking deal. And they're just like fucking screaming. My mom walks away. She's like all the way almost out of the parking lot by the time this is over. Oh, this it's reminds fun. me of something ha that happened recently at uh, Publix where I work. Uh, so you work at a Publix in Miami. Good to know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. That's there were there were like a thousand Publixes in Miami. Yes, like it's that's... not not that easy to find. Yeah, yeah dude. It's a, it's almost like there's like a hundred Publix locations in Miami. Yeah. Anyway. I would have. Well, continue your story. I, I'll, I'll talk later. I'm pretty much done. I'm uh, pretty, and then it it stayed on his mind all fucking game. Though. Like, he just wouldn't drop it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, Can you throw it down? Yeah. Right. Wait. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'll refill yeah. it in a minute. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. All right. Yeah, your dad, uh, despite being white, sounds like a black man at heart. My dad? Yeah. Yeah, he pretty much is. <laughs> a little bit too black, if you ask me. Anyway, at pub. Anyway, at Publix, while I was uh, on cart duty, where you know you you go outside and get all the the carts. The fucking that, cart that, corral. You know, yeah. Because everyone's a fucking idiot, and they leave their carts in the middle of the parking lot instead of the clearly fucking labeled signed, cart area. Yeah. Yeah, they, they just, and it's always like they literally two feet away from a cart area. They just leave their cart on the side of the road and drive away. It's so annoying. That's why I but love anyway, cart narcs so much. Someone parked their car, like, yeah, it was like a busy day. Someone parked their car right next to a cart, and I had, I was on cart duty, so I had to go get that cart and take it back inside. And when I was bringing it out, I guess I, I bumped into the car or something. I didn't hear it. But then the person inside, the, there was someone inside in the car. They got out. They went to the manager and complained about me. And then the manager, nice. and then the as, assistant manager had to have, like, a three-minute conversation on how to correctly take cars out of the parking lot and bring them inside. Man, that's fucked up. And I'm just annoyed by that. I, I I do not remember scratching up anyone's car, but like apparently I did, and they they knew it's this, and they specifically said Max did it. Max the bagger. Sounds anti-Semitic. Yeah, you should have said you should have pulled out your um pouch of gold and your Yama <laughs> your Yama Luke and your um yeah my my your, gold yeah my yeah, magical your, gold pouch as all your all huge. Yeah, your huge star of David Shane. It's six pounds. You should have pulled it out and been like, oh, is it because I'm Jewish? Is that why? Started poking them, oh, you're a Jew hater because I'm a little Jew boy? And then they would have been in the, yeah. That's what you should have done. You should have yeah, pulled the Jew poke, car. Just poke him in the tit. Or if it's a girl, poke, I don't know where you poke him. No, poke do not girl. poke her in the tit. Do no. not poke her in the tit. No, if it's I don't boy, think it was a she. Okay, that is I don't know who it was. The thing is, I didn't even like see the person in their car. I'm not. I'm not even entirely sure which car it was because they didn't talk to me. They 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 only got out of the car after I was already gone, and then they talked to the manager before talking, even like fucking acknowledging me. I don't even know exactly who it was. The manager just pulled me aside in the middle of the day after I already finished cart duty and said that someone complained about me scratching up their car. Dude, I love America. I love being able to just complain about anything and have no one question me. Yeah, pretty much. I do that all the time, bro. And if you don't like this country, leave it. Then get the fuck out. Go back to your country. What are you? This is truly Biden's America, guys. Yeah. Imagine saying go back to your country to like... And, like an American Indian. <laughs> well, Dude, you know, you know that people do. 
go back to fucking yeah, they do. India. Especially like post 9 11. Because, you know, a lot of people can't tell the difference between. Um... Brown skin is bad skin, yeah. dude. Yeah. You know it, I know it. <laughs> it's just a fact. They just see brown skin and think, oh, Muslim person. They Dude, die. I hate bad. those guys. Hate those Muslim guys. Bad. <laughs> I hate those guys. <laughs> you know, I think, um, honestly, I think a lot of good came out of 9-11. I'm not going to elaborate on that. I just wanted to say that. America deserved it. Yeah, I think all the airports got so much better after 9-11. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, right? Yeah, and you know what? I think those towers were ugly anyway, so... For yeah. real. Didn't they get rebuilt? I don't think no, they did not re no, they did not they rebuild the Twin Towers. Didn't they... No, didn't they rebuild... I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of no, different buildings. No, they built a monument bombs. at the site. I know they built a monument, but didn't they build, They rebuilt like, the part world of the Pentagon. Center. No, yeah, there's yeah. one World Trade Center. I, yeah. It's, oh, it's in a different didn't... spot, though. It's in a different spot. Because they still ground. needed a World Trade Center. It is most definitely yeah. not underground. <laughs> the, the, um, the monument goes into the ground. But no, the, the new World Trade Center is not underground. I thought it was. Didn't more oh, people, like, literally you... die to, like, the asbestos that was in the building? In the building's, like, foundation or whatever? Than, like, the actual plane crash? No. Max, please don't tell me you're Because I remember. Not. Please don't tell me that. I remember that was. That it wasn't the Muslim's fault. Please don't tell me that. I know that's probably not where you're going, but please it's don't. It's not. Me. No, it's not. Oh. Well, in, I don't well, like I mean, that there was, was a well. Because obviously, obviously uh, it was like Muslim terrorists that did it. But I mean, it. But I mean, they didn't just suddenly decide, oh, let's go bomb the World Trade Center because we hate America for some reason, you know? That's exactly what they, were, they did, and anyone who thinks different needs to be silenced. Nah, first of all, they were from an organization that was originally, like, trained and funded by the CIA as, like, an anti-communist uh, cell. That's not true, and you know it. Oh my God, Which backfired on them. Like, you know what the Muj Trump's you know the Mujahideen <laughs> fighters? I'm, I'm, I'm botching the pronunciation, but that was, like... The movie yeah, That what? was them. The Mujahideen fighters... During like nope. the whatever, they're not real. They're not real. Na 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 boo boo. And also the the bombing was like in response to like channel, like brutal American imperialism and like all re like military occupation in the Middle East. Not true. You know, Max, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta believe the government. They're the only ones you can trust. Right? 100%. I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> when is our government... Yeah, when has our you... government ever led us astray? When has our government ever lied to us? Never. That's when. Amen. The government loves us. They're like God. Yeah. A fucking man. They're like God, but better. Yeah, you know, when you know... God when 9-11 happened, when, you know... Well, 9 11 happened, no one everybody was on that shit, man. Yeah. For real. They weren't fucking there, that's for sure. You know, the Fred's theme song said, I'll be there for you. And I mean, I think that's an analogy for the government. Wait, you watch <laughs> Friends? That's a bigger issue. <laughs> yeah, that's a bigger issue than 9 11. <laughs> Don't you agree, Max? Yeah, I, I, I've never, I've never seen Friends. I don't know I, how I, bad so, it is. I, I've watched like reruns on Nick, but I would never willingly watch Friends. And there was that one time in uh, middle school, Max. Do you remember when that one teacher made us watch the Holiday Armadillo, or where you weren't there for that? I don't think I don't know if I was there for that. That's a shame. But that might have been like my junior, or not my junior year, my. Uh, Whatever, I was, that might have just been the year before my graduation year, if that's the case. Thought you said you were in middle school. Yeah, I was in middle school, but, uh... So, seventh grade, perhaps? Yes, I, no, I was, I was held back a year, remember? I guess it would have been seventh grade. <sighs> You're... I mean, I am. I think everybody who's in this channel, anybody who watches this channel... I mean, at this rate, I just think that because of the upchucks, everybody is now retarded. I'm not retarded. This is like the most 
2010's humor. I'm not joking. Who's laughing? Guess you're right there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm laughing now. Good. Guess who's laughing now, asshole? Dude, what the fuck, man? Like, I just okay slide a little to the right, that fucking I fall off. Oh, you know about the whole Elon Musk thing with uh, Twitter or X? Yeah, weren't we talking about that last night? Or were, were you we? last night? No, I don't. I don't think so. no. Or is that what you talked about last time? I think we did, but I, you have, you're probably going to have a lot harsher of a take than we are, so... Oh, uh, what was your take? Also pretty harsh. I mean, it's fucking retarded. I mean, yeah, it is. It's stupid. But, I mean, you know, X.com, that's, like, his fir the first and only... The, the last company that he, like, built from the ground up himself without buying it. That's the reason he wants to rename it X, because he wants to, like, make people think that he founded Twitter, like what he did with Tesla. And also, I think he just he just thinks the letter X is cool, even though he doesn't have, like, the rights to use the letter X. Technically, like, Microsoft owns the right, owns, like, the trademark or whatever, so he's going to be in legal battles with them. Could, I don't think you should even trademark the goddamn letter X. It's the letter X. Yeah. And also, X... He also can't change Twitter's name in Japan because X Japan is like a music band there. <laughs> so it's literally just Twitter. In Japan, it's literally just called... still called Twitter. Of course. Like, I feel like it's... It, he has to have some, like, large ulterior motive, like, outside of... No, the he's just an idiot. You're, 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 you're... It's not that deep. He's just stupid. I, I mean, it could be, yeah, but I mean, also, like, he can't... He's, he's like an old money dumbass there, who's, like... like a, th no, there's, like, a level of stupid, It's like man. baby's first, uh, baby's first unsubsidized corporation, you know? He has no idea what he's doing. I don't know, man, maybe, but, like, I feel like it's, like, a little weird. Yeah, because he's dumb, you know? I mean, he's throwing away, like, literally one of the most recognizable and major brands in the world, you know? And replacing it with what could easily be mistaken for a porn site. What about a porn site? X, X.com. Actually, that's the reason he got... That's part of the reason why he actually got booted out of uh, the company that acquired X.com. Because that, that was... You know how people say he founded PayPal? He didn't. What happened is that... X.com was failing horribly because he's like not a very competent leader. And so it got acquired by the company that had already founded PayPal a year prior. But they used the X.com branding because they thought it was more recognizable than what they had, which was like, I think it was like Con, Con, Co, Con, I, see what I mean? Confinity, that's what it was, Confinity. Which sounds like shit, you know? Sounds like a scam. But then they, but then they stopped. They, but then e Elon was started forcing them to use X.com, even though uh, people were mistaking it for a porn site. So they ended up having to like boot him out out of uh, the company. And, but like, you don't have to mistake SEO. Twitter for a porn site because it halfway is. Yeah. True that. I mean, part of it, it's mostly just because advertisers don't want to associate with it if it sounds like a porn site, you know? They don't want to give their money to x.com, you know? Because that's just, like, literally a single letter off in typing that. Could that's just a porn site, you know? What letter? V. I didn't know that was a porn site. X videos. It's ne Never mind. You you can't type in xv.com and get x videos. Yeah, you can. Since when? First of all, autofill. Auto. I'm talking about autocorrect. Autofill. It whatever won't. It's no, called. it won't. It. The Google doesn't autofill porn sites. It does. Since when? It's a website. Why? Why wouldn't it? No, 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 no. The browser can't. Like it's a. Like it's blocked. Like even if you turn safe, I'm. I'm pretty sure you'd have to turn safe search off. But even then. You have safe search on? No, I don't have safe search on. I've never had that. I whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. I think you might be. I don't know. 
I'm a politics guy, not a web browser guy. Your politics takes aren't the best, bud. Yeah. But we'll see, we'll see. Fuck you mean You'll we'll all see. see. You'll all see. <laughs> History will <sighs> people remember me as a hero. <laughs> no, they no it fucking won't. They'll remember you as just like some fucking No, it won't remember you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Have you heard that clip from the uh, AI Hasanabi? I do not want to see an AI No, it's really funny. It went on a rant about how, um, like, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, uh, they'll remember me as a hero. And everyone, here's the top of the hour ad break. It was like a bit, a 30 minute rant and just ended with that. True hero. Do you ever think about how, like, one wrong that, but like these like Twitch streamers could be like school shooters. Mm, I doubt that it. Most of them are pretty well adjusted. That can go adjusted. for anyone if. Yeah, I mean, most of them are pretty well adjusted. They're just like fucking losers. No, but like how like how us. the fuck do you say that? Because anyone can take one wrong step and become a school shooter. No, like are what? You say, are you saying you're a school shooter, Saul? No, but like. But like. I can do like that. that I can statement do a makes fucking, no sense. I can do like a killing joke experiment on you and basically just make you a school shooter. I mean, why are you joking about school shooters now? I don't know. We joked about 9/11. Is this a cry for help? No. I don't think it's really a cry for help. I think it's more yelling in your face, "I'm going to shoot up a school." <laughs> you know, we this is immensely this uncomfortable. No, dude, leave it in. Alright, top 10 school shootings. I feel like that's the direction this needs to go. Hello, welcome back to Watch Mojo. Today's list, we have the top 10 school Dude, they're shootings. Gonna do that eventually. They're gonna do that eventually. They're gonna run out of ideas, like, and do that. Mark my words. Who? Who's they? Watch Mojo. Oh. I doubt it. WWW. Top 10 saddest YouTuber I think moments one is one day of the greatest once, videos of all time. I think once they get enough money, Watch Mojo is just going to disappear because, like, their owners have made enough money to become, like, landlords or something. What do you mean, en enough money? They're, they're I'm pretty sure they've already made business. hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't think they're that wealthy. Okay. Whatever you think, but did they get like big ad? Like, where would they get? Dude, do they have like over advertising 10 million deals? Subscribers. That's that's single digit millions kinds of money, you know. And most of that single money comes digit... from like yeah, ten millions, single digit millions. Like YouTube doesn't pay that much in advertising. Like you need like big advertising deals to get like money yeah, as a dude, YouTuber. Dude, they they are a I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure. Watch Mojo is not the only source of income that these fucking people have. Probably not. They're a company. They're a business. Like, almost every YouTube channel is, like, a company now, I know. Not, uh, Stampy Longhead. I think he does. I think he has a, co like, a... No, he has, like, a representatives, like, an agency. No, he doesn't. Most most YouTubers are part of, like, an overarching agency or corporation that, like, helps them out legally. And, like, -uh. protects them. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think he might be part of, what are they called? They're, like, a, a Minecraft group, I think. They, they, were, they, they were founded by a bunch of, like, old Minecraft guys. He's part of the Dream SMP. He is? Yeah, dude, you didn't hear. Is that still around? I thought that I I didn't even know it was still happening. I was still. Was as, like, no, dude, he got added to the Dream SMP. Is the Dream SMP still a thing? Is it like? All right, fellas. Well, I need to go take a poopy. I'll be back. Soon. Do people still care about that? I hope not. Like I genuinely hope not. Soundtrack for this game is beautiful. Next, anything, uh, what are your thoughts on the Dream SMP? I don't know. It 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 was cool earlier on when I was a kid. When you were a kid, dude, the shit was like yeah. in twenty twenty. Was it? I thought it was like twenty eighteen. Maybe I'm thinking of a different thing. You're definitely thinking of a different thing. Maybe. That or you're a man child. 
Oh no, I think I'm I think I'm thinking about the the other one, the the thing Wilbur Soot did. What was it called? S and P Worlds, that one. Yeah, that was in like twenty eighteen. I don't know. I had, had a Minecraft phase when I was like fourteen. Fourteen, fifteen. I never really liked Minecraft outside of like mods. What? Minecraft is fun. I like it, but it needs mods to make it interesting. This is too quiet for like a boss battle theme for this guy. I don't know. That I didn't even notice there was a boss battle going on. I, I have been like the, the, the regular boss theme. I like the, well, the mid -boss This feels theme. like a mini boss. This guy looks like a mini boss. Like he does not look like a serious threat. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm just spoiled. Oh, that's kind of interesting. All right. Oh, hey, that that dragon thing you're riding on looks kind of. Remember Jetpack Joyride? I never played it. Uh, well, there is like a dragon ride you can use or whatever, and it looks exactly like this, but like different color, different colors. Oh, supposed to. Uh... Dude, what the fuck? Max, how was your day? Pretty good. Pretty good. I've just been sleeping in for most of it. Yeah, I do that too. Not today, I go. What the hell am I supposed to do? Okay, you know, I'm looking this shit up, man. Sonic, Lost World, all boss. No, that's Sonic Lost World, OST. No, 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 fuck! Max, what's your favorite government conspiracy? Um... The MLK assassination was done by the FBI. Now, why would they do that? Because they're racist. And he was like, in their eyes, he was a political dissident. Because, I mean, nowadays, like, his message is pretty whitewashed. But, like, at the time, first of all, he was, like, very anti-capitalist. Like, outright. Just saying that capitalism is, like, a tool of racism. And also... Like, half of all Americans hated him. There we go. Like, you know the whole I have a dream speech? Like, literally his most, like, the most moderate message, most liberal-ass moderate message he's at, speech he's ever given? He didn't actually organize that. He didn't even plan on attending that march. He was actually invited, by, like, at, personally asked by the government to attend and give a speech. Like, last minute. And he showed up. And he late and in interviews he later regretted uh, showing up for that speech because it diluted his message. Max, do you got any more funny stories like the one where you accused of scratching somebody's car? Not really. Max, what's your thought on Africa? The continent? Yeah. It's it exists. I don't know. I have nothing. Uh, I have no thoughts in particular about you know the the land mass. Yeah. They're people. I don't know. They're they're victims of uh, imperialist violence. Did yeah. You rank all of the African countries. No. Why is that? Are they all the same to you? They aren't. But I don't want to fucking rank them. Can you rank every European country? Yeah. All right. Pull up a tier list right now. I will rank every European country. Right now. Yeah. How about you pull it? Up? I don't. I don't know where to find a tier list. Tier I'm, I'm too much of a boomer. Oh, tier maker. Wait a minute. Uh, Have you pulled up the uh, the lovely European tier list already? Oh, right, I found one. Okay. All right. Name a country. Okay. So what tiers are they? Austria. What? What, what? tiers? Yeah. Oh, you're not looking at it. Oh, wait. No, there's S, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. Rename the tiers so that there's good. Oh, hold on. There's very good. I'm not recording my screen, man. You're gonna have to open it on your end to show the tier list. Okay, you don't have to, like, record it, but, like, just change the tier list so that it's very good, good, uh, neutral, and bad. Actually, there's gonna be no bad. There's just gonna be shit. Dude, are they gonna- are they gonna rip tails? They have to distract that- what- what? What's that- what's that noise? Okay, I fixed it. Are they- Yeah, they're gonna rape Tails! What the fuck? Max, are you seeing this shit? Max? No, but I'm making the tier list. Yeah, no, you're gonna have to do this yourself. I'm not. I'm not. Yes, you are. Doing all, all this right. for- No. Right, so you didn't see the, uh, tail reaction? No. This is a horrible recording. What? 
<laughs> yeah, I gotta go. Go do what? Look at the bad side. I can record it the normal time. I don't know what that's gonna do. <laughs> oh, look, it's soft. We can record. Yeah, are we doing that tier list? To... Well, yeah, we're doing that tier list, so. Alright. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, what's the first? Okay, the tiers are very good, good, neutral, and shit. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Dennis. Yeah. Come on, you start. You have to say all this shit. You have to, like, I'm looking No, at dude, you, no, you have Max pull the, um,. Wait, no, if you have the tier list up, you read them off. I don't have the tier list up. Well, then Mash can pull the tier list up. Hmm? Pull the tier list up. You're going to be reading them. Max no. already refused to do it. Well, that's tough shit. I'm in the middle of something right now. I am too. What are well, you then why the, the fuck? Of? Who? Stuff? I don't know. He just doesn't want to fucking do it. <laughs> I'm unionizing. Fuck you, unionizing. You don't get to unionize. What are you, breaking labor laws? Yes. All day, every day. I love breaking labor laws. One of these days, the, these recordings are going to come back to, like, bite you. They can't bite. They don't have teeth. <laughs> I get- you got me there. Boiled again, liberal. Fucking hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call me a liberal? <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I fucking hate US politics. Now everyone thinks liberals are... Like, co like socialists are fucking liberals. Dude, foiled like again, crazy. liberal. Foiled again, liberal. Dirty fucking liberal. I am literally not a liberal. <laughs> I'm literally not a liberal, guys. Guys, I promise I'm not a liberal. <laughs> Says Albert Fuck, furiously defending himself <laughs> to the Looney Tunes cast. I'm not a liberal. I'm not a liberal. <laughs> These goddamn liberals need to get the fuck out of this country. Right, guys? <laughs> Liberals are like pro capitalists, though. <laughs> Dude, I like Foghorn Leghorn, dude. I say, I say, I think you're a liberal, mister. I say, I say you're a fucking liberal. Liberalism is literally just nice capitalism. And then he says the N-word. Foghorn Leghorn Foghorn... would say the N-word. Like, he would say it without word. remorse. I like, he would just openly hate black people. <laughs> That's great. That's actually so fucking cool. Like, finally. <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn. Finally, like, someone I can relate to. <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn. Life. Foghorn Leghorn comes out as the first openly racist Looney Tunes. <laughs> I just celebrated. <laughs> the first openly the racist. <laughs> We're gonna get a fucking cease and desist. <laughs> Dude. No, we're not. Lola Bunny has to fucking stop being so sexy. It's you best true. believe I catch her, I so? catch her in a dark alley late at night. Bad things are gonna happen, bro. It's fucking furry? Huh? You a furry? Awesome. No, dude, yeah, I just think... I'm not a furry, bro. I just think Lola Bunny's kind of hot. Yeah, she's shaped. You mean an anthropomorphized animal the... you find sexy? No, dude. Lola Bunny is the exception. The exception, and you know it. All right, let's rank all these fucking countries. I don't know all the flags. Dude, that was ridiculous. What? Okay, find a better tier list with like with like actual names instead of shitty ass flags that nobody's gonna know. Just why you care about the German. Or right, yeah, for real. Um, let's see here. We can rank crypto and NFTs. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um. All right, I gotta go. I really no, gotta you don't. go. No, you don't. I'm, my mom's here and she's gonna yell at me. Dude, we're about to rank every single Tota Drama Island character, bro. Okay, okay, let's rank every single one. What's your I lied. I'm going to yell at you. Who's calling me? Scam leg? Hello? No, dude. Hello? 
Bon and you drop Vinny Bon. Yeah. Bon was brought to Vinny Bon. Bon was. Vod? Vod was brought Vinny Bon? Alright, fellas, here's I, the I, thing. I look forward to the day where, like, somebody's gonna get genuinely upset. We're going to rank. We're hell? going to rank. Uh, we're going. My big fell. Hold on. My big, like, my audio died. And now Max left. Hold on. Connect. Okay. Hold on. Connecting. That did it. What the fuck? So I'll say something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello? Hello? What the fuck? Can, can you guys hear me? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Hold on. Oh boy, what a what a glorious day to be an upstar. What the fuck happened to Discord? Let me let me just check to see if like Oh my god, my fig got corrupted. Yeah, well. Yeah. All right. Let's just keep on recording or whatever. All right. Yeah, because the two of us to have up is a, a list of cartoon characters. We have to decide if um we can beat them in a fight. Not. Okay, we can beat them in a fight. Okay. Which cartoon characters? It's uh, just a bunch. That loyal up truck meisters. Uh, whatever's audio like like classic up truck fashion. Hold on. Wait. Let me turn on my uh, thing. Like in classic up truck fashion, it uh went poo poo and uh. Oh my fucking no, but, uh, god! That's I... bullshit. That's bullshit. Fellas, I think that might be bullshit. But um, I saw a twelve ounce mouse. Um, Shaggy. Um, okay, that Shaggy one bitch. Ab Shaggy, absolutely. Twelve ounce mouse. We absolutely. Okay, first of all, twelve ounce twelve ounce mouse is the fucking like he's a fucking rat. And Shaggy is the goddamn human equivalent of a rat, so... Fuck you, dude. No, dude. Shaggy, like, canonically is has fucking godlike powers. Like, that's just proof. It's canon. Like, that's just oh, real. Nah, that's just, like, jokey shit and whatnot. No, like, dude, that's, that's like, legitimate. Shaggy, no, dude, that's, like, legitimate. Like, Hanna-Barbera or whatever. Like, that's uh, real. Warner Brothers, yeah. Warner Brothers. That's fucking real. Like they've confirmed, yeah, that should that's just how it is. Shaggy would fucking eat you. <laughs> like he would just fucking gobble you up without a trace, bro. That motherfucker would like line you up and knock you down. Like I don't think I mean, people and I don't want to be like one of those fucking Tumblr versions, but people truly do just like forget that Shaggy's just like a fucking god amongst men. Wow, but th this is an right this right. is an argument to be had later. I fucking hate but, this level, man. Well, we'd beat 12 ounce mouse, no problem. Absolutely, 12 ounce mouse. No, yeah, he he he's literally just like an, an alcoholic mouse. He's probably gonna be inebriated for like the entirety of the fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean that makes him more dangerous than uh. No, dude, he's a fucking mouse. That makes him less dangerous. I don't know, man. You've ever seen somebody coked up out of their mind? It's not coke, it's alcohol. Same He's thing. a beer drinker. He is a beer drinker. Okay, next character. Um, no, 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 no. I, I was just naming the ones that I have off the top of my head. But uh, we'll do that when Michael gets here. I don't think he's gonna come. <clears throat> he said he'll join when he's done getting coffee. That's his excuse Ring him. say he's actually gonna... You rank him. I'm playing Fortnite. <laughs> Ring him. I just wanted to get one game of Fortnite in because they released a Futurama thing. Oh, I saw that. That looks dope as fuck. Like, especially the cell shaded models, man. Yeah, the cell shaded models. That's what they do for all animated characters. Like, um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, Rick and Morty, Dragon Ball, uh, Naruto. They made all the Street Fighter characters, like, look weird and shit. No, the Street Fighter characters, yeah, they just look like regular Fortnite characters. It's a shame, because Fortnite has a pretty bad art style. I think it's okay for what it is. It's the only one like it, though. I guess. Well, not anymore, no, not... but... But it's the original. Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't even that good to begin with. It doesn't have good character design. Okay, like, Dennis. you know what I will say to Fortnite's detriment is that, like, the only interesting thing that, like, I've heard about the game recently is, you know fucking characters they break oh yeah dude it's fucking crazy it's like i don't want to toot any horns but i think they have like smash bros level like crossovers maybe even better 
Dude, they're bring, like they brought in Optimus Prime not only, but they're also like bringing in fucking Bumblebee and Megatron. Did they bring in? You Optimus just like Prime? Transformers. Well, yeah. Optimus Primal. Dude, they would have brought in Jason David Frank if he was still alive. They don't do voices. They would have gotten his like, likeness though. Fucking what? His likeness, the likeness of Jason David Frank. For who? J for Fortnite. Yeah, for what character? Himself. The fucking Green Ranger. <laughs> why the f why they don't have the fucking Green Ranger? If if they bring in the Power Rangers, they're, they're fucking no, they wouldn't, cause they wouldn't they wouldn't do unmasked characters for the Power Rangers, so that they're generational. That it, what do you mean generational? So that it can literally just be any fucking Power Ranger, like it could they be the can, fucking the fucking Sue. They all look the same, pretty much. Racially charged. It is racially charged, 100%. Dude, what the Dude there's nothing fuck? wrong with a little bit of racially charged words. I guess that's true. Everything needs to be charged by something. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Uh, dude, I love... I think they should remake The Fly. Yeah, the rat. The rat? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Is there a movie called The Rat? No, probably not. Hopefully not. I sure hope not. I mean, we'll... By law of death, like, whatever the fuck, there probably is a movie out there called The Rat. But it's, pr like, probably been pushed to, like, the deep, dark depths of, like, VHS. Dennis, you should franchise a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant. Dude, I would love to do that. <laughs> I would just make it real Chuck. night Five Nights at Freddy's, where if, like, you stay after hours, you could just die. <laughs> you just get fucking... <laughs> There's just a chance. But, like, it's completely too. fair. No, 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 why would they get guns? They just have to, like, so they get everyone fair. get... Oh, yeah, you give the robots just, like, fully automatic rifles. <laughs> you give the robots just, like, death beams. Yeah, I give a fucking Freddy Fazbear, like, a giant, like, a free prog uh, dildo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Then, then people would start staying after hours, Dennis. Exactly! We make money that way! You don't make more money if they're staying past business hours. If they're, I mean, it still is business hours. Like I'm still saying, like if you if you do uh, Chuck E. Cheese after night, you get to be like. Oh, you have to pay. Oh, you have to pay though. You have to pay. I don't know the way you were describing it. It was just like a free service if you stayed long enough. By Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Dennis. Yeah. Dennis. Yeah. Dennis. Yeah. I'm what the uh, fuck? What do you? Hello, I'm speaking to you. I couldn't hear you. What the... I don't know what the fuck that was. I was asking if you would get dicked down by Freddy Fazbear. No. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm not gay. <laughs> really? I don't like Five Nights at Freddy's either. Dude, that's news to me. I'm gonna laugh it up, fat boy. I would have never guessed, dude. I thought you were one of them. Dude, Dennis. Yeah. You can't just continue to go silent. You aren't saying anything relevant. If you were asking me what cartoon characters I could be in a fight, sure, but like... I just want to hear, yeah, first your personal preference. Let me get a list of, um... No, I'm just going to list off, like, fucking characters. Like, any kind of character, any kind of mascot. I want to know if you think you could beat them in a fight. Uh, the Vlasic Pickle Stork. No idea what that is, but it's a bird, so probably... Yeah, the it port, does have the advantage of pickles, and I don't like those. So if he figures out some way to weaponize them, it might be in some hot water. No, yeah, he, there, like... there are pickles in his arsenal. Okay, then it's gonna be a rough fight, but ultimately he is still a bird, and his his weapon is a vegetable. So. But, but he's a man-sized stork. Let us not hey, forget still that. A fucking bird. I mean, You're very are zealous. Big as is, but like I can still kill them. Like I can kill a stork live on this channel if I wanted to. Fuck! Ah! I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah, so what? But let's say, uh, Aunt Jemima. Dude, regular black woman. I could beat her. Um, and, uh, Tony the right. Tiger. Tony yeah, the Tiger. He's a fucking tiger, and you know, he's fucking buff as shit, so. <laughs> um, Mr. Clean. Maybe, may, probably not, I'd say. Dude, Mr. Clean is like a fucking specimen of a man, dude. Yeah, I probably would be losing that. Not even probably you're fucking losing that one. Um, the big ass B from Jolly Bay. Uh, it's a Dennis. giant ass B, so. If yeah, I, it's like a, a it's a human sized B. If that thing stings me, it's a matter of who dies first. 
<laughs> no, it's dude. Can you imagine how much venom would be injected into you <laughs> from a fucking human-sized beast thing? And the thing is, it would die too. So like, I might be able to last longer, but that's like a fight to the death. No, yeah, because it, it would have to pull the stinger out too. But I'm pretty sure they last a little bit. But it could leave the stinger in and then beat the, try to beat the shit out of you. Like what with the stinger in. So you could pull that, like, pull the pin off that grenade and pray that he dies first. <sighs> All right, uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, I mean, he's just a giant rat. If anything, they make him, like, regular-sized rat now. So no, dude, I'm, no, dude, I'm, because of that, I'm giving you, um, 1990s Chuck E. Cheese. He is fat. Fat people are, like, a mixed bag. No, 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 he wasn't fat. That was when he was, like, a skater. 1990s Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, nineties Chuck, nineties early two thousand Chuck E. Cheese was when he was like a skater. Okay, yeah, I could beat that guy. What about a uh, seventies Chuck E. Cheese when he was just like a fucking a, like Italian mobster from New Jersey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd get you shot. Like he wouldn't do it himself. Who the fuck does he just say favorite flavor? Who? Guy in the game that you aren't watching. What is your favorite flavor? Uh, chocolate, I guess. Kind of fucking gay, dude. Chocolate what? Chocolate rain, perhaps? Chocolate rain. <laughs> Chocolate rain. She left and took the kids again. Chocolate rain. Dennis, what would you do if your wife left you right now and took the kids? I don't have a wife. Oh, yeah? She'd probably check again. You're going to find. I'm just saying check again, dude. What am I gonna find that, like, I've been, like, for, like, five years? I'm just saying, dude, check again. You'd be surprised. I mean, I'd be delighted, but I probably, I'm, I'm like, I mean, if I'm getting married this young, I, I'm clearly made to, like, poor life choices. Dude, you don't remember that bitch who got pregnant in high school? What bitch? You don't remember her, dude? That's kind of fucked up. You don't remember your in son? Dude, you don't remember your son, Oliver Jr.? Dude, if I had a son, I'd call him, like, Nedry Jr. Like, I That's Bell's horrible. Time. That's it so is. fucked why, up. This is, maybe this is why I like I'm single. <laughs> That's so fucking horrible. I don't like that you even uttered those words out of your mouth. Dude, you should name your child Wayne Knight, no relation. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Knight, no relation. Yeah, but that's like his name. It's his full first name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His full first name is Wayne Knight, no relation. Dude, it's like, God, this like. That'd be crazy. What do you think Wayne Knight would say? He'd probably ask you why you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you do that? I'm crying. You broke my dream. Getting what, Wayne, Wayne Knight? The godfather of my children, yeah. Who are named after it? That's pretty upsetting, dude. It'll happen. No, it won't. I hope the boss beats him right now. <laughs> what? I'm talking about the guy at the game, but... <laughs> oh my... Wayne I thought you were talking Knight. about Wayne Knight. <laughs> no. Dude, if Wayne Knight ever got... I'd like, I'd like kill that guy. <laughs> You'd go out on a personal vendetta. Yeah, like, to, it is personal if you Wayne Knight. To kill most of Wayne Knight. Yeah. Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of it. Oh, let's fucking go. I just wanted Fortnite, dude. Nobody watch this video and get the bright idea to, to like, rape Wayne Knight. That's gonna be <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, kill John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Knight. <laughs> Yeah, like, don't make me kill my own fans. <laughs> Fuck! Dude, that is such bullshit. I feel like the type of person Dwayne Knight would be an Upchuck fan. It'd be you. It would be you. <laughs> yeah, it would be. <laughs> you would Dwayne Knight. It'd be like a disgusting fantasy. Like, you'd get into the room with them and be like, uh, Wayne, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Isn't that right, Dennis? Yeah. Dude, remember that one time I fucking, uh, Rick Moranis got, like, decked? Dude, that was so heartbreaking. It's fucking Rick Moranis. What the hell is he gonna do? Like, Dude, I'm like, for what reason, to? Gets raped. <laughs> oh my god, a sequel? That's how you describe it? <laughs> yeah. A fucking sequel? <laughs> what the hell is this? That's, that's horrible. That is so just despicable. <laughs> 
describe it, Rick. If something bad happens to Rick Perez, it can only be worse. And, like, the only thing worse than, like, him getting fucking, like, randomly beat in the street would be, like, him getting fucking... That's disgusting. Shut your fucking mouth. I don't want to be an either. I'm just saying that, like... You're wishing... You're willing I'm, this... I'm, I'm not wishing this. I am, like, vehemently against, like, the people of, like, Rick Perez. Dude, I don't know. I think you're trying to will something into existence. Dude, if I don't have anything, right. it's like, want me to have anything. So if I wanted Rick Moranis to be like, it's not gonna happen. Sure, buddy. But I guess that proxy that means that if I don't want Rick Moranis to be a real proxy, it's going to happen. happen. Oopsie whoopsie. All right. Um. Fuck. Let me pull up the tier list. Dennis, I'm gonna have to go as soon as we finish this. Okay. Finish what? This tier list. Do what? I'm fu I'm a fucking busy guy. Don't question me. Doing what? You don't have a girlfriend uh, anymore. Yes, I am, dude. I, I we worked it out. Work out. We worked it out. I'm sure, you aren't just saying that. Yes. Below. Wait, I Dennis. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll list. be right. Back. God damn it, man. I told you I'll be right back. Yo, Dennis. Yeah. Dennis. Yeah, I, I'm still here. I'm speaking to you. Dude, I couldn't hear you. Oh, sounds like a you issue. <sighs> it is a me issue. All right, so let's get this tier list. All right, uh, let me just load it up real quick. All right, starting off strong with Cleveland Brown. Yeah. You think you could beat Cleveland Brown? Dennis. Yes, yeah, I answered the you, question. You easily. need easily Cle you could beat Lola Bunny. What? Lola Bunny. Yeah. Um, 12 ounce man. We've already answered this. Yes, easily. Blue from Blue's Clues. I want to have the heart, but yeah, I physically I could. Don't forget, he is a dog. Like, dogs are fucking vicious if they need to be. Yeah, but he's like a small dog. No, he isn't. He's like a big dog. Pretty sure he's like a fucking, not retriever, but wait, I'm going to Google what type of dog uh, Scooby-Doo is. Scooby-Doo? Yeah. I thought you said Blue's Clues. Yeah, we skipped on to Scooby-Doo. Oh. Blue's oh, Clues dude, you're not you're not beating Scooby-Doo. He's a fucking Great Dane. Oh, no, I can't beat Scooby-Doo, especially, like, if Shaggy's his honor, I mean, he's gotta have some of that, like, whatever. Yes. Alright, uh, Mordecai. I, I, would, I would willingly, like, I would love to beat the shit out of Mordecai. It would, no, I think it would be a 50-50. Mordecai can put up the fucking hands. That, that's true. Mordecai has a lot of abilities. Um, this weird oily fuck from Family Guy. I don't know his name. The greased up deaf guy? Yeah. Don't forget, he is greased up. So. Uh, I mean, I can't really hit him. But... Alright, I'm gonna say, it's it's probably a good fight, but he would beat you. Um, the, this weird nerdy looking fuck from what looks like Robot Chicken. Uh, yeah. Oh, that guy. Uh, he wouldn't even fight me. He would just pussy me out. Like, that would just be me bullying again, pretty much. Right, yeah. Um, Gumball. I could be Gumball. I, no, uh, Gumball is like a fucking entity. Like, he can do cra He He can go Super Saiyan. Like, that's just confirmed. He's gone Super Saiyan. Dude, I'm going, like, just for the creation of this game, I'm going to choke slam a Japanese person. <laughs> I'm going to give you... I hope that they develop this game. I'm gonna give you a 50-50 on Gumball just because of- What? Alright, Pizza Steve. I would have the heart, he's a big celebrity, man. Plus he has connections right. to the Clintons, man. Like, you, won't, you don't wanna fuck with Pizza yeah. Steve. Pizza Steve would get you killed. Alright, so this one you have to fight both Finn and Jake at the same time. They're killing you. You're dying. I mean, Finn's a kid, Jake's a dog, so... Finn had- no, we're- Finn has multiple swords. He is a child, he, I don't care. I, Dennis, you're child, not- I, I am a man. You, Dennis, how tall are you? Like, 5'9". And how much do you weigh? I don't want to say. All I'm gonna say how, is I think it's inaccurate. How much do you weigh, Dennis? Dude, it's like 260-something now, but like, I think the scale's fucked up. 
Because I know the height was, because they said that I was... You would try... Four. You would try and lose against Finn and Jake. Alright, Perry... Valiant effort, though. Alright, Perry the Platypus. Oh, no, I'm losing that. Yeah, Perry the Platypus is fucking killing you. Mr. Krabs? Uh, Mr. Krabs, like, was a member of the Navy, dude. He's, like, fucking veteran. But he's old now, so I'll give you the 50-50. He's old now, but he's still strong. Have you ever fought, like, a 70-year-old Marine? Like... Alright, Bob from Bob's Burgers. Uh, I could beat him. He's fat in the legs. He's out of shape. But you're fat and out of shape. But I'm young. I have that one advantage. Okay, I'm giving... Alright. Pearl from Steven Universe. You're not beating her. Yes, I could beat her. Dude... First off, she's literally like a light being. She's not human, and yeah, she has. Yeah, I can just crack the jet. And she's war trained, like she okay, is a soldier. So? so, like, what have woman soldiers ever worked out? <laughs> oh my God, Dennis, you're not winning this fight, Steven Universe, but with all his powers. Dude, dude, I'm gonna find a Japanese man and I'm gonna shit out of him, man, just to get my anger out on this. Dennis, Doctor Doofenshmirtz. I would have the heart, but, I mean, we all know, like, he, he can't, like, hold it on in a fight. Both Rick and Morty. I could beat Morty, but not Rick. Yeah, Rick would kill you. Daffy Duck. He's a duck, so I could probably... Alright, Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, he's a child, so, yeah, I could beat him up. And what have his inventions ever worked? Like... Yeah, Garnet from Steven Universe, you're not winning. Mr. What? Mr. Pickles. The dog? Yeah, the satanic dog. I mean, yeah, he's a dog. Dennis, Mr. Pickles is known to kill people. Like, he's known to just, like, absolutely okay, fucking yeah, mangle anybody people. Anybody can kill anybody. Dennis, you're not winning that fight. Watch me. Bugs, Bugs Bunny. I can't win that. <laughs> you can't beat Bugs Bunny, but you can, I mean, but you can beat Mr. Pickles. Yeah, okay. of course. I mean, the, if the angry video game nerd, a grown ass man, mind you, has this, has like trouble against that. Angelica Pickles. Child. I, I could, yeah. Darwin. What? Darwin. From Gumball. From Gumball. Yeah. Amethyst from Steven Universe. You're not beating. No, I could beat the shit out of her. I'd fuck. The shit fuck out you. Of Amethyst. Dude, so would I. Um, Archer. And I, I, dude, everybody. Forgot about that. Could you beat Archer? No. Probably not. You're like a grown ass man, like a secret agent or something. I've never you just Archer. get shot. You would just get shot in the head. I yeah, pretty much. I mean, was he competent? Yes. I mean, relatively enough to get the job done. Um, Goofy. The dog. Yeah, Goofy from Mickey Mouse. That I give you a 50-50 on that. Goofy's a fucking monster. He wants to be. If I have the, if I like, got the drop on him, I think I could beat him. But... <laughs> no, you guys are. It's it, you both know that you're gonna fight. You meet in the street like fist fight. I think I would lose. All right. Maybe with prep time seems pretty scary. <laughs> um, it looks like it's um. Medea from Family Guy. I think that's a Cleveland Brown. Like that's like a Cleveland show character. Like. Yeah, the old black woman from the Cleveland show. The one that's really fat is actually a man. It looks like it. That's why I said Medea. Is Medea actually beating. a man? Yes. Well, Harry. no, I know she's played by like Tyler Perry and shit, but uh. No, Medea is like canonically a woman, but she's played by a man. Yeah, of course. Shaggy, you're not winning. Shaggy's killing you. Yeah, we've already had this conversation. Beavis and Butthead. Together? Yes. I mean, we're pretty much on even footing. It's just like the thing is this, but... <laughs> so are you, but there's two of them. I'll well, give I you a 50-50 against... Yeah, 50-50. Like, Bender, you're not Bender winning. Win. No, Bender I wouldn't be able to be. Like, Butters Bender, from Family I, Guy. Dude, that's a child. I would kill him. Cat dog. I mean, just because it's a cat and dog combined still doesn't mean I can't kill it. Like You think you're killing cat dog. Okay. Um, Rollo from the Cleveland show. Dennis. Dennis. 
I am going to bash a Japanese person in the head. Oh my god, I don't care. Answer the question. Uh, Rilo, Kyle, so I can kill him. Rigby. <laughs> You're not beating Rigby. No, he's small, but he's got the same skill set of Mordecai. And if anything, more Like, I, I'd rather fight Mordecai than Rigby. Like, Rigby's yeah, that's what... No, I think Rigby is a guaranteed loss. Mordecai, you have a chance. Mordecai, I have a chance. Like, I, I, I might still have a chance with Rigby, but that's, like, a very slim chance, so. All right, um, Lincoln Loud. I'd kill him. Like, I'd kill him, and, like, I'd enjoy every second of it. Donald Duck. He'd probably kill me. You think so? Yeah. Dora the Explorer. Uh, uh yeah, I'd kill Dora. All right, um, Dr. Zoidberg. I'd put up a good fight. I think he might win at the end, but, you know, I still got, like, a chance. Eric Cartman. <laughs> I could beat the shit out of Eric Cartman. Like, I just, like, if I beat, like, I don't have to make sure, like, I kill him. Because, like, if given prep yeah. time, like. <laughs> Eric Cartman with prep time is, like, so dangerous. Eric Cartman with prep time, you'll die and we'll make sure that you feel it. Yeah. Um, like, the robot chicken. The robot chicken, so. Probably not. Yeah, alright. Um, Dr. Farnsworth, you're beating. What? Dr. Farnsworth. Old man, so, yeah. Alright, now we go through a stretch of three that I think are all 50-50 toss-ups. Hank Hill, Dennis. Uh, Hank Hill? I think that's a 50-50. Yeah, I mean, he's a grown-ass man, but... Alright, like... now on to Homer Simpson. Homer has been in a lot of fights. He was once a professional boxer. And, like, uh, yeah, he, like... Could not take a hit, so like. No, like, yeah, if, wait, yeah. No, you couldn't. You couldn't beat him because you would get tired before you could like knock him out. So yeah, you're getting beat. Dude, has there ever been an episode where like Homer Simpson just gets shot? <laughs> no. And it's like a really sad episode. Just like, oh my god, Homie got shot. Homer Simpson, that's how they're gonna end the Simpsons. Homer Simpson's just gonna get shot. Like, during the middle of an episode. Yeah, he dies protecting Duff Man. No, he just, he, no, he dies for nothing. He just gets shot in cold blood. <laughs> Alright, now, Teddy from, um, Bob's Burgers. He's a big guy, I, think... I wouldn't be able to take him. <laughs> Alright, Richard Watterson is, you're losing that fight. Yeah, Richard Watterson is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Watterson. All right, Joe from Family Guy. I would lose that. Kenny McCormick from South Park. You're losing because he's immortal. Yeah. All right, Caillou. I would willingly beat the shit out of that kid. I don't know anybody who wouldn't. Bobby they Hill. created such an awful character. You think you could beat Bobby Hill, too? No. Well, yeah, I could beat Bobby Hill. Like, I just have to wear, like, Crocs bad and stuff. Um, Wasn't there an episode where, like, he was spoiled by, like, Kicking Peggy Hill in the vagina, but like you know, because like she's like a woman, that didn't really hurt her. But like, doesn't it hurt getting kicked in the vagina? Yeah, but yeah, I'd assume so. All right, now we have Louise from Bob's Burgers. Hold on, I'm arguing with this guy. What do you because mean you're arguing with this, this guy? I try like you know the Poly Mega, the seven hundred dollar like multi console. I bought. Are you trying here. to buy one? I bought that two years ago. I still haven't got it. This guy is like, I'm calling out the bullshit of that. And this guy's trying to defend it. Dennis, come on. We have more important things to do. I have stuff to do. I got my Vega. All right, Dennis, come on. Um, oh, Reptar. Wait, give me one minute. Reptar? Uh, no, that's a fucking Godzilla thing. Uncle Grandpa. No. Dennis, Uncle, Uncle Grandpa. No, Gus from Uncle Grandpa. No. Um, Tommy Pickles. Dennis, Tommy Pickles. Dennis! Tommy Pickles? Yeah. That's too easy. I think that right, uh, truck could be Tommy Pickles, no matter what. Alright, uh, Chris McLean. Uh, yeah, you know. No, Chris McLean, he's just like a full-grown man. Yeah. Prison, that's... prison hardened, and he's just like a psychopath. Then, yeah, maybe I wouldn't be able to beat him, actually. It'd be a good fight. You'd go blow for blow. Uh, the entirety of Team Umizumi. I'd be able to kill <laughs> Dude, that would be, like, slaughter. <laughs> and, like, superhero <laughs> teams, like, around the world would just be like, who killed Team Umizumi? Alright, uh, Scrappy-Doo. He's a small dog. He's like a puppy. I, I... <laughs> you just fucking stop him. Patrick Star. Uh, no. Yeah, you could beat Patrick Star. Um, Baljeet from Phineas and Ferb. 
Yeah, I'd be able to beat him. I would just have to like watch out for beef for it. Peter Griffin, you're not beating Peter Griffin. No, no, Peter Griffin is like out of any adult cartoon character, he is like the most dangerous. Peter Pan, remember Peter Pan has a knife. Uh <laughs> He just fucking stab you. <laughs> You just you know, get like stabbed to death. We need to start taking away like all weapons and just like focus on like physical attributes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, starting with Peter Pan will do that. Yeah, I can beat him. Okay. Like his entire point is that he literally never grew up. So he like, can fly. fly though. He can fly. Alright, but uh Clarence. Child, I can beat him. Okay. Um Fred Flintstone, you're not beating. Yeah, he's like a caveman. Uh, Nelson from The Simpsons. Uh, child, I could beat him. Um, Lois's dad? Oh, no, no, no. No, that's the CIA director from, um, American Dad. The one that looks like Patrick Stewart and nothing like Lois's dad? Yeah, I forgot. Carter Peter Schmidt's a different guy. Could you beat the CIA director? I think it'd be a good oh fight. God, I th finally, I'll give you a 50 50 finally, on that. Okay. You're not beating Stan Smith. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not beating Stan Smith. Like, he's a trained CIA. Oh, uh, Randy Marsh. He has experience fighting, like, tons of people, so. I'll give you a good fight on that. Um, Mr. Burns, he's like a fucking cripple. You'd kill him. Yeah. Glenn Quagmire. Dennis, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, maybe. You want to give a 50-50 to Glenn Quagmire? Yeah. This YouTuber yeah, is dead. Did I um, actually die? Stewie Griffin. Stewie oh, Griffin no, would kill you. fucking clickbait. You know what? I'm gonna unfollow on me. Fuck this guy. Stewie Griffin would kill you if you gave him prep time. <laughs> yeah, but if not, he's just like a fucking baby. I could like bash him. SpongeBob? Before. SpongeBob is killing you. He wouldn't kill me, but like, he de like he definitely, like, it'd be like bubble bath, but like, he just doesn't fight, like, he doesn't fight The fucking back quickster, dude? On. Dude, the quickster? He never did anything as the quickster. He was just like, if anything, like, you ever see the Flash, like, brutally maim somebody unless it's, like, Eobard Twain or something? Um, what about the Invincibubble, though? You're not, you're not winning that fight. With what Invincibubble? From the Sponge Out of Water. But, um... Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah. But, I mean, Spongebob's not really a violent person, so I wouldn't have to worry about him, like, killing Okay, a uh, Klaus from... American Dad. Uh, he's a fish. I could kill him. And then Mickey Mouse. I don't think you want to fuck around with the House of Mouse, dude. Like, if you beat Mickey Mouse, you would be killed within the following with, like, days. The House of Mouse, and we don't hear from him much anymore. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like you just have to let Mickey Mouse beat you, like I mean, just hey, to. I mean, you don't know if he like does it. Like, I'd have to like fight back. Yeah, but like. Mickey Mouse is killing you. Or, Not if no, I Mickey kill, Mouse. Like, Mickey Mouse and like take over the House of Mouse, but like I would never do anything that would get me like, in like the bad side of the House of Mouse. All right, well then I'll make that a fifty-fifty, yeah. just for you, Dennis, because you make a compelling argument. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm gonna download and send this to you, and then I'm leaving. Send what? The image of the tier list. Is is that it? Yeah, that was it. Well, no, send more. No, dude. We're doing one. No, I want to do more. Well, that's tough shit. I told you I have places to be. Where do you have to be, huh? First, I'm going to go take a shower. Okay, well, that's not a place to be. Yeah, huh? I have to be in the shower. All right, it's sent. I'm leaving. Goodbye. What's happening? I don't know if we got was recording in Salt Ditch. As soon as we have finished the list of cartoon characters we could be in a fight. Where's Pirano and Saul and Leo? Not Leo, Max. Uh, Max was on here earlier. I know he was. Yeah. Well, he left. He said he could join back later, but that's probably like in our usual time. Join back later means no, coming back. No, with Max, he's kind of, he's pretty honest about that sort of shit. You know, unless he gets like 
burglarized or something. I'll tell you my uh, big funny story of the day. Dude, my mom got into a fight with some like random poor woman. What? Okay, so basically I've had like a shit ton of doctor's appointments today. And like, I, okay. got, I got back from it, right? Like I got back from a cardiologist. Yeah. And my mom, uh, she uh, fights... Uh, she, uh, like, so basically we go to uh, some place to get food. And, okay. Uh, it, like, it, while we were waiting at the place for, like, my grandma to get the food, it's, uh, okay. basically some guy, like, like, literally some asshole just, like, like, bangs his door against our car, like, really hard. Like, he just didn't care. What? Yeah. You didn't call the police? No. I would have called the police. Funny that, but, uh, basically... And then, like, my grandma gets back, and then she fucking bumps, like, she, she, like, bumps the, like, car next to us. Like, she bumps their door, but obviously not as hard. And, uh, so, like, the woman, like, goes to check if the car is okay, but then my mom, like, goes running out to, like, fucking, uh, just, like, she's like, you know what, I'm gonna go yell at the person who bumped our car. He's still in the store. And then on her way out, she, like, bumps into this woman's car again. So, basically, we oh my. To God, dude, this is so stupid. I fucking know. <laughs> and then, like, my mom gets out, then her and the woman are yelling at each other. And it's like, it almost gets physical. Like, I don't know, that was just really funny to me how, like, this fucking guy just started a chain reaction that basically ruined the days of two unrelated women. Dude, that's just crazy to me. Yeah. I'm guessing we're not going to the gym again, though, for a while. Uh, no, we're going... No, the car is okay. There's no, uh, damage. No, I know that, but, like, I feel like you only go when I tell you that we're gonna go. No, we could go on a Friday, and, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna free up for me in the coming weeks, so... Okay, because I'm only here for two more weeks now. Yeah, this has been, like, a very busy summer for me. Really? Yeah. Let's see. I just, like, I can't wait to go back to school. That's all I have to say. I really like going to school. Oh, what are you, a nerd? Just a book-loving, uh... <laughs> but I went to the orchid store today and got what I needed to mount some orchids, so everything should go really well. We'll see what ends up happening. <laughs> oh man, so nobody else is joining now? Is uh, that what's happening? Probably not for another hour. I mean, I'm just still playing this level. Like, I've got like two levels left in this game. What happened to Saul? Uh, he was here, he literally just left. And then I called? Yeah. Did he leave when you were restarting Discord? No. No, that was an hour ago. No, if anything, he was the last man standing during that time. We lost another uptrack. We had nine members, and now we just have eight. No, we just lost Geraldy, who I keep on adding into the group chat just to mess with him. Here, I'm going to give us a new uptrack. I'm bringing in Edu. Harass him. Oh, it's just funny because I know Edu would do this. And I know he doesn't have it muted either. Told you. He's on. Uh -oh. <laughs> <sighs> um, Keep on harassing him. Dude, let's bring Speedy into here. No, Kimberly, dude. Let's bring Kimberly into here. Who's Kimberly? The Princess Peach guy. Oh, God, dude. That'd be horrible. Bring Princess Peach in. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Do me a favor and spam ring them. Spam ring Princess Peach? Yeah, but only at the moment that she hangs up. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see where the next red ring is. <laughs> What's the funniest thing you've ever seen or heard? Don't avoid the question. Are you recording this? Yeah, of course, I told you. What the fuck are you talking about? It's I just you and me talking. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, fuck, my Canadian order just arrived. Your what? I, uh, an order from Canada. Well, no, duh, what did you order? I ordered, uh... I mean, that's obvious, it's gonna be some, like, video games. Yeah, it's Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Are you still playing Bullet Echo or whatever that it game is? Bullet Echo? No. Well, I do play Bullet Echo quite a lot, actually. It, I'm telling you, it's an upchuck approved game, dude. It's, it's actually, like, gas. No, I don't approve this game. For all I know, it has Nazi imagery and, like... It doesn't! It's just a stupid mobile for... game. Like, you don't have to pay money to play it. So, well, as long as you're, like, decently good at video Nazi games. Nazi imagery I... and, like, furry porn. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bullet Echo is full of furry porn. On, dudes. Give me a second. How do you feel that the uh, only two winners of the Nickelodeon Lifetime Achievement Award are uh, Dan Schneider and Optimus Prime? Dan Schneider and okay. Optimus Prime? Yeah. Of the what? 
of the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards Lifetime Achievement Award. What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's just something that they did that it's like the only two winners are like Dan Schneider and Optimus Prime. Dan Schneider won the Kids' Choice Awards? Uh, yeah, he won the Kids' He basically won like the Lifetime Achievement Award in that. Mm -hmm. And like the only two recipients are like him and Optimus Prime. Hold on. Yeah, it wears my heart that these uh, two real American heroes are being represented like that. Yeah, wow, well, you know? Yeah, like other award ceremonies don't like give love to like the people who make the world go around. Uh, but the Kids' Choice Awards... What? I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention to you. I didn't say anything. <laughs> it's a speech, dude. They're playing on an emulator. They're playing on an emulator and they're playing a bootleg game. So that's double jeopardy. Down ten lives on this game, dude. I was so close, man. Fuck. We have an assault, bro. Good for us. I don't like how the last levels of this children's game are harder than usual. That's how I feel when I'm playing the fucking dot io games, dude. Like I'm playing a game that's meant for like children under the age of ten. And I'm literally getting, like, my mind blown by how, like, fucking frustrating it is. I think it's what woke culture is doing to America. What? We'll figure it out. Dude, why can't Sonic just, like, fly or something? Or just, like, not die? Mm hmm Dude, I do need to call my grandmother. Dude, what a fall. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stop the recording here and, like, we'll just record again in two hours. I literally told you that. Dude, I was down to, like, enough lives to make me not want to, like, see where that ended. <laughs> I, as a professional psychiatrist, I think that you are, I think that you have extreme Down syndrome. Well, extreme, oh. That's funny, because uh, I have a professional yeah. Down syndrome, and I think you have it, I think I have it too, I don't think Max has it, and if he doesn't have it, that means that he's doing this scenario. It's just not breaking for me. It's really, really trying to drive me a little bit crazy. I don't know how I'm going to break this. Yeah, I need to somehow okay, figure out. I still have 47 lives. Wait, what are you breaking? Tree fern. I'm mounting horses right into now. A house. Look, I need to break this in half because I'm that, trying to mount. That's a fern? Well, have you ever seen a tree fern? No. This is the bark of a tree fern. So they're like really prehistoric plants. Oh, that's bark? Yeah, this is bark. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I because see I... it now. Two kinds of mounts. So I'm mounting some of these. So this is a Dendrobium luziconium. This is white flowers, and this is an Oncidium speckled spire. This is brown speckled white flowers. But this, they both get, like, decently big, and this is a pretty small mount, because I'm using it to mount, like, my Phalaenopsis. Because what I've been using the tree fern for right now is mounting miniature orchids like the Serenius. This is one of my oh, African cool. so it's kind of happy. See, that's a flower spike right here, that little brown thing. Yeah, my my mom has things like that. Although I don't, yeah. I don't know if they're like, I don't know if she makes them herself. You know, no, you buy them, you can make them. It's all the same. Yeah. I have this. This is a, uh, this is one from the Philippines, it's called a tuberous glorosum or tuberolidiums, uh, uh, Here we go. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, you I have like a stall? Like five minutes ago. This is just something that I got from Lowe's, but I really like the way that the orchid looks. And it's given me two flower spikes already. But somebody ripped it off the tree. But since they ripped it off the tree, I took it off and it still has some of the pantyhose that I used to tie it up. And then I was going to, I had this mounted originally, but it's giving me a flower spike there. Blue flowers. Nice. But if you search up what a tree fern looks like, it's actually crazy. <laughs> So do you have like a saw or anything to like tear it apart, cut it apart, I don't know, saw it? Oh, I'm using the knife, that's what I do. But I have to be checked, it's $20 for this one little piece. You're so, breaking up a bit. Uh, I have to like not, yeah, it's because I'm kind of far away and I'm like, I think I'm still connected to Wi-Fi. Yeah, I am.
that should be better. This stuff is $20 a piece. So I really can't afford to just like waste it. And, but it's only so expensive because this stuff is like a critically endangered plant. So the only ones that we can use with stuff like this are in cultivation. And there's not a whole lot of people growing them, especially not commercially. I didn't know you were allowed to use like endangered plants. They have like privately. Like it's like I've been to like botanical gardens and stuff where they have like a ton of those things. But I thought you needed like a permit or something for them. Well, no. What happens is that a lot of the time when you have these really, really endangered and animals, they're actually not really that endangered. There's just a lot of them growing in cultivation. So you just can't like pick them out of like the, the forest or whatever? Exactly. Because that's their native environment. But that's wrong to do with anything anyways. Like, I think wild collection should only be done if the plant is not in cultivation. It will get it from somewhere. Yeah, this is actually stressing me out. I have to like cut this open and I'm making some headway. But now I have a bunch of these orchids. I've been doing this my whole life. So I kind of want to make a business out of it. It's just really tough because like you have to have space to have these things and I don't have space. So I'm essentially operating on my own. Yeah, I mean, honestly, maybe you can get a job at like, like uh, Fairchild or something. I or would not remember. Fairchild. I'm going to child. What, 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 was, what was the botanical garden it, called? The which one? You were right. It is Fairchild. It's it Fairchild. is Fairchild. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. It's in Coral Gables, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My parents are, I know I like, my parents are like members. And they made me do like a I summer camp member. there once. I can just tell you that Fairchild has significantly gone down in the quality that they've been caring for their plants. Oh, really? Every time I've I haven't on there, and I've been, recently. yeah. I, I think COVID hit, probably hit them pretty I've hard. I've been a member for almost The time. last time I've been there, it was mostly just like art installations that they've been doing. They do that every now and again. But like, I just really hope that everything gets back to normal because Fairchild, dude, like, it is a historical monument of, like, Coral Gables. Dr. David Fairchild was a big dude. He was responsible for bringing a lot of mango that Florida had. Michael says that he has a stroke. So. so I don't know. Something I'd love now. to do is, like, I'd love to, like, get involved in, like, retro game preservation. Like, I'd love to have, like, a job where I could just, like, bring old games onto modern platforms. Or, like, just reissue them and shit. Is that a real, like, profession? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's companies like Little Limited yeah. Games who are doing it, so... I didn't know that. Like, developing but it's not some and shit. You're gonna get paid a lot for them. Oh, no, they're like, oh, they're like, I'm not gonna do it. Break easy, break easy, break easy, break easy. Yeah, yeah, it was. I did it. The job is done, Max. I've done it. What? Oh, holy shit, that, so is, that looks put... so clean. I know. I had. I like. Like. Okay. When I work, I expect perfection, and I think a lot of people don't like working with me. Why don't you just cut it like diagonally my, along the, the strips? You no, know, like, because I have to make sure that they're large enough pieces. So if I cut it diagonally, the pieces are going to become smaller due to the way it's shaped. It's not actually a square. It's more like a rectangle. Oh. Uh, so, so what I'm using it. You know, these plants they get bigger than just this. Like, this little thing, dude, is going to get massive, and these canes are going to be, like, as big as, like, from my foot all the way to my leg, like, my knee right here. Holy shit. So, I need to make sure that these grow. And look, it's already growing new growth. So, and I bought this for, like, $15. Like, this was nothing. I went to the Redlands Festival, but these things are kind of rare. At least some of the stuff that I have. I prefer species, because I really think it's cool to have species from around the world. But, you know, it is what it is. So... Let me ask you a question, Max. It doesn't yeah. actually, like, the answer is just, like, based on, like, looks. Do you think that yeah. I should mount this on this or on this? Um, this, the second one, the fern, right? The brown. The fern? The brown. Okay. Yeah, so like I that. think it looks, I think the green pops more against, like, the dark brown. It does. I normally use it for minis. Like, I really think that this is such a pretty mounting process. Because these are all epiphytes, so they don't like being on, like, planted in pots, really. 
they like to have their roots attached to stuff. But this one kind of has this thing butting out that I need to cut. This one didn't break super easy. But the other ones that I have, because some of these are really, really hard to find. This is something called a Yamada. Oh, wait, dude, this, dude. Put some what? socks on. You show my grippers. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just out barefoot because it's been raining, dude. No, these are jackfruits. So you know what I do need to do, though? Okay, so I have to actually take a step back because I need to mount this. This is a Vendrobium aggregatum. I wanted to mount this on one of these like that. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, it's going to have to be like this. I'm going to have to change stuff up. This is going to have to work. Okay, thank God. Thank okay. God. I, I, I just finished the most awful part of the game. Fuck. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm just going to do this. This is actually going to look really cool when it's done. Just give me a second. Maybe it should be a little bit lower. I mean, when I took it off the tree, there was a centipede that jumped out at me, but like, it's just because I'm working with like plants, evil. dude. Centipedes, I've been bitten by them a few times. They're certainly not fun. I don't know Wait, why didn't? I didn't? I didn't? Yeah. Centipedes bite? You're thinking about millipedes. I'm talking about the ones that have the little pinchers that are really fast. Because oh. there's a different centipedes and millipedes. And centipedes are really, like, they're venomous, so. Every time I've been bitten by them, the pain... Dude, that pain is something else. Aren't millipedes the ones with the pinchers? I thought centipedes were... No. Or maybe, I, maybe I'm confusing that. I don't know. It's the other way around. Philip is on the top and you're going to see the losers. are really, really annoying. But I've always wanted to keep one as a pet. Because they are just really, really cool animals. Hold on, Max. Look at the scene and I want you to tell me what you think. Yeah. Look at the scene. What the f- Is Tails a Borg? Did they turn Tails into a Borg? Do you know what a this Borg is? This is the first time he appears in this. This is the first- Hey, look, look, he shows up to do just that. How does that make you feel? Tails? Yeah. Wait, this is the first time you see him like that? Yeah, this is the, like, he shows up in robot form. He doesn't fight Sonic. He doesn't do shit, but it's like, yeah! It says that. It feels like, uh, like, cut content. They probably planned a cool fight with him, but they just didn't have the budget to make it. I would imagine make this it. game is rushed. Like, from what this seems to be, is that, like, this is, like, basically just something made, like, beat the, like, Nintendo deal they made with, it, like, the fucking Nintendo deal that they made because, like, you know, they're going fucking bankrupt or whatever. Not bankrupt, but, like, you know. Well, isn't this an older Sonic game? No, this is, like, 2013. Or... Oh, wait. That's old. I that's guess, pretty... yeah. That, yeah, that's, like, 10, 10 years ago. I don't know, man. It's, it's like crazy it to think that this shit came out like in like when we were like kids, and like people were like complaining about this shit. I was like, still playing Roblox when this came out. Okay, well you were a little too old to be playing Roblox in 2013. At eight, at eight, yeah. when I was eight years old in 2013. Yeah. All right. Didn't we literally just play Roblox at like eight? At set at like. 17 or 18 like a year ago ironically ironically what? hello 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 yeah there hello? we go i don't know what happened hello hello okay i think i'm just too far away from my mic let me just bring this shit closer yeah it just like booted me off the 
the stream. No, but like I feel like my bike's too far in general. Okay, this is really pretty. What do you think, Max? What? Let me see. I was streaming it. I am. Uh, I, I'm not seeing it. I just turned my camera on. I I, I, I'm, this... I'm literally, I'm, Nedry, do you see it? Oh, wait. Oh, I have to use... oh, I see it now. I had to use the uh, mount. The other one that I had. This is called an Aggregatum. You ever seen something like this? Oh, that is pixelated as hell, but yes. I think my grandma owns one of those. Really, really cool. Oh. Did you just turn off the camera, did it? Oh my I god! Did. Fuck! Uh, I... What the hell did I do? Okay. Alright, am I better now? Okay, okay. Okay, don't worry. Daddy's alright, everybody. Okay, I can only mount one more plant. But I, I need more of these ties. Because I only have one more tie. It's gonna have to be this little one. Are you also into those fucking, what, what are they called? Eco, bio. Those little glass uh, cases where they where there's like a little dart little environment inside where it like rains and stuff. You know what they're called? Biospheres. Yeah, I, I think yeah. biospheres, yeah. Something like that. I've been wanting to get into it. I knew. They're very, very cool. I made one of those when I was like in middle school. Yeah, but somehow, like, a bunch of maggots got into the one I made, and I threw it away. That's not good. That was a very sad so one. I, I, yeah. I still get nightmares sometimes of just... Because it, it was fucking traumatic, because it was also raining on that day, when I saw there were a bunch of maggots crawling in my in the little bio thing I can't fucking... Because it was, like, a plastic box. Actually, wait, wait, Nedry, were you in... Vanguard when they did I don't think you were in Vanguard when they did this. It was like what? early, what? early on. Like uh um, oh, didn't but to... everyone in the class made what? their own little Hold on, what? I thought that Max didn't go to Vanguard. No, he did. That's where I, I did. met Max and Leo. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Arbiter John the sensor out that name. That's probably gonna be easy. Yeah, but were you in better. Vanguard when we all made those little bio things? We had like a bunch of little plant life in a box. Uh a bunch of them. I mean, no, 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 like, no, I wasn't. At least I don't recall being. You were It was, it was pretty early on. I don't remember if you were, if you were in Vanguard yet. But, uh, was, I think I might have been, like, 12 or something when we did that. But it, it was cool. Everyone had their little, like, boxes with, like, plant life in it and stuff, and it was raining in them. It was cool. But mine was, like, a little plastic box, like, for, like, takeout, basically. And I don't remember where I got it, but I must, must there must have been something in it because one day I at home I was it was raining and I looked into it and it was just a bunch of fucking maggots crawling in it. Yeah. And I threw it away. I don't actually know how good this is gonna do, but I don't have high hopes for this plant. Some of it, like this one, I pulled it off the tree and it just didn't have any roots on it. So really, like, I'm hoping that by putting it with a lot of sphagnum moth, the way it was mounted, because it wasn't dying, it might actually be able to pull through because of the moisture. But, you know, when I pulled off, so check this out, Max. Can you see this, or is it, like, super here? I'm going to connect the Wi-Fi. So that way it's, like, not good. It is so, it is just a black screen. I am not, it is so yeah. pixelated. It's so pixelated. How? Because you're outside. Like, it is literally, like, it looks like pixel art. It literally looks like pixel art. Okay, wait. Is this better? No, no, yeah, it is. A bit better. All these new roots are growing. This is one I bought for like a dollar at Lowe's, but I haven't So what, what plant is it? This is just a bow. One of these, it's something called a phalaenopsis. I, I'm not a plant guy. I, I do not know any. <laughs> I went to so, summer camp at Everchild, but I, I did I do not remember any of it. The okay, mo you, the the most memorable thing, thing I did there was literally just looking at things through a microscope and fucking around. You know how when you go to the supermarket they sell orchids? Yeah. These are those orchids, but these are the miniature ones. Oh. Uh, like that's all they are, cause, they, I mean they they basically just breed these to be thrown away. I really don't like. What do you mean? Like, oh, so like they just go bad and. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're, like, they're sort of like, like flowers, them. right? Where they just. Well, people don't know about orchids, and they seem to think that there's a problem when they stop flowering. Yeah. Even though, like, 
you know, it's a plant, dude. Do you know how much energy a plant expends to like flower? I I don't, but I I know they only do they don't do it very often. Exactly. People will like toss these as soon as they get sick of them or something, and then it just turns into a whole thing. Well, mo don't most people just put them in water and let the plants die, basically? Yeah, a lot of the time. Or they do this thing called just add ice. Just what? People will like add ice, and that's it. Ice? Yeah. As like, cause they they market these as just the add, just add ice water, or just add ice uh, orchid. Why is it like an aesthetic? It's just because I, I honestly the only thing I can think of to justify it would be that these people know that it kills the plant and they want people to buy more plants. Well, that, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, well, welcome to real life. People do it all the time. I'm hoping that this does good. I don't have high hopes for this. But why ice? That's like. Well, it causes like cell death in the plants. Yeah, but I don't. Do people not know that? Nope. But I mean, it, it causes cell death and everything. It it just kills cells in general. Like I, I was about to say, I was about to say, like you don't think not you think not I medically. When I when I was like actually, about you know, that. like you know, an interesting statistic I found out a while back. Apparently, like I thought, I think it was like. 40 per, or 60 percent of americans can't name all three branches of government executive legislative or judicial yeah but not dude, much people so, like, dude, most, most americans most, don't know that like our education system is like shit dude because the education system is just built to teach people how to work like a minimal job yeah i i mean it's designed like that because uh, i mean it's just you know because the education is system by. is like dominated by uh corporate benefactors and you know what corporate and corporations don't really want well-educated overqualified workers they want like peasant they serfs to work in their company towns and just like shut them. up and buy shit from them they want people who are like retarded but thankfully i, I guess you could put it that way they just well, not really they just want people that are like uneducated so they can manipulate them and pay a minimum wage and, like, yeah exploit the working population yeah it's it's the reason also the reason why so many places that uh, used to be or are still company towns, like especially in like the Midwest, you know, That's or the, 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 the South or the Deep South, those kinds of places where the redneck term comes from. Those places have terrible education, like on purpose, because uh, because whenever those towns do get good education. They usually end up unionizing and aggress very aggressively voting blue, because they because once they get like proper educations, they recognize that they're being exploited, and they immediately try to fight against that. Like especially in uh, coal towns. Have you ever really seen this? Plant? Yeah. Have you ever seen this uh, plant? I think so. Yeah. I have I, absolutely I, no. I think my it. my grandma is really into plants. I think she <laughs> might have some bigger ones. I have no like clue what it is. Outside her house. So, I just thought it was. I don't different. either. I think I I might be it might be a different plant, but I think yeah, my grandma has like really big bushes of those. Yeah. But they're like the leaves are huge, you know, like, like yeah. bigger than my hand, you know. The what? kind that you can just sort of smack, and and they and they make a cool noise. You like smacking plants, Max? I love so that. Yes. Is that a Venus flytrap? What? No, I don't. I don't dabble in carnivorous plants. Is the Venus flytrap actually carnivorous? Yeah. Are you scared? I thought it was just like a defense mechanism. It at, uh, no, it really does. Bigger. It's not a defense. They eat plants. Wait, how does it digest? How does it digest? How do carnivorous plants digest animals? How does that even work? There's stomach acid. Yeah, but how does it process that? Because it's like a different kind of nutrients than what. Plants are evolved to collect. Well, I mean, I don't really know a whole mumbo jumbo. Different like lot. proteins and shit, because plants can't actually like eat meat. They, I well, mean, they, they can do. make fur. Maybe if they like made it into fertilizer or something. That's kind of what they do. That, but that's like, also over like meat. months of time. You know, we also like can't eat meat. We like have to digest it. Well, yeah, we, we digest, digest everything. everything. Look yeah. at this. Well, digestion is only like turning. I mean, it's the same with uh, it's and and we are evolved to like uh, like humans were originally like 
ultra carnivores, basically. Like, we just, like, chased shit and ate meat. That, that's what we did. We ate roots and, like, roots, berries, and meat, mostly. Because we evolved to just, like, outrun everything in, like, in pure endurance. Yeah, oh, yeah. I found this today. For sale. It's round. Oh, cool. I can you plant it. those, or...? You can plant the seeds. Yeah. I'm not a big papaya guy, though. I have some neighbors... Uh, who like, or re who grow like a shit ton of mangoes in their yard. You ready for something really cool? And they like share with everyone. Look at this. This is a mango. Look at how big that thing is. Oh. I got this for free today at the orchid supply store. I have no idea what it is. They just told me, oh, it's a mango. And this is something called a mamoncillo. You know lychees? Those I don't know much. sucking pigs in rivers? No. The fruit. The lychee. Lychee? Lychees. Lychees, lychees. I think I've heard of it. That's in the same family. I love them. So basically, you can crack this open, watch, right? And inside, there's this. And you eat that, and there's a seed in there. Really behind the, the shell. People call them pinepas. Let me put all this back now. I have to, like, organize this better now. I don't know what these are. These are either bilimbi or uh, another kind of bush. I'm not too sure. I don't know if you guys know what a bilimbi is. I don't. It's like, um, it's a fruit in the star fruit family. Oh. It's really sour. Put this around. Let me put this up here. Let me take this back. Can't wait to take my collection to my friend's house. These are jackfruit, by the way. I don't know if you have a backyard, Max, but I'm willing to give people away jackfruit for free. I have a backyard. You want some fruit trees? Yeah, there's not a lot of space to grow stuff because the like we're built over like a bit like we're built like sorry we're like four feet above limestone like literally like it's very hard to grow to grow trees here because the roots are all exposed that's not good yeah i mean some trees do grow pretty well but it's just like, it just takes a really long ass time. And since like, hurricanes blow in every other year, they don't, the trees don't really last long anymore. I have, um, a leaf. Like, See? this one, like my dad tried to, oh sorry. You were... No, you go, go ahead. Oh, well my dad tried to grow this tree, like, a, like two or three years back, my dad tried to grow this tree. And it was like five years in, I think. Maybe long, maybe shorter, maybe longer. I don't remember. But then a hurricane came in and it just got knocked over, and we had to get rid of it. Happens, dude. Not everything stays the way yeah. it's supposed to. But I like to plant stuff, and I like to collect really rare plants. Like, check out some of the stuff that I have here. This is a uh, this is a Chinese lantern. If you know what that is? You should search it up. It's really, really fucking weird, dude. Like, they are, like, little bells. The flowers look like little bells. And then this I got for 10 bucks at a Lowe's. It was a really good steal. I got this, um, Monstera Adesonii. stole it! <laughs> they, um, sold it to me real quick. And, you know, it's a climber, but it was all, it was, like, dying. Because they don't water their plants or take care of them properly at Lowe's. At least the one by my house. So, I just get everything on discount there. So, you know, I have, like, a different Bakia here. This is a uh, Alocasia Tiny Dancer. I'm not too sure what that is. This is a Legionella, it's a irid the peacock fern. It's an iridescent fern. And then this one's cool too. This is a bromeliad. Hold up. You know about bromeliads, Max? Have you seen one? Not really. This one is long. I am not, I, I these, these words all sound familiar. I probably heard them at Fairchild, but I just do not, I, I did not, any anything man so i mean i have some other cool stuff growing but a lot of this stuff is going to get bigger as i start growing at my friend's house and then these are all uh these are orchids i gotta take with me they're um arachnes they're like a vandacious type and then i have this one i'm not able to take off the tree i wish i could but i can't it's called a neo phoenicia falcata really really small white fragrant flowers it's a Japanese and Korean, so they love these. This is like their thing. They have these things that they call kokodimas, and they love like potting those up and kokodimas and doing all sorts of really cool stuff. It's a like it's a very Asian orchid. 
the Asian orchid market's really different than it is down here because I don't know much about it, but what I do know yeah. is that they value a lot of different things than what we do here. They like really small, petite flowers, and they like them to be extremely like elegant and small and neat. I am having like, a brain fart, right? Wait, you know, like those bonsai trees. That the... Yeah, the the same way with the plants that they grow at orchid. The bonsai is just another example of that. Check this out. My, my, yeah. I'm, I actually, I'm pretty sure we still have a bonsai tree outside. It's like it's like needy. Like, I have no idea what like, it is. I found this for like ten bucks at a nursery. I have never seen. I have never seen that before in my life. I have no clue what that is. You guys is that, ever awesome? that, that looks like that looks ever... like a fucking. That doesn't look real. Dude, <laughs> it looks like That's really nice. cool. And these are not the flowers. The flowers are actually these little things that are here that come out of this thing that's continuously growing new leaves in this pattern. And then I planted these and some begonias. So I'm gonna do some that leaf look, Those flowers look like something you'd see in like, like the Clone Wars on like an alien world. <laughs> this one was dying at all. I got it for four dollars, and I'm cause because if it does, I can do some begonia. Well, you know that one planet where, that was where the Wookies lived. That it was like a giant rainforest. It looks like those it doesn't look like would be there. It does not look happy. I can say that but it hopefully will settle in pretty nicely to its location. Definitely leaf propagation. This one, I don't know if it'll survive, but we'll see. And then, you know, this looks like it's dying. Are you just walking dying. barefoot in like, are you just walking barefoot in, in like the grass? And like, yeah, yeah. on like fetish. twigs he's, and shit? Uh, when he's running along with yeah. all the worms, it makes him super horny, man. Yeah. Like whatever a worm goes through his feet. Are you one of those like, wait, you know about those, um, those people who don't wear shoes? I'm not like I Rob. Think Anthony Padilla made a dude. video on them. They're like anti-shoe. You're talking about this dude by the name of Rob Greenfield. And I like him a lot. His stuff is really cool and he has a lot of videos on like Yeah, they're like multiple pe people that are like that. Like I there's like, talk. like... They were interviewed. There was like one woman from Canada, who like would uh, would o would only wear boots in the winter. Like when when her house was snowed in, she wouldn't even wear socks, just boots, and almost lost her feet to like frostbite multiple times. And then I there mean, was another per another another girl who like, like who gorgeous. like had an orgasm from walking on fucking Legos. Like no. am I wrong? <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about, man. Do you get an, orga <laughs> you get an orgasm from uh, walking on Lego? Yeah, obviously, all the time. That's why I. That's why I own. Fucking so many. bastards, man! I just throw them. I just throw them on the floor and then walk on them, and then that's how I get off. <laughs> okay, thank God. Thank God, I have a chance to correct my mistake. Okay, here we go. Nice. I got this. This is from Fairchild. This has to be edited out, by the way. Like, never mind. I'm just not going to talk about it. Talk about Wait, what? what? Don't worry about it, because I can't. Okay, tell me about is it. Is it about later. Fairchild? It's when the, the, let me know when the camera's off, and I'll let you know. It's not going to be off for a while, but yeah, if it's that, like, yeah. if it's that up. He actually cold, stole those flowers up. from Fairchild. He, like, murdered he murdered like uh, two of their uh, volunteers and just yeah, took yeah it. I, I snuck in their job but like attacked them. It was the yeah. only way. That's why he isn't the man man. They do. they they revoked it after he murdered uh, uh, two volunteers and their uh, their director. Where can I hang this orchid? Nowhere. <laughs> That's my answer. I'm just gonna have to go here then. All right, I take this stuff in. But no, I don't get my rocks off. It's a walking barefoot on Legos. It's a really sick world we like live in. Like, remember that woman who was just like, she got aroused by being stung by bees? Yeah, I don't want to know about that. I mean, they're not harming anyone. I don't. I mean, okay. they're harming themselves. I think that's a matter for a uh, concern and ridicule. For me, like, no, I, I mean, at a certain point, I mean, for like man. people who like to cut themselves obviously but like for things like these things you're stepping on legos you sort of just build a resistance to it it's like people who like have, I don't who think like you do uh, grew up with beekeepers as parents 
No, you, like for bee stings especially, you can grow get, get, gain it. Unless you're allergic, you can gain a resistance to it by just being stung sure. multiple times. Now you know about the people that inject themselves like with Like beekeepers venom. are like, pra like some beekeepers are practically immune. Because they ju they've just been stung so often, they don't, they are barely affected by it. And for Legos, you just get calluses. Like the people who were like who who didn't uh, wear shoes or whatever, like they just have like massive calluses all over their feet because they never wear shoes. So it probably they. You probably like stepping on like sharp objects like Legos because it's the only time when they can feel like anything at all in their feet because there's Dude. just so much like protection. But I will tell you this like, though. I a little there, but I just want to say like you think that somebody like first chance like <laughs> want, like somebody really fucking retarded is just watching this right now and they're hearing us talk about all these fetishes. And it's awakening something in them, and then they're gonna do something that Chris Chan's in, but you know, like worse. And they're gonna blame it on us. Yeah, like not wearing shoes or in travesty. They're gonna, yeah, no, 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 like a B rate, like what Chris Chan did with his mom, and now it's like B sting related or like Lego related or whatever. Make his mom step, make the mom, <laughs> um, step on Legos while he jacks off. That's a. <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, I understand. You want no part of that conversation. And look, I know it's like bad optics or whatever, but like you should still call people by the correct pronouns, even if they're they're like evil objectively. You know, because it because it creates ambiguity when you're identifying them. Well, I called them Chris Chan. They want to be called Chris Chan. Oh, I, I mean calling calling her he. Fair enough. You now, because it's not like you're. As you know, calling her a she doesn't like somehow validate any of what, of the awful things she's done. You know, you're just calling someone by like what they are, who they are. You know. Well, if that's the case, let's not call them by. Because like, you know, because like, you know, if like you're only monster. doing it, because if you were only doing it, if you didn't really care, because you didn't really care about pronouns, then you wouldn't be calling like. People who are uh, cisgender by the wrong by the Max, wrong pronouns, but if you do it, you call them by the right pronouns. I don't know. Well, you do it pretty often. Yeah, sometimes when I'm chilling, Oliver will just be like, "Michael, you're such a beautiful woman." <laughs> I'll be like, "Oh, sorry, I'm not a she, her, I'm a they, them." Yeah. Uh, one thing that I do at Fairchild though is I do take seeds. I've always done that. I walk around. And I'll take seeds that are on the floor. Like the benches, or? No, like seeds, like plant seeds, not seeds. Oh, seeds, not seeds, oh. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure if I just stole their benches, that would be stealing. I mean, you're not, I don't think you're supposed to be taking seeds either. I don't give a shit, dude. What are they gonna do with the seeds? Plant them? Not really. A lot of the time they just grow and they weed them out. Wait, where are you taking the seeds from? Oh, I break in the buildings now. I find them on the floor. You just find seeds? I didn't I didn't know you could just do that, uh. Mm hmm You just walk through the garden. You mean from like rotten fruit or something? Like where are you where where are the seeds coming from? Then you can find them on the floor, you can find them in the fruit. It's just stuff this that's around the garden. Super Mario Brothers Wii rip off. Have they ever like tried to stop you from taking like fruit or whatever? No. No. And I don't know if they even care, because, like, I remember during the summer camp, they've, like, offered us, like, fruit and stuff that they've grown in the garden. But maybe that was just because we were paying for it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they charged our parents for the food that they grew. Well, I can tell you that. And blame them. If they are a real botanical garden, you know, most of the time they just give stuff out for free. That's what I would do. Because the whole goal is for people to go there, fall in love with the gardens, and want their own garden. You know, it's also the preservation of the plants that they have. Like, Fairchild is the only durian tree in Florida, I'm pretty sure. Well, they also need they also need money. If that's, that's the thing, what you know? Because they that? rely really heavily on private uh, donations. Mm -hmm. That's why they constantly have all these different, like...
invite only like art shows and shit well they also have well, the- not invite only but like you have to pay to go oh i'm so ever pissed. since covid like a lot of these kinds of places have been struggling with money because people just don't really go anywhere anymore i'm a pretty big believer in the fact that that whole lockdown shit was a bunch of bullshit what you mean oh what part God, of the lockdown all of it I don't think should be talked about just COVID? You don't believe in COVID? No, I've had COVID twice. I'm just saying locking down. Like, well, I mean, it was for people's safety. You know, when there's it's the same thing that happened during the Spanish flu. You know, when there's a plague going around, and and a lot of people are dying, and you don't have a a cure or vaccine for it yet, then you then it's bet then it's a lot safer to just not let people go out and get sick and kill themselves you know because people are idiots mm. and they're gonna get sick if you let them do their own thing you know the whole time during lockdown and I literally- like part of the reason it didn't really work in the u.s is just because everyone fucking ignored it you know or a lot of people fucking ignored it and it was also like not very well done like, it was just a logistical nightmare because we rely too heavily on corporations and the government can't really do much. So. But it was pretty crazy when everybody like locked those down. Because there were, yeah. And all of a sudden, all the emissions stopped. <laughs> Did you notice that? Like, oh, fucking yeah. like New Delhi, dude. Do you know how much smog is around there? Well, and yeah, when I, when everyone, up. well, yeah, I mean, there was also a drop in, there was a drop in ev- literally every bad thing, because no one was doing anything, everyone was just, you know, every, most people were in home, at home, you know, for most of the time. And it's less, like, and it's less about, like, people with car emissions, and more that a lot of factories had to close temporarily, because they're, they weren't, because they're, they weren't, they didn't have, like, what, what's the word? I mean, they were already violating a lot of safety regulations, but on top of COVID, they they just they just couldn't risk a lawsuit for from like one of their workers getting sick and dying. So they a lot of factories and stuff closed down temporarily. Yeah, but like a lot of the factories are the reason why we even have climate change in the first place. The average person, oh yeah, they like definitely are. are not anything compared to factories. I think almost oh, yeah, like 20% like, of climate change is caused you know, by... Um, you know, carbon footprint is, like, made up. Mm-hmm. Like, your carbon... Like, most of the most of the carbon people emit is done on their... Is emitted on their behalf by the government and by private corporations. It's like, it doesn't mean anything. Because, you know, turning your lights out, off might save some electricity, but it doesn't, like, make that... It doesn't, you know, un... That's the word. Unburn, you know, the oils and fucking fu- all the different fossil fuels mm-hmm. that were um, that were burned in order to, you know, make that electricity. You're just not using it. I think in part it also comes from people being afraid of nuclear power plants. Oh yeah, that too. I think Chernobyl. And also, really- a lot of. I mean, the whole idea of a carbon footprint was literally invented by um, an oil a major oil corporation specifically as like a propaganda tool against climate activists who wanted like stronger regulations against emitting corporations because the whole idea is that it shifts the blame from like the private corporations who are burning everything to individuals well, no, I know that. don't really have much power in the grand scheme of things. But they just want to take our rights away. Like, oh, you can't have your plastic straw, but you know what? We can sit here and produce so much fucking plastic in a day. This is an example. I know the plastic well, straw. Well, well, they only did the, they're only doing the plastic straw thing because it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. They're only doing, like, very small aesthetic changes that don't really change anything and won't hurt their bottom line at all, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I imagine they still plan on changing to nuclear and renewables eventually, but they're slowing it down as much as possible so that when that change finally does happen, eventually they'll still be the people producing all the power because by then they'll have fully shifted. But the problem is, is that that's way too slow to prevent any disasters from happening, you know? Mm-hmm. 
Oh no, there's definitely going to be a food shortage. It's going to be. Already, uh, I'm. I mean, it's less about there being a food shortage. I mean, America produces an abundant, a massive abundance of food. The problem is 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 more of a land shortage, and also the fact that food isn't being properly distributed, which is also partially due to corporations monopolizing food and like late and like throwing away the majority of it to prices. Yeah, no, throw away so much, like it's actually crazy. Like that was also a thing during COVID. Like people were literally starving, but like every major. Ag- agricultural corporation was literally throwing away billions uh, of dollars worth of crops every day so that so that they could keep prices up just because demand was low like locally and they didn't want to waste money transporting it to people who needed it You know, for all of our problems, most of the solutions already exist. It's just that no one's enacting that because it wouldn't be very profitable. Like how, um, yeah. I think I might have mentioned this already, but uh, renewables actually have like extremely low profit margins, which is why uh, oil and gas companies aren't actually, really, never actually plan on switching fully to them. Or at least for the time being, because unlike things with coal, where you constantly with coal factories or like coal or coal power plants or other fossil fuels, where you just have to constantly buy and burn more and more of it forever, with renewables like windmills and shit or like dams, you only build it once and then and then it's self-sustaining forever. You never have to do anything about it again. You know, it's just maintenance every decade or so. And that just doesn't make a lot of money. In, you know, it's infinitely more efficient, but the profit margins are too low for corporations to actually pick, ever plan on seriously picking it up for any reason other than marketing. But I, I, th- this is a bit too depressing. Let's move on to something else. Yeah. I'm just happy I accomplished what I needed to do with my plants today. I'm also very happy to see that everything is growing really nicely because I was worried that I didn't uh, I didn't pot them properly, but I did. That's good. So, like, I don't know. I always get nervous that I'm not doing it properly, but I ended, it, it always ends up working out. So, you know, it's like something crazy. I just can't wait to see everything start flowering. Oh, when's that happening? Like uh, the spring? It, it depends. I have some stuff that's flowering right now, but some of what I have may take a few years to flower. Others might be blooming in the spring or the summer. You know, plus my collection will be growing. It's just kind of stupid because my mom, like, has been hoarding food for years. And so she got rid of our balcony to put in more storage into the house. So, like, I kind of wish we had a balcony so I can, act, like, sit down and, like, plant stuff. God damn it, like this fucking thing, like. I don't know, man. This game is whack. <sighs> wow, that's crazy. I didn't even think about that. I'm saving this. Think about a whack. A weasel and its use as a defense mechanism against bugs in a garden. Why is it so quiet? I don't know. We don't have any conversations yeah. to talk about that aren't depressing. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of sorry for, uh, you know. Ruining the mood. You didn't ruin it. It's not your fault. It's Arbiter John. This is fault. Definitely not his fault, but it's definitely his responsibility. Yeah. No, why the fuck does it do that? Like, why the fuck does it just roll me off? Dude, I forgot dolphins and the fact that they get high off of pufferfish. I forgot dolphins yeah, that's pretty... and the fact that most of them are raised. Have you seen videos of that? Yeah, dude, I'm watching it. Like people, that. kind of a foul thing to look up, isn't it? They also gang up on sharks and bully them. Yeah, I know. Dolphins are actually crazy. Yeah. Actually, yeah, have you actually seen dolphins? Dolphin dolphins orcas. Have you seen? Orcas are like dolphins, but bigger and like even smarter. Like you know, they organize. They literally started organizing. A, a, an anti-human revolt, an anti-ship revolt specifically, they've started like specifically like targeting yachts and fishing vessels by ta- by like ripping off their engines or rudders, motors not engines, 
Like there, there are videos of it. Like they, like orcas, like a bunch of orcas, especially around Spain, I think, but also worldwide, have started attacking yachts and like fishing boats, and like ripping off the rudders and then sinking them. Dude, if I die, I have to start all this scary. over again. I'm going to like. All right, somebody finish that sentence for me. In short sentence. Do you see? That's the state of the up trucks right now. <gasps> dude, I feel like I'm going crazy, dude. Oh my god, I beat him. Thank god. Like, thank fucking god. Oh my god. God, okay, the final level. God. God, let's pay for Princess P. Wait a second. I gotta stop liking everything that comes up on my For You page. Because sometimes I be fucking... I don't even know. I'm just liking stuff and then I just see something with the tags Christmas, July, Summer, and Showboats. And I don't know what the fuck this is. Wait, what time? Eight. Hey, Alright. Uh... I gotta go soon. Go I have work lot. tomorrow. I have work Day at like 9.15. What is this? Fed smoker? Michael, can dude, you why does it randomly go quiet, really dude? Stupid you found on your TikTok feed? Dude, everything on my TikTok feed is either really intelligent or like really dumb. Talk about and the dumb no stuff. And there's no in between. The dumb stuff? Just a bunch of stupid prank videos. I get like autistic and like people with down syndrome dancing i got daniel larson daniel larson's a big one i love daniel larson well it's not really it's like that? mostly like just lol cows that's what my the mainly thing on my for you page is it's just See, a bunch people of like cows. you are like chris chad bags is bob well dude like <laughs> okay i definitely am not gonna lie i'm like so, somewhat involved like nedry what have we just talked about using the correct pronouns to identify terrible people what, Chris Chan? Yeah, Christine she's a she, Chandler. she's trans. Well, actually, Christine yeah. Chandler is called the stupid fucking ugly ass whore. That's what I think. I think Christine Weston Chandler is not trans because they literally oh, I... and agree that they were trans because they wanted to get laid and they thought it would help increase their chances. Yeah. Oh, and I don't not, know. I don't. That's like literally. I don't know if that, we don't know if that. that's true though. It's no, better than no, no, that's true. But it no, is no. true. It is one hundred percent true. Yeah, but also, didn't she like literally like cut herself because someone told her that if she like cut a slit under her penis, she'd have a vagina. Yeah. Like, I don't dude, think you'd do that stupid. if you weren't actually trans. You no. Know? I think you yeah, can also yeah, mentally you ill. Yeah, you're mental there, illness. Play and you're medallion medallion up medallion. Their ass. Like, Chris Chan is not fucking trans, dude. Chris Chan is a predator. Are you saying trans people can't be predators? No, I'm saying Chris Chan is a predator. Yeah. And I'm that's unrelated to being trans. I thought it would make it easier for them to be a predator. That's. I don't, I don't think that's related. I'm just quoting exactly How what Chris did... Chan, like stated. Chris Chan literally openly stated that like he thought that becoming trans would help him get laid. Oh, Don't right. ask me to explain what goes on in Chris Chan's brain. You know, let's talk about because Chris Chan. I think anybody that's been like forty years old, like me, everybody. My favorite's the conversation like where they talk about like. I'm gonna call the police and other dad comes in and talks about us, about how like you posted our house on the internet. If the health department or whatever finds out about, I, I guess, something that Chris Chan leaked, they could condemn our house and I don't know, man, I forget about it, but Bob Chandler is legendary, right, is my favorite Chris Chan moment, just because it's a funny conversation. <laughs> Do you realize? Do you realize? I don't know, Michael, what's your favorite moment? What? What's your favorite Chris Chan moment? Oh my god, dancing alone at BronyCon. <laughs> I think that's like a legendary moment, dude. Yeah. Or what was it? Fanta, the cum Fanta? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay, so somebody like convinced like Chris Chan that something like really good would happen if they like nutted in Fanta and drank it. I think I know about that. Um, what about like the moment where uh, he like got, he had beef with uh, the like the president of his like community college because she kept taking down his signs of for him like advertising that he was looking for a boyfriendless woman. <laughs> A boyfriend free girl. Oh, yeah, boyfriend free girl. There we go. Dude, dude, and his fucking rivalry with that one like game shop owner. Who, like, but like, if you like... want my honest opinion on the whole Chris Chan situation, like I really agree with the general consensus that Chris Chan is what happens when every single person lets down a severely disabled person who will probably have benefited more from being in a care home. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing like Daniel Larson and like a lot of these other like disabled people on that like, you see on the internet. Like, 
don't get me wrong. I'm happy to sit there and laugh at them. But at the same time, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, there's nothing I, the average person, can do. And it is 100% funny when, like, they send fucking Daniel Larson to New York to go meet up with all the t-shirts. Like, that is funny. Dude. There's no way to frame it that it's not funny. But it is definitely also fucked up. It's definitely Dude. humor at the expense of another person. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I think that the greatest Chris Chan troll ever, Liquid Chris. Yeah. I, think I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a socialist and we famously hate fun, but I've never really found that kind of stuff too funny. Because you have to be a particularly, like, <laughs> I guess, I'm not going to say this on camera, but Oliver knows exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to get it. But uh, I'll tell you what, though. Like, Liquid Chris was the funniest shit that ever came up, dude. It was just this dude who would claim to be the real Chris Chan, and then people would disagree with him because they thought it was funny. And then Chris Chan would lose his mind. And, like, it, Chris Chan would post a Liquid video. Liquid right Chris? Yes, Liquid Chris. Like, Chris like, Chan would post a video, and Liquid Chris would post the same video. And I mean, that just sounds like bullying. Oh, my know? God, it was hilarious. Chris Chan was, like, super angry about this dude, and he posted, like, a, a Liquid Chris rant about how he was the real Christine Weston Chandler. And so Liquid Chris posted a video about how he should not believe the other Christian Weston Chandler, and that Chris, uh... He was the real Chris, uh, Christian Chandler, whatever well, his name funny, is. Because I'm the real Christian Weston Chandler. No, I'm the real Christine Weston Chandler. No, I'm the real Christopher Weston Chandler. I'm Christine Weston Chandler. Okay, and I'm Christopher. That makes Max uh, Christian Weston. I'm Chandler. actually surprised that they didn't institutionalize Chris Chan. If I'm being honest with you. Did they do that? Didn't now they after Didn't they send her to like a home or something? I don't know. I don't actually know what's happening. But there's no, there's no fucking way that they can like bring this guy in for sex crime charges, interview this man, and not tell him. He's also like incredibly famous, mind you. Like I, I think that like there's no way they could bring this, but he's famous for all the wrong reasons. Like it's like bringing this guy in and being like, okay, do you have any idea what's happening? And he starts ranting about Sonic Chu, dude. Yeah. Like I really think that he needs to be on some kind of medication and he's like therapy. And I think that it's one of these situations where they need to just get him completely off the internet. The problem is, is that, you know, this isn't exactly, this isn't one of those colony uh, ass, you know, economies. I tried doing like a heavy Southern accident, but then it just, it flopped and my voice cracked. But anyway, you know, this is a capitalist country and no one's going to pay for that. Uh, Especially not the government. But that's the whole reason why Chris Chan was it ended up in this situation in the first place, you know? She she couldn't afford food or proper housing. So she did the the she sorta of had to do the internet stuff in order to, you know, not starve to death basically. What, Chris Chan? Yeah. I mean, they e-bagged a lot, but I mean, they did the internet stuff because they want to talk to people about Sonic Chew on their love quest. I mean, the reason that... <laughs> I feel okay, like if Chris Chan was like... You know about... You know about her and shit, right? Like, you've seen the pictures. Never mind, never mind. Like, she's like... Like extremely poor to put it bluntly she's like broke as fuck no money whatsoever her family is super poor and has no money that that's why she's in this situation they, they couldn't pay for proper treatment yeah and the go well not that, government's but not helping them like, out so they're fucked. probably because they don't have the money or like financial security to take that Definitely, kind of risk but i also just fake it because i don't I don't know if they listen, even have listen, insurance. I don't need to be rude to the late, like, Bob Chandler and, like, the probably, like, fucked to death, like, Barbara Chandler. But they were hicks. They were fucking rednecks, let's be honest. So. And does that, does being stupid make them less valid as humans? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, definitely. Uh, that's kind of fucked up. No. Not at all. Because, you know, the reason they're, the reason your people end up like that isn't because they're, like, somehow genetically predisposed to be stupid it's due to their material conditions you know you realize the reason they're stupid is because they couldn't about. afford like the tutors on like private school education that for example i could get and because they couldn't get that fancy fancy schmancy uh city folk education 
uh, that they can't get money to pay for their kids to get any good education. And the system, you know, the system Wait, continues what are we itself. talking about right now? We're talking about how, um, how systemically poor people are kept poor generation by generation due to a lack of um, affordable, educa like free education or health care, keeping them down and preventing them from gaining any sort of wealth or success. Well, I mean, I can also just like straight up tell you that it's not just about socioeconomic things, but there are literally some people out there that are just dumb. Yeah, but that's like a very small minority of people. The vast are you saying that like everyone in an entire town is poor just because they're stupid? Yeah. Or is it because that town never had any good education or infrastructure? It's because I mean, they're, they're all basically dumb. the they're same. Really like, they're dumb. Stupid. like they're all dumb. Yeah, but they're they're not stupid. They're not naturally stupid. No, That's eugenics not. bullshit. For a reason. Yeah, yeah, and that reason the is because that they're poor and their parents were poor, and because no, they're stupid, they're because they're poor, they can't major. make any money, and can't stop being stupid because no one's I helping think that them. What you're talking about goes against mm. the will of God. Uh, because I think. Well, God as, as one of God's God chosen people, people, people I disagree. Beautiful. As one of God's chosen people, <laughs> God chosen saviors to improve the earth, I I disagree strongly with that sentiment. Yeah, dude. You're you think you're God's chosen savior? I'm Jewish, not savior. I don't believe in a messiah. I think that I'm gonna messiah my way up your asshole. <laughs> Good luck trying. All right, anyway. let's do it. You guys were here. Okay, dude, I, I, you really want to bet, dude? I really think Oliver and I could do it. You have what? no idea where I live. Neither of you have any clue where I live, all right? That's I true. Could, I've known you for like I, I could years literally I've still hide to your house. I could literally just drop. Look, there, there was nothing about me checked. I could literally drop off the face of the earth and no one could find me. Couldn't you just ask your mom, Oliver? Shit. Yeah, my mom could I, ask actually, I... his mom where he, where he lives, so she'd probably say yes. <laughs> dude, we're just gonna go Messiah our way up your butt, dude. It's not that hard. <laughs> well, I'm not will be. I didn't think of that. That's because I'm one of God's chosen people, but my purpose is, like, to Messiah my way up your butt. Yeah. But to be I clear, I don't actually believe that. In case anyone was wondering, I do actually believe that. I think that he is God's chosen person. Yeah. Oh well, thank you for the compliment. Like I worship Max. Yeah. No, we don't. don't I actually don't do like that. Edry. Don't do that. Nedry and I and the Upchucks as a whole solely and truly do believe that Max is the new Messiah. There is no Messiah. I'm sorry to break it to you. I'm sorry, but you are the Messiah. It was a very even at the time, e even when Jesus was a guy was a thing. The main, like the main reason why most Jews didn't believe in any of that stuff because it was already controversial. The idea that there is any Messiah at all was already controversial because it's only like a very specific interpretation of the Bible that you know points to there be ever being a an individual messiah character. Alright, I know you guys weren't here for this, but let's do a sequel to Eggman versus Joe Rogan. Uh, Alright, Michael, you're Joe Rogan. Uh, Max, you are Dr. Eggman. Uh, I will be uh, Jamie, reprising my role. Uh, picking up where the last one left, Dr. Eggman now owns Joe Rogan podcast. Oh no. And uh, Joe Rogan's coming back as a special guest, like Steve from Blue's Clues. All right, uh, Michael, did would you like to start out your role? Steve, as a come Joe back to Blue's Clues as a guest. Wait, did Steve, Steve yeah, still Steve come back? Steve came back to multiple Blues Clues? times after their departure. Joe Rogan was in Blue's Clues. What? No. <laughs> like Joe to fucking no. <laughs> 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 no, Joe the fucking guy who replaced Steve. The orange shirt guy. I never watched Blue's Clues. Alright, well, now you're Dr. Eggman. Dude, fucking Sam Hyde, dude. Actually, you know what I did okay, to watch? It was on this, I mean, Michael, you like, are cassette Sam Hyde, tape. Special you know those guys in Who owns Joe the Rogan's shirt? podcast now? Okay, back to Wait, more Eggman. Oh, you know that God. group of, like, grown men in, like, the brightly colored, the primary colored shirts and black pants? What, the Power Rangers? I don't remember what they're called at all. 
Oh, the no, Rangers. not Power. They weren't Power Rangers. They were like reg- a bunch of white dudes wearing colored. T- Wasn't there a girl or, one? Or turtlenecks, actually. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember. About, but because, I, do, I, know I genuinely don't remember any of it. I was probably I four. With, I don't know the names of. All right, Max, you are Dr. Eggman entering either Joe Rogan or Sam Hyde. I, I don't, I don't care anymore. How does Dr. Eggman sound? Okay, just whatever you think he sounds like, do that. <laughs> I, I just can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not talented. All right, you are I've, Joe I've Rogan. Given up Michael, already. you are Dr. Eggman now. I have. Do you think you do you think you have the chops to act up to the Dr. Eggman role? I don't think anyone has the chops to act up to the Dr. Eggman role. I actually just now that I mention it, dude, I'm gonna send this video in this group chat, dude. This is my average for you page. Like you asked me about have it, this is it. Have you listened to any of the previous things you were saying? Dude, what is up with Edu losing his shit about you kicking him out of Nedry's? What the fuck up group chat? Yes. Well, not that we, we just like didn't do what we wanted to do, so I just kicked him out of the group chat. <laughs> What do you mean oh he didn't God, do what he I wanted to do? Stupid thing for the doc, for the cardiologist. Well, let me rip them off my shirt. You are you okay? Oh, what? were you at the cardiologist? Yeah, cardiologist, and I had a dentist appointment. What's up with you going to the cardiologist if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I mean it's nothing important. It's just like shit that I've had to do since I was born. Why? It's... Do you have some kind of heart condition, Oliver? Yeah, but it's not like a major one. Like even like when I go and check. Are you me, super yeah, duper I'm just, I'm just randomly just losing your heart attack. What? I don't want to just randomly lose you to a heart attack, bruh. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna have a heart attack. But dude, I'm glad my plants turned out beautiful. That actually makes me feel really good. Like, I am in a good mood today. Max, why did you go quiet? You both have gone uh, quiet. I've been, I've been gaming. Emphasis on the game. I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm kind of... I honestly. gave you guys a prop. None of you did it. Which one of you wants to be Dr. Eggman? Which one of you wants to be Joe Rogan? I'm Jamie. Well, what if neither of us want to be Joe Rogan uh, or Dr. Eggman, you know? Do you have a problem with Joe Rogan? Yes, I hate him on a personal level, actually. Why? Okay, what? I was you don't joking. hate Dr. Eggman who, like, you don't hate Dr. Eggman who has enslaved animals and puts them into little robots to fight Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, I'm, I'm speciesist. You, you know what speciesism is? You mean you hate your own race? I'm sorry, your own people? Maybe no, it, you it's when you... Speciesism is times. when you believe every species other than humanity is inherently inferior. Or at the very least should be treated as inferior. It's like, uh, if you believe that your dog is dumber than you, or that it's alright to eat meat, then you're, you're speciesist. Yeah. Well, I mean, my dog is definitely dumber than me. Like, he can't and solve the complex math problem. Yeah. I agree with you. Dude. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think you don't take it as far. You know, I think every other race than mine. I think every other but, like, what than species mine. is I Joe Rogan, everybody, dude. I think everyone except me. Well, race is here. made up. Racism is just when you believe that race exists to begin with because it's not real. It's the culture. It's a social construct meant to, like, legitimize systemic exploitation but species do exist they're like a real thing that's based on like being able to procreate or ha- and having like extremely different genetic and dna and whatever not really because i could fuck a gorilla and make a baby dude don't ask me how no that's not a real thing it is it's physically impossible actually the ussr tried to create super soldiers by breeding humans with chimps and they failed because humans can't actually procreate with anything other than other humans no but like and i've done it before vice versa i fuck gorillas uh, like, yeah. well then you're a freak of nature i don't know what to tell you like i just walk up and go hey, mom. no i don't actually think that anybody would like i feel like it's one of these things where i've talked about this with nedry dude it's like can you really arrest somebody if they fuck a rhino, dude? Like, you have to, like, yeah, really from the yes, terms. Yes, that, that's a but, thing. That's the thing, do, man. You should salute have you them, heard of whales? I mean, like, have you heard of whales? Just, like, if the, like, you know how Wait, big a rhinoceros is, dude? Rhinos? Do you, do you fuck know how big rhinos? a rhino is? Dude, like, think about it. Like, a rhino is so massive that, like, I feel like I could just maul somebody. Like, what is, what, like... If you were in the rhino's position and some random dude just came up to you and started like just prepping, well, I mean they have very bad eyesight. If you come up from behind them, I I don't think they can do anything about that. I'm obviously joking. I don't actually fuck rhinos, but 
I'm just yeah. saying that. Arbiter John, let's just get rid of all of this. It's actually the reason why they're so aggressive whenever they see things they don't recognize. It's because they literally can't see anything. They, oh, I thought, they, I like, thought you were going to say it because people kept trying to fuck them from behind. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. but anyway, no. It's because they can't. They literally can't see anything at all. Everything is blurry to them. So they just, they just uh, play it safe and kill anything that moves. You know, lest it kills them first. Oh, dude, awful. I hate playing Slither.io, dude. Like actually. Then why do you play it? Because I just needed something to do. But, like, the amount of times that I've died, I'd be, like, really big. And then someone will just spawn in and suicide to, like, kill me. That's funny. That's it's happened to me. Dude, no, but it happens to me, like, every single run. Like, I'll get, I've never been able to make it over 10,000 without some, like, dude just walking in and just, like, murking me. Well, yeah. I mean, the trick is to just avoid everyone constantly. Like, you think you you do grow faster by, like, killing other players or eating people. But yeah, but it comes it's, the, the way you play it safe is to just, like, stay on the edges forever. Are you good? That sounded like a really bad fart. Me? Yeah, no. I that just was a you. yawn. A strange that noise. My, that's a that was like a yawn alongside my chair squeaking because it's it's a shit chair. It's like plastic. Oh, oh my god! I almost died. I almost died again. Okay, I'm doing really good right now. I have almost a thousand. Okay, wow. Max. Yeah. Are you aware of somebody by the name of uh, what was that dude's name? The the black guy, the black streamer, is uh, the I'm gonna come, dude. I'm Bukadin or whatever. What? That's a lot of you know, streamers, and a lot of them are black too. So that uh, do you have any no, idea how little that narrows it down? It's uh, something bad. Well, actually, no. There's a lot of what, most streamers are white. It's, it's like this like, like dude who was like it's a diversity like, issue. Would like shove things up his butt. Oh, uh, I think I've heard of that. You mean the guy that, what's his name, Maximiliana, Maximilianus bullied? Oh, uh, I don't know what his name no, is. The guy, no, that autistic guy was like fucking white or something. No, he was a black kid. Or maybe it was a, maybe he did people to multiple people, people, I don't know, so but he definitely made a black kid like eat his like, own shit. Entirely he made, I oh remember, he made like a black kid eat his own shit. Like a neurodivergent black kid. Or maybe I'm misremembering, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's been a while. Are we gonna make you eat your own shit one day? What the hell are you gonna do about that? You're not. It'll never happen. Don't be so sure. Okay, I have to be really careful because I'm like cornering this dude right now. I, I be, couldn't like, really be more better. sure. You don't have the balls. You, you're you're, you're a balls? pussy. You're a puss baby. Dude, those are act. That's not something you say to a close friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? You're weak. Pathetic. Max, don't make me go over there and messiah your butt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this dude has to be like freaking out, dude. Come on, can you please just kill yourself already? Not you. Like, yeah, why are you still alive, man? Fuck you, bro. This dude is trying to circle me. There's gotta be something wrong with this green dude. What were the mechanics if you like, if you headbutt someone again? Is it like the bigger one? Dude, I literally, I swear one? to God, dude, fuck this game, dude. I'm done. Like, I was circling this dude, and some other idiot just had to come around and decide that he was going to circle me while I was circling the other guy. <laughs> like, funny. I don't understand. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> like, why couldn't he just leave me alone, bro? He just had to walk in and, like, do some fuck shit. You have, um... What's it fucking called? Diep.io? What? Diep.io. Gay what is that? Game. Uh, yeah, it's a porn. Yeah, it, it caught me. It's like um, it's like a t like a sort of like the it's an IO game. It's but instead of like snakes, you like little tanks, and there's a skill tree and stuff for getting bigger. Pretty fun. Dude, they should have that. I prefer I don't know. And you just get bigger and bigger. Oh yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah. You don't really get bigger in Diep.io, you just buy, like, it's like a, like an RPG kind of skill tree. You just sort of uh, spend points that you earn from meeting people to upgrade different stats. Wait, I really want to hear and the game that you've heard about design. called Cock.io. You just said you've heard about it? No, I literally said Cock.io. Yeah. About how you just, like, Talk? get bigger. 
Yeah, cock.io, and you were like, yeah, I know about that. I thought you said box. <laughs> I know, I said cock.io. I mean, and you go, yeah, I've heard of that. Like, and you just I'm completely I'm ignored what I said. <laughs> I thought you said box.io. God I damn you it, dude. you about the little, little cube game where you're like a square and you eat other squares. Dude, we need to make cock.io. Where I it's think like, it would be you a have to, step. like, you get a cock and, like, the more you fuck people in the ass, like, the bigger that cock gets. What? <laughs> the more you fuck people in the ass, the bigger the cock gets. <laughs> yeah, I read you loud and clear, boss. <laughs> we gotta make it. We gotta make it now. I understand. Don't listen to Max. See, Let your dreams come true. These are the type of games, you know, we need to publish as the Upchuck. You know, if we ever get big, this is what we need to use our power for. Upchuck's LLC. Upchuck's LLC. What's, what games have you made, Cock.io? <laughs> Cock.io! <laughs> and Big Booty Carmen Simulator. Yeah, we make a yeah, we, we, get, we get a film deal and an animated series out of it. We, and it ends up becoming, like, five movies and, and like, a reboot movie. For a fucking, like, 20 season animated oh, show. Oh, I almost got him. He got scared. He got scared. Let's go. 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 Let's fucking go, dude. Dude, I'm so long right now, dude. I'm feeling really hard. Dude, somebody just died on me. I want to know who and where and what. Oh my goodness, no way. The biggest one just died. The biggest one? Yeah. How big? About uh, nine inches thick. Damn. That's that's just above average right there. <laughs> yeah, just, just above, above average. Do you think like... two inches is not enough? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? I like to think two inches is enough. Oh, if you know, my wife thinks two inches is more than enough. Two inches is enough. Yeah. What are you talking about? And, and the mailman agrees. He just cuts out there. Wait, did I just cut he, out? Did I cut yeah, out? He did. All I heard was, and the mailman. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, wasn't it us free? Yeah, it was us free who, like, went and, like, fucking into the Otaku Discord server to bully Tanji. That was, like, the three of us. I just completely That was that. very, very long time ago when Tan I don't even know who Tanji was. I just remember that we accused him of stealing our wives. No, Literally, this is when we first like got Discord. Guy, and we, like, decided to bully. Wait, did you just say Tanji? Yeah, Max, you don't remember My that. favorite animes. Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Dude, I'm doing so good right now. I just killed my first person, dude. I feel really good. Yeah, I remember Tanji. Yeah, you remember the Otaku Discord raid where it's like we each had like... It's like... He fucked my wife. Well, he fucked my son. He fucked my mother. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, but we. I think we, we might have just been harassing time. like a neurodivergent kid, though. Uh, I don't actually care all that much. Like, I don't know. Discord is. Kind I of think mo hard. thinking back on it, most of our raids have just been harassing random pedestrians. Dude, I know. You probably it's didn't been, I do the same thing. In real life, believe me. You just accost <laughs> uh, city goers. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I you heathen. And if I'm I could Diogenes, do this in dude. In real life, without getting shot, I absolutely would. Dude, technically the earliest troll was Diogenes, dude. Who? Who's Diogenes? Diogenes? The homeless guy, the homeless philosopher guy who lived in a oh. pot and like took massive shits on the floor during lectures. <laughs> dude, he was like, "Oh my god, I just died with four thousand! No way! Let's go! Let's go!" I love this game! Yeah, that was definitely Diogenes or whatever. Diogenes? <laughs> yeah. My boy Diogenes. Diogenes. I, I don't know what- I don't know what fucking, like, I don't know why it comes to my mind, but, like, when I said that, the first thing that came to my mind was, like, a really fat, like, D.O. from JoJo having to take, like, insulin. Uh, John, just put that up on screen right now, uh... If there is no image with a Dio taking insulin, I would like for you to put an image up that's edited. Just, you know, fat Dio I taking doubt insulin. It. You, doubt, you, you doubt it. Okay, I dare you. Look up diabetes. Have you ever tried you looking for a specific, for specific, like, meme images of Dio? It's all fucking, like, horny fan art. So, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Of that, uh, you just reminded me of, like, this one kid's dad who, like, kept on sending, like, him Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fat fetish art. 
Because you just caught those like fat turtles that didn't understand the implications behind it. What? I don't know. I just saw a video online where like the kid talks about yeah, my dad uh, sends me uh images of like the teenage mutant ninja turtles, but they're all like fat. And it's all like fetish shit. Oh. But I don't think he knows better. Is the kid just like too embarrassed to bring it up? I, mean, I think it's for like the sake of the dad more than like him. Please forgive me. I used to search up Dragon Ball porn. Dude, so what? We all still do that. <laughs> we we all did. That that's like, that's a pretty just... normal thing. I know. When you're like ten and you just discover you could jack off, you just search up like Android AT. Dude, this fucking dude on agar.io wants to murder me so bad. God damn it! Hold on, my headphones died. Give me a second. Let me put. Let me put them to charge. Hold on, I think that like you you can like still be hers as it's not like glitching out like last time, but uh hold on, let me just put them to charge. Okay. Okay, they should reconnect about Oh he's trying, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying. There we go. He can't get me oh there we go. What the hell is that? <laughs> what happened? Oh. Dude, Michael just bailed. Uh Dwayne the Croc Johnson just left the call. Right, well we have like one level left of the game. So, hold on. Max, play that video that he sent me, that he sent us, and, like, describe what it is. What video? The video that he sent. One. The, the VTuber? Y yeah. Mike, what? What's the video that you sent? What video? Just That's just my for you page. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see that, that VTuber video I sent? <laughs> Where it was, like, an unhinged fucking Alex Jones character, but it was, like, a fucking bunny girl like pink haired rabbit girl hold on i gotta go yo dude what's up dude, what's up brother online. dude it's been forever what are you no, up to you're still online you're still on the call hold on wait i'm on a i'm on a call with that oh see a lesser man would have warned him but i did because i'm a good person i'm a good person right Matt? yeah yeah yeah, you are. Max, have you actually watched a single Inspector Gadget show in your entire life? I've watched the movie. The live action movie. And now that's your name. Yep. I mean, I'm gonna it, be it, honest, I got it, way It came from, like, organism. Mr. Gentle's co constantly calling me a fucking robot. Dude, he was super Remember that? Funny, man. Yeah. I don't know, what's your favorite Mr. Gentle's moment? When he played the Pitch Perfect movie in its entirety for the class. Aren't those movies, like, terrible? They're fun. And they've got oh, good music man. in them, they which like is why we were watching. Them, but, like, I would kill myself, because, like, they're just... They're just chick flicks. Exactly. What, what, do you hate women so much that just seeing one as the main, main character makes you want to kill yourself? No, I like Bayonetta. I like, uh, Dino Cri- Well, no, I've never played Dino Crisis. Oh, but I played Jill's story first in Resident Evil. Who? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't know game- I don't know- I'm a boomer, I don't know video. Alright, let's see what the spell has. Dude, it's 9. We finished this recording, like, early. I mean, it was like two hours, but like, today was a good day to be at Upchuck, so you, tomorrow's probably gonna be shit. ba 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 uh, I gotta go, Sin. I gotta go to bed a bit earlier tonight. Hang on, Max. Let me just beat the, this uh, funny little last world. Alright. How to grind for animals, Sonic Lost World. I oh, didn't need me. What? I need to use it. Use what? Bop, 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 Ba 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 Go Granger Go ba 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 da 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 ba 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 Go Green Ranger Go ba 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 Goldar's gonna get you tonight destroy the power rangers that destroyed our earth don't let lord zed put a spell on your body
right, I'm back. That song you sang, that should be the new intro. What, go Green Ranger, go? Yeah. Your rendition of it, specifically. Yeah, I better... Yeah, yeah, Jason David Crane would be so proud of me. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, my phone's dying. Well, it's like to a hospital. Super Sonic in this game blows. This reminds me a lot of like this uh, browser game that was really popular in my school in Riviera. Not Sonic. Not Sonic. It was a browser game. I forget what it was called. It was the one no, where you like Sonic is reminding press you. different arrow keys. No, it was like this specifically. You press different like little arrow keys, and that turns the screen into your little guy and you. What are you doing, Max? Eating. 
Why are you making happy noises? I don't know. What are your thoughts on a grand larceny? Pretty pog, you know. What else is there to say? I respect anyone who does it as a profession. I believe that all crime should be fully le legalized in general. Max, can you look at the news, but instead of any of the political shit, can you just get back to me with like the most retarded shit you you've like seen? I mean, politics are pretty dumb. Okay, nothing political. Like another alligator eating somebody at like. Like, a well, every uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, Max. Anything you're excited for? Not in particular, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this recording fell off. Yeah, it did. I'm just kind of oh, tired. Awful. Yep. You know, I think this is one step closer to uh, getting first chance to subscribe. Yep. What? Yep. That's what I said. You never answered. What's your favorite Chris Chan moment? I don't have a favorite Chris Chan moment. Really? Not even They're the all great. They, uh, shoved the medallion up their ass? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> that's your favorite? Sure. There it is. That's yeah. That's my that's my favorite Christian moment when they shoved a medallion up their ass. <laughs> anyway, I gotta I gotta go now. Hold on, wait before you go. Spam ring, Princess Peach. Or let me spam ring our other pals. What? Wait, what? Spam? Yeah, all the people who show up who can show up to replace you. Johnson. Why are you guys calling me? What? Why are you guys calling me? I don't know. Max, were you ringing? Oh, I'm gonna... No. But were you? No. What? Did you guys not call me? No. Well, it rang me. Really weird. I, mean, I know that you can ring people when you're not in the call. So who do you think the suspect is? You can ring people when you're not in the call? Yeah. Everybody I did not know that. that. I don't know if he's gaslighting or not. I, I, gen I, I He okay. mentioned needing to ring. Who, me? Yeah. Who? Yeah, 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 you. Yeah. Dude, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta, I'm playing aggro.io right now. And I'm trying to. You are fucking addicted to those games. Well, not really. It's just that there's just. It's very, just, like, upsetting, man. Dude, like, I don't know. It's a problem. God damn it, dude. Stop making me feel like. And we're concerned. We are extremely concerned for you. For your well-being, physically and spiritually. Dude, I'm just slightly bigger than this guy, and he's running away from me right now because he knows I'm gonna eat his ass. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna eat him. I'm gonna eat him. I'm gonna eat him. Here we go. All right, Is it gonna let me? It's not letting me eat him. Is it gonna let me eat him? Am I gonna eat him? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No way! No way! No way! No way! No way! No way! Come on! Give it to me! Give it to me! Nope! I'm dead. I'm dead. He's gonna eat me. He's gonna eat me, bro. He's gonna eat me right now. Please don't push me against it. Please don't push me against it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm like, I'm up against Top G, and my name is literally just the N-word. What the hell is that? Are we getting, what? like, is a strange mustache man knocking on our door again? What are you talking about? Well, why is your username the N-word? Because it lets me. Let's... All right, give Daddy a second. He's going to check something. It's like a huge design flaw. Arbiter John just cut that out of the, out of the stream. Cut one well, out. You, st you shouldn't make that your, whatever. It's really not worth your time. Believe me. Okay, come on. Well, come on. I gotta, I gotta go. Where you're gonna leave? Yeah. Why? I need to wake up early tomorrow. For it's work. the summer. 
how you work. I, I work in Publix, yeah. What if I... Oh, thank you for telling me that. Now I have to go check every Publix tomorrow. You, I think you said that already. Maybe it was someone else. No, but you've just given me a new thing to do tomorrow. All right. Have fun. Right, fun look, checking every Publix. So, yeah. But if you uh, stay on the call right now, you might get to see Oliver's house get broken into. And I'm not even joking. I've, I've already seen his house being broken into. No, because, like, the other I've day... I've broken I, into it. No, I mean, like... When he was sleeping. I'm not even joking. The other day, he, like, literally almost had his house broken into. I know. Really? <laughs> funny as hell. Yeah, like, live on call. Yeah, it's this funny. wasn't recorded, but, no, we talked about it during, like, 007. Like, like some weird bust-ass well, man tried to break into my house, and, like, my mom handled it very, very poorly, so... Yeah, that was really bad. Grandma, like, tells me exactly how she would have handled it, which is, like, so much, like, better. How? Uh. I would just really like to eat this guy. Please, game, just let me eat him. Please, can I just eat him? What the hell is that? Is that fucking Pac-Man? What, aggro.io? No, what I'm looking at in the game. I just don't know what I'm hearing from Max's microphone right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta go take a shower and go to bed. Um, see ya. Alright, see ya. Love you, Max. Goodbye. Sonic Lost World is almost over. Does that excite you, dear? Not at all. What? Not at all. Well, you don't like Sonic the Hedgehog? Why don't you want to be a, a Sonic fan? You know, like, just classic characters, like... Sammy Classic Sonic fan or Chris Chan. You think you think the directory of Chris oh, Chan God. was forever changed by Sonic the Hedgehog? This just ruined everything. How do I like recombine in aggro.io? Because now all of a sudden the whole lobby is like after me. Dude, why does it just not let me eat anybody? Wow, I just died. Hold on. How to recombine and I got it. Let's see. You should start to see yourselves trying to rejoin at this part. Go as close as possible to the selected player. And as about to eat your pieces, move your mouse to the center of your cells and rejoin them together and get in the class that you are already consumed. The player that is trying to chase you. <sighs> I'm not. I feel like going to the gym right now. I don't. Mm. I'm gonna go later. I'm not going to. But. What? I don't know. I'm happy. I don't care how boring this conversation is, I'm gonna beat this level. Hey, did you see what I sent in the group? What did he just send? Like, the, uh, the thing you the Roblox thing? Yeah, did you watch it? No. It's literally just my For You page. Oh, uh, hold on, let me see. New phone, same content. <laughs> what's your type? I have a girlfriend. So what's your Can you hear it? In the video. Yes, you right here. Put this in the video. Put don't this know in the what video. For. And turn the head when you walk through the door. Uh -oh. I have four moves. Silly. <laughs> it's my TikTok for you page, dude. One wrong step and that could be not just you and me, but anybody on the Yacht Oh, bro. Show your death stare when the beat drops. Oh. And if I only could... Hey, what's up everyone? This is your boy Devin, and this is my impression of Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, wow. A I'm a dumb hey. So just how old are you looking for? Alright, let's see who's better, has better breakfast. Burger King or Mickey Okay guys, let's do La Tornado Siren. That's my like for you page, too. Dude. dude, that's like awful. Oh, I know, I literally... Like, people don't understand. Like, I legitimately have cultivated the worst possible, like... This is why I'm not on TikTok, because my shit's just gonna be the same shit as that, man. No, dude, it's really bad. It happens because I like everything that comes up on my For You page. So it really just, all it knows is that I like lol cows. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's awful. Okay, last level of the game has nothing to do with any of the other levels of this game. <sighs> and it has these weird floaty things. Wow, what a crazy story. Arizona girl missing since 2019 just randomly walked into a tiny Montana police station. She's from Arizona. How did she get to Montana? Her Beth is, uh, I don't think, <laughs> Robert Hedgehog is gonna have to cut out. 
I mean, that's yeah, definitely. Wow. Oh, it's even worse. The teenager who was described as autistic but high functioning in her missing persons report. Wow, how bizarre. Okay, finally, not to do it a fucking again, man. Ugh. Oh, what a crazy ass story. Does it have a happy ending? I mean, yeah, she's found, but that's insane, dude. What happened? That's wow. the second. I don't know. All I could just see is she apparently ran away and now she's back. That's it. Oh. Doesn't seem like it was for? something too crazy, but for, since 2019, that's like four years, dude. Oh, that's pretty bad. Let's see. 2020, one, two, three. Yeah, it's four years. <laughs> dude, the fucking Wii U gamepad has like the worst fucking looking, like weird, like the, these fuzzball, like golf ball things. Like, what the fuck? I don't want to look at that. It's just fucked up. What is this? This is ridiculous. Many of the signers who represent some of the Big Apple's largest immigrant communities told the president they needed him to declare a federal state of emergency to expedite work authorization for migrants and fix the flow at the border and provide more dollars to Gotham to handle the unrelenting influx of asylum seekers. But that's not the way this asylum situation should be ha handled at all. To allow all these migrants who come in here illegally to just be given citizenship and then to give them jobs? There are so many people here who don't even have jobs. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. okay, finally, like God. It's like some weird Sega reference that I, I don't understand. I wonder if this is a thing. Let's see how many actual streamers he has. Crap. Oh, dude, he has nothing. He's a loser. Do you hear that Hunter Biden rejected his, like, plea deal? So now he's actually going to court for gun charges. And also, Did sharks like might be consuming file, cocaine. Though? I think so. One thing, I don't, like, I don't have any proof, but I do know that he is notorious for purchasing prostitutes. Dude, if I have to beat this fucking, like, I'm gonna lose it. You know, I think we've done all we can do with Sonic Lost World. This is an anticlimactic ending. How would you like to Dude, Adam 22 friend? is so weird, dude. This, this you know about Adam 22? This dude, I guess his girlfriend is some chick named Lena the Plug, and I mean, she's cute. But, like, this dude's a cuck. He, like, literally let his girlfriend get, like, completely, oh, like, railed. By this, like, big black guy, dude. And now he's saying that he, like, loves her and that they have love. And the black dude's like, well, I wouldn't have let my girlfriend do that. Because who does, dude? Like, what? That's why you don't have an OnlyFans girlfriend. Like, who the fuck does that, dude? I think I think that's the note we're going to end it off. But, uh, no, you know what, Jonas? <laughs> just add to the end of this video. Just, like, just like a full What about the Jonah minutes? Hill drama? Just, I, 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 I want to... A full 20, I want a full 22 minute clip live action of Joe Rogan and Eggman shooting the shit. That's what I want at the end of this video, John. This, so get to it fast. I expect the actors to be played by yourself. And this isn't a joke or anything. You know, I expect you to do this. Michael, do you have anything to add? Oh, uh, no. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, roll the video. Mm -hmm.